Chapter 51 Visit B. Ji Jixing ran beside Zhu Xiaobao and asked, What is this? How can it run? Zhu Xiaobao's car pedaled around and around. So it couldn't go very fast. So Ji Jixing could still keep up. He turned his head and looked at Ji Zi. Your donkey refused to lend me. So I had to make a wooden donkey myself. How about it? Can it run faster than you? No need to feed it. Lend it to you. Lend it to you. How about lending me this wooden donkey? Mechanic Lion said with a bit of annoyance. This thing works better than his donkey. No. That donkey of yours keeps braying when nothing happens. And it has to be cleaned and fed. When it's an estrus, you have to find a female donkey for it. It's too troublesome. Zhu Xiaobao said with disdain. Now that we have bicycles, who needs a donkey? No trouble. No trouble. It's already in heat. And it has visited all the female donkeys in our street. You don't need to worry about it. Ji Zhishan clarified hurriedly. Damn! How dare I have the same virtue as you? What kind of man rides a donkey? Zhu Xiaobao almost fell off the car. He didn't expect this little donkey to be so powerful. And it had destroyed all the female donkeys in the street. It didn't take long for him to return to his residence. Zhu Xiaobao quickly packed his things and hid all the things that no one could see, including the toilet paper, as well as many tools and equipment. Ji Jixin consciously started to clear the slate. No need to ask. At this time, the most convenient and quick way is to have a slate barbecue. So Ji Jixin started to take action without anyone's orders. After packing up the things, Zhu Xiaobao began to prepare the ingredients. Unexpectedly, Lu Tong's knife skills were very exquisite, evenly forceful and very fast. However, she did it with the help of her internal strength. But this already made Zhu Xiaobao very good. I am satisfied. I have a good helper by my side. Sister Lu, please stay and help me. Besides, I also need the protection of female guards. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile, having become very familiar with Lu Tong and Lu Fang in the past few days. Go and tell the princess what we meant. Lu Tong and Lu Fang whispered shyly, liking Xiu Xiu. They also like life here very much. It feels like I'm exposed to something new every day. Hey! Okay! If I'm in danger then, you guys have to protect me! Zhu Xiaobao said shamelessly, not feeling embarrassed at all. Um! Ying Xiu Xiu was happy and a little worried at the same time. The three of them were not so monotonous together. But there was a more sour feeling in her heart. This feeling made Ying Xiu Xiu very uneasy. Since the last time I reported to the princess about Croton, Zhu Xiaobao seemed to be a little distant from him. Ying Xiu Xiu felt a little helpless and confused. Did she do something wrong? Not long after, Wu accompanied Duan Mu Qi and actually arrived. Duan Muki came to deliver spices to the 19th princess's mansion. By the way, he also had some questions that he wanted to ask Zhu Xiaobao for advice. So as soon as he came in, he asked everyone by name to see Zhu Xiaobao. Even Chief Wu doesn't need to accompany him. This is the person from the Seventh Princess Mansion, who is very domineering and anti-customer. It's really hard for Mr. Wu to object. Princess 19 is not here today. She has gone to the palace. So Chief Wu has no choice but to follow Duan Mu Qi's wishes. Duan Mu Qi was very kind when he saw Wu Yu and asked Wu Yu to accompany him. Isn't Wu Yu Xiaobao's fiancé? Xia Shinar asked Wu Yu to be more approachable. That's why Duan Muki decided this. Zhu Xiaobao did not change into chef clothes today, but put on steward clothes, a dark green outfit, which makes him look a bit more distinguished. It's also worthy of Wu Yu. Ha ha ha! Wu Xiaobao! Taoists don't come and thieves come! Duan Muki was in a good mood and sang with a smile as soon as they met. The wise should not enter, but the idol should enter! Ji Ji Sheng also immediately followed. After Zhu Xiaobao heard this, he just came out of the room and immediately turned back to close the door. Thief? Idle person? Whoever entertains you. I won't welcome you. Slow down. Slow down. What I'm saying is that thieves don't come. Taoists come. Taoists. Virtuous people. Duan Muki quickly took a step forward and said, What I also said is that idlers are not allowed to enter. Only sages are allowed to enter. Sages. Sages and sages. Ji Ji Sheng also explained complacently. Raise yourself to the level of a sage. Yes. Come in. Zhu Xiaobao nodded with a smile. Opened the door again and made a sign to come in. At this point, Duan Muki no longer had any airs of superiority, but was very casual. The couplet with Ji Zhishan also made him very comfortable. But Zhu Xiaobao's reaction still surprised him. 
This little fat guy also has some talents. I completely understand what it means. Sitting together again. Chatting over wine and feasting. Duanmuchi enjoyed his meal very much. Without the princess around, he relaxed even more. And he also specially brought two jars of good wine. Because today I have something to ask for from Wu Xiaobao. But Ji Jixing was indeed a bit aggressive today. Last time, he was forced by Duan Muki and the seventh princess to the point where he almost couldn't answer. There were two of them today. So Ji Jixing started to attack Duan Muki, picked up the wine glass and said, Ice cold wine. One point. Two points. Three points. Well, hundreds of lilac flowers. How about it? Duan Muchi pondered for a moment and then calmly wrote the second couplet. Wonderful. Mr. Duanmu is really talented. Please. Ji Jishi also picked up the bowl in admiration and drank it all in one gulp. Lamps on all sides. With a single layer of gauze. Are brilliant. Shining all over the southeast and northwest. Duanmuchi also drank a bowl of wine and followed up with a couplet. Let me think about it. Here we are. One year of study. Eight ounces of money. Hard work. And all the spring. Summer. Autumn and winter. Ji Jishin got it right. This was his personal experience when he was studying. So it's easy to get right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Ji is indeed extraordinary. Duan Muchi also praised continuously. Zhu Xiaobao next to him also listened with interest. But he couldn't speak. He couldn't be too ostentatious. He was already very noticeable. However, that didn't stop him from enjoying the fun and taking a sip of wine from time to time. Duan Muki and Ji Jishin are also matched in chess. And no one can defeat the other. But in the end, Duan Muki published a couplet that stumped Ji Z. Tune the piano. Tune the new tune. 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 After several adjustments in a row, Ji Jisheng lost his direction. After thinking about it for a long time, he couldn't figure it out. Ji Jisheng kept looking at Zhu Xiaobao. But Zhu Xiaobao was still there, lowering his head to taste the wine. As if he didn't want to talk to him, Ji Jisheng really stood up, scratching his head, and walked around, mainly around Zhu Xiaobao, and even kicked him very covertly which meant to ask Zhu Xiaobao to help him come up with a second line. But will you also quietly step on Zhu Xiaobao's feet? Even though this girl was usually very straightforward, she also knew the importance. She had already received the instructions from the 19th princess, and she couldn't let Zhu Xiaobao stand out too much. She knows Zhu Xiaobao's ability in couplets. Therefore, Wu is now reminding Zhu Xiaobao. Du and Muki looked at Ji Jisheng in surprise, not understanding what he was wandering around Zhu Xiaobao. Even Wu Yu's expression is strange. So he said with a smile, Mr. G, come and have a drink. This kind of couplet is nothing more than a fun addition to the game. No need to worry about it. No. 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 I can't match your match for the time being. So I'll give you a couplet. If you can beat me, I'll lose. Listen up, by the street. Huang Blacksmith. Makes a red furnace. Burns black charcoal. Emitting green smoke. Flashing blue light. Tempering purple iron. Sitting north and facing south to hit things. Ji Jisheng said a little eagerly. And he had already read it out regardless of whether Duan Muki wanted it or not. As soon as this couplet came out, Zhu Xiaobao and Wu both looked at Ji Z in surprise. They both knew this couplet. Wasn't it Zhu Xiaobao who came up against me in the first place? Zhu Xiaobao was thinking, could you be any more shameless? Using my pair to make up the numbers? Hey, this old man can't stand up to me and no one should be able to stand up to him. Is this the first couplet that Mr. G came up with? It's absolutely absolute. Duan Muchi recited it silently several times carefully and took a breath. The first couplet was too difficult, and he would definitely not be able to cope with it. So he was very calm and directly admitted that he could not cope with it. His magnanimity is much higher than that of Ji Jisheng. Humph! Well, I am the one who came up with the first line. As for the second line, Someone has already matched it. No matter how thick-skinned Ji Jishi is, he dare not say that he has matched the second line. He still has a certain amount of money. Broken. Ha ha. Okay. Let me go back and think about it. 
How about a tie today? Duanmuchi laughed. Okay. Okay. Mr. Duanmu. It's not that I'm looking down on you. You definitely can't stand up to me. Ji Jisheng looked proud again at this time. Try it. Duanmuchi said lightly. But in his heart, he didn't like Ji Jisheng. When he was right, he would be arrogant. And when he was wrong, he would be angry. And I feel a little anxious. At this point, the couplet can't continue anymore. Duan Muki didn't want to play anymore. He still had important things to ask Zhu Xiaobao. Zhu Xiaobao also breathed a sigh of relief. He was also afraid that Ji Jisheng would stab him out in a hurry. Now I am finally relieved. But something unexpected happened. Unexpectedly, Lu Tong came out from behind the house on his bicycle. And Lu Fang was chasing after him. It's my turn. You've been riding for so long. I'll ride one more lap. Lu Tong had just learned how to ride a bicycle. And she was still unsatisfied and didn't want to get off yet. But then the two of them discovered that they had unknowingly ridden the bike in the front yard. And couldn't help but feel a little flustered. Zhu Xiaobao deliberately hid the bike in the backyard. But he didn't expect that he was so happy that he completely forgot about it. Huh? What is this? Why can you ride on two wheels without falling down? Duimuki was so surprised that he dropped the chopsticks in his hand and looked straight at the strange car. Oh, this is a wooden donkey. No need to eat grass. No need to mate. Ji Jisheng said immediately from the side. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly felt a little embarrassed. This grandson can't speak more elegantly. I have been thinking about mating all day long. We looked at Zhu Xiaobao angrily and couldn't help shouting. Isn't this called a bicycle? Why has it turned into a female donkey? Yes. It's a wooden donkey. Not a female donkey. Zhu Xiaobao stammered. Come on. Come on. Bring the donkey over and let me take a look. Duan Muqi also shouted. Okay. The whole thing is in chaos. Chapter 52 Visit C. Duan Muki was immediately interested. In fact, he had no special interest in eating. But he was very interested in this kind of mechanical manufacturing. Many siege equipment in the army were improved by him and even the battle equipment was improved by him. The catapult on the ship was also improved by him. It was one-third smaller in size, but its power was not reduced at all. So when Duanmuchi saw this bicycle, he was very surprised and immediately thought whether it could be used in the army. After all, he was the staff of the seventh princess and was preparing for war all the time. Duanmuki gave it a try, only to find that this thing was not that easy to master. Even though the two female guards were riding easily, it was not the same when it was his turn. What principle is this? Two supporting points should be untenable. Duimuki is still very good at discussing problems theoretically. Yeah. It should be said that there are three support points. Three points determine a plane. Whichever direction the car falls, you turn in that direction. It is equivalent to a dynamic three support points. This is the principle. Zhu Xiaobao is very happy. He said calmly. There is no point in being secretive now. Duimuki is simply a good person. He should simply act more generous. Besides, this thing is just a plaything. It costs high and has high requirements on roads. It doesn't have much use value. Oh, that's it. I'll try again. Although Duimuki is already over 50 years old, he is very agile and likes to try these new things. Zhu Xiaobao was very surprised next. After riding for a while, Duimuki actually figured out the trick. The more he rode, the more comfortable he got. And in the end, he was able to ride, go, very proficiently. Unfortunately, the speed is too slow, and it is too slender to carry too much weight. Duanmuki said with a little regret. He immediately discovered the shortcomings of this kind of bicycle. If it wants to be able to bear the load, the weight of the bicycle may be too heavy. Gotta double it. That would be too heavy. By this time, Duanmuchi had almost finished eating and asked to see Zhu Xiubao's bathroom. Didn't he want to help the seventh princess make one too? So he wanted to study it more carefully. Ji Jisheng was no longer interested in this aspect. He did not follow him. But was very interested in learning to ride a bicycle from the two female guards. Wu Yu has been following Zhu Xiaobao. She has the responsibility to watch over Zhu Xiaobao. This is a task assigned by the princess. It was also what her father, General Manager Wu, had repeatedly warned. After careful study, Duanmuchi felt that there was no big problem. But there was one problem that was a bit difficult to solve. There was no creek in the seventh princess's house. Besides, she couldn't move out of her current residence just for a toilet. The seventh princess's residence was built at a huge cost. And it is impossible to move it casually. Besides, 
It is a feng shui treasure that has been seen by a feng shui master. Xiao Bao, I still have a problem that I can't solve. What can you do? Duan Muki was very polite to Zhu Xiao Bao. No airs at all. What's the problem? Zhu Xiao Bao felt that everything was ready now, and it was time to start work. There is no creek next to the princess's room. This makes me very troubled. Isn't it necessary to dig out a creek? Duan Muqi said a little depressed. Ha ha ha. It's easy. If there is no creek, is there anyone? Unexpectedly, Zhu Xiaobao burst out laughing, and Duan Mu Qi was also trapped in his thoughts by the creek. Of course, there are 600 servants in the seventh princess's mansion alone. If you include the guards, there are almost 3,000 people, Duan Mu Qi said matter-of-factly. But it was strange why Zhu Xiaobao asked this. Could these people be allowed to do so? To fetch water? Duan Mu Qi was vaguely inspired and thought of something. That's it. Put a pipe under a big wooden bucket filled with water on the roof of the princess's bathroom and connect it to the bathroom. Then it's... Okay, Zhu Xiaobao said with determination. I thought about this method, but I can't control the water in the bucket. It keeps flowing into the bathroom even when it's not in use. Although it eventually flows into the toilet. It's too troublesome. No. In a few hours, we will have to climb to the roof to add water to the bucket. And there will be noise, which will affect the princess rest. Duan Muqi still shook his head. It's easy. Make a floating ball. After the toilet below is flushed, the liquid level decreases, the floating ball sinks, and the water outlet is opened. The water flows into the small bucket above the toilet. When the water is full, the floating ball rises. Naturally, the wooden plug will block the water outlet, thus solving your problem. Zhu Xiaobao is similar to Duan Muqi. When talking about these mechanical manufacturing processes, he is also very interested. It's really painful when a person is too outstanding. Sometimes there is no one who can discuss it. So now Zhu Xiaobao and Duan Muqi are chatting very speculatively. He also found a writing brush and drew a simple diagram on the wooden board. Duan Muqi understood it at a glance. It's really a clever idea. Xiaobao, if you go to the seventh princess, I guarantee that you can become a successful person. Duan Muqi was so amazed. I can't help but want to recruit Zhu Xiaobao. If such a person comes to the seventh princess, then the seventh princess's dominance will definitely have a better chance of winning. Uh, Mr. Duan Mu, thank you for your respect. But I just want to live my own life peacefully. As you can see, I will do things for pleasure. I am not good at anything else. I don't have martial arts. And I can only do archery. Thirty steps away. I'm still afraid of death. So I don't want to be successful. I just want to live an easy life. So I'm afraid I will disappoint my husband. Only then did Zhu Xiaobao realize that he was performing too well. And there was nothing he could do about it. Once a person is smart, he cannot hide it even if he wants to. If he is not careful, his wisdom will shine through. Please ask Mr. Duan Mu to help me and Xiaobao. Unexpectedly, Wu suddenly said nervously at this time. And he said it very seriously and with great emotion. Was he really into the drama? Zhu Xiaobao looked a little dazed. Oh. 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 I was negligent. Alas. It's a pity that such talents cannot be used to their fullest potential. However, you two little friends are quite a match. Duan Muqi also said in surprise. And in the end, he was very optimistic about Zhu. What Xiaobao and Wu Yue look like? These were not just polite words. At the beginning, Duan Muqi and the seventh princess felt that Zhu Xiaobao and Wu Yue were not a good match at all. But now Duan Muqi feels that the two of them are a good match. One is civil and one is military. One is in charge of internal affairs, and the other is in charge of external affairs. Although Wu Yu looks more like the future head of the family, this is not surprising. Women in this world are inherently strong, and many couples are dominated by women. Thank you, Mr. Duan Mu. Wu Yu said with a deep bow. Forget it. We are destined to be together. I have a set of Yuan Yang sword skills here. I'll give them to you too. Remember, don't tell anyone else. Although Duan Muqi was a little disappointed, he didn't force it. And he also took it from his arms. He took out a brocade silk, which was densely written with the Yuan Yang sword's knife skills, as well as auxiliary diagrams. It seems that this set of knife skills is not simple. Thank you, Mr. Duan Mu. Does this require two people to practice? Wu Yu was delighted to see Lai Xian, but immediately saw the gist of it. Yes. I also got it by chance, but it seems a bit difficult to practice. 
and it requires two people to have a good understanding of each other to exert great power. But if this set of swordsmanship can be practiced to perfection, it will be invincible in the world. Mu, She said with a bit of regret, because he was alone. Even if he found a female warrior to practice with him, there was no big gain. So this sword technique has always been useless. Although he failed to recruit Dao Zhu Xiaobao, Guanmu Chi still felt that he had gained a lot from this trip. The working principle of the floating ball could be applied to other places. And now, he had completely solved the problem of making a toilet for the seventh princess. After chatting for a while, Duan Muki was surprised to find that he was mostly asking Zhu Xiaobao for advice. On the contrary, Zhu Xiaobao didn't have many questions. At most, he only asked about the attack range of catapults and warships. And lethality. This should be a general curiosity. Normal people will have this curiosity. In the end, Duan Muqi said goodbye reluctantly. The conversation with Zhu Xiaobao was very innovative. And many viewpoints made him suddenly enlightened. This Zhu Xiaobao is really very imaginative. But Duan Muqi no longer wanted to tell Zhu Xiaobao and Zhao Lando about his camp. He actually had a very good impression of Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao and didn't want to break them up. In addition, there was also a worry that made Duan Muki give up recruiting Zhu Xiaobao. Because Zhu Xiaobao was so good at making delicious food. If he really recruited him to the seventh princess's house, he was afraid that the seventh princess would not have the time to take care of the government and spend all day diving into the delicious food. A woman's obsession with delicious food is terrifying. After sending Duan Muqi away, Wu Yu finally breathed a sigh of relief. His mission was completed well. This is Wu Yu's evaluation of herself. In fact, Wu Yu's mood is also very strange. She doesn't like Zhu Xiaobao at all. But whenever others have Zhu Xiaobao's ideas, Wu Yu becomes very nervous and very angry. Wu Yu explained to herself that she was watching over Zhu Xiaobao for the princess. Back in Zhu Xiaobao's room, Zhu Xiaobao was carefully copying down on paper the knife skills of the Yuanong knife given to them by Duan Muqi. This kind of brocade silk was inconvenient to use. The characters on it are also too small. So it's much easier to read on paper. What are you doing? You don't know martial arts. Will you ask curiously? Sister, this is the Yuanong sword. It requires two people to practice it together. Look, this is the sword technique you practice. And this is the sword technique I practice. Then when we work together, we will be invincible in the world. Zhu Xiaobao waved his chubby sword. Said the fist. Who wants to practice with you? Just like you. You can't even hold a knife. How can you practice? Well, you couldn't help scolding, saying that when Zhu Xiaobao practices martial arts, it's like the sun rising from the west. It doesn't matter. I will make myself a lighter knife. Besides, you could only practice with me. Didn't Wan Muqi say that it is not allowed to be spread to outsiders? The most important thing for people in the martial arts is credibility. You should you don't want to practice with other people. Do you? Who is it? Let's see if I don't kill him. Zhu Xiaobao shouted exaggeratedly, puffing out his chest. Stop talking nonsense. I don't have anyone else. Wu Yu looked at Zhu Xiaobao and couldn't help laughing and scolded him. Sister, do you really want to marry me? Unexpectedly, Zhu Xiaobao asked seriously. Roll. Chapter 53 Yuan on Knife, A. Hey. Zhu Xiaobao was confused by Wu Yu's decisive attitude and asked in confusion. Isn't it bad to be with me? Is it because I am a slave? Wu Yu did regard Zhu Xiaobao's slave status as an insurmountable obstacle in her heart. But now she also knew to avoid this topic. Shook her head and said, No. The person I want to drive. Wu Yu. Can the general who charged in front of the two armies and killed the enemy with great merit. That is the hero I admire. Wu Yu said with a long and fascinated expression. This was indeed her dream since childhood. It was also because of the influence of Chief Wu that she always felt that the person she wanted to marry should be like her father. Zhu Xiaobao curled his lips and snorted disdainfully. The courage of an ordinary man is nothing. Do you know what it means to strategize and win a thousand miles? The bravery of an ordinary man? In this attack, six of my guards were killed and eleven injured. If it were someone like you, not to mention fifty, even five hundred would have been killed. Are you still planning a strategy? Stop putting gold on your face. Will you said even more disdainfully? Uh, okay. I admit that knowing martial arts is sometimes useful. So I'm going to practice this Yuanong knife technique now. This is practiced by two people together. You have to practice with me. Zhu Xiaobao Wu Yu was choked and speechless. Indeed, in an emergency, 
it is indeed very dangerous for someone with no martial arts skills like him. Hey, little brother, even this set of sword skills requires a knife. You can't even lift it to practice. So how can you practice it? We well, didn't want to practice this set of sword skills with Yu Xiaobao at all. Materials for martial arts training. That means an excellent cook. Hee <laughs> hee. I use this. Zhu Xiaobao actually took out his kitchen knife, waved it in the air, and then said proudly, although it is a bit short, this is a top quality kitchen knife. I named it Lung Yu's Great Sword. Go away. If you dare to engrave these five words on it, I will tear down your house. Wu Yu was immediately furious. Forget about Lung Yu's small sword. This guy had to go too far. A kitchen knife actually dared to weigh. Lung Yu's Great Sword. Yeah, that's right. This kitchen knife is a bit overkill as a weapon. I'll open the furnace again in two days and make a tailor-made knife for me. Zhu Xiaobao didn't insist anymore, but thought for a while before deciding make yourself a knife. Although it is not strong enough, you can make a lighter knife. After completely transcribing Duan Muki's Yuanong sword technique, Zhu Xiaobao realized that he didn't need to read this secret book at all. He had memorized it completely. Now my memory is getting stronger and stronger and it has reached the point of photographic memory. The next day, Wu Yu had no choice but to practice the Yuan Nong sword with Zhu Xiaobao. There was nothing she could do about it. Since she agreed not to spread the word, she could only practice with Zhu Xiaobao. But this arrival and departure secret book is not that simple. There are many parts that need to be pondered and understood by yourself. Especially the footwork, which is very strange, and it always feels like you can't hit the right step. The cooperation between the two is also very awkward. The most important thing is that this set of swordsmanship requires men to be in the outer circle and women to be in the inner circle. Whether it is offense or defense, the male swordsmanship is the main one, and the female swordsman is used to pick up the missing items. The role of filling gaps. This forced Zhu Xiaobao to keep moving and killing around Wu Yu. As a result, Zhu Xiaobao was out of breath from exhaustion, while Wu Yu basically didn't sweat much and the Yuanyang sword used by the two of them had no lethality at all. It looked like Zhu Xiaobao was running around Wu Yu desperately. No more practice. There's no lethality at all. And the footwork is messy. You're simply stepping on the wrong foot. Wu Yu jumped out very dissatisfied, yelling, This set of sword skills is inferior to hers. The power of Wu Feng Dao is too far behind. That's right. It shouldn't be like this. Didn't Duimuki say that if you practice to a great extent, you can be invincible in the world. This step is also a bit strange. Let me study it carefully. Xu Xiaobao was lying on the ground. Very helpless. I was gasping for air. I am so short. But I actually want me to surround Wu Yu. And I am also the main attacker. This is too hacking flattering to me. If you go out to fight, you won't be killed with a knife. What Duimuki said is a legend. No one has ever practiced it. Wu Yu looked at Xu Xiaobao lying there, feeling a little helpless. Still want to practice the Yuanong sword like this? I've thought about it. So we are practicing in the wrong direction. You should practice men's swordsmanship. And I should practice women's swordsmanship. Zhu Xiaobao said shamelessly, not feeling embarrassed at all. Originally, this world is dominated by whoever is stronger. Of course, when Zhu Xiaobao said strong, he was referring to his strength and physical condition. Humph! You are really self-aware. Wu Yu snorted and nodded with some recognition. She also discovered that Zhu Xiaobao was not suitable for practicing men's sword skills at all. After this conversion, the two of them were able to cooperate. Zhu Xiaobao seemed to be taking a leisurely stroll in the middle. It was much more relaxed. However, the footwork was still a bit messy. The two of them stopped at the end of the practice because the two of them moved using the footwork. They bumped into each other. No more practice. I thought Duanmuki really gave us a set of peerless sword skills. But I didn't expect that he was just fooling people. Hey, Zhu Xiaobao, did you hear what I said? Wu Yu shouted angrily, and then suddenly found out Zhu Xiaobao sat there and did not respond to her, but drew something famous on the ground. It seems to be drawing a picture. Don't make any noise. Don't make any noise. I really want to find some way. Let me think about it carefully at night, and I will tell you tomorrow. Zhu Xiaobao waved his hands perfunctorily. Wu Yu was stunned after hearing this. How dare he? A person who doesn't know martial arts. Say that he has found a way? Isn't this a joke? But looking at Zhu Xiaobao's serious look, Wu Yu had a feeling that Zhu Xiaobao was the most charming at this time. Every time this happened, Zhu Xiaobao would come up with something very novel. Although Wu Yu did not admit it, 
she was still looking forward to it in her heart. Dinner was very simple. Xu Xiaobao seemed to be focusing all his attention on studying the set of Yuan Yang knives. And Wu Yu also went back early. Because Xu Xiaobao was very quiet at this time, and did not come out. He was writing and drawing in the room alone. The next day, Zhu Xiaobao slept until almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Not to mention, after practicing sword skills for a while yesterday, Zhu Xiaobao's whole body ached. This thing is still very energy consuming. However, Zhu Xiaobao recovered quickly. After a good sleep, there was no problem. And he felt very energetic. It seems that life lies in movement. This sentence still makes sense. After lunch, Zhu Xiaobao rode his bicycle to the martial arts field again. And Wu Yu was leading the guards to practice harder. She had no intention of practicing the Yuan Yang sword with Zhu Xiaobao again. It was really not very powerful. And Wu Yu had no interest in it anymore. But I didn't expect that Zhu Xiaobao still came. Every time they saw Zhu Xiaobao, the female guards looked at Wu Yu and snickered. This made Wu Yu very angry. But there was nothing she could do about it. Zhu Xiaobao was a very good member of this group of female guards. Actually, many people support Zhu Xiaobao. Yeah, yeah. I'm here again. I've already figured it out. Do you want to go back with me and practice again? Zhu Xiaobao was still so shameless and shouted in a very disgusting way. Shut up. If you dare to call me that again, I won't cut out your tongue. Wu Yu shouted angrily. What a big deal. As soon as he came, the female guards around him were covering their mouths and laughing. And this title is too disgusting. Okay. I won't bark anymore. You can come with me. Zhu Xiaobao said in a good temper. No. Go back. Don't affect our training. Wu Yu said impatiently. Then I asked someone else to practice with me. Don't regret it. I'll go back and find Ying Xiu Xiu to practice with me. Zhu Xiaobao said softly. How dare you. Mr. Guanmu said not to pass it on to outsiders. Wu Yu suddenly felt anxious and said harshly. Of course. The two of them were communicating in a low voice at this time. Yes. I won't pass it on to outsiders. So I can turn Ying Xiu Xiu into an insider. Isn't this the end of it? Zhu Xiaobao said shaking his head. As if he just came to inform Wu Yu. He turned around and prepared to ride back. Stop. Don't practice with Ying Xiu Xiu. Wu Yu angrily chased after her from behind. Then you come back with me. Sister. It's rare for me to learn some sword skills. Can't you cooperate so that I can save my life? Zhu Xiaobao said plausibly. Damn Zhu Xiaobao. Let's see what you ever searched. If it's still the same as yesterday, I won't punish you. Wu Yu had no choice but to follow Zhu Xiaobao's car. The two of them were quite interesting. One was riding a bicycle, and the other was walking beside him. But their speeds were indeed about the same. But Zhu Xiaobao seemed more relaxed. Come down. I'll ride. Wu Yu picked up Zhu Xiaobao and said domineeringly, Hey. Hey. Don't you know how to ride? Zhu Xiaobao asked to Presley. He was still in the car just now. But in the blink of an eye, he was standing on the ground. Is my weight so light that I can lift it with just one hand? You don't know how to teach me. Anyway, I don't care. I have to learn it before I get to your house. Otherwise, you won't be able to practice or practice today. We looked around and saw that there was no one around. And immediately showed her true self. With the advantage. Now Zhu Xiaobao has to be obedient. Otherwise, a beating will be inevitable. Okay. Be cruel. Zhu Xiaobao looked around. But there was nothing he could do. There was not even a single figure. So he could only follow Wu Yu's wishes. It took more than an hour to get there after more than 10 minutes of walking. Zhu Xiaobao was almost exhausted. But Wu Yu was very happy because she could already ride the bike proficiently. Zhu Xiaobao followed him and ran back at the last bit of the road. Take it out. Let me see what tricks you have come up with. Wu Yu asked with a relaxed expression. She is in a much better mood now. At least she has learned how to ride a bicycle during this trip. Just wait. I'll bring it right away. Zhu Xiaobao said mysteriously. Then turned around and ran back to his room and took out a picture. A circle is drawn on it. And there is an S-shaped line in the middle that divides the circle into black and white halves. But there is a white dot in the black center. And a black dot in the white center. It looks mysterious. What is this? Wu Yu asked curiously. This is what I have researched. It is the greatest and most mysterious picture of this century. Its value far exceeds that of ceiling fans and flush toilets. This picture is called the Tai Chi Yin and Yang Diagram. Chapter 54 Yuan Yang Knife B. We looked at the picture carefully again. Although it was a bit mysterious, there was nothing special about it. He couldn't help but said, 
What kind of Tai Chi diagram is this? What's the use? Is it the greatest and most fantasy? I think it's not as useful as a piece of toilet paper. You? Hey, you are so ignorant. The secret of Yuan on knife's footwork is in this picture. Zhu Xiaobao almost exploded with anger. Such a mysterious picture is not as good as a piece of toilet paper? This bitch is so ignorant. Then tell me, what is the use of this picture? Wei was still a little curious. She knew Zhu Xiaobao's intelligence quite well. So she was still a little interested. You come with me. Zhu Xiaobao pulled Wei to the front yard like a treasure. A large circle with a diameter of 10 meters has been drawn on the ground. Separated by white ash. It's an enlarged version of Tai Chi Zin and Yang diagram. Wei stood a little confused in the Tai Chi Yin and Yang diagram. She didn't know what this had to do with practicing the Yuan Yang knife. Look, from here on, every time you reach a point where you change direction, you have to return to the line on this picture. Although I am in the middle, I always follow this curve. I studied all night and found that all the steps will return to this Tai Chi Yin and Yang diagram when changing direction. Zhu Xiaobao said very proudly. He studied all night last night. And now very much looking forward to the results. How is this possible? I can't keep looking at this picture to move. Wu asked very puzzledly. Although Zhu Xiaobao's statement made her feel a little bit. She was still a little unsure about how to move. Come on. Come on. You start practicing first and I will give you some pointers. Zhu Xiaobao said very enthusiastically. He didn't know if his idea was right. But judging from this picture, he should have found a way. Wu drew out her single sword and started practicing with a starting position. Her eyes still staring at the diagram on the ground. At the critical moment, Zhu Xiaobao suddenly pointed at a point on the Tai Chi diagram and shouted, This. Step on this. Will you consciously follow Zhu Xiaobao's instructions and turn around to step on it? Then a very strange thing happened. There was no need to withdraw the old sword. Because this turn was already the starting point of the next move. Style. This is equivalent to relying on this weird movement technique to make his own moves suddenly become weird and erratic. Ah. How could this happen? Come again. Wu was very surprised. If this was a confrontation with the enemy, how terrifying it would be to suddenly use such a move. The move that had not been used yet was suddenly ready to go. How difficult it must be to defend against that opponent. Okay. Come on. Come on. Zhu Xiaobao also became energetic and shouted excitedly. After practicing for more than 20 times in a row, we became more and more surprised by this kind of movement. If she was skilled in using it, even if she was not using the Yuan Ong sword. Her sword skills would become mysterious and powerful because of this kind of footwork. Big increase. Ah ha ha. Yeah yeah. You can't do anything else. But you are really a genius in martial arts. Come. Give us a hug for our success. Zhu Xiaobao shouted very happily. Opening his arms. Hoping to take advantage. Wei was in a good mood now. So she didn't get angry. But as soon as she stretched out her hand to hold down Zhu Xiaobao's head. Zhu Xiaobao could no longer come in front of her. His hands were pulling back and forth. Can't touch Wu Yu. There's no way this is the advantage of height and long arms. Xiaobao. Then how should you move your footwork? And have your moves become more powerful? Wu Yu asked again at this time. The Yuanong sword. Of course. Only two people can use it to call it a Yuanong. Knife. Well, I mainly want to step on the curve in the middle. The rest is the same as yours. Just to match your sword skills. If you use this move, I must use this move. Zhu Xiaobao will see if he can take advantage of it. It's cheap. Stop making trouble. And start trying your own knife skills and footwork. Although they had mastered the footwork at the beginning, the two of them were not very skilled in coordinating their moves. This was mainly because Zhu Xiaobao's foundation was too poor, and he could not keep up with Wu Yu's rhythm. However, after practicing for an afternoon, they finally had a tacit understanding. Each other began to know where to go, and which move to use. It was evening before she knew it. And Wu Yi was very surprised. She didn't expect that the half day would end so quickly. It seemed that she hadn't had much fun yet. And there are still many questions to discuss with Zhu Xiaobao. Progress in martial arts also requires constant exploration and discussion. Not to mention the Yuan Yang sword still requires tacit cooperation between the two. Zhu Xiaobao is already too tired to do anymore. How can his physical strength be compared with Wu Yu's? Sister, let's get to this point. I really can't do it anymore. I'm not as strong as you. My physical strength. Zhu Xiaobao finally had no choice but to beg for mercy. Huh? 
It's really useless. You still want to practice swordsmanship like this? Wu snorted with disdain. But she stopped. In fact, Zhu Shiba's progress shocked her. For a person who doesn't know how to do martial arts, it was actually able to look impressive. And Zhu Shiba's footwork was also particularly good. Even more accurate than Wu Yu's. So many times it was Zhu Xiaobao who reminded Wu Yu of his mistakes in positioning. I know I can't compete with you. How about I practice female swordsmanship? Okay. I'm happy today. I'll treat you to dinner. Just tell me what you want to eat. I'll let Xiu Xiu and Lu Tong prepare it. Zhu Xiaobao said very sincerely. Now that he has three female guards under his command, he no longer needs to do many things himself. He only needs to use his mouth to do it. This feeling makes Yu Xiaobao very satisfied. It's good to have someone under his command. I don't want to go through too much trouble today. I also want to discuss the Yuanong knife with you. Whatever you want. Unexpectedly, Wu Yu didn't have the same enthusiasm as before. It turned out that today her thoughts were all on this set of sword techniques. And she had already completely penetrated it. So I'm not that interested in food anymore. Okay. I still have some soy sauce beef here. I'll fry two more vegetarian dishes. Let's eat in the room. Let's chat while eating. Zhu Xiaobao couldn't help but admire him a little. Wu Yu was still very persistent in practicing martial arts. Little did he know that Wu Yu could greatly improve his martial arts with this strange set of footwork. Now she can feel that her martial arts skills should have reached the peak of a second level warrior. If she encounters Gao Taiwa again now, Wu Yu is confident that she can easily defeat her instead of relying on the sharpness of the sword. While Zhu Xiaobao went to cook, Wu Yu also quickly washed up. She was sweating for a long time. Even if the beauty was sweating, she still felt uncomfortable. So we washed up in the bathroom. Unknowingly, we became more and more casual with Yu Xiaobao. And even she herself didn't realize this. When dinner was ready, Xu Xiaobao and Wu Yu ate alone in the room. Isn't that why it can't be spread externally? So the two of them ate separately from Ying Xiaoxiao and the others. This made both Ying Xiaoxiao and Lu Tong and Lu Fan a little disappointed. Wu Yu is still higher than them and has a different status. They have nothing to complain about. They are just a little disappointed. Xiao Bao! There is another very important question now. The Tai Chi diagram is painted on the ground. But where did it come from during the war? You can't draw one in advance? Right. Wu Yu asked while eating. Even though it was just a simple meal. There were three dishes. One soup. And a large pot of beef with soy sauce weighing two kilograms. Next to it is a jar of wine sent by the seventh princess, which Zhu Xiaobao kept privately. I actually took them all out today. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao team member Wu Yu really cares about her. Even though he is usually noisy, he really cares about Wu Yu in his heart. He! I have thought of this problem a long time ago. In fact, there is no need to worry about it. When you practice to a certain level, you will find that you don't need this picture at all. There is no picture on the ground. But there is a picture in your mind. Wherever you flash. Wherever there will be an invisible Tai Chi Yin and Yang diagram. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. Really? Why is this happening? Wu Yu was a little confused after hearing this. This seemed a bit too mysterious. I can't say for sure. It's just like there is a connection between two people. It's all the same feeling. And the highest state of the Yuan Nong sword is this feeling. In fact, we have just started to have that feeling of connection. Zhu Xiaobao said with certainty. Ba! You are so beautiful. Who has such a connection with you? Wu Yu's face turned red, and she couldn't help scolding her in a sweet voice. It would be terrible if I didn't have this feeling. I'm counting on this set of sword skills to save my life. Zhu Xiaobao sighed helplessly. You should quickly replace your kitchen knife with a regular knife. It doesn't look pleasing to the eye. Wu Yu said dissatisfied. Zhu Xiaobao's kitchen knife is too short and cannot be used against the enemy. This is exactly what I want to do next. In fact, my swordsmanship is not bad. Come on. Sister, drink. This is the seventh princess's wine. I don't even want to take it out. Zhu Xiaobao offered it to Wu Yuman very attentively. Superior. Unknowingly, the two of them were chatting very enthusiastically and drinking happily. And they were actually a little drunk. Zhu Xiaobao finally lay on Wu Yu's body. And Wu Yu said vaguely, Actually, it's nice to be with you. I can eat delicious food every day. If only you could be stronger. It's good for us to be together. You are good at martial arts. But very stupid. I am poor at martial arts. But very smart. What are you doing? Don't catch me. Hmm. Well, 
I'm practicing my grappling skills. I'm going to sleep. Stop making trouble. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Early the next morning, we woke up and was alerted that a hand actually reached into her arms. She actually touched it. This made Wu Yu suddenly shocked and angry. But when she lowered her head, she saw that Zhu Xiaobao he was sleeping very soundly, with a mouthful of laughter still in his mouth, and a look of satisfaction on his face. Wu Yu stretched out her hand to hit him, but suddenly her hand stopped in midair, and then slowly took out Zhu Xiaobao's thieving hand. Then Wu Yu got up and went to the bathroom, sitting on the toilet and hesitating. Do you want to teach this damn little fat guy a lesson? But it seems that the scene just now was not intentional. And if there really was a commotion, Ying Xiaoxiao and the others would have known about it. Wu Yu was in a dilemma. After thinking for a long time, she still remained silent and acted as if nothing had happened. However, when the two started practicing Yuanong knife again, things became very weird. Wu Yu was a little distracted, and she was even avoiding Zhu Xiaobao's eyes. On the contrary, it made Zhu Xiaobao a little confused. However, the two people's Mandarin duck sword footwork took a step forward. Zhu Xiaobao followed Wu Yu like a follower, and his steps were very accurate. Wu Yu was often a little surprised. Zhu Xiaobao seemed to move very quickly. I don't want to be a fat little fat guy at all. Xiao Xiao, the three of you will practice with us today. Wu Yu wanted to test the lethality of this set of Yuanyang knives. Chapter 55 Yuanyang Knife C. Wu Yu, Ying Xiao Xiao, Lu Tong and Lu Fang all put on wooden knives and wooden swords. Ying Xiao Xiao also put on a long wooden stick with the top wrapped in a piece of red cloth, which turned into a spear. Otherwise, you will often get really injured during practice. But this kind of competition is no worse than a real battle, because there is no mercy under Wu Yu. But once the fight broke out, the three of them surrounded Wu Yu and attacked, while Zhu Xiaobao had nothing to do. He basically just walked around in the garden, and occasionally got slashed with a knife. Ying Xiao Xiao also easily dodged it. Not fight him. But the three of them were still sweating profusely from being killed by Wu Yu. Because Wu Yu's movement was so weird. It was completely different from before. And they couldn't adapt to it for a while. It took more than a dozen moves to get used to it. The counterattack began. But the strength of counterattack is limited. Stop! What are you doing? If this were on the battlefield, you would have been dead long ago. I want you to use all your skills. I am not your leader. And he is not Zhu Xiaobao. You should treat it like a, a powerful enemy of life and death. If you don't fight seriously, I will expel you all. Wu Yu jumped out of the circle at this time and scolded very loudly. She clearly felt that these three people did not try their best, but were a little timid. How is it possible to see the power of Yuan Yang's sword from this? Yes. The three of them were shocked. If they were expelled, wouldn't they be sent back to Qingyang Mountain? It's very difficult to become a female guard. Although they knew Wu Yu was scaring them, they did cheer up. They are all wooden swords and guns anyway. So there is no danger in going all out. When the fight started again, the three people's kung fu was truly displayed. They were still quite capable. Besides, they had already adapted to Wu Yu's footwork and were now able to compete with Wu Yu. However, they forgot that there was Zhu Xiaobao behind Wu Yu. They didn't take him seriously at first. But this little fat man was stabbed one after another, which caught people off guard. But to really deal with him, Wu Yu's sword has already arrived. And Zhu Xiubao's footwork is also very weird. And he can dodge it easily. The three of them still gradually fell behind. This also aroused their competitiveness. Lu Tong was the smartest among them. So she had her hands free to deal with Fu Xiaobao. Unexpectedly, as soon as Zhu Xiaobao raised the knife, the tip of Lu Tong's wooden sword was cut off. Then he remembered that Zhu Xiaobao's weapon had not been changed. It was still the kitchen knife. Of course, this did not put any pressure on Lu Tong. Zhu Xiaobao was not strong enough in terms of strength and speed. But it was more than enough to dodge her attack. Wu Yu deflected Ying Xiaoxiao's spear, turned around in a strange way, dodged Lu Fang's wooden sword, and ran towards Lu Tong. Lu Tong had also been on guard against Wu Yu for a long time. And he also hurriedly retreated. But at this moment, Zhu Xiaobao suddenly turned around in the same weird way as Wu Yu. This move between the two was the most coordinated in this competition. Zhu Xiaobao turned around and faced Lu Tong directly. And the knife in his hand was slashed out easily. It's like I've wanted to do this for a long time. Ah! Lu Tong suddenly felt that he had no time to dodge. And he didn't even have time to lift the wooden sword in his hand. She was shocked. Zhu Xiaobao's sword was a real sword. Wu Yu, Ying Xiaoxiao and Lu Tong were also dumbfounded at this time. 
and they all stopped. But it's too late. Fortunately, Lu Tong's scream made Zhu Xiaobao react. He had good control over the chef's knife. He released his force in time and stopped. Finally not disemboweling Lu Tong. But it also narrowly passed by Lu Tong's chest. Lu Tong felt a chill in his chest. His clothes were all torn. And the spring on his chest was leaking out. This is even more embarrassing than the last time I was injured. I couldn't help but scream again. We had already arrived at this time. And with a flying kick, he kicked Zhu Xiaobao away. Zhu Xiaobao was still howling in midair. Why? I didn't see anything. Why did you hit one of your own? Will you ignore Zhu Xiaobao and ignored Lu Tong? Instead, he stood there blankly, looking at the Tai Chi Yin and Yang diagram on the ground in a daze. The place where Lu Tong came out just now happened to be one of the two fish eyes in the Tai Chi diagram. Zhu Xiaobao got up angrily and wanted to argue with Wu Yu. But seeing Wu Yu's appearance, Zhu Xiaobao also discovered the weirdness. How did you come here just now? Wu Yu asked eagerly. Zhu Xiaobao's footwork just now did not step on the curb in the middle, but turned to the fish's eye. I don't know. I just feel that it should be turned like this. Well, you should have been in this position before. I am here. Lu Tong is right in the fish eye. That is to say, Zhu Xiaobao was a little unbelievable and couldn't go on. What is it? Say it quickly. Wu Yu asked anxiously. Could it be said that this situation, with just such a turn, will form a sure kill situation? Zhu Xiaobao said hesitantly. There was no sharp sword technique at all just now. It was just an instinctive sword. Simple and direct. But it's just right. Try again. Wu Yu said decisively. But the two men once again tried to use the weapons in their hands according to the position and footwork just now. But there was no such perfect performance of the integration of man and sword. Although it can also be transferred to the eyes of fish. It is already intentional and very blunt. And it can no longer produce that amazing effect. What's going on? It doesn't have that effect anymore? Wu Yu said very unwillingly. He! Don't be impatient. It's only been a few days. Let's explore slowly in the future. When I make a knife for myself, maybe the effect will come out. Zhu Xiaobao is very open-minded. In three days, it's already great to have such an effect in a short period of time. But I really need such a sure kill move. Xiaobao, just think about it. Wu Yu is actually willing to put down her arrogance and plead with Zhu Xiaobao at this time. Because every time as long as Zhu Xiaobao is willing to use his brain, it can be done there was a surprise. So Wu Yu did not hesitate to put down her arrogance and beg Zhu Xiaobao. Yeah, I think so. The main reason is that we are not close enough. As for the Yuanong sword, of course the two of us need to become one, so that we can have that kind of telepathic connection. Zhu Xiaobao said seemingly seriously, Go away. I knew you had nothing nice to say. Wu Yu yelled angrily, This guy is getting more and more horny now. Then I have no choice but to explore slowly. In a few years or more than ten years, you may still be able to realize that state. Zhu Xiaobao spread his hands and said in a rather rogue manner, Humph. Okay. Then I will take Xiu Xiu and the three of them back today. And you can just be your lone family here. Wu Yu has also been able to make a sharp counterattack after a long period of fighting. Ah, This move is quite cruel. Who taught you? Well, there is another way. I don't know if it will work. That is, I will give you a short sword. And you can use the female sword technique with your left hand. Although the male sword technique with the right hand cannot perform such a shocking sword. It still has an additional attack method. It depends on your understanding. Zhu Xiubao's mind was fast, and he immediately thought of an idea. But whether it can be done, I can't guarantee it. Well, this is a good idea. With my martial arts talent, it will be no problem. Wu Yu was a little satisfied. She was still very confident in her martial arts talent. The 19th princess has been running to the 7th princess's house almost every day these days. Because the two of them are very close now. And they actually care about some things very much. The 7th princess was concerned about the production of soap. This time, the 19th princess did not keep the 1,500 pieces of soap. But gave them all to the 7th princess. Unexpectedly, the 500 pieces of soap left for sale in the imperial city were sold out in one day. This is equivalent to earning 1,500 tails of gold in one day. This is faster than picking up money. The popularity far exceeded the expectations of the seventh princess. So she very much hopes that Xia Jinner can further increase production. Of course, the seventh princess also knew very well that the 19th sister was so flattering to her. Wasn't it just for the sake of Xi Yuan City? 
Therefore, the seventh princess has also stepped up her operations in the past two days, hoping to get this matter done as soon as possible, because the 19th princess promised that as long as she arrives in Shiyuan City, the soap production is guaranteed to increase to 3,000 yuan. This is also very attractive to the seventh princess. 19th sister, I tried my best today. I finally finished Shiyuan City for you. The seventh princess said very proudly. In fact, with Xiaozishou's intervention, the seventh princess's operation became very simple. It's just that one more deputy city lord has been sent. Because Xiaozishou was originally Xia Zhongkuan's son, it was normal for his son to take over after I was killed. Now Xiyuan City is temporarily guarded by the seventh princess. It is not too much to ask the seventh princess to send an additional deputy city lord. Thank you. Seventh sister. That's great. When are you leaving? Princess 19 shouted in surprise. She didn't expect that she would finally have her own place to stay. You must leave within two months. But there is another thing. Which is also a good thing for you. That is, this time you go to Shiyuan City as the deputy city lord. Xia Zhongkuan's son Xia Zixiu takes over Xia Zhongkuan's position. He is the main city lord. You two guard together Shiyuan City. Xia Zhongkuan still has 20,000 troops in Shiyuan City. Which is also a kind of protection for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be able to gather 5,000 troops now. The seventh princess said with a smile. His eyes were staring at Xia Zhener. Huh? Deputy city lord? This. Xia Zhener couldn't help being shocked. The expression on her face was somewhat disappointing. After waiting for so long, he turned out to be just a deputy city lord. If he wanted to develop and grow in Shiyuan City, he would be very passive. Every move you make will be clearly seen. Moreover, if you want to do something, you have to ask Xia Zixiu for instructions. Huh? Why? Nineteenth sister doesn't seem to be satisfied? The seventh princess asked calmly. No. 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 It's not that I'm not dissatisfied. I'm just a little surprised. I don't know if this Xia Zixiu is easy to get along with. Xia Zhener was suddenly shocked and immediately explained with fear. It would definitely be unwise to show dissatisfaction at this time. Of. And at this stage, we still have to rely on the big tree of the seventh princess. That's easy. Xia Zixiu is in the imperial city now. Ha uh ha. -huh. I guess he is also very interested in you. Don't worry. If anything happens, just come to me. I'll make sure you're safe in Shiyuan City. My princess smiled slightly. Thank you. Seventh sister. Xia Zhener is grateful. Chapter 56 The Murderous Intention Arises In the Study of His Highness Xia Zixin, Six prints, teacups, bowls, and various jades were shattered on the floor. King Shun was furious this time, but he couldn't find a place to vent his anger. So these porcelain and jades were out of luck. The fourteenth princess stood aside and did not dare to persuade him. In her impression, it seemed that this was the first time that her brother had become so angry. Damn it. This bitch Xia Zerong actually recommended Xia Zhener to Shiyuan City. My father also pretended to be deaf and mute and didn't say a word. How abominable. Xia Zishin became angrier as he thought about it. He was mentally prepared. But he couldn't stand Xia Zerong's arrogant attitude in the court. He actually didn't give himself any face at all and directly rejected his proposal. The old emperor was sitting on the dragon chair, with his eyes closed from beginning to end. And at the end, the eunuch read out the imperial edict directly, which had been prepared long ago. What does this mean? This shows that his father is not as doting on him as before. On the contrary, I trust Xia Zerong even more. Brother, what should we do now? That Xia Zhener is getting more and more proud. What a piece of shit. And that eunuch Xia Zixiu is not afraid of death and wants to inherit his father's legacy. I really underestimate him. The 14th princess was also very angry. What made her angry was that the soaps on the market were not available in the past few days. And a piece of soap worth three tails of gold was actually sold out. By the time she rushed there, it was already sold out. The 14th princess ran to the 7th princess specially. But she didn't expect that the 7th princess didn't see her at all. And the housekeeper said very politely that this kind of soap is no longer available here. He actually gave her a piece of soap for laundry. Isn't this intentional to embarrass her? In fact, this is because the popularity of the 14th princess is too low. After the ladies and ladies of the royal family got the news, they all told each other and made an appointment to go by it. However, no one came to tell the 14th princess. So this led to the 14th princess 
The princess actually couldn't even grab a piece of soap. In the end, the 14th princess used her own power to forcefully buy two pieces from a young lady from a big family. The lady burst into tears afterwards because she only bought three yuan. I am very lucky to be able to buy three pieces. At that time, queuing was simply unheard of. No matter who you were, you had to queue up. King Rong is sitting on a drinking tea, smiling. But for those who want to jump in line, just throw them out. In view of this situation, the 19th princess's 300 pieces of soap were also sold by the 7th princess. She felt that she was simply unable to control this situation. She did not have the domineering and intimidating power of the 7th princess. So Xia Jinner very rationally handed over 300 pieces of soap to the 7th princess to sell on her behalf. Degree, however, the 7th princess was also very generous. And every penny of the sales of the 300 soaps was sent to the 19th princess mansion. However, the news that the 7th princess and the 19th princess were jointly selling it spread out. And this soap was developed in the 19th princess's house, which made the 14th princess even more jealous. So now when His Highness the 6th is angry, the 14th princess doesn't forget to add fuel to the fire. But then she got a response right away. Snapped. Another slap in the face. The 14th princess Xia Yueju was really shocked and angry. This is the third time in two months. Brother, why did you hit me again? Although Xia Yueji was angry, she still didn't dare to be presumptuous in front of His Highness the Sixth Prince. She could only ask in a low voice. Her arrogance and domineering were all because she had this brother as her backing. It's all you idiot! You are domineering all day long and making enemies everywhere. Just for two pieces of soap. You offended the Lu family again. Now the head of the Lu family has openly sided with Xia Anrong. Xia Anrong even made a special trip to the eldest lady of the Lu family sent ten pieces of soap. Look, two pieces of soap have lost the support of a big family. Where is Xia Anrong? Ten pieces of soap have won over a big family. A fool like you. Even if you take Yuan City if I leave it to you, you won't survive more than three months. His Highness the Sixth Prince said angrily. He originally wanted to endure it. But now, he really can't bear it anymore. This stupid sister will bring herself into big trouble sooner or later. It's not like I didn't give you the money. Who knew she was so narrow-minded that she would go to her old man to complain about such a trivial matter? The 14th princess covered her face and muttered in dissatisfaction. It's a trivial matter? Then you go to someone else's house and buy it by force? Should they transfer it to you? His Highness the Sixth Prince curled his lips and looked helplessly at his idiot sister. That's why the Lu family turned to Xia Anrong when they saw that you were no longer. Okay. Okay. I just want to see how good this soap is. Brother, do you know that this soap is actually from 19th Sister? It was made together with 7th Sister. It is said that 19th Sister is responsible for manufacturing. And 7th Sister is responsible for sales. 7th Sister accounts for 70% of the share. Just the day before yesterday, 7th Sister made at least 1,000 tails of gold. 14th the princess said with green eyes. She also wants to make money so happily. She had no business of her own and relied on his highness. When she ran out of money, she would go to his highness to ask for money. Originally, his highness doted on her and didn't need to notify her. She just went to the housekeeper to get the money. That's it. But recently, his highness the sixth prince no longer allows her to withdraw money at will. She must have his highness's seal. Only then can you get the money. Because the 14th princess's expenses are too high for omnivorous food. It's okay if she doesn't make money, but she still squanders jealously, spending three to four thousand tails of silver a month. Anyway, money is easy to come by, and she doesn't feel sad. His Highness the Sixth Prince couldn't figure out how she spent so much money. Later, he secretly investigated and almost made His Highness angry to death. It turned out that the 14th princess had many pretty boys, and she made generous purchases. Whatever satisfied her, with a wave of her hand, she was given a house, complete with maids and servants, so that she could have fought at any time. So she bought no less than a hundred houses in the Imperial City. And in the end, she couldn't even remember how many houses she bought. Anyway, it must be maintaining an impressive record in Dashia. Hearing this, His Highness the Sixth Prince became even more angry. That's not you? If you didn't push Nineteenth Sister into the Lotus Pond last time, but tried your best to befriend her, wouldn't it be you who is cooperating with her now? You said it yourself to test her background and strength. If she doesn't have any strength, try your best to suppress her and let her defect to us. Now you blame me? 
the 14th princess had a good memory and immediately retorted. Um, I told you to suppress it appropriately, but I didn't let you take such drastic measures. His Highness the 6th Prince was choked with embarrassment. It was indeed him who said this. So he asked with a slightly calmer expression, Is that kind of soap really so popular? Is the profit really so high? I'm afraid it will lose its value once the limelight is over. Right? Three tails of gold is not a small sum. Oops. You don't know. That kind of soap is simply magical. The feeling after using it is incomparable to before. And this kind of thing is a consumable product. I have only used it for a few days, and I have already used less than half of it. Yen, didn't I give a piece to the princess? Didn't she tell you? I bought two pieces back forcibly. I was still thinking about your wife. And you actually beat me. The 14th princess said a little aggrievedly. Princess Yen, she is the wife of his highness the 6th prince. The 14th princess does know a little bit about the world. So she gave one of the two soaps she bought forcibly to Princess Yen. Well, I have been busy with official duties these past two days. So I didn't go to the princess's place. His Highness the Sixth Prince nodded slightly, thinking that although his sister was a bit stupid, she could still think of herself in everything. And she felt a little regretful. She shouldn't have done it just now. Beat her. But when your Highness thinks about it next, he is extremely frightened. If the Seventh Sister is making so much money, then her warships and armies may be renovated and expanded again. With the current situation, it seems likely that a fight will begin. Even if she can't earn this money herself, she can't let Xia Anrong earn it easily. No, you can't let Seventh Sister earn this money so easily. Otherwise, her power will increase again. His Highness Sixth Prince thought for a long time before gritting his teeth and saying viciously, Brother, otherwise, like last time, we kill Xia Jinner on the road. In that case, the seventh sister will lose her supply. It's a pity that this kind of soap will become extinct. Princess 14, she immediately said excitedly that she was the one who sent people to attack Xia Jinner's convoy last time. Although everyone guessed that she did it. In the end it was nothing. And Xia Jinner's strength is not very strong. The 14th princess did not use the power of his highness six prince. They could easily handle it with just their own people. Well, I will arrange this matter. So don't worry about it. Don't leak anything. You go back first. His Highness the Sixth Prince nodded. And then let the Fourteenth Princess go first. He planned to go to Princess Yen to learn more about this soap. If it was really that good, he didn't think he had to kill Xia Jinner. I can capture her secretly and force her to find out how the soap is processed. Wouldn't that mean that he would also have more ways to make money? Anyway, now I have completely fallen out with the Seventh Princess. Not afraid of offending her. The 19th princess returned to the house, feeling a little depressed. The development of things was different from what she expected. Now suddenly a main city lord came out, but she became the deputy city lord. This made her very disappointed. Princess, I think this matter has pros and cons. Although Xia Zixiu has inherited the position of city lord, we also have a place to stay. And with Xia Zixiu's 20,000 troops, we can quickly settle down in Xiyuan city. Director Wu listened to the story of the 19th princess after she came back and thought for a long time before speaking slowly. But, Uncle Wu, it will be inconvenient for us to do anything in Xiyuan City. And I don't know if Xia Zixia will exclude and suppress us. After all, his strength in Xiyuan City is not weak. And Zicheng, we inherited all the resources from our father's business. Aren't we very passive? Xia Jinner said very worriedly. Ha ha. It doesn't matter. No matter what. It will be better than the current situation. What's more, Shi Yuan City is so big and Zhao Ming's people are guarding it. It's not that easy for him to target us. What's more, we are now, he can be considered an ally of the Seventh Princess. If he is smart, he should try his best to be friends with us. Director Wu smiled. Although he is not as talented as Duan Muqi, he can still see the stakes. Just as he was talking, the female guard outside the door ran in and reported, Princess Qi, the new lord of Shiyuan City, Xia Zixiu, has come to pay a visit. Oh! Chapter 57 Two City Lords Princess 19 was a little surprised when she heard that Xia Zixiu had come to visit. The new lord of Shiyuan City seemed to have arrived too quickly. The imperial edict has just been announced and is coming soon. In fact, Xia Zixiu, like the 19th princess, was also very unhappy when she heard about this appointment. It feels as if the seventh princess has arranged a person of her own in her territory. And she is also a princess. But Xia Zixiu has no choice. 
because Xiao Ming, who is temporarily guarding Shi Yuan City, is the general of the Seventh Princess. Speaking of which, Shi Yuan City can still maintain relative stability, and the Seventh Princess is indispensable. Xia Zixiu still didn't dare to complain about the Seventh Princess. He had a deep grudge with His Highness the Sixth Highness and the Fourteenth Princess, and he looked down on Yongan King Xia Ziyuan and Ming King Xia Ziyuan. The person he has the most friendship with is King Wen Xia Zuan. Now that troubled times are about to arise, we will never dare to offend the seventh princess. Of course, Xia Zixiu also has his own judgment. After following his father in managing Shi Yuan city for three years, he already has some foundation. Not to mention there are still 20,000 troops. It should be said that I am more proactive. I heard that this 19th princess didn't have much strength, and her men were pitifully few. But Xia Zixiu was still eager to meet the 19th princess. He was afraid that the 19th princess would be like the 14th princess, and it would be difficult to get along with her. Back then, the 14th princess fell in love with Xia Zixiu and took the initiative to confess her love, but was politely rejected by Xia Zixiu. This resulted in one of his concubines being forcibly abducted by Sheng Wang Xia Zixin, who forcibly put a cuckold on him. This incident caused a big fuss in the imperial city at that time. Xia Zixiu's father Xia Zhongkuan even went to the emperor. But this matter turned around later. As a result, the concubine was assassinated. In the end, it was nothing. Xia Zixiu meets the princess. Xia Zixiu entered the front hall and bowed to salute. Although he is the official city lord and is one level higher than Xia Zhenar, the other party is a princess. So he has to bow first. This is what makes Xia Zixiu depressed. You're welcome. City Lord Xia. Please sit down. Princess 19 said calmly. Only then did Princess 19 look at Xia Zixiu carefully. I couldn't help but be shocked when I saw this. This Xia Zixiu is really as handsome as the rumors say. He has a slender figure, a good appearance, and the special temperament of a royal nobleman in his body is very outstanding. Makes you feel good? After Xia Zixiu sat down, he also looked around quietly. He was also very surprised. This 19th princess was so delicate and beautiful. But her beauty was completely different from that of the 14th princess. She was very reserved and very elegant beauty. Make people excited? Princess, I received the imperial decree and learned that the princess will be appointed to Shiyuan City. I am very happy. I come here to congratulate you. I am deeply honored to be able to manage Shiyuan City with the princess. Xia Zixiu was originally dissatisfied. But now suddenly, I had a great liking for Xia Zhenar. So what I said was actually somewhat sincere. Well, this is also the trust of my father and the recommendation of the seventh sister. Let me go to Shiyuan City to learn more. And then I will ask Governor Xia for a lot of advice. Princess 19 was still able to cope with these kind words. Of, but I do have a good impression of Xia Zixiu in front of me. He is humble and has the style of a Confucian general. I heard that Xia Zixiu is still a second level martial artist. Isn't he a talented man with both civil and military skills? No wonder the 14th princess took the initiative to show her kindness back then. Without such deep hostility, the two city lords actually talked happily. Xia Zixiu's literary talent was outstanding. No worse than Ji Zixin. Slowly tell the 19th princess some customs. Customs and local characteristics of Shi Yuan city. The 19th princess actually nodded frequently and asked some questions from time to time. Several times she asked the maid to serve Natsu Zixiu tea. In the end, he even hosted a banquet for Xia Zixiu in his house. Of course, this banquet cannot be at Zhu Xiubao's residence. As the companions, Mr. Wu and Wu Yu had completely different thoughts in their hearts. Chief Wu frowned a little. Xia Zixiu's hospitality was a bit off-putting to him. And the rumors about him, and the Sixth Highness, and the Fourteenth Princess had always been a grudge against Chief Wu. But Wu Yu's feelings are similar to those of the Nineteenth Princess. And she also thinks that Xia Zixiu is very outstanding. Originally, she was also very dissatisfied with the position of deputy city lord. But now it is beginning to be recognized. The girls all have similar moods. And they all like such young talents. When the banquet was over, Xia Zixiu also said goodbye in a measured manner. This makes the 19th princess feel a little unfinished. After Xia Zixiu left, I looked at the gifts he sent. They turned out to be very expensive furs and other specialties of Shiyuan city. There are also 20 war horses. This made Princess Jiu very happy. The war horses that guard her house are all bought with money. But their quality is average. But the 20 war horses sent by Xia Zixiu are very good horses. Although it can't compare to those famous horses. 
but they have all been on the battlefield and have very strong foot strength and speed. Much better than the existing war horses in Princess Mansion. This makes Princess 19. Will you and others even more satisfied? This Xiaozishio is still very good at doing things. Especially Wu Yu. She immediately mounted a war horse and ran several laps in the martial arts arena. When she stopped, she was still very excited. This war horse is much faster than the war horse she originally rode. Uncle Wu, what do you think of these war horses? The 19th princess also jumped off the war horse with satisfaction after a trial ride. And then asked, It's a good horse. But princess, you still have to be careful. We don't know much about this Xiaozishio. Don't be too gullible. Manager Wu reminded cautiously. I know. I just want to know more about Xiyu and City. There's nothing else. Princess 19 said a little unhappy. Yes. Princess Mingjian. Manager Wu also felt bored. After all, Xia Zixio showed considerable sincerity. Maybe he was too cautious. But what I didn't expect was that Xia Zixio came again the next day. This time. It was a familiar sight. The 19th princess actually invited him to the Juku Bridge in the mansion. Xiaozixio also brought Qin. People are playing the piano and composing poems here at Tuchio. And the scene looks very poetic. This time even Commander Wu is not qualified to follow him. Wu was even less interested in these things. What she was interested in was the 20 war horses. In the past two days, all the female guards have been fighting over these horses. Everyone wants one. Wu is really in trouble now. But at this time, Ji Jisheng was a little aggrieved by Zhu Xiaobao. I didn't expect that Xia Zixiu would please the princess so much. Zhu Xiaobao didn't care about these things. He was busy reopening the furnace to make the sword. Zhu Xiaobao made himself a samurai sword. Classified according to the length of the sword. This should be called Tachi or Da Dao. The curved blade is Da. And the blade that is curved downward is Tai. It's just that Zhu Xiaobao made it a little shorter based on his body shape. The blade is two feet long and the handle is less than one meter. It should be called a fighting knife. The reason why he chose the katana sword was because he couldn't use too heavy a weapon. Besides, he thought this kind of sword was very practical. From later generations, this kind of knife has been recognized all over the world because it is very easy to use. Although the making method is the same as the last time. I am much more proficient this time. And my casting skills have also been greatly improved. The treasure I made for myself is actually sparkling. The blade is neat. And the blade is very even. Colleague Zhu Xiaobao made two more one-foot-long daggers, which were made for Wu Yu and Princess 19. In fact, unknowingly, Zhu Xiaobao would think of Wu Yu and Princess no matter what he did. Now Zhu Xiaobao and GZ are sitting together drinking. He has just finished his work, so he has time to eat with GZ. What the H, L? He didn't rely on the foundation laid by his father. Now he actually wants to seduce the princess. He doesn't even want to see if he can do it. Ji Jishin complained very dissatisfiedly. When he went to Princess 19 today, he I happened to see Xia Zixiu and had to admit that Xia Zixiu's demeanor was indeed better than his. Although Ji Jishin's appearance is not inferior to Xia Zixiu's, he does not have that aristocratic temperament. That is cultivated by the heritage of a big family. It can't be imitated. Moreover, Princess 19 was a little perfunctory about Ji Jishin's report. Ji Jishin was sent away in just a few words. Then I went to Juku Bridge with Xia Zixio to play the piano and compose poems. Hey! What does this have to do with you? Do you still want to be the consort? Zhu Xiaobao couldn't help but laugh. But he also felt a little sour in his heart. The speed of development seems to be a bit fast. TSK! I'm worried about the princess. Are you aware of the rumors about Xia Zixio? I heard that he is a eunuch. He is not a real man at all. Ji Shishi whispered in the ear of the logout bar a little obscenely. How do you know such a thing? It's all rumors. Right. After all, she is so outstanding. So some people spread rumors and slander her. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head, not expecting that in this world, rumors would be rampant everywhere. Hey! It's probably true. When he rejected the 14th princess, his concubine was snatched away by his highness 6th prince. Some said that the concubine followed his highness 6th prince himself. Because Xia Zixio, she didn't have the ability in that area. So the concubine couldn't help but suffer. And took the initiative to run away with his highness the 6th prince. Ji Jisheng said with a bit of gloating. Isn't this impossible? If he doesn't have the ability, why would he have a wife and concubines? Isn't that a waste? Zhu Xiaobao said doubtfully. Really? Really? 
His Highness the Sixth Prince said it himself later. And it spread throughout the Imperial City. His Highness the Sixth Prince also clarified that it was not him who robbed people, but the concubine who was willing to follow him. As soon as this matter spread after he came out, Xia Zishio stopped making trouble. And then the concubine was assassinated. I heard it was done by an absolute master. Ji Zishi said vividly, taking a sip of wine from time to time. It seems that the depression in my heart has been relieved a lot. Then what happens next? Let's forget it. Zhu Xiaobao was also surprised. This thing is too terrifying. And it kills people at every turn. So what? Everyone died. But what happened next was a bit unexpected. Xia Zixiu married more than a dozen concubines in two years and gave birth to two girls and one boy one after another. Ji Jisheng laughed mischievously, talking. Then it's over. Facts prove it eloquently. I am proving that I have no problem at all. Oh, he is really a rich man. He married more than a dozen concubines in two years. TSK. TSK. What a big deal. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head. The head sighed. Hey! But I always feel that this is very strange. In the first few years, I couldn't give birth to anyone. But at the critical moment, I gave birth to three at once. And then there were no more babies. Isn't this a bit strange? Ji Zhishi he said it quite suggestively. Chapter 58 Preparation Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and was very dismissive of Ji Zhishan's malicious speculation. How could such a person marry more than a dozen concubines and wear more than a dozen cuckolds on himself? Isn't this a brain disease? He, he! You don't understand. Sometimes face is much more important than face. When you grow up, you will know, Ji Jisheng said with a smile. And at this time, he actually felt relieved. Roll! The Imperial Edict has been issued, and preparations are about to begin. The palace of the 19th princess has begun to be busy. Two months is not a very ample time. This is tantamount to a big move. After leaving a dozen family members to take care of the princess mansion and the shops, everyone else has to follow them to Shiyuan City. There are dozens of carriages alone. The troops selected by the 19th princess in Qingyang Mountain must also prepare and meet outside the imperial city when the time comes. Now the number of guards following the 19th princess has reached 500. But this is still too few. Everything you do during this period relies on manpower. Only with more people can you increase your strength. Of course, these are all the matters of Chief Wu. And the 19th princess just needs to make an idea on major matters, and that's it. The housekeeper will take care of the rest. But the 19th princess still played the piano and composed poems with Xia Zixiu, seemingly completely immersed in the happiness of first love. And what makes the 19th princess happy is that Xia Zixiu does not have a wife, which makes the 19th princess even more satisfied. As for the concubines, it is not a problem. Even if Xia Zixiu becomes the consort, he can still be allowed to keep it. Chief Wu also gradually accepted this reality. If the two could really get married, it would be quite beneficial to the 19th princess. After all, Xia Zixiu still has considerable capital and strength. Besides, Xia Zixiu became the prince consort. Wouldn't that further increase the strength of the 19th princess? Besides, Chief Wu didn't expect the 19th princess to really be able to achieve much. If you can protect yourself in troubled times, you have achieved your goal. However, Zhu Xiaobao is very busy these days. He wants to make three knives at the same time. Also prepare two months worth of toilet paper. And the soap that the seventh princess wants next month. Zhu Xiaobao is quite busy these days. Even the time spent practicing Yuan Yang sword with Wu Yu has been greatly reduced. But Wu Yu was very surprised when she saw the newly made dagger. Although it was a dagger, the casting process had reached a very high level. And the knife was also very sharp. It's also very annoying. It still has. Lun Yu's little treasure sword. Engraved on it. This time Zhu Xiaobao didn't discuss with Wu Yu whether he wanted to love it or not. This result made Wu Yu very depressed. And she could only accept this reality helplessly. As for the Yuan Ong sword technique, Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao cooperated very well in footwork. But they were never able to perform that kind of special move. I can never find that feeling again. But Wu Yu's footwork still surprised General Wu very much. Because he was also confused at first. But as he gradually got used to it, General Wu was still able to turn defeat into victory. But it was already very difficult to win. At the peak of his strength, General Wu was equivalent to a great martial artist. Now, because of his age and a lame leg, his martial arts skills have been greatly reduced. But he should also be at the level of a first-level martial artist. Of course, General Wu knows the rules of the world very well. 
although this set of yuan on knives is good. He did not ask too much. And this kind of footwork is of no use to him. One of his feet is lame. And there is no, there is no way to perform this kind of footwork. On the other hand, Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao practiced the Yuan Yang sword together. Manager Wu couldn't understand the mystery. But he always felt that the two of them failed to exert the power of this sword technique at all. Wu Yu is even more dissatisfied. She is now using the dagger in her left hand to perform the Yuan Yang sword technique. And the effect is even better than the two of them working together. He can often deliver a fatal blow to his opponent by surprise. This makes Wu Yu very happy. Xiaoshener will also come to Zhu Xiaobao when she has time. Now the 19th princess is smiling every day and in a very good mood. It must be said that girls bloom with amazing charm after falling in love. Now Xiaoshener has bright eyes. White teeth. Eyes full of affection. Indescribably charming and charming. Zhu Xiaobao looked a little stupid. And he was actually very jealous of Xia Zixiu in his heart. But there was nothing he could do about it. There was a sharp contrast between his own image and the 19th princess and he felt a little ashamed of himself. Ah! This knife is so beautiful! Did you give it to me? Princess 19 got the newly made short knife, and liked it very much. Although this kind of knife is not the main weapon for killing enemies in battle. As a self-defense weapon, it can be said to be the best. This sword was still engraved with the words, Little treasured sword. But the 19th princess didn't care as much as Wu Yu, and was actually quite happy. Well, I made one for each of the princess and yeah yeah. Zhu Xiaobao nodded, pointed at Wu Yu and said, I hate it. Didn't I tell you not to call me Yeya? It's so unpleasant. Wu Yu said very dissatisfied. Xiaobao, we are going to Xi Yuan City soon. When we pass through King Wen's fiefdom, I will ask brother three emperors to wash away the mark of your slave status. You will be completely equal. The ninth princess said softly that this was the best way she could think of. King Wen had his own fiefdom, so he could eliminate the slave status. In fact, it is a symbol of power. And of course, it must be operated by specialized people. This kind of profession is actually very popular in Dashia country. And it also requires special training and special tools and medicines. That's great. Princess, keep your word. Zhu Xiaobao did not expect that his slave status would have a chance to be eliminated in advance. Which made him overjoyed. He knew that there was such a slave mark on the back of his neck. The first two times, when the seventh princess and Duan Muqi came. He consciously covered it up with his hair and collar on the back. The seventh princess and Duan Muqi did not expect that such a talented person would be a slave. Well, Xiao Bao, you won't leave me after you are freed from slavery. Right. Princess 19 asked with some worry. Of course not. I'm very happy in the mansion. But it's this slave status that makes me unhappy. I don't even dare to go out. I won't have such troubles in the future. Zhu Xiao Bao really didn't expect to after leaving the 19th princess mansion. He had nowhere to go. There are people here that he cares about. That's good. When you eliminate the slave mark, I will arrange a few personal maids for you. Okay? Or you can tell me who you like. Princess 19 also treated Zhu Xiaobao very thoughtfully. Comfort and went over. He! Did you hear that? If I like someone, I can tell the princess. Zhu Xiaobao said with a rogue smile at Wu Yu. It seems that he still doesn't give up. Although Wu Yu said that she wanted to marry a big hero. Oomph. Let's wait until you grow up. Wu Yu snorted disdainfully. She doesn't hate Zhu Xiaobao now. But it's still unacceptable for her to consider such a thing. Ha ha. Xiaobao. How old are you? Xia Jinner was also a little funny. Why did Zhu Xiaobao like Wu Yu so much? When the two of them stood together, Zhu Xiaobao was almost half a head shorter. Sixteen. Zhu Xiaobao said very depressedly. He was supposed to be twenty-two when he traveled through time but he didn't expect that he would be in the body of such a fat man. He was only 16 years old. He was really not fully developed. Well, it's a bit small. Don't worry. Many people don't start growing until they are 16. You won't be very short in the future. Now, it's a bit small, Siajiner said with a smile. In fact, she she is only one year older than Zhu Xiaobao. But girls develop earlier, so she needs to know more about this. After saying that, Princess 19 and Wu Yu walked towards the bathroom hand in hand, still talking and laughing along the way. The two of them are very close together and would hide nothing from each other. Especially now, Xia Jinner is willing to share her happiness with Wu Yu. Zhu Xiaobao looked at the two people's tiny backs and murmured, It's not too small. I'm talking about 16 centimeters. In the seventh princess's house, 
to Enmuki was giving a report to the seventh princess. The seventh princess listened with curiosity. What? Xia Zixiu runs to 19th sister every day? This is interesting. But I heard that Xia Zixiu has some problems? The seventh princess said that the key point was also a bit embarrassing. After all, Duanmuchi is also a man. Even though he is an old man. Uh, well, it's hard to say. After all, His Highness the Sixth Highness acted too domineeringly. Everyone sympathized with Xia Zixiu about that incident. What I'm concerned about is, does this incident have any impact on us? Will the two of us sympathize with each other? Together, they will actually create a climate that will be difficult to control when the time comes. Duanmuchi said hesitantly. Ha! Huh. It's a joke. Even if they were put together, they would not have more than 50,000 soldiers and horses. They have to face King Ming and King Wen again. Besides, if the 19th sister really becomes big, she can help me defend Shi Yuan City. Well, if chaos really breaks out, I can take this place to myself. The seventh princess laughed very domineeringly. I think it's better to be careful. Duan Muqi is very mature and acts more cautiously. If you have any ideas, just say it. Don't be around the bush. The seventh princess said a little impatiently. To be honest, what she is most interested in Princess 19th is those soaps. This is equivalent to a huge wealth. And it's available every month. Yes. What I mean is to temporarily let Zhao Ming stay in Shi Yuan City. The first is to show your concern and support for the 19th princess. The second is to see what Xia Zixiu does. He also has 20,000 troops in his hands. And the real strength is more than that. Will you want to take advantage of the chaos to cause trouble? You must be on guard. Duan Muqi said with a solemn expression. Well, okay. Just let Zhao Ming stay here for a while. You go to 19th sister tomorrow. We are about to set off. So we have to express our gratitude. You can decide what to send. Seventh princess he thought for a moment. Then nodded and said, Yes, the princess is wise. Duan Muqi bowed and saluted. And then withdrew. Chapter 59, Year in Friendship Duan Muki came to the 19th princess mansion again, and he was already familiar with the house. General Manager Wu was not in the house today, so General Manager Wu and Ji Zhishi went to Qingyang Mountain because they had to make arrangements for the tea. Now that the market for jasmine tea has just opened up, the 19th princess doesn't want to give up. This time she takes Ji Jiwei to Qingyang Mountain to arrange for a group of people to fry the picked tea leaves into tea embryos in Qingyang Mountain and then transport them. Go to Xiyuan City. Process it into jasmine tea here. And then send it to various sales points. So today, Chief Wu is not here. And no one receives Tuan Muqi. The 19th princess is in the house. But she is practicing the piano with Xia Zi. The two of them were completely immersed in the melodious and euphemistic sound of the piano. All other worldly and complicated things no longer exist. Tuan Muqi was quite casual. As if he had arrived at his own home. He waved his hand and signaled to the servants that there was no need to inform the princess. He was just here to deliver some necessary things. The things the seventh princess at this time were very considerate. One of the ten carriages contained hundreds of kilograms of purified spices, enough to make soap for a year. There are also twenty jars of fine wine. It can be regarded as an expression of love for the nineteenth princess. The person in charge was busy counting the records and putting them in the warehouse. But Duan Muki went to Zhu Xubao's residence by familiar means. No one dared to stop him. Don't look at it as just the seventh princess's staff. But that's something you absolutely cannot afford to offend. Besides, Duan Muqi made a generous move. And his servants all received a lot of rewards. So I just asked a little maid to inform the 19th princess. Duan Muqi walked to Zhu Xiubao's residence leisurely alone. His entourage stayed in the front yard drinking tea and waiting. Very far away. Duan Muqi saw Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao practicing the Yuan Yang sword technique. However, Duan Muqi stopped to watch and was shocked. The sword skills of these two people did not surprise him. What surprised him was their steps. Law. It feels a bit invisible. And I don't even know the direction of the next step. Very weird. What made him even more dumbfounded was that Wu Yu was practicing male swordsmanship. While Zhu Xiaobao was practicing female swordsmanship. It's completely the other way around. However, one can also understand that Zhu Xiaobao's stature and strength can only be dominated by Wu Yu. Duan Muki is a great martial artist. So when he saw Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao, Wu Yu and others didn't notice him at all. However, after Duan Muki watched for a while, he really couldn't understand the mystery of this kind of footwork. 
so he quickly stepped forward and shouted with a smile. You two little friends. I'm here uninvited. Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao both stopped quickly, feeling a little lucky that they used wooden swords today. Otherwise, the two swords Zhu Xiaobao and Wu Yu had just made would have been discovered by Duan Mu Qi. Mr. Duan Mu, Wu Yu is polite. Wu Yu quickly bowed and saluted. Duan Mu Qi's status was much higher than hers. Necessary etiquette is still required. Xiao Bao, you are polite. Xu Xiao Bao is still the same as before. Bending down to salute. Ha ha. You too. It seems that you have a lot of experience in practicing the Yuanong sword. At least I can't see through your footwork now. Duan Mu Qi said happily. He has always been concerned about Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao. They are all very favorable. Don't look at him constantly reminding the seventh princess in front of the seventh princess to beware of Xia Jinar and Xia Zixiu. But this is business and his responsibility. However, this does not hinder his private affection for the two children. Thank you, sir. Xiaobao now has the ability to escape. Zhu Xiaobao was very honest. He didn't expect to kill his opponent. But he just wanted to use this mysterious footwork to avoid his opponent in times of crisis. Oh! I can't believe that in just 20 days! You guys have figured out the secrets of the footwork. It's incredible! Wu Yu! Did you figure this out? Duan Mu Qi was practicing with the two just now. Where the Yuanong knife was. He was carefully recalling the footwork of the two of them. But I still can't figure it out. Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao no longer need to draw Yin Yang Tai Chi diagram on the ground. As Zhu Xiaobao said, after you practice, you will have a picture in your mind. Wherever you move, you will know where the picture is and know where to step. It's not me! It's him! Wu Yu shook her head and then pointed at Zhu Xiaobao. Although she looked down on Zhu Xiaobao's martial arts talent, his understanding was something Wu Yu envied. Aw? Oh? Is it you? Wu Xiaobao, you really impressed me again! I wonder if you can tell me the secret. Don't worry. This set of sword skills will never be spread to the outside world. It's just an old man's curiosity. Duan Mu Qi I couldn't help but ask. But I was a little embarrassed. After all, it was Zhu Xiaobao who understood it. So he could refuse it. Hmm. Wait. Zhu Xiaobao found a branch on the spot. Drew a Yin Tai Chi diagram. And then said, This Yin Tai Chi diagram is given to Mr. Duan Mu. It can also be regarded as a gift of sword skills to Mr. Duan Mu. Feedback. What is the Yin Tai Chi diagram called? Duan Mu Qi looked at it carefully and was immediately shocked, although he still couldn't understand the mystery. But this is definitely a shocking and mysterious picture. Duan Mu Qi was silent for a long time and then said, I got this treasure unexpectedly. Wu Yu. Xiao Bao. I solemnly promise again that this picture will never be known to the fourth person besides you and me. Of course. Duan Mu Qi could only restrain himself. As for who knew Zhu Xiaobao's original intention, that was beyond his control. Zhu Xiaobao did not expect Duan Mu Qi to be so solemn. So he smiled and said, It's not that serious. Knowing this picture is one thing. Whether you can understand the mystery is another. Ha ha. Wu Xiaobao. You are very open-minded. Okay. Let's sit down and have a few drinks. Duan Mu Qi twisted his beard and laughed. Even so, Duan Muki knew that he still got huge benefits. Others may see nothing happened. But Duan Muki could already see the secret of that kind of footwork. I am still very grateful. This invisibly takes your martial arts to a higher level. Therefore, Duan Muki also sincerely repaid these two friends. Zhu Xiaobao knew that Duan Mu Qi was not that particular about food. So he just asked Lu Tong to prepare a few simple dishes. Lu Tong has really become Zhu Xiaobao's effective assistant now. And his cooking skills have skyrocketed. Deep appreciation from Zhu Xiaobao. Wu Yu, what you just used was a male sword technique. Right. I think there are still some flaws in your sword technique. How about we verify each other? Duan Mu Qi said it very politely. But in fact, he wanted to give Wu Yu some guidance on his sword technique. His martial arts is not as fierce as that of General Wu. With great openness and powerful momentum, he pays more attention to the changes and subtleties of his moves. Okay. Wu Yu's eyes lit up after hearing this. Of course she could tell that Duan Mu Qi wanted to teach her martial arts. Wu Yu did not hesitate at all. And immediately launched the Yuanong sword. And Duan Mu Qi also talked about his experience and skills in practicing this sword without any reservation. Xu Xiaobao was a little dumbfounded in this regard. And couldn't see the changes and subtleties at all. It felt almost the same. But Wu Yu benefited a lot from some guidance. As long as given time. My Kung Fu will definitely improve significantly. Thank you. Mr. Duan Mu. 
Wu Yu said happily, but still refused to stop and continued to practice sword skills, mainly to correct the shortcomings before. Now that Duan Muki, a master, is standing by, why not hurry up and practice? Wait until they leave before asking for advice. Then there is no chance. Duan Muki was giving instructions to Wu Yu and chatting with Zhu Xiaobao at the same time. His way of giving instructions was very trouble-free. He held a handful of pebbles in his hand. If Wu Yu's move was wrong, a pebble would bounce over. Wu Yu's move was wrong. You understood immediately. Xiao Bao, have you ever thought about your plans for the future? Duan Muki asked. No, I just want to live a more stable life. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head. To be honest, he really hasn't thought about these things now. The most important thing is to eliminate the mark of slavery. But, there is going to be chaos. And it is inevitable that you will be implicated. What should you do if you encounter a crisis in the future? Duan Muchi said hintingly. What's the matter? At most, bring a few more guards around. Or set up some traps. There is always a way. Zhu Xiaobao thought for a while and said helplessly. What he was most afraid of was getting involved in some kind of war. That thing it's going to kill people. Some time ago, Wu Yu and the others were attacked. And six guards died? Duan Muchi asked. Of course he knew these things well. And Zhu Xiaobao was not surprised. Yes. The loss was quite big. It should have been done by the 14th princess. Zhu Xiaobao nodded and said. But it was a bit strange. What did Duan Muchi mean when he suddenly mentioned these things? Have you ever thought that you will be attacked again when you go to Xiyuan City? Are you prepared? Duan Muchi asked again, looking at Zhu Xiaobao thoughtfully. You mean there will be another attack along the way? Zhu Xiaobao was startled. He was not within the attack range last time. But this time it was different. He was also going to Xiyuan City with him. I guess some people can't sit still. Let's do this. I'll leave 10 people for you. They should be able to keep you safe. These 10 people are all my most trusted confidants. They are absolutely trustworthy, and their martial arts are very good. Duan Muchi said softly. Really? That's great. But do you need to report this to the princess? Zhu Xiaobao asked overjoyed. You don't need to worry about this. I will arrange it. Also, if you encounter a crisis in Xiyuan City, you can come to me. This is not the intention of the seventh princess. It is the sincerity of the old man. Duan Muchi was still very low, said the voice. Well, I hope that day won't come. But I'm still very grateful. Brother. Zhu Xiaobao could see that Duan Muqi was really dating him attentively. Then Zhu Xiaobao also smiled and said, Brother, have you ever heard that accompanying you is like accompanying a tiger? Huh? Xiaobao? What does this mean? Duan Muki asked in surprise. I mean, if one day I encounter a crisis, you can come to me. Zhu Xiaobao also thought of some illusions. So he said this. Oh, okay. Brother, I'm confident. Self-protection is not a problem under any circumstances. Duan Muqi hesitated for a moment, but still said confidently, just as she was talking. Wu came back covered in sweat. She felt that her sword skills had improved to a higher level. Chapter 60 Departure Duan Muqi left thoughtfully, leaving behind the ten and driving the carriage. Special instructions. These ten cars arrived at Xiyuan City, and when the soap and tea were processed, they were taken directly back to the seventh princess fiefdom. It sounds very thoughtful. But when General Wu came back, he was secretly surprised when he saw this person. This person must be a master. At least a third-level martial artist. There are two even second-level martial arts masters. The chief martial officer who leads them is a little confused. They should be first-level martial arts masters. Even higher. Is it possible that even the driver of the seventh princess's house is so awesome? But Mr. Wu can also figure out that the spices in the car and the soap and tea leaves on the way back are goods worth tens of thousands of dollars. Without such a master in charge, I am afraid it will be really uneasy. Now there is no need for the seventh princess to be disadvantageous to her side. So these ten masters stayed on smoothly. Another half month passed, and the nineteenth princess finally set off. Fifty carriages, five hundred guards, and two hundred families. The team of the nineteenth princess is quite large. Xia Zixiu has been gone for more than half a month. Princess 19 is a little distracted these days. Otherwise she wouldn't be in such a hurry to set off. Wu Yu had to sigh that feelings are really wonderful. The 19th princess, who was originally very calm and wise, has now become sentimental. Which is surprising. There are fewer small lines on my face. And sometimes I look in the direction of Shiyuan City in a daze. 
What surprised Wu even more was that after being passionately in love for a month, Princess 19 and Xia Zixiu didn't even hold hands. Thinking about how cruel I am, Zhu Xiaobao still took advantage of me. What is this? It's incredible. This era is not too conservative. People like Princess 19 and Xia Zixiu are simply rare animals. And we use imagination. The two of them should at least hold hands. Hug. Or even kiss. But I didn't expect him to be such a gentleman. Oh. You don't understand. He respects me. He's not like other men who know those vulgar things. Princess 19 was still praising Natsuko proudly when she was whispering to Wu Yu. Cultivation of character. Well, it seems that I was led astray by that bad guy Zhu Xiaobao. Next time, he tries to take advantage of me. See if I don't chop off his claws. Wu Yu said a little annoyed. But I'm also a little confused. This vulgar thing is quite exciting. Sometimes, I really don't want to refuse too much. Sneeze! Who is talking bad about me? Zhu Xiaobao sneezed in the car and rubbed his nose. Now Zhu Xiaobao is treated like a princess. And he actually occupies a carriage by himself. There is no way. This is what Duan Muki said before leaving. Zhu Xiaobao is not qualified to make demands for the car frame of the princess mansion. But Duan Muqi's ten cars have already been promised. And one of them is for Zhu Xiaobao's exclusive use. Those handlebars are also very special. They are indifferent to everyone. But they are very polite to Zhu Xiaobao. Even a little in awe. The 19th princess didn't care. Zhu Xiaobao couldn't ride a horse. And he had too many secrets. So he wasn't suitable to be with the servants. So this is good? Those spices were also placed in Zhu Xiaobao's car. So the car smelled delicious. Zhu Xiaobao can't ride a horse. But he is driving a carriage now. It's too boring to sit in the carriage alone. Ying Xiaoxiao and Lu Tong and Lu Fang also resumed their female guard attire. Riding horses and carrying weapons. It's just that the three of them are special. They are following Zhu Xiaobao's car frame. They are obviously protecting Zhu Xiaobao. This was also specially arranged by Chief Wu. In fact, Commander Wu and Princess 19 are also on guard against being attacked by others. Taking Shi Yuan City this time must have offended a lot of people. We had to pass through a lot of difficult terrain and desolate places along the way. So we were fully prepared. Zhu Xiaobao was driving the car and was talking to the handlebar guy next to him. Originally, the handlebar guy didn't want to say more. But Zhu Xiaobao kept chattering and asking questions, which made him a little dumbfounded. What do you say to such a little brat? But gradually, the handlebar type began to pay attention to Zhu Xiaobao. This little fat man actually knew everything and could speak clearly about everything. There are many things that even this master who has been wearing crotch for many years does not understand. No wonder Mr. Duanmu asked him to protect this little fat man. This handlebar type's name is Zhao Shenhu. The handlebar in the car behind is called Zhao Shenbao. And he is his biological brother. The handlebar of the car in front is called Zhao Shenlong. And he is their eldest brother. He is also the one with the highest martial arts skills. Brother who? How is she you in city? Is it prosperous? Are there many people? Is there a brothel? Is there an age limit for accepting customers at the brothel? Zhu Xiubao's question made Zhao Shenhu feel very embarrassed. This little fat man is not very old. I have some ideas. The goal has been set. You should have this. As long as you have money anyway. There is no age limit. Zhao Shenhu said vaguely. He often went to this kind of place. But it was still a little embarrassing to be asked by such a fat man who was not fully developed yet. Alas! I have never been out except the princess's mansion. And I don't know what's going on outside. When I get to King Wen's fiefdom and remove the slave mark, I can play around, Zhu Xiaobao said with a little regret. In the Imperial City, he really can't get out. It's different now. There is no threat from the 14th princess. In addition, if the slave mark is eliminated, wouldn't it be complete freedom? Ah? Uh? You are actually a slave? How is this possible? Zhao Shenhu shouted in surprise. Yes. Have you ever seen a slave treated so well? There are also several female guards riding around with him at all times. But when Zhu Xiaobao opened his collar, there was indeed a slave mark on the back of his neck. Zhu Xiaobao thought that he had left the imperial city anyway and had to go to King Wen to eliminate the slave mark. There was no need to hide it. Moreover, now he even took out the writing paper and used it. These things were too commonly used. I can't hide it. Oh, I don't think it should be right either. Maybe the slave seal was placed in the wrong place and accidentally poked my neck. Zhu Xiaobao said very depressed. Well, maybe, Zhao Shenhu said vaguely. How could this thing be wrong? 
But why did Mr. Duanmu send them to protect this little fat man? Brother Hu! Drink! I still have beef jerky here! Come and eat together! Zhu Xiaobao took out the wine gourd and said to Zhao Shenhu, and at the same time took out beef jerky from his arms. At this time, he had to make it before leaving, and it would be on the road for a month. So Zhu Xiaobao prepared several sacks of snacks for himself early. Isn't this good? Zhao Shenhu stared at the wine gourd, but he was trying to evade it. It's okay! You are not from the princess's mansion. So you don't need to pay attention to these things. This is the good wine from the seventh princess's mansion. Zhu Xiaobao said seductively. Then take a sip to moisten your throat. Zhao Shenhu also found a good reason for himself. Hey! This is right! Come! Eat another piece of beef jerky. Made with my unique secret method. It is definitely spicy and spicy. Zhu Xiaobao said very enthusiastically. Then eat a piece. Zhao Shenhu was quickly defeated by Zhu Xiaobao's sugar-coated bullets. Gradually I let go. Almost all the gourd of wine went into his stomach. After leaving the imperial city, the 3,000 troops recruited by Princess 19 from Qinyang Mountain were already waiting on the road. These people are all between the ages of 18 and 40. And they should be the strongest and most prioritized 3,000 men in Qinyang Mountain. It is also the most direct unit of the 19th princess. What surprised Zhu Xiaobao was that one-third of them were female soldiers. But even though she is a female soldier, she is tall and strong when she stands there. And she is no worse than the male soldiers. Are all women in this world so strong? Zhu Xiaobao shook his head helplessly. This time the 19th princess is also very confident. With almost 4,000 troops. A mighty force. Even if someone wants to cause trouble. They still have to think carefully. The current army has spent all the savings of the 19th princess over the years. Everyone is equipped with horses. Weapons. And bows and arrows. Armor is relatively cheap soft armor and leather armor. The cost of metal heavy armor is too high. Not equipped yet. In addition to some leaders. There are also guards. But now all the guards are wearing soft armor. After all, we are not fighting now. We are just on the road. On such a hot day. Wouldn't it be exhausting and hot to wear heavy armor? 3,000 men and 2,000 horses in front. 1,000 in the back. The princess's motorcade in the middle accompanied by 500 guards, protecting the safety of the 19th princess to the maximum extent. Moreover, the carriage of the 19th princess is specially made, made of two layers of hardwood, and ordinary arrows cannot penetrate it at all. Even heavy objects cannot be smashed through, a bit similar to the bulletproof cars of later generations. At the beginning, Zhu Xiaobao thought it was very fresh and exciting. Such a huge team was something he had never seen before. But after only two days, Zhu Xiaobao felt very boring. Staying in the carriage all day. The procession moves slowly. It will take more than a month to live like this. It's less than 200 miles a day. Even if you have a carriage. If you travel on foot. It will be even slower. This road will pass through three counties. Then the fiefdom of King Wen. And finally Xiyuan City. It was quite pleasant when passing through those counties. The county guards would personally greet them. And arrange food and lodging. After all. It was the princess car ride. But after leaving the bustling city, where the sheriff's mansion is located, the road becomes more and more desolate. Many places are a wasteland. Even if there are people, there are very few. At this time, you need to take care of your own food and accommodation. Usually at night, they settle on the spot. Except for the princess and others who set up a tent. The others camp in the open air or sleep on the carriage. The soldiers and guards all made bunks on the spot. Fortunately, the weather is very hot. So sleeping outdoors is very convenient. Of course, eating is not as particular as in the house. But basic meat and vegetables are still available. And people are sent to the nearest market every day to buy fresh vegetables and meat. After all, it is still a relatively peaceful period. And the situation in each county is relatively stable. Of course, this is not a problem for Zhu Xiaobao. Barbecue is definitely not allowed. There are so many people. So there is no chaos. Simply stir-fry can still be done. And every meal is eaten with the princess. He didn't feel aggrieved at all. There is no way. The princess doesn't want to live such a simple life. So she still has to rely on Zhu Xiaobao's super craftsmanship. Chapter 61 Prepare for a rainy day After the boredom of the past few days, Zhu Xiaobao felt at ease. Since he was still going to stay in this carriage for more than 20 days, he might as well make some plans first to prepare for a rainy day. There was an episode in the middle. Zhao Shenhu's younger brother, Zhao Shenbao, 
insisted on switching places with Zhao Shenhu. It turns out that among the three brothers, Zhao Shenbao, the youngest, is the most outgoing and likes to have fun. He was very happy to see his second brother and Zhu Xiaobao. So he couldn't help but want to join them. His carriage was full of goods. It was really boring to be alone. What attracts Zhao Xiaobao even more is the delicious food at Zhu Xiaobao's place. Not only is there beef jerky, but there are also jars and jars of good wine. It seems that there is no control over Zhu Xiaobao. He can drink whatever he wants. And I heard that Zhu Xiaobao was actually a slave, which made Zhao Xiaobao even more curious. After much hard work, he changed places with Zhao Shenhu. Although Zhao Shenhu is a little reluctant to let go. But who calls him the second brother? He can only give way to his younger brother. Zhao Shabao came to drive. He was much more lively than Zhao Shenhu. He and Zhu Xiaobao got very close in no time. This guy also knows a lot. Although many of them are half knowledge and hearsay. It still opened Zhu Xiaobao's eyes. It turns out that Zhao Shenhu, among the three brothers, is mainly engaged in reconnaissance, searching, and gathering information. He is also known for his small and quick kung fu. And he is particularly proud of his hidden weapons and light kung fu. There is another thing that he is not very willing to mention. That is, he is also a master thief. Third brother, you must have seen many large-scale war scenes. Right. Isn't it spectacular? Is it exciting? Zhu Xiaobao asked with a little envy. Scenes like this in movies always make people excited. He was so shocked. The scene of hundreds of thousands of people charging into battle on the battlefield is very visually impactful. Spectacular? Exciting? No. At that time, all you were thinking about was how to survive. How to kill the opponent who rushed towards you. Every time I fight, I don't know if I can come back alive. Zhao Shabao suddenly stopped smiling. Looks solemn. But your martial arts skills are very high. Are you afraid that you won't be able to escape and scathe? In Zhu Shibo's mind, it would be absolutely easy for Zhao Shenbao's kung fu to escape and save his life. Ha ha! You have never seen a real large-scale battle. The kind of fighting and charging among thousands of troops. One person's martial arts has no big effect. You can kill one person or ten people. But can you kill a hundred or a thousand enemies? And if you are covered by the shooting range of a bow and arrow, no matter how high your martial arts skills are, you will still die. It is difficult to dodge such concentrated arrows. Zhao Shenhu shook his head. He shook his head and said, Isn't there a shield? Zhu Xiaobao was a little confused. When he was practicing archery in the princess's mansion, he also saw a shield. Ordinary arrows couldn't penetrate it at all. It was very effective. Ha ha! If the shield is too big and too thick, it will be cumbersome. But if it is too small and too thin, those heavy crossbows can still penetrate it. In every battle, many soldiers die from such heavy crossbows. Zhao Shabao said with lingering fear. He has seen the power of this heavy crossbow. Oh! Heavy crossbow? Well, tell me. Okay. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly became interested. He was not good at martial arts. But he was very interested in this kind of long-range shooting weapon. He took out a pen and paper and drew a sketch according to Zhao Shenbao's explanation. Zhao Shabao was also very surprised. All the things he said were easily drawn by Zhu Xiaobao. And Zhu Xiaobao could also draw inferences and put forward his own opinions and improvement methods. Zhu Xiaobao had something to do this time. Either asking about siege equipment with Zhao Shenbao. Or sitting in the carriage immersed in research. I even borrowed a hard crossbow to test its range. Pulling power. And accuracy. After calculation. Zhu Xiaobao concluded that the range of this kind of heavy crossbow is generally more than 300 steps. Which is quite astonishing. However. The crossbow arrows have no tail feathers. And the accuracy of long distance shooting is very poor. They are suitable for firing against a large number of enemy groups. The group shooting method has relatively low accuracy requirements. As long as it can shoot into the enemy's team. It is okay. During this time. Zhu Xiaobao seemed to be possessed by a demon. Constantly calculating and designing in the carriage. Of course. He still had to come out to refresh his mind. And sometimes ride a horse to practice his sword skills. Not to mention that Zhao Shabao also gave Zhu Xiaobao a lot of guidance and corrections. He even taught him how to shoot hidden weapons. Unfortunately, Zhu Xiaobao didn't have the strength. So the hidden weapons he fired had no lethality at all. Moreover, the killing range of hidden weapons is very short. When fighting in close combat, you need to rely on flexible body skills and master the best timing to exert the greatest power. 
Xu Xiaobao does not dare to hope in this regard. Are your body movements flexible? That is impossible. Jiao Shenbao was very considerate and saw that Zhu Xiaobao had no interest in hidden weapons. So he simply gave him a sleeve crossbow. As the name suggests, it is a miniature crossbow that can be hidden in the sleeve. Of course, the sleeve refers to the extremely wide sleeve of his old friend. Zhu Xiaobao is very interested in this kind of sleeve crossbow. The shooting distance can reach almost 20 steps. Under normal circumstances, it is enough. There are still two crossbow arrows, front and back. It should be said that the design is quite clever, but in Zhu Shuber's eyes, it's just ordinary. He still needs to make further improvements. When we arrived at the next county, we could finally rest for a day at the inn. Everyone was also busy fetching water for washing, bathing, and replenishing supplies. There's still more than half the journey ahead. Of course, it is impossible for so many soldiers to live in the inn. They all set up tents and took off their burdens. They can have a good sleep and even go out for a walk because they need to rest here for two days. Originally, Zhu Xiaobao and general manager we were assigned to a room. There were not many rooms in the inn. So except for the princess, everyone else shared a room. But General Wu does not want to live in the inn. He wants to live with the soldiers. Because these newly recruited soldiers have not received formal training. And many things still require the supervision and restraint of General Wu. In fact, Commander Wu has been teaching these soldiers along the way. And those little bosses. In this way, Xu Xiaobao has a room by himself. But he didn't end up well either. Ying Xiaoxiao and Lu Tong and Lu Fan looked at him pitifully. They wanted to take a bath in his room and then change clothes. Otherwise, they could only have sex with other women. The guards crowded into the tent together. Of course Xu Xiaobao agreed happily. But he didn't expect that after taking Zhu Xiaobao's bath. Zhu Xiaobao would be driven out ruthlessly. Several girls need to take a shower and change clothes. But you can still stay in there? What was even more polite was that Wu Yu actually came to this room. And Wu Yu became even more ruthless. Not only did she drive Wu Xiaobao out, but Wu Xiaobao's toilet paper was also taken away. Just left a dozen of them for him. It turns out that 600 pieces of toilet paper for each of Wu Yu and the others is more than enough. But there are so many new female soldiers. Many of whom we know. They are also very keen on this kind of toilet paper. So they start begging for it if they know each other a little bit. But after using it, I don't want to use those square leaves anymore. Therefore, the toilet paper of the female guards in the princess mansion has become very scarce. It has only been less than half a month. And almost all of them have been asked for. Many people are already very frugal about tearing one sheet in half and using it. Or even mixing it with square leaves. Square leaves are used for small bowel movements. And toilet paper is used for large bowel movements. But that's it. It's almost all used. Wu Yu even got her period. No. Just put all your thoughts on Zhu Xiaobao. Wu Yu? You've gone too far. At least leave one knife for me. Right. There are only a few of them. How can they be enough? Zhu Xiaobao was thrown to his back by Wu Yu again. And he couldn't help shouting angrily. He! If you want, I can exchange it for beef jerky. 20 pills for one piece of toilet paper. Wu Yu walked away very proudly. I haven't taken care of Zhu Xiaobao these days. And my hands are really itchy. Damn it. When did toilet paper become so valuable? Zhu Xiaobao was stunned for a moment and couldn't help but said to Presley, If he had known, he would have processed more before leaving. Brother, I have five pieces and twenty pills here. Do you think it's a good deal? Zhao Xiaobao came over at this time and said thiefly, Okay. I asked why there was so much missing. It turned out that you stole it. Zhu Xiaobao immediately realized that his toilet paper was missing a lot for no reason. But he didn't think much about it, thinking that he had remembered it wrongly. Well, after all, who would care about these trivial things? Hey, hey, Xiaobao, don't talk nonsense. Who saw me stealing it? You obviously dropped it on the ground accidentally. I picked it up. Zhao Xiaobao said with a rogue smile. It turns out that Zhao Xiaobao had already discovered this kind of toilet paper, that Zhu Xiaobao used for convenience. Of course, he was not polite and stole two knives. He even gave it to his two brothers to use too. Although Zhao Shalong was a little disapproving, he stopped saying anything after using it. Okay, let's leave it to you first. It's not safe to leave it here. Zhu Xiaobao rolled his eyes and then said he was worried that Wu Yu would take away the only toilet paper he had. This bitch can do anything. Um, are you familiar with that female guard? Why are you so arrogant? 
Brother, do you want me to help you vent your anger? Or help you steal it back? Zhao Shibao asked in a flattering manner, taking advantage of her shortcomings. Now he is still thinking about beef jerky and good wine. So he wants to do something. No, that's my future wife. You can't bully her. Otherwise we won't even be brothers. Zhu Xiaobao said quickly, Even though teacher Wu Yu bullied him, Zhu Xiaobao was still very protective. With Wu Yu. Ah, your wife. So fierce? Brother, your life will not be easy in the future. Zhao Shibao was immediately shocked. He didn't expect that Zhu Xiaobao, with such a figure, would find such a tall and fit female guard. It's really a bit difficult to understand. So I'm just waiting to grow taller. Oh, stop talking. I'll live with you today. Call the eldest and second brothers over. And I'll treat you to a barbecue. You've been holding me back these days too, it's broken. Zhu Xiaobao looked at his room. The four girls took turns taking a bath. It would probably be dawn by the time they finished bathing. Chapter 62 My Sister is Mighty A. This is the first time Zhu Xiaobao has come into contact with the eldest of the three Zhao brothers. These days, the boss, Zhao Shilong, has always been very taciturn. At most, he can only say a few words to his two brothers. But it can be seen that this boss has very high prestige and intimidation in the minds of the brothers. I don't know if it's a coincidence or Boss Zhao did it intentionally. But today we got together to eat, drink and chat with Zhu Xiaobao and the others. The reason why I had a barbecue by myself instead of going to a restaurant in a nearby town was because the 19th princess had too many people. The soldiers and guards also went to find places to eat and rest. After all, they had been gone for half a month. Take some time to relax? This small town is already overcrowded. Moreover, Zhu Xiaobao also discovered that the county guard here was not very active. He only sent a master and some people to pay greetings to the princess. Later, Zhu Xiaobao found out that this county guard was from His Highness the Sixth Prince. So of course, he would not be very enthusiastic. However, the behavior of General Wu and the 19th princess have also become very mysterious. And the dragon often appears, but never ends. And Chief Wu has a lot of people around him that he has never seen before. So his skills are definitely not weak. Your chief military officer is very powerful. Princess 19 will be much safer with such a person by her side. Boss Zhao took a sip of wine, nodded and said calmly, Brother, are you saying that with so many of us, there will be danger? Zhu Xiaobao said a little surprised. In his opinion, with such a large number of people, and inside Da Xia Kingdom, they should be very safe. Ha ha. Sometimes it doesn't take a lot of people to kill someone. And it can't be prevented with more people. Boss Zhao said calmly, and inadvertently looked at his brother Zhao Shenbao. He is a very good killer. Yes, I understand. Kill one person in ten steps. Leave no trace for thousands of miles. When the matter is over, brush off your clothes and hide yourself and your name. Is this the kind of killer you are talking about? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly remembered these lines of poetry. I couldn't help but read it. Who wrote this? Great. Brother, copy it down and give it to me. Zhao Shibao liked these four lines of poetry very much and said quickly. As for who wrote it, I don't know. Copy it and give it to third brother. Of course it's no problem. Zhu Xiaobao guessed that no one would know if he told Li So he didn't say it anymore. Xiaobao, your ability is very extraordinary. I believe Mr. Duanmu will not mistake it. After leaving this county, you should not stay too far away from us. Otherwise it will be very dangerous. The reason why Boss Zhao originally wanted to meet Zhu Xiaoxiao today, the reason why Zhu Xiaobao ate and chatted with him, was because the various abilities Zhu Xiaobao had displayed these days made him a little impressed by this little fat man. Especially after looking at the strong crossbow he designed. It seems to be quite innovative, with a more complex structure. But it is even more exquisite. From being dismissive at the beginning, he started to take this little fat man seriously. You mean, we might encounter an attack or a killer? Zhu Xiaobao said a little worriedly. He was worried about his own safety. And also worried about the safety of Princess 19 and Wu Yu. It's not possible. It will definitely happen. I just don't know who the other party is. I don't know what method it will take. It's bright and dark. So we obviously have to be more careful. Boss Zhao nodded. The two brothers Zhao Shenhu and Zhao Shabao have not been idle either. They have secretly noticed some people who are following them. Just didn't alert these people. And it can also be seen that these people's martial arts are not weak. Especially good at tracking and hiding. 
Alas! What a pity! If we could make this kind of powerful crossbow according to my design, then our attack range would be extended a lot. Zhu Xiaobao said with a little regret. He had designed it for several days and really wanted to make it earlier. I can turn this design into a real thing. Hmm. It's useless. Can the crossbow you designed shoot beyond 200? And this kind of crossbow is usually operated by two people. And the accuracy is not very high. So it must be a large-scale cluster shooting it's the most effective. Boss Zhao shook his head and said, In his opinion, Zhu Xiaobao is a bit whimsical. Such a complicated thing cannot be mass-produced. And the 19th princess does not have the financial resources and manpower now. Well, I designed it so that a single soldier can operate it. Whether it can shoot to a distance of 200 steps. I don't know yet. Zhu Xiaobao also shook his head a little uncertainly. Although theoretically the range of a compound bow is much longer. He doesn't have exact data yet. And Boss Zhao is right. Because the crossbow arrow has no feathers. Its accuracy will be very poor after more than a hundred steps. Single soldier operation? It is more convenient to use a bow and arrow. Boss Zhao seemed to be a little excited. He picked up his strong bow. Put on the bow and arrow. Turned around and shot out an arrow. The arrow quickly shot towards a tree a hundred and fifty steps away. And then was firmly nailed to the trunk. Someone emerged from behind the tree trunk. Angrily. She also shot an arrow back. But her strength was low. And she had already fallen to the ground before she could reach Boss Zhao. However, this man was very aggressive and shouted loudly. Okay. Zhu Xiao Bao. How dare you let someone shoot me? It turned out that Wu Yi was secretly observing behind the tree. Didn't she finish washing up and thinking about making something delicious? But the town was already overcrowded. And she suddenly thought of Zhu Xiao Bao. Could this guy be secretly making something delicious? Even though the three brothers of the Zhao family chose the barbecue place at the edge of the team. And ten carriages surrounded it. It was still downwind. But Wu Yu could still smell the aroma of barbecue. She came here quietly. But she didn't dare to show her face. She was a little reluctant to meet the three Zhao brothers. These people were all very cold and arrogant. But unexpectedly, Zhao Shabao noticed Wu Yu hiding behind a tree in time. The hint was given to Boss Zhao. So Boss Zhao also showed his strength and wanted to scare Wu Yu away. Unexpectedly, Wu Yu rushed over in anger. Hey! 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 Wu Yu! Who asked you to come here? My room has been given to you. What else do you want? You even want to take away the food? Be careful. I will beat you. Zhu Xiaobao is very excited now he shouted with confidence. Aren't there three masters around him now? TSK! Just you? Who shot it just now? Stand up for me. Do you think you are better than me if you can shoot far? Wu Yu shouted angrily. Second brother. Come on. Just send her away. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep these barbecues. Zhu Xiaobao said to Zhao Shenhu. He knew that Boss Zhao was too powerful. Zhao Shabao was not good at fighting. And Zhao Shenhu was the most suitable one can at least make Wu lose with dignity. Ha ha. You heard me. Xiao Bao doesn't like you staying here. I have no choice but to drive you away. Zhao Shenhu nodded. And then also drew out a single sword. His sword was actually a good sword. At least not as good as the high speed rail would a waste. He knew about Wu Yu's sword. When Wu Yu competed with Gao Tai Hua, Zhao Shenhu also looked at it from a distance. He was not deeply impressed by Wu Yu's Kung Fu. But he was deeply impressed by this sword. Because it is so different that it doesn't look like a sword at all. Stop talking nonsense! If you lose, you will give up your position. I still have many sisters who haven't eaten yet. Wu Yu also shouted rudely. With Lung Yu's little treasured sword in hand, Wu Yu's self-confidence has greatly improved. Zhao Shenhu stopped nagging, stood up, and just made a faint move. The opponent was a woman. So Wu Yu was the first to make the move. Wu Yu was even more merciless, using her sword to her heart's content. Her Wu Feng Dao had already reached a certain level of strength, but it was just a little short of strength and experience compared to the martial master. But Zhao Shenhu's moves are very simple. He can use them as he sees them, taking his time and ease. Even Zhu Xiaobao can see that Zhao Shenhu's Kung Fu is far superior to that of Wu Yu. Wu Yu had played less than 10 rounds before she knew she was no match for him. But Wu Yu did not give up and suddenly changed her moves. She used the Yuanong knife. And at the same time combined with the weird footwork. Zhao Shenhu was caught off guard. Huh? This is Mr. Duanmu's Mandarin duck sword technique. But this step is very weird. Boss Xiao was watching the competition between the two with a leisurely expression. But at this time, 
he was very surprised. The three brothers have been following Duan Mu Chi for more than 10 years. Of course they know Duan Mu Chi's sword skills. But they have never seen such weird footwork. Zhao Shenhu was also taken aback. He looked solemn and began to deal with it seriously. Wu Yu's movement skills were a bit confusing for him. He could only focus on defense. With his peak strength as a second level martial artist. Whether he wanted to defend or not you can live in it. Occasionally a counterattack would make Wu Yu retreat in a hurry. At the end of the fight, Wu Yu found that Zhao Shenhu's counterattacks were getting more and more sharp. So Wu Yu knew that her strength was far behind after all. She decided to fight quickly. While using the knife, she also drew out the short knife. Special move! Wu Yu shouted softly. Seeing Zhao Shenhu step into the fish eye of the Yin Yang Tai Chi diagram, she quickly performed this special move. Click! The short sword stabbed out quickly. But Wu Yu was always paying attention. If Zhao Shenhu really couldn't resist it, she would have to withdraw immediately. It's not necessarily true that he kills someone. So the power and speed of this move are not very fast. But what surprised Wu Yu was that his dagger was grabbed by Zhao Shenhu. Only then did he realize that Zhao Shenhu actually had a fine iron tiger claw on his left hand. Seeing that he couldn't hide, he grabbed the dagger directly. The blade. Ha ha! Thank you for showing mercy. How about this battle being a draw? Zhao Shenhu said with a smile. Yeah. Wu Yu also lowered her head and groaned. She knew that the other party had been merciful just now. While grabbing her short sword, Zhao Shenhu's right hand sword could already kill her. Aw? Tai! Sister Cece is so powerful. Sit down and eat some barbecue. I knew he couldn't beat you. Zhu Xiaobao was stunned. Although Zhao Shenhu didn't win, Zhu Xiaobao was a little surprised. Of. But at this time, he quickly stepped forward and began to flatter him first. Judging from Zhu Xiaobao's skillful movements, he stuffed a piece of barbecue into Wu Yu without any pause. Humph! You're wise! Wu Yu hummed a little proudly. But in her heart, she admired Zhao Shenhu's kung fu very much. Martial guard. I respect you. Zhao Shenhu also picked up the wine bowl very boldly. The sympathy between warriors made him appreciate Wu Yu very much. Okay. Hack. Wu Yu hacked a bowl happily. What about me? Let's have a bowl too. Zhu Xiaobao asked expectantly. Stop talking nonsense and get on with the barbecue. Aw? Chapter 63. My sister is mighty B. Warriors are very generous among themselves. Wu Yu and the three brothers of the Zhao family are not restrained at all. They are very open-minded and drink as much as they want. This is very unkind to the three brothers of the Zhao family. The move you just made should be a move from the female sword technique in the Yuan Ong sword. Right? I didn't expect that you learned both sword techniques at the same time and coordinated them together. It's really amazing. Zhao Shenhu said with a little admiration. Mr. Duanmu said that it is not allowed to be spread to outsiders. But he can't do it. So I had to use two sword techniques at the same time. Wu Yu looked at Zhu Xiaobao with a bit of resentment and said, Who said that? I was embarrassed to fight two against one. So I didn't take action. Otherwise, the second brother would have lost just now. Zhu Xiaobao still shouted unconvinced. Well, the knife you just used should not have been stabbed. You just turned your body around. If you use the knife in your left hand to cut it horizontally, it would be more powerful, and the killing area would be larger. It would be even more difficult. Dodge. Zhao Shenlong whispered from the side at this time. He was giving instructions on Wu Yu's sword skills. He has already advanced to a great martial arts master. And it can be said that his martial arts skills are not inferior to Duan Mu Qi's. And he is also at the right age to fight. Oh. Thank you, Brother Zhao. Wu Yu looked a little unconvinced. But she also knew that the martial arts of these three people were stronger than hers. Especially this Zhao Shenlong. At first glance, he is an absolute master. What a knife. Where did this knife come from? Could it be that it was picked up from some ancient tomb? At this time, Zhao Shibao was holding a short knife and praising it. Wu Yi was shocked. She stretched out her hand and touched it. The short knife in her waist had disappeared. This made her very horrified. If Zhao Shibao didn't steal her knife, but stabbed her quietly. Wouldn't he die without any reaction at all? Originally, Zhao Shibao just wanted to show off his skills. After all, the eldest and second brothers had already shown their strength slightly. And he also wanted to show off. Didn't he brag a lot in front of Zhu Xiaobao? So why not show it? But Wu Yu's sword really shocked all three of them. Because the quality of this sword was no worse than that of Lung Yu's sword. And the workmanship is exquisite. Wu Yu was only 17 years old but he actually owned two swords at the same time. 
This was really hard for them to accept. You must know that Zhao Shenhu's sword was still the boss of Zhao who fought a great martial artist to the death and finally killed the opponent after being seriously injured. This trophy was seized. Gave it to the second child. Zhao Shenhu. Zhao Shenhu usually regards this knife as a treasure. But now Wu has two swords at the same time. One long and one short. They are all of higher quality than Zhao Shenhu's. How could this not shock them? But this secret cannot be made public. So Wu was a little embarrassed. She looked at Zhu Xiaobao. But she didn't expect that Zhu Xiaobao smiled indifferently and said, A little gadget? It's not a big deal. If the third brother likes it, I'll pick it up and bring it back in a few days. Wu couldn't help but cover her mouth and laughed. Can a sword of this grade be picked up casually? It is indeed a good knife. Xiao Shilong took it and looked at it carefully, and then praised it sincerely. But he was very calm and returned the knife to Wu Yu. Then he took a deep look at Zhu Xiaobao. He now understands that this knife must be related to Zhu Xiaobao. Then Xiao Shilong stood up, picked up half a jar of wine, and said with a satisfied smile, Lao Er Lao San, let's go! If you don't leave, you will be surrounded by those female guards. It turns out that Ying Xiuxiu, Lu Tong, Lu Fang and others had already come over at this time. Several female guards, who were familiar with Zhu Xiaobao also came over. They all came back from walking around the town and found that they couldn't find anything good to eat. So they came back again. Of course, the main reason is to come to Zhu Xiaobao to have a toothpaste and satisfy my craving. As soon as these female guards came, the atmosphere suddenly changed. It became very cheerful and chattering. Zhu Xiaobao was infected and talked and laughed with him. In fact, he quite liked staying with these female guards. Who is that person? What a strong arm! Wu Lijia pulled out the arrow just sat on the tree trunk, then returned to Wu Yu and asked, when she drew the arrow just now. She knew that this man's arm strength was quite impressive. Greater than my own strength. And the big one is more than a little bit bigger. Hey! They are the leaders of the ten handlers sent by the seventh princess. In fact, they are all masters. They mainly protect the princess. And they also protect me by the way. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. These few of the female guards are relatively trustworthy. So Zhu Xiaobao didn't hide it from them. Humph. I think I'm protecting you. And the princess by the way. Right. Wu Yu snorted with a bit of disdain. Even when he saw the 19th princess. He was cold and indifferent. And he didn't look frightened at all. It's all the same. It's the same. I'm so weak. And with their protection, the princess will have peace of mind. Right. Zhu Xiaobao said boldly. It's embarrassing to say that. The more Wu Yu saw Zhu Xiaobao's lack of progress, the more dissatisfied she became. In fact, I quite like being with Zhu Xiaobao. But why do I have no ambition at all and no desire to be a big hero? Just like Boss Zhao just now. That's what we call a real master. A real hero. What did they say? They seem to be very familiar with Xiao Bao? Wu Lijia asked while drinking. She didn't care at all about Zhu Xiaobao's weakness. She didn't expect Zhu Xiaobao to fight in the first place. With female guards like them here, protecting the little treasures is not a trivial matter. Boss Zhao said that we should be more careful when we leave this county. He said that there will definitely be a situation ahead. But we don't know what kind of attack method the other party will adopt. Zhu Xiaobao kept what Boss Zhao said intact. He said it again. But he didn't want the tragedy of the last attack to happen again. Six female guards died that time. All the little treasures were sad for several days. Oh, it seems we should be more cautious. Xiao Bao, don't run out casually then. We'll be there for you if anything happens. Wu Li Jia nodded and said seriously. She was also injured last time. So I am more cautious this time. In the front of the ten carriages, the three brothers Xiao Shenlong were also discussing in a low voice. Of course, the three brothers were quite enjoying themselves and drank up the remaining half of the jar of wine. They usually don't get to drink the seventh princess's good wine. Brother, do you think their defensive strength is enough? Zhao Shen who asked with some unfinished thoughts after finishing the wine in the bowl. It's hard to say. It is said that Wu Yu and the others Kung Fu is average. But Chief Wu still has some masters. Haven't you noticed that even the whereabouts of the 19th princess have become very mysterious these days? This shows that they have thought of this. Zhao Shenlong shook his head and said, We have nothing to do with Princess 19th's affairs. We just need to keep Xiao Bao. We don't need to interfere with anything else. By the way, there's that Wu Yu. I didn't expect Xiao Bao to want to marry such a strong wife. You are really brave. Zhao Shenbao. 
The third child said with a smile. He obeyed Zhu Xiaobao. Even if his martial arts were not good, Zhu Xiaobao had an endless supply of new things. And Zhao Shenbao, the third child, also liked novelty and excitement. So he is now very loved staying with Zhu Xiaobao. Humph. If something really happens, can we stay out of it? Third brother, please work hard these days. Go out for a walk at night. Zhao Shenlong looked at the third brother and then ordered, He, the third brother, knows best. Everything needs to be struck. Otherwise it will not be done. Okay. Well, if it really comes to pass, I have to ask Xiao Bao to pick up a precious sword for me. Zhao Shabao said with a little itch. Ever since he heard Zhu Shibao's words, Zhao Shabao has been thinking about it. Get yourself a good knife too. For a killer, a good knife that can cut gold and jade is really important. On the third day, the team finished resting and set off again. This time, the speed was much faster. After all, they had just rested. So the people and horses were very energetic, and the speed of travel was also increased a lot. However, Zhu Xiaobao clearly discovered that the defenses around the left and right carriages had been strengthened. Especially the 19th princess carriage, which had been replaced by a single row of guards on both sides, to a double row of guards on both sides. And it was driven by Chief Wu himself. Invisibly, the atmosphere became very tense. I walked like this for five days in a row. And nothing happened. But the more I went like this, the more uneasy I felt. Could it be that I really made a wrong judgment? Impossible. There has been someone following him since he came out of the Imperial City. However, the other party is very experienced and very far away. Moreover, they are also very experienced tracking masters. Chief Wu wanted to sneak over and catch someone alive. But he couldn't. Can catch it. The other party's Qing Gong is very good. And there are several people taking care of each other. Whenever there is a situation, they send each other messages, which is difficult to find. In the first place, Chief Wu was not good at tracking. Not to mention, he was lame in one leg. After walking for another two days, when passing through a deserted wilderness at noon, General Manager Wu felt a warning sign in his heart. So he stopped the team and sent soldiers to the hillsides on both sides to investigate. If the other party sets an ambush here, it will be troublesome. Not long after, several top soldiers came back to report that there was nothing unusual on the hillside. This reassured General Manager Wu. Wave again and let the team move on. At this moment, several rickshaws came from the front, which were pushed by people. They should be some poor people. They don't have horses and can only be pushed forward by human power. Stop! Who are you? This is the princess's carriage. Don't you know how to get out of the way? Wu Yu urged her horse forward and asked. At the same time, her hand was pressed on the knife handle. Ah, oh? This female general. We are nearby villagers. Our people caught a big fish today. We were all happy and ate the fish together. But we didn't expect that the fish was poisonous. These people are all I've been poisoned. So I'm going to the medical center in the town for treatment. Please give the female general a favor. Let us pass. There's still a long way to go. Said an old man with a loyal face on the other side. Bowing repeatedly. Huh? You too? Go up and check. Wu Yu did not relax, but waved her hand and asked the two female guards to go forward and check carefully. Chapter 64 My sister is mighty, see? The two female guards checked carefully. There were several patients lying on each cart, moaning constantly, as if they were in pain. The carts were also padded with thick hay to allow the patients to lie more comfortably. Get comfortable. The guards poked the cart with the knives in their hands and then signaled to let it go. Wu Yu also turned around and stared at these carts. Because the road was narrow, the guards moved out of the way. These carts passed by the princess's carriage. At this moment, the big men pushing the carts suddenly changed their sluggish appearance and became extremely vicious. The people on the carts also suddenly jumped out. Several people at the same time. He exerted force to lift up the cart and flipped it toward the princess's frame. At the same time, a volley of bows and arrows was fired from the hillside in the distance. And each arrow was filled with fire. The cart in the middle hit the princess's frame heavily and ignited a raging fire. However, the front and last carts came over sideways and also burned. This isolates the princess's frame. At this time, these killers took out weapons from the bottom of the overturned cart. They were all short and heavy weapons such as hammers and axes. They had the same goal. And they all rushed towards the princess desperately. Frame. Mr. Wu. 
who was sitting in the driving position, suddenly jumped into the sky to avoid the fierce impact and shooting. The female guard next to him also avoided it in time. It seemed like no one was going to protect the 19th princess. But there was no time to consider these details. The desperate killer seemed to only have the princess's carriage in their eyes. They swarmed up, holding hammers and axes in their hands, trying to force open the carriage. And the arrows behind him continued to shoot without any scruples. Not caring about the life and death of these people at all. But a surprising thing happened. The frame of the 19th princess was not as strong as the legend said. On the contrary, it was very fragile. The carriage next to it was easily smashed. But these people rushed into the car with excessive force. Then a huge cloud of white dust rose up in the carriage, which was lime powder. Those desperate killers suddenly let up painful screams. Everyone is like a headless fly, bumping around, looking at Wuyu and others. It was then that they picked up the weapons in their hands, gathered from all around, and killed the assassins. The huge dust and smoke also made it difficult for the archers on the hillside to see the situation clearly. And the arrows they fired were also inaccurate. Kill without mercy, Chief Wu said briefly. He raised the knife and dropped it. A human head flew out. But Chief Wu didn't even blink. Wu Yu and the others even wore veils, covering their mouths and noses, and rushed into the dust to fight with a group of killers. The scene suddenly splattered with blood and screamed again and again. Although Chief Wu was very lucky, because he had the news secretly conveyed by Zhao Shenbao. He had made preparations as early as possible. However, this seems a bit too easy. And the opponent's assassination method is too simple and low level. And the skills of these desperate killers are also too poor. At the same time, Wu also felt something was wrong. The father and daughter wanted to disperse at both ends of the motorcade. Huh? There's something wrong with this? Are all the people here so bad? Zhao Shenhu also murmured while standing on the carriage. He drove Zhu Xiaobao's car specifically today to protect Zhu Xiaobao's safety. Second brother, can I come out and have a look? Zhu Xiaobao was strictly ordered not to come out. So there were sounds of killing outside. But he couldn't see it. He was very curious in his heart and wanted to come out and have a look. Something's wrong. Xiaobao, come out quickly and get under the carriage. The more Zhao Shenhu looked at it, the more he felt there was something wrong. He said quickly, Okay, let me bring my weapon. Zhu Xiaobao picked up his knife from the side of his seat. Although he has such a good knife, he rarely carries it with him. He finds it troublesome, and it weighs several kilograms. Don't go out through the back door. Come from me. Zhao Shenhu was quite experienced, and did not let Zhu Xiaobao go out through the back door. Instead, he climbed down directly from the driving position. In his car, the driver and the carriage behind him are the same. Unexpectedly, Zhu Xiaobao had climbed halfway out of the carriage, and when he was close to the horse's butt, eight people suddenly jumped out from the ground on both sides of the road without warning. It turned out that these people had ambushed him in advance. Underground, waiting for the most fatal blow. No! Brother! Number three! There is an assassin! Zhao Shenhu was immediately shocked. He didn't expect that the other party was actually targeting his car. Oh my god! Quick! Quick! Let me get down! Zhu Xiaobao also saw these people jumping up and down, holding swords in their hands, aiming directly at his carriage. Did he make a mistake? I'm not a princess. The princess is behind. Zhu Xiaobao wanted to clarify and hoped they would go to the back. But it was too late, and he couldn't climb down smoothly. In a panic, he fell directly and landed on the horse's hind legs. Then, regardless of the pain, he quickly climbed under the carriage. At the same time, Wuyu had already rushed back. And Ying Xiaoxiao, Lu Tong, Lu Fang and others beside the vehicle also jumped off their horses to meet the enemy. The roads here are narrow, and you can't turn around on a horse. So you will be very passive. Will you jump up from the horse? Touch the roof of the car with her toes. And then rush directly towards a killer holding an iron sword. Because this killer is closest to the carriage. One knife. Will you cut off the opponent's long sword? And at the same time, with a strange footwork, he went around behind the opponent, raised the sword with his hand, and killed an assassin. I didn't expect the Yuan Yang sword's footwork to be so easy to use. This greatly increased Wu Yu's confidence. Even Zhu Xiaobao applauded Wu Yu from under the carriage. Sister, you are so powerful. What a beautiful movement. I hate it. Just stay down there for me. Wu Yu's face turned red, and she shouted coquettishly. But she was very proud in her heart. The soldiers at the front and back have begun to charge up the hillside. 
the opponent's number should not be very large. But firing arrows so unscrupulously from a high position is quite lethal. So we have to storm up the hillside as quickly as possible. Zhao Shen who dealt with four killers by himself. But he still didn't lose it all. However, he was also trapped by these four people. Zhao Shenlong, who had come back from a carriage kill, was even more brave. He basically killed him instantly. His weapons it's a pair of four-sided plum blossom maces. It turned out to be a heavy weapon, but it was as light as a heavy weapon in his hands. Moreover, Zhao Shenlong's pair of plum blossom maces are still one long and one short, which is very weird. At this time, something even more unexpected happened. The large troops on both sides were charging, but the convoy in the middle was surrounded by only 200 guards. Basically the 200 female guards of the 19th princess. But at this time, a group of people rushed down from the nearby hillside. At first glance, it was obvious that they were the most elite team. All of them are extremely fast and have extraordinary skills. The timing is also very good. There are actually more than 50 people in this group. The scene became a bit chaotic and bloody. It was a direct confrontation. And casualties appeared immediately. And the kung fu of these killers is so high that only two or three female guards can stop one person. The advantage in numbers did not allow them to take the initiative. But made them very passive. But this time, I was fully prepared as early as possible and was protected by leather armor. Which prevented many casualties. The third child, Zhao Shenbao, did not appear here. He was busy doing his dirty tricks. Zhao Shenbao was the first to notice the problem. He quickly ran to the roadside and inserted his short knife into the ground accurately. In this way, several killers were nailed to the ground by him before the signal came out. Because he was quite good at this. From experience, if you are lying underground, you must have an outlet. So he took action. With one precise stab. And he killed four people in a row. When those people fled, Zhao Shabao followed suit. But he flew backwards. Just kidding. If so many people were to deal with him together, wouldn't they be torn into pieces? Wei was no longer as relaxed as before. She was besieged by three people. Although her footwork was weird. The opponent was also very fast. Even if she had a chance, she was immediately forced back by the other people. This made Wei a little anxious. Manager Wu also rushed over at this time and helped Wu Yu kill a killer who besieged her and then immediately faced the killer led by the other party. This killer actually wears a mask and the soft armor on his body is also very sophisticated. The key is that there are four people around him protecting him at all times. When the two fought against each other, General Wu was actually at a disadvantage. The opponent's four subordinates were very brave and the leader of the killer was also extremely skilled in martial arts. Not under General Manager Wu. Wu Yu saw it in her eyes and felt anxious in her heart. The disability on Mr. Wu's feet had obviously affected his fighting ability. He was beaten very passively and was in great danger. But there are two killers on Wu Yu's side who are desperately besieging her, making it impossible for her to rush to the rescue. At this moment, a killer screamed and fell to the ground holding his feet. Wu Yu was stunned for a moment. And then without thinking, he killed the killer with a single blow of his knife. The remaining killer discovered that there was a fat man under the carriage, holding a sleeve crossbow and making a sneak attack insidiously. The killer just now was shot in the foot by him and was killed. Where did such a mean little fat man come from? The killer was very angry. But he ignored Wu Yu's existence. Wu Yu had already escaped from the siege and used weird footwork to get around him. Open! This killer's martial arts skills were indeed not weak. And he was able to hold Wu Yu's sword at the critical moment. And I am very lucky that my swords were not cut off. It's just that Wu Yu's strength seems a bit small. Immediately, he immediately understood that Wu Yu's killing move was not the knife in her hand, but the short knife in her left hand. A short knife over a foot long has been slashed across, and there is no possibility of dodge at all. The knife flashed, and the killer opened his eyes wide in horror, and slowly fell to his knees. At this time, the blood came from a lot of oozing out of the soft armor on the chest. Sister is mighty! Zhu Xiaobao raised his chubby fist again and shouted softly. He still has that rogue and mean look on his face. I hate it! Don't come out! I'm afraid I can't protect you! Wu Yu looked at Zhu Xiaobao, blushed again, and then said with great concern, because only then did Wu Yu realize that his martial arts was too weak. But at this time, the leader of the assassin waved his hand, and the person next to him hesitated for a moment, but still came out to block Wu Yu's rescue. Chapter 65 excessive fright. The strength of the subsequent 50 killers far exceeded Chief Wu's expectations. 
If it weren't for Zhao Shenlong and Zhao Shenhu, General Manager Wu might have been defeated. Zhao Shenlong killed him with an expressionless face. His long and short plum blossom maces were actually faster than those who wielded swords, especially the short mace. It is very flexible and does not look like a heavy weapon at all. Seven other handlers under Zhao Shenlong also rushed over. These seven people immediately alleviated the crisis of the female guards. All of them were agile and had extremely rich practical experience. And at this time, Zhao Shenlong had already rushed over to support General Manager Wu. In desperation, the leader of the assassin abandoned Chief Wu and faced Zhao Shenlong. Because if Zhao Shenlong and General Manager Wu were together, it would be even more difficult to deal with. He was counting on the remaining three bodyguards to help him get rid of Chief Wu. At this time, Wu had already fought against the assassin who had divided his forces. However, although Wu's footwork was weird this time, the opponent's movement was also very flexible and extremely fast, which made Wu a little unable to resist. She could feel that this person's martial arts was probably at least the peak of a third-level martial artist. She felt that it was even more difficult to deal with than when she competed with Zhao Shenhu, because at that time Zhao Shenhu was holding back and did not use his full combat power. But at this time, this person was trying to kill Wuyu. Wuyu had an idea at this time, hoping to lure his opponent to the carriage. She had seen Zhu Shuba's sleeve crossbow before. There was a crossbow arrow on each side of the front and back. There should be one crossbow arrow that had not been fired yet. Zhu Xiaobao was lying under the carriage. Also very worried. Even if he doesn't know martial arts, he can still see that Wuyu is no match for him at all. Now that dangers are everywhere, Zhu Xiaobao's heart is in his throat seeing Wuyu moving in his direction. Zhu Xiaobao understood what Wuyu meant. At the critical moment, her husband was the most reliable. Zhu Xiaobao was feeling quite satisfied. Wuyu was killed in a state of embarrassment. But when she rushed to the carriage, she suddenly jumped up, touched the carriage carriage with her toes, took advantage of the situation, jumped up high, and slashed with her backhand. This knife is quite sharp. The opponent did turn around and narrowly avoided the knife. But Zhu Xiaobao was given an excellent opportunity, holding a crossbow in his sleeve. Aim and shoot. But what he didn't expect was that things didn't go as smoothly as Zhu Xiaobao imagined. This person reacted very quickly. And he had already discovered Zhu Xiaobao's existence. He had seen the killer who was shot at that time. Before Zhu Xiaobao's crossbow arrow could be fired, the opponent's left-hand sword was thrown over. The opponent used two swords. Now in the crisis, he threw one out and went straight under the carriage. Because of the angle, the knife failed to hurt Zhu Xiaobao, but it knocked off his sleeve crossbow, and the crossbow arrow was also shot somewhere in the chaos. Ah? Oh? Why are you like this? I haven't aimed properly yet. Zhu Xiaobao was immediately shocked. What made him even more horrified was that the opponent actually rushed towards him. Fortunately, Zhu Xiaobao also had some tricks to save his life. He rolled out from the other end of the carriage. Before he could stand up, the other party actually jumped up deflected Wu Yu's knife in the air, and then landed on the other side of the carriage. It seemed that he wanted to kill the little fat man first. Zhu Xiubao's movements were so fast that he rolled again and rolled back from under the carriage. Come out from the other side again. This made the assassin very depressed. There was nothing he could do against this fat man. The assassin rolled under the carriage with the same roll, which made Zhu Xiubao's attempt to take advantage of the carriage come to nothing. Zhu Xiubao panicked and took his knife and ran towards Wu Yu. At this time, there was nothing he could do. Only Wu Yu was the closest to him. Moreover, the two of them have a tacit understanding of each other and can perform the Yuan Yang sword technique. Wu Yu was also anxious. And when she saw Zhu Xiaobao running towards her, she felt relieved. At this time, the assassin stood up again from the side of the carriage. And his colleague picked up the knife in his left hand. His face was already very angry. Being put into such a miserable state by a little fat man made him feel a little embarrassed. But when they fought again, the assassin almost went crazy. Wu Yu's moves had completely changed. And the little fat man could actually match Wu Yu's steps and sway left and right. He seemed clumsy, but his footwork even weirder than Wu Yu. A weird shaped knife wielded in a disorganized manner. Worse than an old woman. But even with this clumsy sword technique, he could occasionally launch a killing move, forcing him to rush. When he wanted to counterattack, Wu Yu turned back and blocked the opponent's attack for Zhu Xiaobao. But the little fat man turned behind Wuyu in a very clumsy and funny way. The assassin was furious. This battle was too frustrating. And his body skills seemed to be limited. The little fat man would always strike at critical moments. Forcing him to change his direction. 
so now his speed is getting slower and slower. But the double knives in his hands are getting faster and faster. But in this way, he violated a taboo in martial arts. And his sword skills and body skills couldn't coordinate at all. Nirvana! Wii Yu finally found a flaw and shouted. Because the opponent is now in the position of the Yin and Yang fish eye. It is the perfect time to perform a special move. When? Wii Yu's sword was blocked by the assassin. But Wii Yu also slashed the sword with his left hand horizontally. Unexpectedly, the opponent used two swords. And the other sword also blocked Wii Yu's short sword. Wii Yu didn't expect this at all. But what was even more unexpected next was that Zhu Xiaobao appeared in front of the assassin. The assassin suddenly found himself in a completely open situation. Watching the little fat man's knife strike at him. And this knife was actually very neat. With just the right angle and timing. In other words, the power is a little smaller. But he still felt the fatality of this knife. Ah! No, no. Crack! With one strike, the killer was split in half. And blood spurted out. Spraying all over Zhu Xiaobao's face. Zhu Xiaobao felt that his whole body was sluggish. Standing there stupidly, thinking constantly in his heart. I killed someone! I killed someone! Did I kill him? Immediately afterwards, Zhu Xiaobao fell down softly. When Wu Yu saw it, she quickly hugged Zhu Xiaobao. This is a very critical moment, and there are still many killers on the other side. But Zhu Xiaobao didn't know anything. He was so frightened that he was completely stunned. This stunning blow also alarmed the people around him, especially the leading assassin. He felt that this little fat man looked a little familiar, as if he had seen him before. But he didn't have time to think about it now, because the situation is deteriorating rapidly. Zhao Shenlong on the opposite side made him somewhat powerless. Although the sword in his hand is an absolute magic weapon, the opponent's mace is a heavy weapon, and he is not afraid at all. As for General Manager Wu, when he saw Zhu Xiao about killing the assassin, he couldn't help but become energetic. He summoned up his power and chopped down an assassin with one strike. The two assassins who were besieging him were already frightened and had no fighting spirit. And at this moment, from the back of the convoy, 20 female guards were shooting at these killers accurately. The leader turned out to be the 19th princess. Siaj and her archery skills were quite good, and her arrows were basically all missed. This caused a group of killers to be shot dead 7 or 8 people in no time. Only then did the leader of the assassin realize that the 19th princess was not staying in any car at all, but was wearing soft armor like the female guards and was mixed in with the female guards. It seems that this assassination attempt was a complete failure, but it was very difficult for him to leave at this time. Zhao Xinlong's martial arts was higher than him. And at this time, he had the upper hand in terms of momentum. He was not given a chance to escape at all. Quick! Come back! The leader of the assassin couldn't help shouting urgently. Both sides had already seen their respective martial arts methods at this time. And they also knew who the other party was. Oh! Zhao Xinlong was also a little surprised and relaxed his hands. The other party was probably a subordinate of His Highness the Sixth Prince. And this person should be Hutieluan the personal attendant of His Highness the Sixth Prince. Today, he didn't use the pair of sawtooth flywheels that he was good at, so he was at a disadvantage. Otherwise, his kung fu would be on par with Zhao Shilong. I'll fight with you! Hu Tielowen was also furious at this time and shouted frantically. He really tried his best. Crack! Zhao Shilong was suddenly shocked. The long plum blossom mace in his right hand was cut off abruptly. And this time it became two short plum blossom maces. Hu Tielwen's sword also had a gap. After all, it hit such a thick iron mace. It was already quite sharp to be able to cut it. Of the 50 killers, only about 20 were left. And they all gathered around to protect Hu Tielwen. However, Chief Wu was merciless and took advantage of the situation to kill an assassin. The remaining assassin had no intention of fighting and quickly retreated to Hu Tielwen's side. This time the operation has been a complete failure. Unexpectedly, you are actually from the 7th princess? Duan Mu Xilong. How disrespectful. Hu Tielwen calmed down at this time and said in a low voice. Humph. You dare to commit murder in Da Xia Kingdom in broad daylight. Kill without mercy. Zhao Shenlong snorted very arrogantly. Even though he was from the Sixth Highness, he didn't care. But he was also very experienced. So he shouted first if the other party is a robber. Let yourself take the lead. Let's go. Hu Tielwen said depressedly. Although he cut off Zhao Shenlong's mace. He was also slapped by Zhao Shenlong and was already injured. Although I am unwilling to do so, I can only accept the result of failure. Now he doesn't show his true face. 
once her true appearance is revealed. The 19th princess will probably be killed and silenced. So he had the good sense to evacuate immediately. While fighting and retreating, the chasing guards came back without too much entanglement. Because Chief Wu didn't let them continue to hunt. In this battle, Zhao Shilong killed nine assassins. Zhao Shenhu killed six. General Wu killed five. And Wu Yu actually killed three. Of course, the last one should be killed by Zhu Xiaobao. It's just that Zhu Xiaobao is still in a state of unconsciousness. The leaders of the soldiers before and after came to report the results of the battle. Basically, more than half of the archers on the hillside were killed. In the process of hand-to-hand -hand combat, a total of more than 30 people were killed. The 19th princess suffered quite a lot of casualties. With more than 60 soldiers and two guards dead, there are even more injured. Even Ying Xiaoxia was cut on the back, and the injury was considered serious. What is more surprising is that both the injured and captured killers committed suicide by taking poison. This made the 19th princess a little surprised. These people are actually dead soldiers? It seems that Six Brother hates himself to the core. Well, how is Xiaobao? After hearing the report, Princess 19 was basically satisfied. The opponent was so strong and could win. Thanks to Zhao Shilong and others. The fighting power of these people is indeed very powerful. But the 19th princess is most worried about Zhu Xiaobao. He hasn't regained consciousness yet. Wu Yu said a little worriedly. Ever since Zhu Xiaobao was overly frightened, Wu Yu had been holding Zhu Xiaobao in her arms. Suddenly she was very scared, for fear that Zhu Xiaobao would not wake up. Chapter 66, Sequeli. General Manager Wu found a village and stopped to reorganize his troops, treat the wounded, and also bury those soldiers who died in the battle. Princess 19 expressed her sincere gratitude to Zhao Shenlong and others for their great help, and also presented 500 tales of gold. This is already the 19th princess's greatest achievement. Her funds were really stretched. Zhao Shenlong and others did not refuse. Originally, coming out this time was to give them an opportunity to earn some benefits. Besides, my efforts are fully worthy of these rewards. In this victory, the one who contributed the most to the victory was the third child, Zhao Shenbao. He caught one alive, forced to find out where the opponent was preparing to ambush. Although they didn't know the opponent's number and assassination method, they had already taken the initiative. In fact, Hu Chieluan had been looking for suitable opportunities along the way. But General Manager Wu was too cautious. Whenever there was favorable terrain, he would send people to investigate first, and even stay there until the large group of people had passed before evacuating these people. So Hu Chieluan never found the most suitable opportunity. There is nothing we can do here today. If we go further, we will reach King Wen's territory. General Manager Wu bowed deeply to Zhao Shenlong and expressed his gratitude. Without Zhao Shenlong, General Manager Wu would have almost died. Even in a one-on-one -on -one challenge against Hu Tielun, General Manager Wu was not as strong as the opponent. However, Zhao Shenlong was a little surprised by Princess 19's response. He didn't expect that this young princess actually had such accurate shooting skills. And she also knew how to protect herself in the chaos. He is also very calm and collected in times of trouble. Ten people, headed by Zhao Shenlong, sat together. Only two of them were slightly injured, compared with the strong winds and waves that Duanmuki experienced. This ambush was nothing at all. The only person who could attract Zhao Xinlong's attention was Hu Tielun. Chief Wu and Princess 19 looked at this group of people and whispered, Unexpectedly, they are Duanmu Xilong. I really didn't expect that the seventh princess actually sent them to you. It seems that the seventh princess still values you very much. Yeah, but why do I feel that they are mainly protecting Zhu Xiaobao? Princess 19 said a little helplessly. These ten people have no respect for her at all. On the contrary, he and Zhu Xiaobao were very close. Xiao Shenlong, on the other hand, said very calmly, You guys should divide the gold. Leave a share for Lao Yi. He! Brother, even if Old Eleven gave it to her, she wouldn't take it. It's not like you don't know. Xiao Shenbao, the third child, said with a smile, Everyone else also showed very ambiguous smile lines. It turns out that Lao Shi is the only woman among the eleven men in Duanmu. But she fell in love with Zhao Shenlong. But Zhao Shenlong was very ungrateful and rejected her. So Zhao Shenlong has always been a little guilty of this old eleven. And at the same time a little afraid of her. Yeah, I know. That's it. You just have to figure it out. Zhao Shenlong said a little vaguely. In fact, Zhao Shenlong felt a little uneasy. He didn't expect Yu Xiaobao to become delirious this time. This really caught him off guard. 
although it can't be said to be their responsibility. He still felt that Zhu Xiaobao was not protected. Well, how is Xiaobao? Are you awake? Zhao Shenlong took the opportunity to change the subject and asked. Well, it seems not yet. You know this kind of thing. It's the first time to kill someone and disembowel him. It will probably take some time to recover. No one thought that his knife was so sharp. He just killed the assassin. It was split in half. No wonder it scared me too. Zhao Shenhu said a little depressed. Alas, now I know why Mr. Duanmu is so fond of Xiaobao. There are many unexpected things about this little fat guy. Even his moves are hard to guard against. He doesn't look like an ordinary person at all. People who are good at martial arts use it. Zhao Shilong said with a little sigh. He had seen Zhu Xiaobao's move. And many people present had seen it. And they all thought it was very incredible. The footwork and moves matched so perfectly. And they also coordinated tacitly with Wu Yu's footwork. He actually did it. With a perfect chop. A sharp sword. And unpreventable timing. So that he could ignore Zhu Xiaobao's lack of strength and speed and still cut the person in half. Yes. If it were me, I probably wouldn't be able to dodge this move. I didn't expect Xiaobao to have such a skill. What's even more amazing is that his sword is actually a precious sword. Brother, do you think their family is specialized in making weapons? Zhao Xiaobao was most annoyed. He had seen Zhu Xiaobao's sword a long time ago. But with Zhu Xiaobao's virtue, Zhao Xiaobao didn't even look at the sword, which was just a decoration. I bought it and thought it was a precious sword. If I had known what kind of toilet paper I was going to steal, wouldn't it have been okay just to steal the knife? Okay. Although the crisis has been resolved, we still have to be prepared for sneak attacks. Just be more careful and take good care of the little treasures. Our mission will not be over until we reach Xiuan City. Boss Xiao waved his hand and said. He became even more curious about Zhu Xiaobao. After two days of rest, the wounded were basically stabilized and the damaged carriages were repaired. The frame of the 19th princess was beyond repair and was burned. The two horses pulling the cart were also shot to death. Overall, the loss this time was not huge. The most worrying thing is Zhu Xiaobao. He seems to be overly frightened and a little stupid. But he understands how to eat and sleep. And even knows how to ask for toilet paper when going to the toilet. But he said nothing. What makes Wu Yu even more distressed is that Zhu Xiaobao seems to be relying on her. Once he leaves, he starts talking nonsense and shouts Wu Yu's name. But with Wu Yu by her side, Zhu Xiaobao got into her arms very naturally without saying a word. Just lying there enjoying himself. Isn't this fatal? Hey! Zhu Xiaobao! Are you okay? Are you done with this? Wu Yu said, shaking Zhu Xiaobao a little angrily. I killed someone. Did I really kill someone? Yeah, yeah. Hold me tight. I'm so scared. Zhu Xiaobao said in a daze. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Who said you killed someone? You just killed a pig. Besides, if you don't kill him, you will be killed by him soon. Wu Yu said with some soft-hearted relief. After three days like this, Wu Yu felt something was wrong. Zhu Xiaobao didn't seem to be that serious. I'm also picky about what I eat. And once Wu Yu seemed to feel that Zhu Xiaobao was smiling evilly. But when she looked carefully, he became very dull again. No. Is this bastard lying to me and taking advantage of me? The more Wu Yu thought about it, the more something was wrong. But this time she did not say anything, but quietly began to observe secretly. Zhu Xiaobao has taken a lot of advantage in the past few days and is preparing to pretend to be more miserable in order to take more advantage. Wu Yu asked Lu Tong to take care of Zhu Xiaobao, lying that he had something to do and left for a while. This made Lu Tong very embarrassed. After Zhu Xiaobao was stimulated recently, he always liked to lie in the arms of women. And Lu Tong also felt that Zhu Xiaobao seemed to do it intentionally. Because in Lu Tong, Zhu Xiaobao's the moves are bolder. My hands were shaking and I reached inside. Lu Tong blushed every time. But he didn't reject it in his heart. Wu Yu secretly observed from a distance. And all kinds of evil deeds of Zhu Xiaobao were exposed. Except for a little injury on his butt. This guy is just pretending. What's even more annoying is that when Wu Yu, Lu Tong and others were away, Zhu Xiaobao and Zhao Xiaobao actually hid in the distance and watched the female soldiers taking a bath. They lay on the ground, laughing obscenely and dancing. Even though Zhao Xiaobao is already 26 years old, he and Zhu Xiaobao actually get along very well. On the carriage, Wu Yu and Lu Tong looked at Zhu Xiaobao helplessly. This guy was asleep now. But even if he was asleep, his hands and feet were not honest, 
and kept rubbing against Lu Tong's body. He was still humming. When it was time to eat, Zhu Xiaobao woke up very accurately, looking at Wu Yu and Lu Tong. They started to become stupid again. Then he got off the carriage, not forgetting to put toilet paper on himself. After peeing, Zhu Xiaobao spread his arms and couldn't help shouting. Let the storm come more violently. Xiaobao! Xiaobao! Have you brought toilet paper? Bring me too! Unexpectedly, Wu Yu's voice came to my ears. Maybe she was a little shy. But Wu Yu's voice was actually very soft. It's coming! It's coming! Damn it! Is there such a thing? Xu Xiaobao tied up his pants excitedly and ran towards the source of the sound. I completely forgot that I was still a person who had not recovered my sanity. When he got to the place, he didn't see the white and dazzling scene he expected. But he saw Wu Yu's fierce eyes, staring at him. Oh! My head is so dizzy! And I can't do it anymore! I have to go back and lie down for a while! Zhu Xiaobao was shocked, and immediately covered his head and shouted with a trembling voice. Oomph! Pretend again! Keep pretending! I ran faster than a rabbit just now! Now I want to pretend to be sick again! Let me beat you to death! Well, you couldn't help but finally had an attack. Oh my god! I'm not pretending! I suddenly regained my consciousness just now! Don't do this nonsense! Someone's going to die! Zhu Xiaobao was a little scared this time and ran away quickly, deceiving Wu Yong. After three days, he still took advantage of her. He deserved a beating from her. But just as Wu wanted to chase him, he stopped again, stamped his feet, and then squatted down and started crying. He cried so sadly. Damn you little villain! People worry about you every day, but you are just thinking of lying to me and taking advantage of me. Just run away! I don't want to see you again! Wow! Oh! 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 Are you really crying? Damn it! You went too far this time! Zhu Xiaobao was halfway through when he heard Wu Yu's cry, and was stunned for a moment. In fact, even if he was beaten by Wu Yu, or, it's okay to kick him twice, but Wu Yu's crying made Zhu Xiaobao a little bit at a loss. Listening to Wu Yu's cry, I was actually very moved and felt quite guilty. Zhu Xiaobao was stunned for a while, then walked back obediently, and sat down next to Wu Yu. He lowered his head, thinking about how to coax her. Chapter 67 King 1A Seeing Wu Yu crying, Zhu Xiaobao was a little dumbfounded. It turns out that the most terrifying thing about a woman is not her strong force value, but the tons of tears. Hey! 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 Don't cry! I'm wrong! Can't you do it? Zhu Xiaobao sat next to Wu Yu. He was honest this time, and didn't dare to do anything. After touching her body for a long time, she took out a piece of toilet paper and handed it to Wu Yu, asking her to wipe her tears. Nowadays facial tissue has not been made yet, so toilet paper can only be used instead. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao had a piece of Wu Yu's face towel on him, but he didn't dare to take it out for fear that Wu Yu would take it back. Wahoo I knew to bully me, and peek at the female soldier bathing. Wu Yu was crying and complaining. That was Zhao Losan's idea. I just took a few glances. I was too far away and didn't see anything. Zhu Xiaobao was still quibbling in a low voice. But he was very surprised in his heart that his dirty behavior was unexpected. Everyone knows about it. Isn't this ruining one's good reputation? Lie! I'm already a second level martial arts master. Is it necessary to do this? Why don't I play with you and help you look out? Huh? Don't think I don't know. Zhao Laosan just wants you to make a short sword for him. Wu Yu snorted disdainfully, then stretched out her hand and said, Not enough! More! Okay! Okay! I will correct these bad hobbies in the future! This will work! Zhu Xiaobao handed over another piece of toilet paper very wisely. It turned out that Wu Yu's last stretch was to ask for toilet paper. Also, you are not allowed to touch Xiu Xiu or the others in the future. Huh? These girls don't know how to discipline themselves. They let you do whatever you want. And they are worthless. It's not enough. I need more. Wu Yu said angrily. Aw? Uh? How can that be done? That's a way for us to communicate and enhance our relationship. I won't let you do this or that. I won't be able to survive. I'm already 16 centimeters tall. Xu Xiaobao was decisive. He refused. Of course, the last two words were said in a very low voice. But Wu Yu still heard it. What centimeter? Anyway, I don't care. I won't allow you to do whatever you want with them. It's not enough. There's more. 
although we didn't understand what centimeter was. She didn't care about it. She said very domineeringly, and took the used fold of toilet paper and put it in your arms. That's okay when you're not around? No. If you dare, try it. It's not enough. How about you take their place? In fact, I am very pure. No. Well, I can hug you once a month at most. Well, I want more. Are you supposed to have your period? Once a month? Zhu Xiaobao immediately jumped up, protested loudly, and then angrily threw out all the toilet paper in his arms. Is it over? Are you crying so much? Humph. I'm not happy to get it. Do you think I'm willing to let you take advantage? Will you put away the remaining half of toilet paper at this time? Stood up, ignored Zhu Xiaobao at all, and walked away. Where is the miserable image of grievance just now? Holy shit. Have you been fooled? Damn. The big size will be useless next time? Only then did Zhu Xiaobao realize that he had already been defrauded of all his toilet paper. The following days were like falling from heaven to H, L. Lu Tong and Lu Fang were all dressed up, riding horses and following on both sides of the carriage, never getting into Zhu Xiaobao's carriage again. They received a stern warning from Lu Yu. Don't let the little treasures take advantage of it. Lu Yu was even more powerful and went directly to the third child Zhao Xiaobao for a martial arts competition. Even though they were on the march, the two of them ran to a farther place and started fighting. Wu Yu is no match for Zhao Shabao. But Zhao Shabao didn't dare to hurt her. Therefore, Wu Yu became even more confident and pestered Zhao Shabao to compete every day. This made Zhao Shabao crazy. However, this kind of competition made Wu Yu's martial arts improve by leaps and bounds. Zhao Shabao knows a lot of things and can do it with anything. So Wu Yu is not so much competing in martial arts as he is learning from Zhao Shenbao. Brother, I can't stand it anymore. Can you take care of that powerful wife of yours? Who can stand this endless situation? Zhao Shenbao finally couldn't stand it anymore and asked Zhu Xiaobao for help. Third brother, please forgive me. Look at me. I am even worse off than you now. I am alone every day. Zhu Xiaobao said weakly. Wu Yu was now so energetic that he not only controlled Zhu Xiaobao, but also Lu Tong and Lu Fang, and even frightened Zhao Shabao so much that he did not dare to show his face. I also have an extra knife of toilet paper in my hand. If I use it sparingly, I can almost deal with Xiu and City. After another two days, we finally arrived at King Wen's thief. Unexpectedly, King Wen personally brought a group of officials to greet him. This made the 19th princess a little flattered. She had no contact with King Wen and had never even met him. Moreover, when he was in the imperial city, King Wen sent people to help the 19th princess several times, but she politely declined them all. But now the 19th princess has clearly sided with the 7th princess, but King Wen still came to greet her grandly, which surprised the 19th princess. The governor of the county in front didn't even show his face. Greetings to King Wen. Third brother Yulao came out in person. He really broke my little sister. The 19th princess dismounted from a distance and gave King Wen Xia Zuan a gift first as a monarch and his minister, and then as a brother and sister. Ha ha ha. No gifts. No gifts. We are all brothers and sisters. No need to be formal. King Wen Xia Zuan had no heirs at all. He laughed and jumped off the horse to support the 19th princess. At this time, I took a closer look at this 19-year-old girl. She was really unique. She seemed frail, but she was wearing a military uniform. He is not very old, but he is already very calm and collected. Her appearance is even more stunning and her eyes are clear, making people fall in love with her just by looking at her. At the same time, the 19th princess also saw King Wen for the first time. Unexpectedly, King Wen was really a very elegant man, with a slender figure and a graceful demeanor. He really looked like a scholar, not wearing official uniform. Although His Highness the Sixth Prince is also very graceful, he always gives people a very artificial feeling, as if he is deliberately showing it off. I don't want King Wen to be so calm. After getting on their horses again, the team followed them into King Wen's fiefdom. King Wen had already arranged a place to live. And of course, a grand banquet was also indispensable. Even the soldiers of the 19th princess were entertained. Moreover, this place is not the location of Prince Wen's palace, but one of his villas. Prince Wen traveled dozens of miles to get here. It can be seen that King Wen is still very attentive. In order to show their closeness, King Wen and the 19th princess ate at the same table. The number of people was not large. But they were all family members. And the princess also sat next to King Wen. 
the 19th princess was surrounded by general manager Wu and Wu Yu, as well as someone who turned out to be Zhu Xiaobao. He was wearing steward's clothes today. Although King Wen was a little surprised, he estimated that Zhu Xiaobao might be a more trustworthy servant of the 19th princess. After chatting for a while, King Wen said with a sigh, Unexpectedly, the 19th sister actually started a business with the 7th sister. Originally, I wanted to cooperate with the 19th sister. And I also wanted to invite the 19th sister to come. I'm here to develop. Actually, Shi Yuan City is not suitable for you. Little sister, do you want to live here with me? Thank you. Third brother, I can go to Shi Yuan City because of 7th sister's great help. How could I give up halfway? Besides, I also want to give it a try and see if I can manage Yu and City well. Princess 19 said with great gratitude. I heard that you and Chimei jointly run the soap and soap. It's such a pity that Chimei took this opportunity again. And the green tea and jasmine tea. I also like it very much. King Wen was a little regretful. Said. Of course he knew everything about the Imperial City. Speaking of it. He really wanted to bring 19's sister to his side. Just not as positive as he said. At that time. King Wen was also quietly observing the situation of the 19th princess. Oh, that's a bit of an oversight. Come here, bring me the gift I gave to third brother. The 19th princess didn't want to explain any more and directly presented the gift. I don't want to get entangled in the joint venture thing anymore. Not long after General Wu left, for newly dressed servants walked in with gold painted trays in their hands. There were three brocade boxes on them. And of course, they were the exquisitely carved soaps. There were soap, and tea leaves on other people's trays. Now the 19th princess found that taking these things as gifts was not only very attractive, but also saved money. She no longer had to worry about what gifts to give. Sure enough, when she opened the brocade box, the princess's eyes immediately shone with surprise. She elegantly picked up one of the pieces, sniffed it close to her nose, and talked to King Wen softly. It was obvious that she loved it very much, because this soap is much more exquisite than the soap they snapped up in the Imperial City and even the fragrance feels more elegant and fresh. Ha ha! Nineteenth sister, you have brought me a big trouble. These twelve pieces of soap are going to kill my harem. King Wen joked with a smile. Well, it doesn't matter. If the princess likes it, I will send someone to deliver fifty pieces of soap to you every month, plus an additional two hundred pieces of soap. I can't give you any more. Princess Nineteen said with a smile. Oh, that makes me a little embarrassed. A casual joke made 19th sister spend so much money. King Wen was quite satisfied. This 19th sister is really good at talking and not stingy. Well, third brother, my little sister also has an unkind request. Please make it happen. 19th sister seized the opportunity and said immediately, What's the unkind invitation? Just say it. There's nothing I can't do. King Wen immediately said boldly, I, the manager, called you Xiao Bao. Lost his memory for a while due to some misunderstandings. So I was marked with a slave mark without knowing it. So I would like to ask the third brother to help him eliminate the slave mark. And there are some related contracts. Princess 19 brought Zhu Xiaobao here today just to resolve this matter. Ha ha ha. What kind of thing is this? It's just a little effort. I wonder why this little guy is so valued. And you, the 19th princess, need to come forward in person. King Wen laughed a little surprised. This is really a trivial matter, but it also aroused his curiosity. He saved my life. Chapter 68 King Wen B. As soon as the 19th princess said this, King Wen and princess looked at Zhu Xiaobao in great surprise. This little fat man didn't look like a strong martial artist. How could he save the 19th princess life? Back then in Sister 14's house, I was knocked into the lotus pond by an evil slave. He jumped into the water and rescued me. So I promised to free him from slavery. Princess 19 blinked. The culprit, who caused her to fall into the water, was transformed into a loyal servant who bravely rescued the princess. Speaking of this, Princess 19 also covered her mouth and smiled secretly. Oh, that's it. You should, should. Such a loyal and brave person should be rewarded. King Wen said a little suddenly. He had already known what happened to the 19th princess in the 14th princess's mansion. But as for whether anyone jumped into the water, it's not very clear that he saved her. It seems to be true. Because this little fat man can't see anything surprising. Yes. That's why my little sister brought her here today, because she wanted to ask third brother to take action. Princess 19 nodded in agreement. Come here. 
Take this little guy to Manager Chio and ask him to handle the matter immediately. Oh, by the way, ask Manager Chio to go there in person. King Wen turned around and ordered his steward. In order to show his importance, he also specially some instructions. Thank you for your thousand years. King Wen! Zhu Xiaobao was suddenly excited. He didn't expect that the 19th princess kept her word and fulfilled her promise immediately when she saw King Wen. After today, I will be a normal person and I will no longer be anyone's slave. Zhu Xiaobao stood up and bent down. This was considered a salute. Go! Go! The princess waved her hand and said with a smile, Her thoughts are all on these soaps now, and she doesn't want to be interrupted by these little things. Yeah! Princess! Look! How delicate and elegant this soap is! Especially the one that has been repeatedly processed and carved. It is the best among soaps! Princess 19 also said to the princess in a very catered manner. Really? If two women talked about beauty and other things, they immediately found a common language. And the more they talked, the happier they became. King Wen could only laugh along with him. But I also have a growing fondness for the 19th princess. Zhu Xiaobao came back in the evening and was sent back in a carriage by the family of Prince Wen's mansion. The slave mark on the back of his neck has disappeared. And now there is a burning sensation. This will take a day or two to recover. But Zhu Xiaobao was so happy that he never imagined that he would be free again. It felt so good to be free. But as soon as he arrived at his room, Wu was already standing there looking at him with a half smile, but not a smile at the door. What are you doing? Let me tell you. I'm in a good mood today and don't want to fight with you. Besides, this sister is standing in front of you now. She's the same as you. Should you consider whether to marry? Me? Zhu Xiaobao first took a step back cautiously and then said, but in the end, he became more and more proud and got a little carried away. Really? I'm just here to talk to you about this issue. Will you snorted with a bit of disdain. What are you talking about? Have you already considered marrying me? Are you too impatient? I'm not ready yet. But it's okay. I still have 2,000 tails of gold. So marrying you should be enough. Right. Zhu Xiaobao said very confidently. Marry you. Who wants to marry you? Will you suddenly shouted angrily. Then why are you here? You are still staring at me. Why do I feel a little scared? Zhu Xiaobao shrank back and then asked in confusion. Humph! I'm here to warn you. Will you step forward and grab Zhu Shiba's wrist? And said viciously, Even if you get rid of your slave status, you are not allowed to leave the princess mansion. Otherwise, I will kill you about you. Ah? Uh? This is a forced detention. So what's the point of me being freed from slavery? Zhu Xiaobao raised his head and asked, Isn't he half a head shorter than Wu Yu? So he had to raise his head and ask, It's not a seizure. It's okay. Okay. To be honest with you. It's the princess who wants you not to leave. Wu Yu felt a little aggrieved. So she had to move the 19th princess out. Oh. I still have to listen to what the princess says. I have no plans to leave yet. But. Yeah, yeah. Don't you mean anything at all? Zhu Xiaobao asked rudely. The other hand was still on Wu Yu's hand. Stroking it back and forth. Which made Wu Yu very embarrassed. It didn't matter if he let go. Or if he didn't let go. Okay. Okay. If you can take your hand away. I'll tell you. Yes. I don't want you to leave either. But I never thought about marrying you. Wu Yu said. Stomping her feet a little angrily. How come you always end up at the disadvantage in the end? Oh. Sister. Can I buy two women as side wives? Don't worry. I'll keep the main wife for you. Look how infatuated I am. Ju Xiaobao asked seemingly seriously. How dare you? If you buy one, I'll kill one. If you buy two, I'll kill a pair. Wu Yu suddenly shouted angrily. He he, I plan to buy them both. Why don't you kill them both too? Zhu Xiaobao pointed at Lu Tong and Lu Fang behind Wu Yu and said. You? You're so angry with me. What do you want to do? Wu Yu shouted angrily and anxiously. I want to treat you to dinner. Zhu Xiaobao still said with a smile. Don't eat. Wu Yu refused without thinking and immediately reacted and asked. What? What did you say? Lu Tong. Lu Fang. Let's go cook. I'll treat you to dinner and drinks. Guard Wu said she won't eat. Zhu Xiaobao said to Lu Tong and Lu Fang enthusiastically, then waved his hand and ignored Wu Yu. Disgusting. Damn it. Xiaobao. I'll eat it. Wu Yu shouted from behind, a little annoyed. 
Then why don't you come quickly? If you don't come, they won't dare to sit down. Come on. I want to celebrate today. I hate you so much. You bad guy. And King went in her house. As he said, there was already a huge fuss over these twelve pieces of soap. Speaking of which, the concubines that King Wen married were all well-educated and talented women. But now they are making a fuss just to get a piece of soap. It was so overwhelming that it gave King Wen a huge headache. And King Wen also had more than a dozen daughters. Is everything done? They are really noisy to death. King Wen asked, leaning a little tiredly on the chair in the princess's room. What else can we do? We can only distribute the fifty pieces of soap that Nineteenth Sister promised. Otherwise your daughters will not leave. Hey! Nineteenth Sister shouldn't just talk about it casually. Right. The princess also smiled helplessly. Although King Wen liked to recite poems and compose poems with those talented women, the princess lived the most. Moreover, King Wen's eldest son and second son were both born to the princess. So the princess had supreme authority in the inner house. Probably not. I just don't know when she will deliver it. I don't think we will go and ask for it then, King Wen said helplessly. Alas, it would be great if Nineteenth Sister could cooperate with us. Seventeenth Sister has taken the lead again. The profits here are unimaginable. Do you know what the price of a piece of soap in the Imperial City is now? Two twelve tails of gold. Seventh Sister only sold five tails of gold. I heard it was only three tails at the beginning. It only went up later, the princess said with envy. Yes. This move of the seventh sister is really powerful. The nineteenth sister is actually her puppet. She UN city is still in her hands. And she doesn't have to spend too much money. Even the last nineteenth sister if you can't hold on. You can only defect to her. Alas. Seventh sister is getting more and more powerful. Does she really want to compete for the throne? King would also sighed and said. Although he had a relatively comfortable day today. He was always worried about his future. Once various princes fought for the throne. Kingwin was the weakest, and his fiefdom was also the most dangerous. He was among the fiefdoms of several princes. He just wanted to keep his fiefdom, let alone attack them. It will be difficult not to be violated. Don't worry about Chime's thoughts. Let's consider ourselves first. Although you have made the fiefdom very prosperous, the people in our fiefdom are now greedy for comfort and have lost their original bloody spirit. Some people even martial arts training has been given up. Now the annual recruitment is pushed back and forth and no one is willing to go out. If a fight breaks out, how can we compete with the eldest and second emperor brothers? The princess looked at King Wen with some resentment and said, Yes, I have lived too comfortably these years and did not make sufficient preparations in advance. If it really doesn't work out, I can only join forces. Now it seems that Seventh Sister is the most worthy of our cooperation. King Wen was a little annoyed, but he didn't want to in the first place. Fighting for the big position, I want to live this rich and leisurely life. But I didn't expect that what I thought was far away was already imminent. In fact, King Wen was also whimsical. His fiefdom was not connected with the seventh princess's fiefdom. Instead, it was closely connected with the second prince, King Ming. However, King Wen could not believe the character of King Ming. Prince Ming Xiaoziming was too insidious, very greedy, and very lustful. A few years ago, when I came to pay my respects to King Wen, King Ming Xia Ziming was very rude to the princess and made fun of her. For this reason, King Wen and King Ming never had any contact with her again. Moreover, the two have been fighting openly and secretly. But King Wen is really weak and has suffered a lot over the years. At this time, the housekeeper came back and reported. Reporting to your highness, Steward Chiu has eliminated the slave mark on Zhu Xiaobao. But he said that he found something on one of Zhu Xiaobao's descendants. Oh, what did you find? King Wen frowned and asked. He had almost forgotten about it. But he didn't expect that there were twists and turns in it. Which little treasure has a tiger head pattern on its back? The housekeeper said a little belatedly. Huh? So what? Is there any problem? King Wen was a little dissatisfied with the butler's hesitation. It is rumored that only the royal family of the Xirway Kingdom in the East China Sea will tattoo tiger heads after birth. But this is just a rumor. No one has seen it. So my subordinates are not sure whether this Xu Xiaobao is a descendant of the royal family of the Xirwei Kingdom. The steward said a little uncertainly. Xirwei Kingdom? Isn't that the Xirwei Kingdom that Seventh Sister attacked after pacifying Southeast 36? King Wen immediately thought of some of the Seventh Princess's achievements. Exactly. But that time the Seventh Princess withdrew her troops not long after the battle. But just after that battle, 
a new king of Zirway Kingdom came to the throne. The new king was a woman named Yuchinro. The housekeeper immediately found out about himself. I wanted to give King when a detailed report on the situation. Well, don't make this matter public. Send some people to check the status of the royal family in Zirway Kingdom in recent years. Especially the period after the war with Seventh Sister. King Wen thought for a while. And then ordered the housekeeper. Road. Yes. I will do it now. Chapter 69 King Wen C. Ju Xiaobao felt that once he was freed from slavery. This equal status immediately made him more confident. And even his waist became stiffer. On the contrary. Sisters Lu Tong and Lu Fang became more and more in awe of Zhu Xiaobao. And even Wu Yu seemed a little afraid. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao's status as a slave still gave Wu Yu a sense of superiority and a bit of disdain. Although she did not admit it, this Yu was deeply rooted in her heart. But the strange thing is that Zhu Xiaobao's escape from slavery did not have any motivating effect on Lu Tong and Lu Fang. On the contrary, the two of them were looking forward to Zhu Xiaobao buying them both. Zhu Xiaobao couldn't figure it out. Didn't he want to change his destiny with his own efforts? This has always been puzzling to him. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao's thinking was too simple. He created so many opportunities and demonstrated great abilities, which made the 19th princess willing to come forward for him and help him escape from slavery. How can ordinary slaves have such ability? It is not easy to escape from slavery. Even with Wu Zongwan's high martial arts skills, it still took him 20 years and a leg to escape from slavery. Therefore, the ideas of Lu Tong, Lu Fang and Ying Xiaoxiao were actually very realistic under the circumstances at that time. Now that he was free, Zhu Xiaobao couldn't wait to go out for a walk early the next morning. Of course, he is accompanied by the third child, Zhao Shenbao, firstly to protect him. And secondly, Zhao Shabao himself likes to hang out in the market. Zhu Xiaobao had some clear purposes when he came out. He wanted to know the living conditions of these princes' fiefdoms. And also wanted to know the living conditions of most people here. I was very curious and walked around several streets, including two large markets, as well as some famous local shops and restaurants. Zhu Xiaobao discovered that the fiefdom under King Wen's rule was actually very prosperous and people's lives were very comfortable. Moreover, Civilians accounted for more than 70% of King Wen's fiefdom, which was the highest among all counties. It turned out that because King Wen had focused on developing production in recent years, and his fiefdom was a grain producing area, the weather had been going well over the years. Therefore, there are many people in the fiefdom who are very comfortable. Many people moved here one after another later, bought a piece of land by themselves, were self sufficient, and lived a peaceful life. The most important point is that King Wen did not continue to expand his army like other princes. The direction of investment is basically in infrastructure and some businesses. So various restaurants and shops can be seen everywhere here. And there are also many shuyuan, tea houses, and even brothels. Although it is not as luxurious as the imperial city, the prosperity here is obvious to all. Zhu Xiaobao couldn't help but sigh. This is the right direction of development. TSK! Bullshit! King Wood is probably on pins and needles now. The better he manages his business, the easier it is for him to become the target of others in wars. Zhao Shabao snorted with disdain. Of course he knew that King Wen's life was not as good as before. Fortunately, almost half of the grain handed over to the treasury every year was handed over by King Wen. But now King Wen's army is less than one million. Not only is she far behind the seventh princess, but she is also inferior to King Ming Xiaoxining, who has an army of almost two million. Moreover, King Ming's fiefdom is rich in minerals, especially iron ore, which actually accounts for 60% of Dashia's output. Although the quality is not high, the output is very huge. So King Ming relies on many minerals to earn more than King Wen. Much more. His 200,000 armored troops shocked the great Xia kingdom. This armored army, from men to horses, is all wearing iron armor and has super strong defense. The armored army can crush them. They are basically invincible and have never failed. After listening to Zhao Shenbao's introduction, Zhu Xiaobao somewhat understood that King Wen was too ahead of his time. Although the idea was good, it was divorced from the general environment at that time and had no way to deal with it. This has become the biggest weakness. Went to the best restaurant for a meal, and it actually tasted pretty good. Although it was all stewed and cooked, it was rich in ingredients and well prepared. And it was delicious to eat once in a while. But Zhao Shenbao was a little dissatisfied. He still preferred the new thing Zhu Xiaobao came up with. Then Zhu Xiaobao went to several jewelry and jade shops and bought a few pieces of jewelry. 
the workmanship was really good. From this point of view, the people in King Wen's fiefdom are very wealthy. Only when their living standards improve will these things prosper accordingly. Xiao Bao, in front of you is the best brothel in the area. Haven't you always wanted to visit it? Come on, brother will take you there. Zhao Shabao said with a mean smile. Okay, is ten tails of gold enough for one prostitution? Zhu Xiaobao also asked with great interest. Uh, you are very generous. Twelve tails of gold can be used for whoring for a month. Zhao Shabao was startled. Is this a servant who has just escaped from slavery? Much more domineering than those young masters. Then I'll call thirty at once. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly became proud. It was so cheap. Huh? Thirty? Can you withstand it? Be careful when you turn around and Wu Yi will attack you. Zhao Shabao said kindly. But when he looked back, he always felt like he was being targeted. Huh. Can she still care about me now? I'm a normal person. Believe it or not. If she dares to target me again, I'll slap her with a big ear. Come on. Let's go in now. Zhu Xiaobao raised his head. Shouted arrogantly. When they arrived at the door of the brothel, the madam greeted him very enthusiastically but mainly towards Zhao Shenbao. Because Zhu Xiaobao didn't look like the real owner, but more like a follower of Zhao Shenbao. Because he looked too young. Hey! 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 Wait! This is my young master. Oh! No! I just ate something bad. Xiaobao, you go in first. And I'll come back as soon as I go. Zhao Shenbao suddenly said with a sad face, holding his stomach. Ah! Does this young master have any girls that he likes? The old madam was also stunned. She didn't expect that this little fat man was the real owner. She really missed it just now. But she reacted quickly and immediately changed to a more beautiful picture. A warm smile greets all the little treasures. No. A cold voice sounded from behind. And Zhu Xiaobao was also surprised. He hadn't spoken yet. So how could he have already said what he wanted to say? But this voice is very familiar. Oh no. Zhu Xiaobao just wants to do something. At least get into the brothel first. But there was no chance. Zhu Shuba's neck was pinched by a hand again. It felt very familiar and the strength was moderate. But he couldn't break free. Now Zhu Xiaobao understands why Zhao Shabao suddenly ran away. I bet Zhao Shabao noticed Wu Yu. So he ran away without any sense of loyalty. Hey, master, do you want to call me a girl? We have many good girls here. The madam was still shouting as hard as she could. If you dare to say another word. I will cut out your tongue. Wu Yu snorted coldly. Wu Yu, I'm flat now. You can't control me. Zhu Xiaobao shouted angrily. But he couldn't break free from Wu Yu's hand. Humph. Really? You are still a member of the princess's mansion. What is the seventh rule in the mansion? Believe it or not. I will give you some family rules now. Wu Yu said angrily. She followed all the way because she was worried that Zhu Xiaobao would go back to a place like this. But she didn't expect it to be the case. And he actually wanted to call 30 girls. Which almost made Wu Yu furious. I just went in to take a look and didn't do anything else. Isn't this against family law? When Zhu Xiaobao heard this. He was shocked and remembered that there seemed to be such a rule. That the servants of the 19th princess mansion were not allowed to go out for prostitution. Slash prostitution. So now the voice is not so tough. Humph. What's there to see? Aren't they just a group of shameless women who don't even wear clothes? Wu Yu said angrily. Then let go of Zhu Xiaobao. Stretched out an arm and hump. Come back with me. What are you doing? Zhu Xiaobao asked involuntarily when he saw Wu Yu's outstretched arm. Which meant that he should take Wu Yu's arm and walk together. I'm afraid you'll run away. Come on. Come back with me. Wu Yu said a little annoyed. Okay. Zhu Xiaobao took Wu Yu's arm. One tall and one short. They looked like a pair of siblings. Which attracted many people to stop and watch. This makes Yu Xiaobao very embarrassed. Wu Yu did not report this matter to the 19th princess. But Wu Yu also had her own way. She forced Yu Xiaobao to practice the Yuanyang sword with her. This is really hard for Yu Xiaobao. He hasn't practiced at such a high intensity for a long time. After a whole day, Yu Xiaobao doesn't want to go out anymore. He just wants to sleep now. He is so tired. Ouch! Ouch! Be gentle! This and this. Yu Xiaobao was lying there. And Lu Tong and Lu Fang were patiently helping him massage and relax his muscles. The amount of training this day was quite large. For people like Zhu Xiaobao who don't train much. It must be too much. Even Lu Tong and Lu Fang feel a little sorry for Zhu Xiaobao. Actually, 
Sister Wuyu is doing it for your own good. If you encounter an assassin, you can handle it. Lu Tong whispered to the side. But this was just to comfort Zhu Xiaobao. As far as Zhu Xiaobao's skills are concerned, I'm afraid he won't be able to practice it. What an effect. I have already practiced to the point where I can kill people when I see them. And destroy God when I see them. Besides, when I encounter assassins, wouldn't you still be there? Otherwise, why would I want you to stay with me? Zhu Xiaobao said without any shame. Said, Brother, brother, I went to check it out for you. That girl from the brothel is really not that good. She is far worse than the female guards around you. Unexpectedly, Zhao Laosan stayed in at this time and kept him secretly. Lu Tong and Lu Fang were shocked. But after hearing his words, they all glared at Zhao Laosan angrily. Okay, you Zhao Laosan. I still treat you as a brother. You actually left me and ran away. I had to be tortured by Wu Yu all day. When Zhu Xiaobao saw Zhao Shenbao, he immediately shouted angrily, Oh, brother, can't I walk? To save your wife's temper, why would you start a fight with me in the street? It's possible that she will demolish that brothel by then. Zhao Shabao said with a grimace, regardless of his kung fu, much taller than Wu Yu. But he also had a headache when he saw Wu Yu. The next day, Princess 19's troops actually set out. Zhu Xiaobao sat in the carriage disappointedly and looked behind him. It's over. There's no chance. I'm afraid I'm the only one in the world who can do this. Come on. What are you looking at? Are you still reluctant to leave? Wu Yu hummed a little proudly while riding next to Zhu Xiaobao's bicycle frame. Sister, you promised to let me touch you once a month. Can you honor it today? Roll. Chapter 70 Xiyuan City After leaving King Wen's fiefdom and walking for two more days, we finally arrived at the boundary of Xiyuan City. It was obvious that it was becoming more and more remote and sparsely populated. It was incomparable to King Wen's fiefdom. Many places here were very desolate. Moreover, the number of bandits and robbers gradually increased. Fortunately, Facing so many people from the 19th princess, the bandits didn't dare to cause any trouble. But judging from what we know, the poor people here live a relatively difficult and dangerous life, and they must be wary of bandits at all times. So the people here are quite fierce, even if they usually get into fights if they disagree. Princess 19 already had a headache. This was her first time in such a place. Although she had been prepared when she came, seeing the actual scene still made her very worried about whether she could survive here smoothly. Keep doing it. I have staked all the hopes of the Wu family here. Shiyuan City is actually a county. It was originally called Shiyuan County. And it is very large. The more remote the county, the larger the area. Shiyuan City is just the center of the county. And it is also the most prosperous place. There is also a moat around the city wall of Yuancheng. And the outside is quite open. But the land is not fertile, and the wind and sand are very strong. Which is suitable for the growth of pasture. In fact, there are several larger aristocratic families in Shiyuan City, but they also own land and operate businesses in other counties. It's just that the land here is cheap, so I just leave some people to look after it. There are only two big local families. One is the Fong family, and the other is the Lu family. The Fong family's land borders King Wen. So relatively speaking, his land is quite fertile. Moreover, the head of the Fong family also owns land in King Wen's fiefdom. It can be regarded as a two-way business. A son of the Fong family is also the county magistrate of the location. So the Fong family's strength is not bad. I also have a private army of 20,000. The Fong family was very enthusiastic towards the 19th princess. Not only did they send food and wine, the old man of the Fong family also came to pay homage to the 19th princess in person. She is not stupid either. Behind the 19th princess is the 7th princess. So she is trying to show her favor. People from these big aristocratic families are very shrewd and have long been aware of the subtlety of the situation. Everyone is waiting and watching. Of course, some big families have already clearly taken a stand. The Fong family is still waiting and watching. The old man of the Fong family wants to develop his family to the southeast. That is, to the seventh princess. He believes that the seventh princess is now the most powerful. And the seventh princess's fiefdom is also the most stable and safe. You can attack when you advance. And you can defend when you retreat. Even Zhu Xiaobao did not expect that Xiyuan City would be so remote and desolate, completely incomparable to King Wen's fiefdom. You could often see some wild animals coming and going. The team left the Fong family's territory and continued to move southwest, which was Xiyuan City. On the way, 
A plump hare suddenly appeared on the west side of the team. Wii U stretched out his bow and arrow. And shot the arrow. But it missed. Wii U was about to shoot the second arrow. Unexpectedly. An arrow flew from the west and pierced the hare's head directly. Then the eagle flew down. Grabbed the hare and flew away. Then it landed on the shoulder of a man far away in the west. The hare he was also thrown to the ground. The opponent was four people. Including a woman. All riding horses and holding bows. They were dressed roughly. And two of them had half of their arms exposed. They looked fierce and looked at Wu Yu. Who are they? Hunters? Wu Yu couldn't help but feel a little annoyed. Her own shooting skills were obviously inferior. But if there were tiger hunters nearby, they should come and salute the 19th princess. No! It should be a bandit! Zhao Shilong looked at it and said calmly. Then he took his own bow, knocked an arrow, and shot an arrow at the opponent. The distance between the two sides was almost 200 steps. But Zhao Shenlong's arrow still hit a tree trunk next to the other party. Zhao Shenlong did not want to shoot these people. The other party was a little surprised at this time. Several horses also followed the owner's pull and took a few steps back. It was obvious that Zhao Shenlong was more powerful than them. So they were already a little in awe. These bandits are not afraid of the officers and soldiers. Unless they are surrounded. It will be difficult to catch them. They are familiar with the terrain here and have high martial arts skills. So as long as they are not particularly excessive. The officers and soldiers are not willing to strangle them. Zhao Shilong whispered to Wu Yu. Oh? How could this happen? This is still the territory of Da Xia Kingdom. Who are they? Wu Yu asked a little surprised. Some are habitual bandits. Some are runaway slaves. Some are aliens from outside the territory. And many are slaves who were captured in wars and then traded. These people are the most brutal. Burning. Killing, raping, and plundering in every way. Zhao Shenlong still knows this place relatively well. Situation. Among the four people opposite, the leader was actually the woman. She smiled at this moment and said, It's interesting. This little girl is still a little unconvinced. That person is quite an expert. Sister Hong, how about I give him an arrow back? I should be able to shoot from this distance. A big man behind him was a little unconvinced. The opponent's shooting skills had already surpassed his. No need. This person should be a great martial artist. I'm afraid he has some background. I didn't expect that there is such a person under the 19th princess. The female bandit leader shook her head and said, Humph. What's so great? I can guarantee that she won't be able to stay for three months before she has to get out of here. Princess 19. Hey, I didn't expect that a princess actually came to Shiyuan City. And I heard that she is the most beautiful one. The other gangster behind him said with a smile, looking a little fanciful. Oh, you understand very clearly. Right. The female bandit leader suddenly smiled charmingly, which was indeed charming and captivating to everyone. Aw? Oh? Don't dare. Don't dare. Sister Hong, I heard about it, but I don't have any idea at all. Unexpectedly, the bandit turned pale with fright and waved his hands repeatedly, because the visible name in front of him was the giant bandit Yi Chi Hong. Among the bandits in Shiyuan City is only ranked below the giant bandit Ao Yang. Yi Ching Hong's experience at the beginning was very miserable. So she hated the rape slash sexual behavior of those bandits the most. Her own people were very strict. And the punishment methods were also quite cruel. Humph. Let's go. Wu Xiao is a waste. I wonder if this 19th princess can bring some changes to Shiyuan City. Yi Ching Hong turned the horse's head and said a little disappointed. The team continued to move forward and finally saw the inner wall of Shiyuan City. The suspension bridge in front of the moat had been lowered. Wu Zixiu and a group of officials were already waiting there. Not to mention, Wu Zixiu was dressed very impressively today, with bright silver armor and a white horse on his hip. The guards behind him were also helping him hold his weapon. A bright silver spear weighing 46 kilograms. Although there were not many people behind them. Only 2,000. They were all riding horses with bright helmets. The two dozen officials behind them were also dressed very formally. It's just that they are not as excited as Wu Zixiu. More like they are a little helpless. Meet the princess! Wu Zixiu led everyone to dismount and salute in a proper manner. First of all, it must be the courtesy of a monarch and his ministers. No gift! Xia Jinner has also met the city lord. Princess 19 also dismounted and said with a slight smile. It has been a month since I saw Wu Zixiu. And now Xia Jinner is actually a little excited. Besides, this is the first time she has seen Wu Zixiu in a military uniform. 
He is indeed very handsome and handsome. From the weight of the gun, it should be the portion is not light. But in front of so many people, the 19th princess still maintained her manners very well. Then he stopped and looked at the wall of Xiyuan City, which was almost two feet high. The soldiers on the wall were also saluting the 19th princess. They all looked full of energy and high morale. He! These should be Wu Zixiu's own troops. Not to mention, this guy is quite talented. But I don't know if he has any real skills. Zhao Shabao whispered in Zhu Shuba's ear. But that look on his face at first glance. He looked very disdainful. Zhu Xiaobao has also heard some of the rumors about Wu Zixiu. But he is quite envious now. Looking at their figure and appearance. And then looking at his own. There is really a slight gap. Stop talking nonsense. This is called young and promising. A young commander's talent. Wu Yu said angrily from the side. Wu Yu was a little dissatisfied with Zhao Shenbao's remarks. After all, this was a princess court. A thoughtful person. And he also fits Wu Yu's standards. Can he cook? Zhu Xiaobao turned around and asked. Bah! I'm a general. How can I get into the kitchen? Have you heard of a gentleman who is far away from home as a cook? Wu Yu suddenly said rudely. Oh! Then don't come to this little guy like me in the future. Lu Tong. Lu Fong. Let's go! Zhu Xiaobao rolled his eyes at Wu Yu. Then ordered. And ignored Wu Yu again. Hey! Why are you so stingy? Wu Yu did not expect that Zhu Xiaobao would be so angry today. He usually has a nonchalant expression. Zhu Xiaobao is indeed in a bad mood now. Because the situation in Xiyuan City is worse than he thought. And he encountered bandits when he first arrived. Which made Zhu Xiaobao deeply worried about his future and safety. A random bandit jumped out from the opposite side. And his Kung Fu was actually better than we use. So wouldn't his two attacks kill him instantly? It seems that relying on a few female escorts is not safe. Look at Wu Jishou's coquettish appearance. Can Zhu Xiaobao feel better? Entering the inner city of Xiyuan, Wu Zixiu was very sincere and gave up his city lord's palace to the 19th princess. The 19th princess resolutely refused to take it, claiming that she was just a deputy and lived in the city lord's palace and was suspected of overstepping her duties. In the end, Wu Zixiuzi arranged the 19th princess in a mansion not far from the city lord's mansion. But this mansion was much smaller than the original 19th princess mansion. Before the 19th princesses had settled down, Wu Zixiu's cronies came over in a panic to inform the 19th princess. His highness has sent someone to pay a special visit to the princess. Lord Wu, please come over. So fast? Well, it seems that you are going to give me a showdown. Princess 19 said softly. Chapter 71 King Ming A. Xia Zixiu was sitting in the lobby with civil and military personnel standing on both sides. Coming from the west was Lu Shiryan, the counselor of his highness prince Ming Xia Ziming when the old city lord was still alive. He had to deal with this man a lot. He was a very difficult person. And he was also quite a bit. Intelligence. Xia Zixiu has been here for a month. But no one from Prince Ming has arrived. Princess 19 arrived today, and someone came immediately. This made Xia Zixiu very unhappy. She clearly looked down on him. And she specifically stated that she was here. Meet the 19th princess. But now Xia Zixiu also wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to show his majesty. After all, Lu Shiryan didn't take him seriously. It just so happens that I can show off well in front of the 19th princess. But Xia Zixiu had been sitting in the hall for almost a stick of incense. And he didn't see Lu Shiryan coming in. This made Xia Zixiu very depressed. He was a little tired from holding the air. But what happened to this guy? Why don't you come in? Come on! What's going on? Where's that Lu Shiryan? Xia Zixiu asked angrily. Report. Lu Kanjun and his entourage have met the 19th princess outside the door. Lu Kanjun said that it is not the official business of the court. So he will not come in. His soldiers happened to come in to report back. What? This bastard is so deceptive. Xia Zixiu suddenly slammed the table angrily. Stood up and rushed out. This Lu Shiryan dared to despise him like this. Even though he did come to see sure as he had said. It belongs to the 9th princess. But at least she has to pay her respects first. I am the newly appointed city lord of Xiyuan City. The civil and military officials under his command all looked at each other and were a little dissatisfied. Although Xia Zixiu was a bit pretentious. Such rude behavior still annoyed them. After all, these people are Xia Zixiu's subordinates. Lu Shiryan, you are too presumptuous. Do you still have the law in your eyes? Xia Zixiu rushed out the door angrily. 
and saw Lu Shiryan and an entourage talking to the 19th princess. Lu Shiryan nodded and bowed with joy on his face. Xia Zixia was even more furious when he saw it. Oh, nephew, why are you so angry? Don't you welcome this king? Unexpectedly, Lu Shiryan smiled without saying a word and hid aside. The man behind him had his hands behind his back and smiled faintly. Road. Ah, Prince Ming? Xia Zixio met Prince Ming for a thousand years. Xia Zixio was immediately dumbfounded. He didn't expect that Lu Shiryan would accompany Prince Ming, let alone that Prince Ming would come here in person. Moreover, he was dressed very casually, so the soldiers did not recognize him. The civil and military officials who followed Xia Zixio also followed him with sincerity and gave him the gift. The other party was a prince. How could they dare to be disrespectful? Ha ha! Excuse me. I came here to see 19th sister. It's not a business matter. So I didn't go in. The autumn weather is refreshing now. So it would be nice to chat here for a while. King Ming waved his hand and then said, Yes. Yes. Zixio just felt that he had neglected King Ming. So he was a little rude. Xia Zixio bowed and saluted again, giving himself an excuse. At this time, someone immediately brought a stool and tea table for King Ming. King Ning was not polite and sat down. Xia Zixio had no choice but to stand aside. He might as well move a stool and sit down. Ha ha! Nineteenth sister, you have become famous in the imperial city in the past six months. How could you think of coming to such a barren place? Instead of doing this, it is better to go to my brother's place. Whatever you want to do, let you develop. You will never do it. Someone dares to embarrass you. Xia Ziming took a sip of tea and said with a slight smile. Prince Ming also knew very well what happened to the 19th princess in the imperial city. Originally, he didn't care much about the 19th princess. But since Xia Jinar received the support of the 7th princess, his highness also began to pay attention to her. What's even more unexpected is that this 19th sister actually jointly runs some kind of soap with the 7th princess. And the profits are astonishingly high. This makes King Ming feel a little regretful. It seems that he has missed an opportunity to make a fortune. But now, he still wants to recruit. Thank you, Second Emperor Brother. You have also seen that I can't find a place in the Imperial City. So I want to find a place to stand up. Fortunately, the Seventh Sister helped me and let me practice here. I also want to try my self-ability. So I don't dare to disturb Brother Huang. Thank you very much for Brother Huang's kindness. The 19th Princess was very good at talking. She carried out the seventh princess without offending the second highness. She just wanted to show that she wanted to practice here. Ha ha! It's okay. You are young and don't know what it's like to be sad. You are at the age where you are proud and arrogant. But not everyone can be like seventh sister, King Ming still said with a smile. But there was a big look in his eyes. There is a deep meaning. My little sister is not talented. How can she be compared with the seventh sister? Besides, there is Zisho here who can help me. Although the 19th princess responded tactfully, she still accidentally revealed her feelings for Xia Zixio. Trust. After saying this, the 19th princess also felt a little regretful. Oh, it seems that the 19th sister trusts this nephew Xia very much. The old city lord Xia Zhongkuan is the emperor's distant nephew. In terms of seniority, Xia Ziming is indeed a generation higher than Xia Zixio. And even the 19th princess is also in this way. So now that Prince Ming called Xia Zixio that way, it really made the 19th princess a little embarrassed. And Xia Zixio was even more embarrassed. But before Xia Zixio could figure out how to deal with it, Prince Ming followed up with his words. City Lord Xia, since you are here, I also asked by the way whether the fodder for my fiefdom should be delivered. But it was interrupted for several times. It's been months. My horses are all starving and thin. Uh, report back to King Ming. When my father was still alive, he already petitioned his majesty to reduce or reduce the fodder supply to Shiyuan city. Please forgive me. Xia Zixio's heart suddenly sank. King Ming was deliberately trying to embarrass himself. Well, I know this, but is the emperor allowed it? Moreover, Xia Zhongkuan seemed to have died suddenly after making this request. Do you think this is strange? A good nephew must act with caution. May things must be done according to the rules, come on. King Ming said lightly, but the meaning behind his words made people a little scared. I will definitely get to the bottom of the person who plotted against my father. When the time comes, he will die without a complete body. Xia Zixio suddenly said fiercely. After all, he mentioned his father. 
So Xiaozixia went a little crazy. Oh! Then I wish my nephew to find the real murderer as soon as possible. However, since the emperor has no decree, the fodder that should be sent must still be sent. Don't you think? King Ming refused to let anyone go and asked again. I also ask for your forgiveness. King Ming, Shi Yuan City has just experienced a big chaos, and I have just started to reorganize it. The required fodder is temporarily unable to be supplied. Please also ask King Ming to grant me three months of grace, Xia Zixiu said helplessly. King Ming was now understanding, so he couldn't refute it. Three months? Then aren't all my horses starving to death? Nephew Xia Xian, my men are not easy to talk to. They will be very hungry by then and ride their horses to your place to eat grass. I can't control them. Ah, Prince Ming said with a smile, which was already an obvious threat. Ming Wang Qian's way. You are trying to force someone to do something difficult. Besides, even if you don't give me face, you still have to give face to the 19th princess. Right. Xia Zixiu said a little crazy and actually pushed the 19th princess to the front, which made Xia Jinner was a little surprised. But seeing Xia Zixiu being forced to fight back, she felt a little distressed. Oh, well, that's fine. Of course, I have to give Sister 19 her face. Xia Zixiu, don't say I didn't give you a chance. Aren't you conceited about being both civil and military? Then let me see it today. Sister 19 trusts you so much. You won't let me down. Right. Prince Ming paused, then said with a smile. He was lacking some fodder. He just wanted to embarrass Xia Zixiu. Prince Ming has great martial arts skills. But Zixiu thinks he is no match for him. Xia Zixiu said with a bit of sadness and anger. Pluto's martial arts is probably at the peak of a great martial artist. And he has already stepped into the realm of a martial master. How could he dare to compete? Humph. Of course you can't compare to King Ming's martial arts skills a year ago. King Ming wants to see your literary talent. I heard that you often recite poems and compete with King Lin. So why don't you show it off today? I'll come first. Lu Shuryan turned around from behind King Ming at this time, shaking his head and saying, Then let Mr. Lu come up with a question. Xia Zixiu suddenly became energetic. He was very thoughtful in this regard. Listen up. Let me tell you something briefly first. The first couplet is, If you want to know the events of the ages, please ask Lord Xia to write the second couplet. Lu Shuryan thought for a moment and then came up with the first couplet. You must read five books. Xia Zixiu actually had some real stuff. So he got it right without even thinking about it. Okay. Not bad. City Lord Xia is really quick thinking. Lu Shuryan also nodded and said. Very good. Princess 19. Who had always been very worried. Now cheered in a low voice with great joy. Her eyes full of tenderness and sweetness. Behind her. Wu Yu is also full of admiration for Xia Zixiu. The young city lord who is both civil and military. Isn't this what she admires the most? But it's a pity that she doesn't seem to be worthy of him. Ha ha. Just now, it was just an appetizer. Lord Xia City, listen to this again. The origin of the word is to flow back the water of the three rivers, please. Lu Shuryan said another first line. But this one was not that easy. Hmm. Let me think about it. The origin of the word is to flow back three rivers. Xia Zixiu lowered his head and paced back and forth, thinking rapidly in his mind. The 19th princess's heart was in doubt again. But Xia Zixiu didn't come forward for a long time. The 19th princess couldn't help but whisper a few words in his ear. You know, Xia Zhener's literary talent is also quite remarkable. I also had a couplet fight with Zhu Xiaobao back then. Yes! Xia Zixiu explained excitedly. The origin of the word, blowing back the water of three rivers, is, the pen formation single-handedly wipes out an army of thousands of people. Ha ha! That's right. That's right. But I don't know if this person who single-handedly wiped out thousands of armies is the Lord of Xia City or the 19th Princess. Lu Shuryan said with a smile, stroking his hands, and at the same time bowed to the 19th Princess in an exaggerated way, which meant that he admired him it's not Xia Zixiu, but the 19th Princess. This made Xia Zixiu's face suddenly feel hot. Ha ha ha! You are indeed knowledgeable. King Ming also laughed. He said he was knowledgeable and was praising the 19th Princess which made Xia Zixiu even more annoyed. Humph! Lu Shuryan, you are the one who is composing the first couplet. And I am composing one too. Listen carefully, how long do you have to laugh before you stop laughing? Counterattack. There's not a day that goes by that I don't laugh. 
I didn't expect that this Lu Shiryan was really talented and learned. So he met him without even thinking. And the current scene was really appropriate for the occasion. It simply made Xia Zixiu even more embarrassed. Because Lu Shiryan and both King Ming laughed at the same time. It seems that Xia Zixiu's couplet has further fueled Prince Ming's momentum. Chapter 72 King Ming B. Even though King Ming couldn't compare to King Wen in reciting poems and composing poems, he had been practicing literature and martial arts since he was a child. And he could tell the difference between good and bad. Even a man as cruel as the eldest prince could sometimes come up with a few arty sentences. Now this couplet created by Xia Zixiu was so suitable for the occasion that it made Prince Ming and Lu Shiryan burst into laughter. It's been a long time since something was so ridiculous. However, Prince Ming was a little surprised by the literary talents of the 19th sister. She seemed to have a bit of the style of the 7th sister back then. So Prince Ming suddenly read to the 19th princess, Ask why Guadin sits upside down. The 19th princess looked at Prince Ming and felt a little depressed. She didn't expect Xia Zixiu to be in such a mess by Prince Ming. So the 19th princess was not to be outdone. I hate all living beings and refuse to look back. Yes, it's better to turn around and find a safe place. Prince Ming seemed to be persuading the 19th princess inside. Brother is a great talent. Princess 19 bowed to Prince Ming and then said in a low voice. Only then did she realize that these princes who could own their own fiefdoms were all talented in civil and military affairs and had extraordinary intelligence. The second emperor in front of her brother, although his reputation is not very good, he is still an unfathomable character. My dear nephew, I also want to join in the fun and write a couplet. Listen carefully. There is no such thing as foresight. Are you right? This shouldn't be difficult. Right. King Ming stood up. Full of the aura of a king. It suddenly became apparent that this kind of coercion was really awe-inspiring. It's important for people to know themselves. Xia Zixiu replied weakly. After finishing speaking, he suddenly felt that he had been tricked again. Prince Ming seemed to be making fun of himself. Ha ha ha. It's important for people to be self-aware. It's good to be right. It's good to be right. My dear nephew, if I give you one more link, if it's correct, I'll let you postpone the supply of fodder for three months. King Ming felt that it was almost done, and he was already enjoying himself. Xia Zixiu also suppressed his initial arrogance. After all, 19th sister had just arrived, so he still gave it a chance. So he raised one hand in the air with an astonishing momentum as if he was raising his hand to the sky and despising the world. One palm holds the sky. Five fingers are three long and two short. Xia Zixiu had completely lost his momentum and muttered. After thinking for a long time, he still couldn't get it right. He looked at Princess 19 again for help. But his face was burning. But this time the 19th princess couldn't imagine that none of the civil servants following Xia Zixiu could deal with him. Suddenly, the scene was extremely embarrassing. Xia Zixiu's face turned pale and his body couldn't help but tremble a little. He didn't know whether he was angry or ashamed. Ha ha ha! Don't rush! Don't rush! I'll give you three days! As long as you can confront me within three days! My words will still count! Farewell! Prince Ming was so happy that he turned around and strode away. After King Ming left, Xia Zixiu calmed down and said with a smile, Sister Jinner, don't worry! I will definitely be able to get this couplet right! I didn't perform well today. Why don't you go back first? You have just settled down and have a good rest. I will prepare a banquet for you at the city lord's mansion tonight. Well, well, Zishio, don't worry. It's nothing. King Ming's momentum is too strong. It's already impressive to be able to perform like this. Princess 19 was still very considerate and comforted softly. She also felt that this pairing should not be difficult for Xia Zishio. Okay, definitely. Definitely. Xia Zixiu finally breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that Princess 19 was really considerate. She knew that she had not performed well and did not look down on herself. But Wu Yu, who was behind the 19th princess, was a little confused. How could the young city lord with both civil and military skills have such an expression? Aren't we supposed to be persistent and arrogant? But Xia Zixiu is really worse than that annoying little fat guy. Zhu Xiaobao is always indifferent. No except when I beat him. I would make him cry for his father and mother and even run away. Thinking of this, Wu Yu couldn't help but smile. Why are you laughing? Princess 19 asked a little dissatisfied. She was not in a very good mood now. Oh, it's nothing. I was thinking that Xiao Bao should be able to get it right. 
Will you said a little panicked? After all, the princess was in a bad mood now. So why did she laugh heartlessly? Humph. There's no need. Zishio will definitely be able to get it right. Besides, Zhu Xiaobao may not be able to get it right either. Princess 19 snorted. Although she valued Zhu Xiaobao very much, compared with her sweetheart, then it is obviously biased towards Xia Zishio. Zhu Xiaobao has no time to worry about the couplets now. He is worrying about his place of residence. The mansion of the 19th princess is really too small. It is much smaller than the original 19th princess mansion. And now the number of guards around Princess 19 has increased. There are almost more than 600 people including servants. And the living quarters are not spacious. Besides, what Zhu Xiaobao is most interested in is his own processing workshop. There are basically not many places now. And it is not easy to keep it secret. So Zhu Xiaobao is very reluctant to live here. Zhu Xiaobao thought for a long time and decided to move out by himself. But there is no suitable house outside because he also needs a small river next to his residence. Of course, it's not entirely for enjoyment, but for his need to make paper. When the 19th princess came back, Zhu Xiaobao put forward his own ideas. The 19th princess was unhappy at first, but now Zhu Xiaobao proposed to move away, which made the 19th princess a little angry. Why? I just helped you get rid of your slave status. And you want to leave now? He! No. Princess, you have also seen it. Now this place cannot be used at all. And the things I want to make must be kept strictly confidential. Otherwise, others will learn from it secretly. And the biggest loss will be you. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. That's it. Well, you can stay next to the female barracks first. There is a creek there. And it's safer next to the female barracks. Of course, they won't bother you. Princess 19 thought after thinking about it. It was indeed the case. So I had to let Zhu Xiaobao live with the female soldiers first. Because there was a stream in the west area. And it was convenient for the female soldiers to wash and bathe. Of course, the male soldiers were in another place. This place is not big. And only female soldiers can be stationed there. It's just that when I train. I train with male soldiers. When Zhu Xiaobao left happily, the 19th princess was still unhappy. Her mind was now all on the first couplet. She really wanted to ask Zhu Xiaobao just now. But when the words came to her lips, the 19th princess was still unhappy. Hold it back. You must believe in Xia Zixiu. He also let out his words in front of Wu Yu. Xia Zixiu will definitely be able to confront him. Can he still let Wu Yu laugh? The chief Wu next to him looked at the 19th princess worriedly. To be honest, he was very disappointed with Xia Zixiu's performance today. Even if he was not strong enough, he should at least show his confidence and pride. But Xia Zixiu, however, his performance was very frustrating. And in the end, he was completely defeated. He was not as calm as the 19th princess. Princess, Xu Bao's matter is very important. Xiao Zixiu's matter can be solved by himself. After all, he is the real lord of the city. We manager we tried to wake up the 19th princess. How can you say that? We both share wheel and woe now. When the time comes that he can't do the job, won't I also be implicated? Princess 19 said a little unhappily. But, Princess, Commander we wanted to say something else. Okay, that's it for today. You can take care of Zhu Shibo's affairs. I'm tired, Princess 19 said impatiently. Yes, resign, old man. Director we was stunned for a moment after hearing this, and then withdrew respectfully. After leaving the princess's study, Manager Wu saw Wu Yu grabbing Zhu Shibo's ears and angrily yelling. Okay, Zhu Xiaobao, you want to move out as soon as you get here. You have already planned it. Right. The princess must have misjudged you. For she is so kind to you. Hey. 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 Sister. I asked the princess for permission. It was the princess who asked me to move to the female soldiers. Zhu Xiaobao tilted his head and shouted with his teeth raised. Ah? The princess agreed. Wu Yu was stunned after hearing this and then became even more furious. Then what should I do? Should I move there too? Then who will protect the princess? No. You can stay here with the princess. I have thousands of female soldiers to protect me. That's enough. And third brother. You don't have to worry about me. Although Zhu Xiubao's ears hurt. He still felt in his heart I am very happy. There are more than a thousand female soldiers. It is dazzling to see. Just a little green among thousands of flowers. This is a magical day. Ah? Uh, how could this happen? Will you let go of Zhu Xiubao in a daze? And the latter ran away quickly. You're... 
at this time. Chief Wu came over and called softly. Father, did I do something wrong? Why don't I feel happy at all? Wu Wu Wu. Wu Yu said a little aggrievedly, and finally cried on Director Wu's shoulder. Well, you go pack your things and live in the women's barracks. Manager Wu said straightforwardly. Aw? Then, where is the princess? Wu Yu raised her head in surprise and asked. Princess? She has Xia Zixiu, an all-rounder in both civil and military affairs. And she needs your protection? Go ahead. Shiba's place is the most important. Manager Wu said angrily. But at the same time, he patted Wu very gently. On Yu's shoulder, the daughter-in-law is like a father. Manager Wu has long noticed that Wu can't let go of Zhu Xiaobao at all now. But she just refuses to admit it. In the city lord's mansion, Xia Zixiu was also wandering back and forth in the study, muttering something. One palm holds the sky. And I give him two feet to stamp on the ground? No. Isn't this nonsense? Standing on three legs? Four feet in the sky? Five limbs on the ground? No. 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 The more you talk, the more spineless you become. Why don't you have any inspiration today? No. No. You must keep calm. The 19th princess is still counting on me. But why can't this match be right? Chapter 73 Rush Down Prince Ming was dining with Lu Shuryan at this time. Prince Ming's meal consisted of at least 99 and 81 dishes. And there were more than 40 maids serving him. There were dozens of beauties singing and dancing not far from the dining table. Lu Shuryan was amazed when he saw it. This is the luxurious life of a prince. Usually Lu Shuryan rarely has the opportunity to have dinner with King Ming. Today, he performed well and made King Ming in a good mood. So Lu Shuryan was also favored to have dinner with King Ming. At this time, King Ming changed into a long gown and held a feather fan in his hand. Didn't he find the pleasure of being a scholar today? So he was dressed very elegantly at this time. And even his expression was very kind. Ming Wang Qianzui, you went alone today and made Xia Zixiu's idiots miserable. I'm afraid Xia Zixiu is still thinking hard. Qianzui, please drink this cup. Lu Shuryan picked up the wine glass with a smile on his face and smiled flatteringly. Road. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Okay. I didn't expect Xia Zixiu to be so far behind me. It's just that 19 sister's intelligence is a bit beyond my expectation. It's a pity that 7th sister has taken the lead again. Prince Ming said simply. He drank a glass of wine inside. It doesn't matter. If you want to stay in Shiyuan City peacefully, no one seems to be able to do it. Right. Lu Shiryan said, shaking his head with a smile on his face. Ha ha. That's right. At worst, let Xia Zixiu go find his father. If you want to stay safely in Shiyuan City, you have to follow my rules. King Ming clapped his hands and said proudly. And then asked said, Hey, do you think Xia Zixiu can come up right? Not necessarily. This person still has some foundation. Otherwise, he wouldn't have such a deep relationship with King Lin. Lu Shiryan said cautiously. Even if King Ming is happy now, maybe one of his words is wrong and his head will be moved. Oh, can Mr. Lu come up right? Prince Ming nodded and suddenly asked. Um, let me give it a try. Please ask Ming Wang Kiantos for advice. Lu Shiryan was immediately thinking about how to deal with this second line. Okay, tell me. Let me listen. Prince Ming was so worried about Lu Shiryan. He wanted to see if Lu Shiryan could match him. If Lu Shiryan couldn't match him, then Xia Zixiu probably wouldn't have any chance. The first couple of Chitos is, one palm holds the sky. Five fingers are three long and two are short. I'll give you the answer. Five bodies bow to the ground and a hundred officials bow three times and nine kowtows. Lu Shiryan gritted his teeth and got a little ruthless. Oh, you are violating some taboos. After hearing this, Prince Ming looked at Lu Shiryan deeply and then said calmly, Chitos. What I said is from the bottom of my heart. Your majesty is healthy. And ministers must fulfill their duties. But the deadline is not far away now. I think that only King Ming Kiantos is qualified to inherit the throne. Even if King Ming Chitos kills me, I have to say the same thing. Lu Shiryan quickly knelt down and kowtowed. Ha 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 ha. Sir, you are serious. You are right. Just what I want. Prince Ming was so happy that he actually stood up and helped Lu Shiryan up himself. Thank you, Chitos. Lu Shiryan felt refreshed. This time he made the right bet. Judging from Pluto's actions, he already regarded himself as his confidant. However, 
Xiaozi Xiao will definitely not treat the second line like this. Prince Ming still had some unfinished thoughts. Of course, if Xiaozi Xiao dares to do this, we will kill him immediately. And even the 19th princess will have to come and apologize obediently. Lu Shuryan immediately said in a flattering tone. I'm really curious whether Xia Zixiu can face him or not. Prince Ming's heart became more and more hopeful. The 19th princess came back from the city lord's mansion very depressed. Today was already the second day. But Xia Zixiu still couldn't come up with a neat second line. The two of them have lost their enthusiasm for playing the piano and composing poems. And now they are depressed and frowning. Woo you? Woo you? Princess 19 called several times. But she didn't see Wu Yu show up. She couldn't help but become more irritated and scolded. Where is Wu Yu? Why haven't you seen anyone all day? Reporting to the princess. Guard Wu has moved to the women's barracks. Director Wu said that the women's barracks lack training and need an instructor who can train them well. Chu and Xiang immediately ran over and replied. Oh. Well. Go and send someone to get Wu Yu back. Right away. Princess 19 didn't think much about it. These things were all arranged by Chief Wu and the female barracks really needed good training. But Princess 19 suddenly thought of where Xu Xiaobao lives now. She had been focusing entirely on Xia Zixiu these two days. So she had long forgotten about moving Xu Xiaobao to the female barracks. Princess 19 suddenly felt a bit like a loner. Why are everyone around me missing? Only then did she realize that she seemed to have neglected something. Princess! What's the matter? Wu Yu came in not long after and asked with an, Okay, salute. Well? It's nothing serious. I just want to talk to you. I'm very upset. So the princess suddenly didn't know why she was looking for Wu Yu. Okay. Princess. I divided the female soldiers into four battalions according to their physical condition and martial arts. And trained them separately. Also. Our arrows are not enough. And we urgently need more. We also need more horses and weapons. Wu Yu said. As before. When meeting the princess. She would give a full report. Wu Yu had always been very serious and dedicated to these matters. Okay. You and Chief Wu can handle these matters. You don't have to ask me about everything. Princess 19 is really not in the mood to listen to these reports now. She is still thinking about the pair. It was originally a game to add fun. However, now it is related to Xi Yuan City's three-month fodder supply task. And it is also related to Xia Zixiu's prestige in Xi Yuan City. So the 19th princess is in a very depressed mood and has no intention of listening to these reports. Oh. Okay then. Has City Lord Xia's second couplet matched up? Wu Yu was stunned for a moment, and then had to change the topic. But Wu Yu really didn't want to mention anything. So she asked about the 19th princess. The most uncomfortable place. Hmm. That's about right. I got a few of them right. But I'm just not very satisfied yet. Princess 19 said vaguely. Ha uh ha. -huh. I know how a man as civilized and martial as City Lord Xia could be stumped by a vulgar man like Prince Ming. Wu Yu said with a heartless smile. Well, I called you here just because I wanted you to ask. Princess 19 struggled to ask Wu Yu to ask Xu Xiaobao. But before she could finish her words, Ji Ji Sheng ran over happily. Ji Ji Sheng did not come with the convoy of the 19th princess, but came directly from Qing Yang Mountain with more than a dozen carts of fried tea embryos. He also brought 2,000 newly recruited soldiers. It must be said that Ji Zhishan's journey was very carefree. He and his two maids enjoyed themselves in the carriage all day long. In their free time, they also rode horses to see the scenery. The leader was also a newcomer, so he had no control over him at all. When he arrived at Xi Yuan City, Ji Zhisheng immediately came to report to the 19th princess. He was thinking about Zhu Xiubao's delicacies, so he thought that after reporting to the 19th princess quickly, he could go to Wu Xiaobao. Seeing Ji Zhishan, Princess 19's eyes lit up. Ji Ji Sheng's couplet skills are also very good. Now is the time when his efforts are needed. After listening patiently to Ji Ji Sheng's report, Princess 19 nodded and said, Okay, you performed well this time. Well, there is one more thing. If you can complete it satisfactorily, I will give you your monthly payment. Increase it by another five tails. Uh-huh. Okay. Princess, what's the matter? Ji must live up to the trust of the princess. Ji Ji Sheng was overjoyed immediately. He didn't expect that he would eat, drink and have fun along the way and get a salary increase when he came back. It seemed that the 19th princess was becoming more and more fond of herself. Trusted. It's not a big deal. A first couplet. This should be what you are good at. One palm holding the sky. 
five fingers, three long and two short. Please give me the right second couplet. Princess 19 nodded, very satisfied with Ji Jixing's performance. This is easy. Princess, you have found the right person. The second line is, rush down with your feet forward and backward. Ji Jixing is really quick in thinking and speaks quickly. Get out. Princess 19 was stunned. And then she couldn't help but said angrily, Hey, I'm getting out of here. Ji Jisheng didn't expect that Princess 19's face suddenly changed. She was so pleasant just now. But how could she turn into a thunderous rage in the blink of an eye? Seeing Ji Jisheng running away with his head in his arms. Wuyu couldn't help covering her mouth and almost laughed out loud. Thinking about the pairing of Ji Jisheng. The scene made people want to laugh. What's so funny? Can't you see that I'm annoyed? Princess 19 complained to Wuyu. Oh, I didn't laugh. Wuyu suppressed her laughter, but she was muttering in her heart. It's really ridiculous. Then he continued the previous topic and asked, Princess, what did you ask me to ask just now? It's nothing. Forget it. If you have time, go and ask Chu Xiaobao. Is the second couplet correct? In fact, it doesn't matter if you don't ask. Don't say I asked you to ask. Princess 19 said pretending to be casual. She was too full of words in front of Wuyu. So now the 19th princess is a little embarrassed. In fact, Wuyu's carefree character had long forgotten about that matter. Now that the princess has given the order, she has treated it as an important matter. Ji Jisheng ran away with his head in his arms and ran directly to Zhu Xiaobao. As soon as he came back, he found out clearly that Zhu Xiaobao was now living in the female barracks. This made Ji Jishi very envious but it was not possible to live in the female barracks just because he wanted to. From a distance, I saw two water wheels erected. Zhu Xiaobao was instructing the craftsmen to build houses. There was also a battalion of female soldiers helping him carry wood and stones. Things can be done quickly when there are many people. In just two days, several prototypes of houses have been built. In addition, Zhu Xiaobao also designed a toilet specifically for the female soldiers. Or how about setting up two water wheels? Zhu Xiaobao is also very dedicated to the female soldiers. Zhu Xiaobao was very happy to see Ji Jishin. This guy can be regarded as Zhu Xiaobao's most compatible friend. But Ji Jishin looks a bit embarrassed. Oh, let's not mention it. I got scolded by the princess for no reason. Tell me, what's wrong with my second line? Ji Jishin was not polite. Grabbed the sauce beef on the table and stuffed it into his mouth. And then he also poured himself a glass of wine. Ha ha. The battle is very neat, but the painting style is very strong. Isn't it the pose that those brothel girls often pose? After hearing this, Zhu Xiaobao asked happily, before traveling through time. He didn't have any of those island country movies download less. Oomph. You know it very well. I didn't expect that such crucial words would be heard by someone. And it was Wu Yu, the person who troubled Zhu Xiaobao the most. Chapter 74 Six Harmonies Pagoda A the female barracks was several miles away from the 19th princess's residence. Ji Jishin came here running, while Wuyu came back on horseback. So she and Ji Jishin came back at about the same time. The princess handed over the task. And of course Wuyu found her immediately. No, no, no. It wasn't me. It was him. He told me all this. If you don't believe me, just ask him. Zhu Xiaobao pointed at Ji Jishin and said, the scene of being sneaked back by Wu Yu at the entrance of the brothel was still vivid in his mind. So Zhu Xiaobao felt a little scared. Me? Did I say that? Ji Ji Sheng was a little confused. He knew these difficult moves. He probably said too much when bragging to Zhu Xiaobao. But he couldn't just sell himself out. Right? Ji Ji Shi said angrily. I didn't think about this when I was writing the second line. I just came up with it as soon as inspiration came to me. Oomph. Anyway. You are not a good person. Don't think that I don't know what happened to you on the road. Wu actually didn't understand this aspect. But she had never had a good impression of Ji Jishin. Let alone this time. On the way here, Ji Jishin was acting recklessly on the carriage. Of course the princess didn't know it yet. But the new female soldiers had already reported to Wu Yu. Hey! That's not right. Why are you here again? I didn't prepare your lunch. Only then did Zhu Xiaobao realize that this was his own room. And the food he prepared was not enough. It's not enough for Wu Yu and Ji Jishin to share. Especially Wu Yu, who ate twice as much food as he did. TSK, you think I am willing to come? The princess asked me to come. I want to ask you if you can get the first couplet right. 
Lord Xia City has already gotten it right several times. Wu Yu has no intention of leaving at all. Sat down directly and started eating. While pouring himself a glass of wine. Oh. Hey. I'm afraid the general you admire can't keep up with you. Right. I got a few right. And I can hit hundreds of them with just one mouthful like Xiang Laoji. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly rolled his eyes and thought I thought about it. And then I understood a little bit. So I said with a little gloating. To say that Xia Zixiu, Zhu Xiaobao and Ji Zixian are on a united front. And they don't have a good impression. There is a feeling of gold and jade. Impossible. You weren't there at the time. City Lord Xia was very powerful at the beginning. He may not be as good as you. But he is definitely not worse than him. Wu Yu said unhappily, pointing at Ji Jisheng. She didn't want to do this. Xiao Bao belittled the princess's sweetheart, but she also vaguely felt that Xia Zixiu really couldn't stand up to her. The princess has not been happy these past two days. I intuitively felt that Xia Zixiu's ability was really not as good as Zhu Xiu Bao's. What do you mean you are definitely not worse than me? My second line just now was also very neat. Okay. Xiao Bao. Don't you think so? Ji Zixi jumped up immediately. Reciting poems and writing poems was his strong point. And he had also fought against Wan Muqi before. He! The general has already confronted him. So why should I? A little cook. Do anything to him? I'm too lazy to think about it. Zhu Xiaobao said with a sly smile. And simply started eating and drinking. If I ask you to be right, you will be right. Where does all the nonsense come from? Be careful. I will make those female soldiers stop and stop helping you. Wu Yu had her own way of dealing with Fang Xiaobao. And now I can often win several times. Okay. Let me ask you. Does Prince Ming's fiefdom have a pagoda called the Liuha Pagoda? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly asked. Yes. Everyone knows this. It was specially built when King Ming was crowned king. And the eldest prince even sued him. Wu Yu was a little surprised. Why did Duan Duan suddenly ask this? How many floors? Zhu Xiaobao asked again. Seventh floor. That's okay. Zhu Xiaobao nodded, then took the homemade charcoal pen and wrote three words on a piece of white paper, Six Harmonies Pagoda. Although Zhu Xiaobao's calligraphy is not good, the characters written with this kind of charcoal pen are like dragons and phoenixes, which is very pleasing to the eye. Well, take it and give this to the general. Zhu Xiaobao handed the white paper to Wu Yu. What's this? I asked you to write the second line. Why did you give me these three characters? To show off that your handwriting is beautiful? Wu Yu asked angrily. He! Just tell the general. The second line is here. He is so talented and knowledgeable. You can understand it at a glance. Zhu Xiaobao chuckled. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao wanted to write the line directly just now. But suddenly thought leave a button and see Xia Zixiu's literary talent. But I guess I should be able to get it right. After Ji Jisheng looked aside, he slapped his forehead and exclaimed. Wonderful! Master Xiaobao! Please accept my bow! Wu Yu was still in a daze, but after seeing Ji Jisheng's actions, she couldn't help but snorted, pretending to be mysterious. However, Wu Yu didn't ask any more questions. It was too tiring to play riddles with these literati. And she was not that good. Since Ji Jisheng can understand it, Xia Zixiu should have no problem. Wu Yu put the white paper away, and then began to eat happily. Zhu Xiaobao looked a little stupid. His appetite seemed to have increased again. A quarter of an hour later, Wu Yu took the blank paper and left. She was very present, and went directly to the study room of the 19th princess, and then handed the blank paper to the 19th princess. What is this? Princess 19 saw three words written on it, and asked a little confused. Couplet! You didn't ask Zhu Xiaobao to also write a second couplet. So he gave me these three words and said this is the second couplet. Wu Yu said straightforwardly. Oh! You go down first. Princess 19 pondered for a moment. And then said to Wu Yu. Then the 19th princess hurried to the city lord's mansion to find Xia Zixiu. Zhu Xiaobao and Ji Zixi started to eat again. Wu Yu had eaten all the food just now. So Zhu Xiaobao had no choice but to make some again. In addition, Ji Zixi was back. So he had to make some. It's a good dish. Let's entertain it. Anyway, Lu Tong is very capable now. He does many things more carefully than Zhu Xiaobao. And he does it very quickly. Lu Tong and Lu Fang have always stayed by Zhu Xiaobao's side. This is also the intention of Chief Wu. After all, Zhu Xiaobao's safety comes first. What is the house over there used for? Don't you live here? Ji Zixian asked very curiously. Well, 
Those are the toilets and bathrooms I'd built for the female soldiers. Zhu Xiaobao was a little helpless and was eating. Talking about these indecent things would affect his appetite. Is it the same as the one you had at the princess mansion? The one with flushing water? Ji 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 asked relentlessly. Almost, Zhu Xiaobao said with a frown. Wouldn't that require more than a thousand sitting toilets? What a spectacular scene that would be, Ji Ji Sheng exclaimed. Are you going to hacking let me eat? Zhu Xiaobao shouted angrily. Lu Tong and Lu Fang, who were standing next to them, also looked at Ji Ji Shen with shame and anger. This guy was not at ease at first glance. I'm just curious, Ji Ji Sheng said a little embarrassed. At this moment, Wu also broke it angrily and threw the white paper to Zhu Xiaobao. What the H, L. City Lord Xia said it. I don't know what it means. Zhu Xiaobao and Ji Jiehui immediately looked at each other, both a little surprised. Zhu Xiaobao asked in disbelief. Didn't he see some skills? But the princess should be able to see some skills. The princess didn't go at all. She asked me to send this piece of paper over. The princess went to visit General Zhao Ming. Wu Yu snorted angrily. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I tell you very carefully. You should not just look at the appearance of a person. You should look at the essence. Just like me. I'm afraid the city lord Xia is really just an embroidered pillow. Zhu Xiaobao felt a little proud. But he said with a pretended sincerity on his face. Nonsense! You must be unsatisfied. So you can fool people with these three words. Wu Yu immediately retorted. Okay. I'll leave the words here. One city lord Xia can't stand up to him. You can take these three words to Prince Ming and guarantee that the princess will pass. Zhu Xiaobao said very confidently. He returned the piece of paper to Wu Yu. At night, Princess 19 was still in a daze over the three words. She could see the clue, but she just couldn't integrate the words well. And she always felt that they were a little bit different. But just in this regard, she felt that the artistic conception was a lot different. On the third day, Princess 19 and Xia Zixiu went to King Ming's fief together. They were new here, so they had to pay a visit to King Ming. Not to mention that King Ming had already come first. As the 19th princess, she must also pay a return visit. And the 19th princess also prepared a gift for King Ming, which was exactly the same as King Wen's, to show that she was impartial. Xia Zixiu was a little helpless. He had no choice but to go along. As the person most trusted by the 19th princess and the lord of Xiyuan city, he couldn't shirk it, but he was uneasy in his heart although he had a few good couplets hidden in his sleeves. To be honest, Xia Zixiu was a little embarrassed to take them out. He thought that if it didn't work out, he would just give up. The group of troops rushed forward, and in less than half a day, they appeared in Prince Ming's fiefdom. The soldiers on duty were very knowledgeable. When they saw it was the 19th princess, they all immediately knelt down and saluted. Then he sent someone to lead the way to Prince Ming's mansion. Oh! 19th sister and Xia Zixiu are here? Okay. Invite them in. Come. Bring me Lu Shuryin. Prince Ming was bored. And immediately shouted with great interest. Seeing King Ming. Princess 19 quickly saluted. And then said very tenderly. My little sister just settled in yesterday. So I came to see my second brother two days late. Please forgive me. Ha ha ha. No matter what. 19th sister is too impatient. It might as well come back after a few days of rest. Prince Ming also laughed loudly. To be honest, this 19th sister is quite likable. That Xia Zixiu is a bit annoying. This is a small gift prepared by my little sister. Please don't dislike it. Second brother. Princess 19 was very smart and diverted Prince Ming's attention to the gift first. Princess 19 is very thoughtful about her gifts. Oh, is this the kind of exquisitely carved soap? Let me take a closer look. Prince Ming was indeed attracted immediately. These days, his concubines are almost scratching out calluses on his ears. And the 20 pieces of soap bought from the imperial city made Prince Ming's harem really noisy for a while. In the end, he had to throw away the soap he bought. Split into two. The matter was finally settled for the time being. Of course, the princess still had a whole piece of soap there. And just like that, the princess was still complaining about King Ming every day. So can King Ming not be tempted now? But it was really not King Ming's turn to take action. The princess had already rushed forward and opened the brocade box first. Immediately, the maids and concubines following behind were all amazed. This kind of soap for gifts is more exquisite than the ones bought. There are so many, and the carvings are so exquisite that people can't put it down. There was nothing else in the princess's eyes. As for the tea leaves, 
Mrs. Princess didn't even look at them. He waved his hand and handed a piece of jade silk and the brocade box to King Ming. Prince Ming was a little dumbfounded. This was so shameless. But when King Ming lowered his head and saw the brocade silk, there were three words written on it. Six Harmonies Pagoda. Chapter 75 Six Harmonies Pagoda. B. King Ming couldn't help but be stunned when he saw the three words on the brocade and asked in confusion. Nineteenth sister. What does this mean? Second brother. Didn't you leave a couplet in Shiyuan City? I want to ask Mr. Lu whether this brocade silk can solve the mystery. Princess Nineteen said with a smile. Of course she couldn't let Prince Ming deal with it. Otherwise, it would be like making things difficult for King Ming. If King Ming cannot answer, it will make King Ming very embarrassed. So the nineteenth princess cleverly turned to Lu Shiryin. Yeah. King Ming nodded and handed the brocade silk to Lu Shiryin. But Lu Shiryin was very nervous. If he couldn't figure out the secret, wouldn't it ruin his future? Lu Shiryin looked at the words on the golden wave. Just three words? Six Harmonies Pagoda. Lu Shiryin's mind started working rapidly. And intuitively this was the answer. Lu Shiryin put his hands behind his back and walked slowly for a few steps. He looked out the window at the tall and imposing Liu Pagoda and was suddenly shocked. He quickly walked up to Prince Ming and said in his ear, Prince Ming, the first couplet you left. They are facing each other. Oh! King Ming looked at Lu Shiryin, as if he was trying to determine whether this boy was making a fool of himself, unable to answer, or fooling himself. Lu Shiryin quickly whispered a few words in Prince Ming's ear, and then quietly stepped aside and wiped the cold sweat on his forehead. He had experienced a very test just now. If he hadn't been so smart, he would have been, but I was killed by these three words. Nineteenth Princess. Ha ha ha. That's right. I didn't expect that a wise nephew would be great. Okay. I'll exempt you from the task of fodder for three months. Come. Let's have a banquet. King Ming couldn't help laughing. Although his first couplet was broken, Prince Ming was in a good mood. And his subordinates were not idlers. And now the gifts from the nineteenth sister were about to cause chaos in his harem. So he simply waved his hand and loudly ordered people to hold a banquet, which was also a reminder to the princess and other concubines that it was time to calm down for a while. In fact, for King Ming, the lack of fodder for these three months was nothing at all. And his fiefdom was not short of fodder. It just gave Xia Zixiu a three-month reprieve. Now that the general of the seventh princess, Xiao Ming, is guarding Xiyuan City, is it really possible for his soldiers to come to Xiyuan City on horseback to release their horses? Wouldn't that be a quarrel with the seventh princess? As for the answer to the couplet, no one said it out loud. This is what literati pay attention to. And they understand it tacitly, thinking that the other party already knows it. If anyone is stupid enough to ask now, they are at a disadvantage. But who would have thought that Xia Zixia was confused and annoyed at this time? And he didn't expect that the three words we you said were actually the second line. But even now, Xia Zixia hasn't figured out the most suitable second line. He just has a direction. He can be said to be quick thinking when he is having fun in his spare time. But at critical moments and when he is nervous, he is slow to react. Therefore, his father has long concluded that he is not of much use. Before Xia Zhongkuan died, he asked Xia Zixiu not to take over Xiyuan City and to just return to his original place and hold on to the family business. It's just that Xia Zixiu has never been convinced and insists on taking over Xiyuan City to prove himself. Thank you. Second brother. Princess Nineteen was very pleasantly surprised. As Zhu Xiaobao had seen, these three words broke Prince Ming's first couplet. Just seeing Xia Zixiu still looking a little lost, I couldn't help but feel anxious and quietly gave him a hand. Even if you are pretending at this time, you have to pretend to be high-spirited. Fortunately, Prince Ming did not notice these details at this time, because the princess stepped forward very enthusiastically and took the hand of the nineteenth princess. Good sister, sit down quickly. Your second brother has already said that my sister is smart and capable. What's more, it's beautiful and fragrant. When I saw it today, it's so true. Come on, stay by my side. In fact, Mrs. Ming Wang is not close to the 19th princess. She wants to give more soap. Seeing that these 20 pieces of soap are going to cause chaos in the harem again. How can she not be anxious? What's more, she still wants to keep a few more pieces. Of course the 19th princess knew what the princess was thinking. But she was able to cope with it easily. Not only did she have a lively chat with the princess. But she also kept complimenting Prince Ming. Second brother is so lucky. The princess is so beautiful. Elegant and noble. 
extraordinary. All the sisters are also gorgeous. Ha ha ha. It's easy to talk. And I've always managed my family well. Prince Ming was in a good mood. And people still like to hear these compliments. King Ming is no exception. Oh, good sister. From what you said, my sister is already old. I can't compare to your age. The princess was also very happy after hearing this. But she was still a little emotional. After all, she was already in her thirties. And she had crow's feet at the corners of her eyes. I can't hide it anymore. You're not old at all. It's okay. Using my soap can also beautify, whiten, and moisturize your skin. Princess 19 said with a smile. Yes. Yes. But there are too few of these soaps. It's not enough. Sister, do you think you can send more? Don't worry. Money is not a problem. Your second brother has always been very generous. Mrs. Princess, he immediately followed the words of the 19th princess. Well, what kind of money does my family have to ask for? Thanks to my sister's love. I will send her 50 pieces of soap every month. What do you think? 19th sister gently waved her hand and said obediently, Yeah. Really? That's great. The princess suddenly exclaimed in surprise. Even the concubines next to her couldn't help but smile and began to chatter uncomfortably. They were all counting how many pieces they could get. 19th sister, I think you should give your share of the 300 soaps to my brother. Prince Ming said a little greedily. The seventh princess had 70%, and he wanted to take the remaining 30%. Come over. It's not impossible. Second brother, how about I give you the remaining share, and you give me 100,000 kilograms of iron stone every month? What do you think? Princess 19 said without thinking. Iron stone is actually iron ore. Although the quality of the iron ore in King Ming's area is very average. It is superior to the huge output and is one of his main sources of wealth. Uh, what's this? Ha ha ha. It's a family dinner now. No business. No business. King Ming's heart moved. When it came to iron ore, he had to be cautious. Because it could be used to make weapons. Although the 19th princess can also spend money to buy iron and stone. Giving her 100,000 caddies every month is equivalent to thousands of weapons. That's still up for debate. Everyone was very satisfied with the meal. Except Xia Zixiu who remained silent because the protagonist of the banquet was the 19th princess and he didn't say a few words at all. Lu Shuryan exchanged pleasantries with him from time to time. But Lu Shuryan seemed to be testing Xia Zixiu. And Xia Zixiu quickly excused himself by complaining of physical discomfort. At the end of the banquet, the princess and the concubines personally sent the 19th princess out, holding hands reluctantly. Prince Ming also gave a gift. He was not stingy and gave the 19th princess a Snow White BMW. The most important thing he lacks here is war horses. Of course, there are other items such as jewelry, jade, etc. Anyway, Prince Ming will not damage his own face. So he is very generous. After the 19th princess was sent away and the princess and others went back happily. Prince Ming frowned and asked, Why does she need so many iron stones? Of course she is making weapons. She has just arrived. Doesn't she have any strength? Of course she urgently needs to recruit troops and make weapons. Lu Shuryan said immediately, He is now the celebrity in front of tomorrow night and has already attended Prince Ming's family banquet twice. Is that deal worth it? King Ming asked hesitantly, referring to the soap for iron stone deal. No, although that thing is very good. It is only a woman's plaything after all. The pros and cons are left to King Ming to consider. Lu Shuryan immediately rejected King Ming's idea. Yeah, I think so too. After all, those 50 pieces of soap should be enough. Prince Ming nodded. On the way back, Xia Zixiu was still dejected. Everything today was solved by the 19th princess alone. As the official city lord, he had nothing to do. And he had no chance to come up with the second couplets he had prepared. The key is that he hasn't figured out what the second line should be until now. Nineteenth sister, thank you so much for today. Alas, I can't help it all. Xia Zixiu said with a face full of shame. It's not your fault. After all, Prince Ming and I are brothers and sisters. And we can talk to the princess. Anyway, we have gained three months now. Princess Nineteen comforted Xia Zixiu very considerately. Alas, but what happens after three months? Xia Zixiu not only did not feel happy, but instead sighed worriedly. The 19th princess frowned. This person seemed a bit too pessimistic. Wouldn't it be okay to think of a solution after three months? Just as he was about to say something, 
He saw Wu Yu and his guards greeting them. Welcome the two city lords back to the city. Okay. Let's go. Princess 19 was still quite happy. She returned to her own territory. But she felt different. But I accidentally saw Ji Ji Shen coming with him. It turned out that Ji Ji Sheng was very anxious. He wanted to ask King Ming what he thought of the tea leaves and whether he could open the shop to King Ming's thief. Ji Ji Shen, why are you here too? Princess 19 was in a good mood now. So she asked with a smile. I want to ask Prince Ming what he thinks of my tea. Ji Ji Sheng ran over and said immediately. But when I saw Xia Zixiu, I felt a little disdainful. Because Xia Zixiu was a little listless at this time and could not see the elegance and chicness he had in the past. Oh, this is going to disappoint you. We didn't talk about it today. But don't worry. With Seven Sisters' consignment, your teas won't be unsold. Princess 19 smiled and shook her head, shaking his head. He had been dealing with Prince Ming and the princess today and had no time to care about tea. Oh, that subordinate is resigning. Ji Ji Sheng was a little disappointed and prepared to retreat. Ji Ji Sheng, have you read this? Princess 19 took out the white paper with the words, Dix Harmony's Pagoda, written on it from her arms and asked, Yeah, written by Xiao Bao. Ji Ji Shi recognized it immediately after looking at it. Then you answer the second line again. Don't tell me any more vulgar things. Princess 19 said calmly. In fact, she felt quite embarrassed. Xia Zixia was right next to her. But she really couldn't help it. Curiosity. Oh? You haven't met yet? Unexpectedly. Ji Ji Shi looked at Xia Zixia in an exaggerated way. And then said loudly. One palm holds the sky. Five fingers are three long and two short and the six and six are inserted into the seven layers of the earth in all directions. Xia Zixia was immediately shocked. He was perfectly neat and domineering. Chapter 76 Toilet and Bathroom A. Princess 19 was shocked when she heard this. It is indeed very neat. In fact, the 19th princess herself is also on the same page. Her second line is, Lioha immediately dominates all directions. But the 19th princess was a little worried. This second couplet was against the rules, and meant to dominate the world. So she didn't dare to say it. Instead, she threw the problem to Lu Shuryin. But now that she heard Ji Ji Sheng's second line, she really felt inferior. King Ming's first couplet contains four numbers, one, five, three, and two, while Ji Ji Sheng's second couplet corresponds to six, seven, four, and eight. It's perfect. And my own, Monopoly, is just a little bit worse than the seventh floor. In fact, Ji Ji Sheng's second line is not this. But, Liola stands on the seventh floor and in all directions. In the end, Zhu Xiaobao changed one word. And he suddenly looked domineering. Xia Zixiu listened on the sidelines and was stunned. He didn't expect it to be that simple. But that's the thing. Once I write it down, I feel like I can get it right. The most hateful thing was that Ji Ji Sheng actually looked down on him with such disdain. Mr. Ji is a great talent. Xixiu admires him. It's really depressing. Yeah. Not bad. Princess 19 also prays sincerely. Princess. Can my monthly salary be increased a little? Ji Ji Sheng had just spoken the second line in a domineering manner. But in the blink of an eye he became very fussy. Go away. Princess 19 raised her arms. Blocked the eyes of others with her sleeves. And then made a go away mouth sign. Oh. I understand. I'm leaving now. Ji Ji Shen turned around in annoyance and walked away dejectedly. Princess 19 couldn't help but snicker proudly from behind. Afterwards, the 19th princess and Xia Zixiu also parted ways. Xia Zixiu was anxious to go back. He was too embarrassed to ride with the 19th princess anymore. So he just wanted to find a place to hide. The 19th princess stopped by Zhao Ming's camp. After all, everyone under the 7th princess was able to help her guard Shi Yuan City. So from a courtesy point of view, she should go and see it. What's more, Duan Mu Xilong was of great help this time. So he should have expressed his gratitude. Zhao Ming had neither a favorable impression nor a dislike for the 19th princess. In his opinion, she was just a princess. But he was quite respectful to the 19th princess. They lined up to greet them. They also offered wine and entertainment. But the 19th princess declined. Then he also sent some good wine and meat to reward Zhao Ming's subordinates. Zhao Ming was actually quite bored staying here. Fortunately, Duan Mu Xilong and others are here now, with a living treasure like Xiao Shenbao. 
His days have been relaxed and happy these days. Zhu Xiaobao had already brought the stinky tofu and pickled pepper chicken feet that he had made, which made Xiao Ming full of curiosity about Zhu Xiaobao and wanted to meet him. Duan Mu Xilong completed the task, but did not leave in a hurry. They were waiting for Duan Mu Qi's instructions. And the three Zhao brothers didn't really want to leave right away. Especially Zhao Shenbao. He is counting on Zhu Xiaobao to make him a good knife. On the way back, Wu Yu and Princess 19 rode side by side. The two of them should be considered best friends. The other female guards did not have this qualification. And they were not as unrestrained as Wu Yu. Princess, what do you think of Xiaobao? Why do I think he is no worse than that Xia city lord? Wu Yu was in a daze at this time and asked in a low voice. Huh? Wu Yu, are you crazy? You can't imagine that? How can Zhu Xiaobao and I do it? Even if he is freed from slavery now, his status is still far behind. What are you thinking about? Tin the Ninth Princess suddenly scolded in surprise. I, I, I don't mean that. Wu Yu was stunned and didn't know how to explain it. In fact, she was asking whether she and Zhu Xiaobao were suitable. Okay, stop talking. Xixiu is just too worried and nervous. There's nothing wrong with it. Really? It's so easy for you to ruin a good mood. Come on. Princess 19 was a little upset. He said, and then urged the horse. The pure white BMW horse rushed out immediately. Leaving Wu there in a daze. I didn't tell you. Can't I think about my marriage? Zhu Xiaobao was pointing and drawing in the newly built extra large house. He was still holding the drawings he drew in his hand and was talking to the craftsman about his requirements. Wu walked in directly. When she saw Zhu Xiaobao, her heart suddenly felt warm. This feeling seemed to be getting stronger now. Hey! Damn it! Xiaobao! Did you know that second line a long time ago? You kept it from me. You wouldn't have told me earlier. And let Ji Zhishan steal the limelight. Wu Yu patted Zhu Xiaobao's shoulder very domineeringly. Zhu Xiaobao almost sat on the ground. Hey! Sister! Can you please be gentle? Oh! Did those three words work? How about it? If what I said works, it will definitely work. Zhu Xiaobao rubbed his shoulders, then suddenly understood, and smiled said, a proud look on his face. Oomph, you are smart. Well, what is this? Why are there so many small holes on it? Wu Yi was misunderstood by the 19th princess, and was a little depressed. But now she is with Zhu Xiaobao, and she will soon feeling relaxed. She raised her head, and looked at the ceramic fired tubes above her head, that she had just photographed. There was one tube more than one meter long, and there was a square interface connecting the two tubes. The interface in this direction was actually ceramic. The fired one is one size larger than the original one. The two ceramic tubes can just be inserted into it and connected into one. There are dense holes just below the larger connecting tube. Well, this is considered a shower. When you take a shower, water flows out from these small holes. Like rain. It is very comfortable. From now on, you female soldiers can take a shower here. Forty people can take a shower at the same time. Zhu Xiaobao he said proudly that he came up with this specifically for the female soldiers. Really? Forty people? Right here? Wu Yu asked in disbelief. Yes. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Are you women used to standing together without clothes? Do you need to make a partition? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly thought of a question and asked. But his eyes kept scanning Wu Yu's body. Damn Zhu Xiaobao. I knew you had bad intentions. Get out! Wu Yu was immediately furious. She had just had a good impression of Zhu Xiaobao. But all of it was gone. She stretched out her hand and threw Zhu Xiaobao away. Ouch! You knocked me to death. Wu Yu, what are you doing? Are you sick? What did I say wrong? Zhu Xiaobao sat up from the ground in embarrassment and shouted angrily. You're the one who's sick. I think you're having wild fantasies again. This time you want to see 40 women at once. Wu Yu hummed, groping her waist. Nonsense. Who takes a bath with clothes on? Of course they are naked. So I asked you if there are any taboos? I mean, well, do you think I really want to see it? Zhu Xiaobao sat there and yelled loudly right. Lu Tong and Lu Fang next to them were both blushing. Although Zhu Xiaobao's words were high sounding, considering the obscene behavior of this little fat man, they did not take Zhu Xiaobao as a good intention. But seeing Zhu Xiaobao's current state, I felt quite distressed. The fall this time was not light. Really? Then I have wronged you. Wu Yu asked a little doubtfully. It seemed that Zhu Xiaobao was really not taking advantage of words. So she felt a little regretful 
and walked over to pull Zhu Xiaobao up. Xiaobao took advantage of the situation and leaned on Wu Yu's chest. Wu Yu also felt a little guilty. So she had to let him stand for a small advantage. Who said she had wronged him? Wu Yu said a little unnaturally. Actually, it's nothing. I usually don't care about bathing by the river or going for convenience together. Oh, that's good. I also thought that adding a wooden partition would be time-consuming and labor-intensive. And it would easily rot in such a humid environment for a long time. Okay. In that case, it's much simpler. Finally soon the day after tomorrow. You can take a bath here. Chu Xiaobao said confidently. Although the toilets and bathrooms combined are hundreds of square meters. They have a simple structure and a large number of people. Not only are there a battalion of female soldiers at their disposal, but also the craftsmen from the princess's mansion. And Xia Zixio has also been sent. With hundreds of craftsmen. Xia Zixio did this very well. And Xia Zixio sent people to work overtime to finish the pottery and porcelain pieces that Zhu Xiaobao needed to process. Therefore, the construction speed is quite fast. Because the female soldiers' requirements in this regard are very urgent. Other facilities such as dormitories for female soldiers are being constructed step by step. Only toilets and bathrooms are under construction day and night as quickly as possible. Even Zhu Xiaobao is temporarily living in a tent now. And his housing is not that fast. What's more, a large processing workshop needs to be built at Zhu Xiaobao's residence. So there is no rush to get out for the time being. On the third day, Zhu Xiaobao had a lot of fun playing gongs and drums to celebrate the opening of the first public bathroom in Dashia. In order to test the effect of the bathroom, Zhu Xiaobao specially selected 40 female guards, all of whom were familiar with him, such as Wu Yu, Wu Lijia and others. Lu Tong and Lu Fang were explaining how to use it. As soon as they entered the door, a dressing room was similar to a modern bathroom. Zhu Xiaobao made a row of cabinets specifically for the female soldiers to store their changing clothes. In front of the wardrobe is a long bench and wooden slippers for public use. Originally, everyone was looking forward to the completion of the bathroom. But at this moment, everyone was a little shy and blushing. And no one dared to take off their clothes first. Xu Xiaobao is so anxious on the side. You guys should take off your clothes. I want to see. Zhu Xiaobao said with great anticipation. What did you say? Wu Yu shouted angrily. I mean, I want to see the effect. Zhu Xiaobao stammered in fright when Wu Yu glared at him. Then why don't you go out? Do you really want to see it? Wu Lijia also said angrily. Although she was usually very bold and bold, she was also a little embarrassed at this moment. Oh, yes, yes, I forgot. I am different from you. Zhu Xiaobao ran out from inside in despair. After leaving the bathroom, Zhu Xiaobao shouted to the female soldiers above the bathroom. Pay attention to controlling the temperature. Don't burn them to death. Chapter 77 Toilet and Bathroom B. In fact, the main reason why Zhu Xiaobao wanted to build such a bathroom was that when Zhu Xiaobao was with the female guards, he heard them often complain about the many dissatisfactions they had about living together, the most important of which was the problem of bathing and toileting. The amount of training those female guards undergo every day is astonishing. They sweat several kilograms. If they don't take a shower, it will be very uncomfortable. Women also have sweaty feet. If they don't wash their feet cleanly, the smell in the dormitory will be no better than that of male soldiers. Where to go? It was better when I was in the princess's mansion. There were ten female guards in one room, and four maids were waiting on them. But now these female soldiers do not have the same treatment as female guards, and there are twenty of them in one room. So the bathing problem is particularly prominent. Now every female soldier's dormitory is equipped with a bathtub, but it is very troublesome to carry and boil water. After washing, you have to clean the bathtub yourself, and you have to do it yourself. So taking a bath has become a very troublesome, tiring and very luxurious thing, which can only be done once every ten days on average. It's autumn now, and bathing in the river is no longer possible. So as soon as the 19th princess arrived in Xiyuan City, she asked Yu Xiaobao to find a way to solve this problem. At this time, thousands of people had gathered outside the bathroom, and almost all the female soldiers came to watch. They are all very curious. Can this bathroom really allow them to take a bath very conveniently? Some people still don't quite believe it. Zhu Xiaobao became the focus of everyone's attention at this time. Zhu Xiaobao didn't have stage fright at all. He was a little excited to face so many beauties. Zhu Xiaobao came to the east side of the bathroom, where a row of 16 water tanks had been arranged, with a fire set underneath to boil water. 
There are four large buckets in a row on the roof of the bathroom, which are much larger than ordinary bathing buckets. In addition, a four to five meter high support with eight pulleys was erected on the east side. There were ten female soldiers on the roof. Eight female soldiers kept using pulleys to bring hot water up and then poured it into the buckets they were responsible for. The remaining two were constantly testing the temperature of the water with their hands to see if it was too hot. Add some cold water immediately. As for how the hot water flows inside, they don't have to worry about it. There is a pipe under each barrel, which is the water inlet pipe. There is a floating ball at each water inlet. When the water level drops, the floating ball drops and the cork opens. As the water level rises, the float rises, and the cork seals the water outlet. There were more female soldiers busy below, a dozen of them, carrying large amounts of hot water under the pulley, then hanging it on the hook, taking the empty bucket back, and then going to get the hot water. There are also people responsible for testing the water temperature and adding firewood in order to take a bath. It takes 20 or 30 people. The most comfortable temperature for the human body is 42 degrees. There is no thermometer now, so we have to feel it with our hands. If it feels almost hot but not hot, it is okay. In summer, the temperature can be lower, and in winter, it should be higher. The water in the 16 water tanks will heat up to 40 or 50 degrees very quickly, and the current temperature is 17 or 18 degrees, so the hot water in the 16 water tanks will be more than enough. Let's talk about Wu Yu and Wu Lijia. Although Zhu Xiaobao was kicked out, no one wanted to be the first to take off their clothes. In the end, Wu Yu and Wu Lijia took the lead. Only then did everyone start to take action. After the initial experience, Wu Yu and Wu Lijia took the lead. Being shy will soon be fine. And these female escorts are all quite fit. And they feel a little proud when they show it off. Lu Tong and Lu Fan led everyone into the bathroom, reached out, and pulled off a cover under the shower head. And hot water sprayed down immediately. It turned out that Zhu Xiaobao had considered saving energy. When no one was using it, the shower head just don't get out of the water. Even though that lid has a poor seal, it will still drip water. But not a lot. The floor of the bathroom is paved with bluestone slabs. And the walls are decorated with custom-made ceramic tiles. There is a drainage ditch underneath. The falling water flows away from the drainage ditch. So there will be no accumulation of water. There are 20 large pink lanterns hanging on the ceiling. And the whole bathroom is softly lit and very warm. Wow! Is there really hot water? It's so comfortable! Everyone couldn't help shouting in surprise. And they also discovered that there is a shelf under each shower head against the wall, which can conveniently store soap, bath towels, combs, and other gadgets. What a thoughtful thought! How do you wash this? Some female guards were a little dazed and wanted to find a basin to collect water. Just stand under the hot water! You still want to find a bathtub? How stupid! Some people started to enjoy it right away. Just flush so much water, and it will all flow away. How wasteful is it? Then you should go back and take a bath. Remember, the bathtub belongs to you now. But when I wash my hair like this, I won't be able to use the rice water. I use the bath soap too quickly. That's right. Ju Xiaobao should be asked to double our soap ration. There's a handle here. What's it for? The whole bathroom suddenly became lively with chattering. There was more and more mist inside and the scent of soap became stronger and stronger. Zhu Xiaobao was a little impatient waiting outside. It had been almost an hour. Why didn't anyone come out? What's going on? Is it lack of oxygen? No. The transom has been left, and there is no coal to burn the fire. Hey! Sister! Go in and take a look. What's going on? You haven't come out for so long? Zhu Xiaobao finally called a female guard who was watching the excitement and asked her to go in and see what was going on. Unexpectedly, this female soldier stayed for a long time after going in before coming out. Her face was flushed and she said shyly, Wu Yu and the others said they haven't finished washing yet. So they have to wait a little longer. What? Are you still waiting? These old ladies are really good at dragging their feet. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly said a little annoyed. Then he found a piece of paper, made a loudspeaker and shouted loudly at the door. I'll give you another one. It's time to burn the incense and the hot water outside will soon be used up. If you don't come out after one time of burning the incense, you will be responsible for the consequences. After two more sticks of incense, the 40 female guards came out one after another, all with rosy faces and disheveled hair. They were holding a change of clothes in their hands, which still exuded a faint fragrance. It makes Xu Xiaobao feel like he has returned to his original world. 
I looked a little dazed. After regaining consciousness, Zhu Xiaobao asked, Sisters, how do you feel? What improvements are still needed? Xiaobao, can this thing drain out the rice water first? It's such a waste to wash your hair with soap. A female guard immediately put forward her opinion. She was still feeling sorry for her soap. For just a moment today, used up less than half. Yes, and the time is too short. I haven't finished washing yet. Me too. I have to wash it tomorrow. Can you bring my horse in and wash it too? Xu Xiaobao was immediately surrounded by the group of female guards, each chattering with their own thoughts. Zhu Xiaobao's head was as big as a fight when he heard it. Shut up! Zhu Xiaobao finally couldn't help but yell. And then the female guard stopped talking. You beauties, you want to bring the war horse in too. Why don't you say bring your husband and children too? And you, where can I give you thick rice washing water? And you, you have been washing for an hour. And you still don't think so time is short? Look, your toes are soaked and wrinkled. Zhu Xiaobao pointed one by one and said, He, Xiaobao, everyone likes this way of bathing. So they take a longer bath. It's really comfortable. Wu Lijia said with a smile at this time. She really admired Zhu Xiaobao in her heart the five body parts fell to the ground. Well, you have done a good thing. This kind of bathing is very convenient. Wu was shocked at this time. And she was also a little proud. She didn't know what she was proud of. Xiao Bao, is it our turn? At this time, the female guards, who had not yet taken a shower, couldn't bear it anymore. They were about to go in and try this new way of bathing. No one was stupid. From the expressions of Wu Yue and the others, it can be seen from the condition that it must be quite comfortable and satisfactory. Yeah, 40 more people will come in. This time, I made it clear that it cannot exceed half an hour. When the time is almost up, I will have someone sound the gong as a warning. After the gong is struck, there will only be time for one stick of incense at most. The water will stop. Zhu Xiaobao came up with an idea to control the bathing time. Of course, the people who boiled and carried water also changed a lot. These female soldiers were very tired, doing purely physical work. Zhu Xiaobao is also considering whether to make a conveyor belt or other equipment. Otherwise, it would be too tiring to do it all manually. This thought problem was easily solved by Wu Yu. What's the matter? It's just one of the training subjects. Every group of 30 people takes turns. It can not only provide labor, but also train the body. This amount of training, it's nothing. Oh, that's okay. Then I won't worry about it for now. I still have to hurry up and get Zai Su out. Zhu Xiaobao didn't expect Wu Yu to solve this problem very simply. Now there is no need for Zhu Xiaobao to watch from the side. As for the next wave of candidates for bathing, it will be decided by Wu Yu and others in charge. Zhu Xiaobao turned around and went back. What Zhu Xiaobao didn't expect was that the bathroom was busy all night long. In the middle of the night, the area around the bathroom was still very lively. With many female soldiers queuing up, even the 19th princess was alarmed and rushed over to take a look. After going in to take a look, the 19th princess shyly said to Wu Yu, Can you make a time tomorrow? I'll try it too, but I can't go in. There are a lot of people. Just a few maids and you accompanying me in. That's it. When the princess wants to take a shower, of course she can't do it like ordinary people. The princess's body is called Jade, and it must not be seen by anyone, even if she is a woman. So Wu Yu immediately started making arrangements. To be honest, Wu Yu and Wu Lijia started to have a headache. There were so many female soldiers, so how could they come in line? One batch takes half an hour, and there are only 24 batches of people in one day. Less than a thousand people. There are now 1,200 people in the female barracks. Besides, we can't stay up all night every day. So why don't we sleep? Therefore, at most 600 people can take a bath in a day. At noon the next day, the princess also quietly entered the bathroom with her maid. The outside was blocked by the female guards, and no one was allowed to get close. Then we accompanied the princess and went in. This time it took longer. And it actually took almost two hours to wash. It turned out that the princess not only took a bath, but also looked at the entire bathroom carefully. After a lot of research, she wondered whether she should have such a bathroom next to her room. But when she saw the female soldiers working on the roof, the princess gave up the idea. It was too troublesome. It was more convenient for one person to take a bath alone. But the 19th princess was once again impressed by Zhu Xiubao's astonishing intelligence. How did this guy come up with this idea? He is simply a freak. But what the princess didn't expect was that something even more novel was yet to come. 
because the Hezejo had also been built and was ready for use. Chapter 78 Toilet and Bathroom C. Since the bathroom was built, the female soldiers have taken great care of Zhu Xiaobao. Zhu Xiaobao's residence is still under construction. More than 400 people came at once, all coming to help. This made the craftsmen who were working we are also very excited. There are so many female soldiers rushing to help. So why don't you work harder? In fact, there is no need for so many people at all. But isn't this enthusiasm? Therefore, Zhu Xiaobao's residence was completed at a very fast speed. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao knew that Wu Yu and the others were eager to get Zhu Xiaobao to start work quickly. Because the toilet paper had been out of stock for several days. And they were already very uncomfortable using square leaves again. Even the princess was urging her in a very subtle way. Zhu Xiaobao. She has also used up. Without this soft and absorbent toilet paper. The princess is also very uncomfortable. As for the raw materials, they have been prepared since the first day here. And now they are just about to be pounded into pulp. Although Zhu Xiaobao is also anxious. These things cannot be rushed. They have to be done step by step and slowly. He has too many things in his backlog right now. Including soap from the seventh princess. Tea from Ji Zhishan. Toilet paper from the female soldiers. And various equipment and devices in his residence. Which one of them cannot he do in person? So Zhu Xiaobao was busy running around. What's even more ridiculous is that Zhu Xiaobao built a bathroom for the female soldiers. But he could only take a bath in the tub. Fortunately, Lu Tong and Lu Fang are now waiting for him. But these two girls are too shy. Every time they help him prepare hot water, they hide out. There is no one to rub his back. Zhu Xiaobao several times I tried to seduce them and but failed. So I had no choice but to clean it up myself. Zhu Xiaobao's toilet and the female soldier's toilet were built at the same time. Because many of the workpieces and steps were similar. Both sides were carried out at the same time. The construction of the toilet was even simpler. With dozens more sets of partitions. Taking personal privacy into consideration. Bao made full partitions and doors for the female soldiers. Of course, this public toilet cannot be a toilet. But the simplest and most efficient pit. A tunnel leads directly to the septic tank outside. The front end still relies on the wooden bucket above to store water. After using the toilet, just pull it out. It can be flushed cleanly. And the ground is also paved with bluestone slabs. Each tunnel has 10 squatting positions. There are 4 tunnels in total. Which can also serve as a toilet for 40 people at the same time. The response to the opening of the toilet was even more enthusiastic than that of the bathroom. It is much cleaner than the traditional latrine and basically has no odor. But Zhu Xiaobao didn't go this time. After all, it was a convenient place for women. Besides, this thing is already a mature technology. So there is nothing to worry about. Zhu Xiaobao hurried back to his processing workshop and started to work on his own things. Unexpectedly, Wu Yu barged in at this time and asked in a confused voice. Zhu Xiaobao, when will your toilet paper be ready? We all cannot wait anymore. Sister, do you think I've been free these days? I just used the leaves for a few days. Just hold on for a few more days. Zhu Xiaobao said helplessly. Wouldn't it be? Okay. To send more people. Wu Yu said very dissatisfied. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao has been working really hard these days. And his chubby cheeks have become a little thinner. Oh. A lot of things have to be kept secret. Well, how about I find a few trustworthy people or buy a few slaves? After Zhu Xiaobao said this, he was a little surprised. He was the most opposed to this kind of slavery system at the beginning. But now you want to buy someone. In fact, this is not surprising. This is the actual situation here. If it is too advanced, the effect will not be good. As the saying goes, haste makes waste. Like Lu Tong and Lu Fang, they do not reject their slave status. All they want is to be with a good master and it will be fine. Moreover, the slaves he trained were very loyal, which Yu Xiaobao discovered through long-term observation. Yeah, that's fine. Who do you like? I'll tell the princess. I'm warning you. I bought you to work for you. Not to go to bed with you. As expected, Wu had no idea about Zhu Xiaobao at all. Not surprisingly, originally, having one's own family property and slaves was considered a real source of wealth. Even Wu Lijia bought a little maid, who usually helped take care of the more than 10 acres of land at home, and even slept with her husband at night. This was Wu Lijia's permission because she is often away from home. She buys a maid, who can not only help with work, but also tie her husband up, 
so she doesn't have to go out to visit brothels and the like. There are quite a lot of situations like Wu Lijia's. Guang Yuan knows of more than a dozen such families. Just the two of them first. Please help me pay attention to the others. I don't want to be too strong. What I need is someone who is more careful, thoughtful and spiritual. Zhu Xiaobao thought for a while and pointed to Lu Tong and Lu Fang. If you really want to buy it, you really need to observe it carefully for a period of time. Because character and loyalty are very important. A lot of his stuff needs to be kept secret. This time, Lu Tong and Lu Fang were extremely happy. They all looked at Wu Yu with great anticipation. They were very willing to stay with Zhu Xiaobao. Compared with other guards, their martial arts were not very high and their bodies were not very good. Not strong enough. The most important thing is that Zhu Xiaobao can learn a lot of things here. And he always has very novel feelings. What's more important is that Zhu Xiaobao is not as domineering and vicious as those slave owners. He respects them very much. And of course takes a small amount of time. Cheap just improvise and have some fun. Even though the 19th princess was gentle and didn't get angry very much. She still gave Xiao Ju away when she gave it to Huang Blacksmith. It felt natural. So Lu Tong and Lu Fang are now more and more inclined to Zhu Xiaobao. Well, you two are lucky. Remember, you must listen to me in the future. Wu Yu looked at Lu Tong and Lu Fang and said half-jokingly. In fact, she was still a little worried. Just as he was talking, there was a sound of crying outside the door. It sounded very familiar. When he opened the door, he saw that it was Ying Xiu Xiu. She was crying sadly. Why are you here? Are you healed? Zhu Xiaobao hasn't seen Ying Xiu Xiu for a few days. The last time he was attacked, Ying Xiu Xiu was stabbed in the back. So she has been recovering from her injuries. After he recovered from his injuries, he was sent to the new military camp by Commander Wu. Logically speaking, after being promoted to a level, he now has hundreds of people under his command. And he trains with them every day. But the more Ying Xiu Xiu stayed, the more uncomfortable she became. She didn't like being an official. And her martial arts skills were not very high. More importantly, after her back injury healed, she couldn't lift her left arm above her shoulder. She must have been injured. Meridians. So Ying Xiu Xiu was worried. The recruits who were training today were defeated by a physically strong recruit. Which made her very embarrassed. Zhu Xiaobao has been so popular recently. So Ying Xiu Xiu wanted to come back even more. So she found him. You're not in the recruit camp. Why are you here? Wu Yu asked a little surprised. Normally, letting Ying Xiu Xiu lead the team was a promotion to her. But Wu Yu actually thought about Ying Xiu Xiu. Sister Wu Yu, I don't want to be the captain anymore. Just talk to manager Wu and let me come back. My left arm can't be lifted above my shoulder now. Ying Xiu Xiu cried really sadly. Hey, do you know how many people I eliminated before pushing you up? There are many people who are stronger than you. Wu Yu said very dissatisfied. Sister Wu Yu, even though they are all stronger than me, I feel more guilty the more I do it. Today I was knocked down by a new female soldier. How can I lead the team in the future? Ying Xiu Xiu said with a sad face. Oh, let me think about where to put you. Why don't you just follow me? Wu Yu looked at Ying Xiu Xiu a little annoyed and said, I think you should follow me. If you say the same thing, tell the princess that I want the three of them. Unexpectedly. Zhu Xiaobao said rudely. What? You bought three in a short while? Are you too pushy? Wu Yu exclaimed, arranging Ying Xiu Xiu to go out. Wu Yu was somewhat selfish. Ying Xiu Xiu was not like Lu Tong and Lu Fang. She belongs to the kind who has a little baby fat. Her body develops early. Her breasts are bulging. And her body is plump. So Wu Yu is a little worried. The most worrying thing is that this dead girl does not refuse Zhu Xiaobao's indecent behavior at all. He! The princess is busy talking about love. How can she care about my affairs? Besides, don't I need more manpower around me? Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. When Ying Xiu Xiu came back, he was surrounded by he was no longer so nervous. And Ying Xiu Xiu was very familiar with many things and had already mastered them. So Zhu Xiaobao felt that it was a good time to come back. Humph! It's up to you. We well, didn't even bother to say a warning this time. It was all in vain. So she got on her horse and galloped away. Ying Xiu Xiu didn't expect to encounter such a surprise as soon as she came back. Not only could she come back, but she could also follow Zhu Xiaobao forever. She burst into tears with excitement and was still explaining. Xiaobao, last time I didn't report to the princess. It was the princess who asked me. And I had no choice but to say it. Ying Xiu Xiu was talking about the original plan to give Wu Yu Chin beans. 
she believed that it was because of this incident that Zhu Xiaobao didn't trust himself anymore. Ah? Uh? No. No. I didn't ask you to do that. Zhu Xiaobao saw Lu Tong and Lu Fang looking at him very strangely, and quickly put it aside and said, Wu Yu's mood was really hard to explain, and she didn't know whether she was happy or worried. Unexpectedly, Princess 19 actually agreed to Zhu Xiaobao's request and gave Ying Xiu Xiu, Lu Tong, and Lu Fang to Zhu Xiaobao. Xiaobao, along with the three slave contracts, were handed over to Wu Yu and asked to be brought back. Princess 19 originally wanted to find a few personal attendants for Zhu Xiaobao, so of course she didn't think much about it. Moreover, these three people were also loyal to her, and they would definitely report to her in time if anything happened. The status of female escorts for the other three people has not been cancelled. They have just changed their owners. We returned to Zhu Xiaobao's residence again with a complicated mood, and saw Zhu Xiaobao and three girls busy happily, taking advantage from time to time. But Wu Yu was already worried about these actions. Completely immune. Am I really thinking wrong? Why do I feel that he lives a more fulfilling and happy life than Xia Zixiu? Shouldn't I marry an elite with both civil and military skills like Xia Zixiu? Wu Yu became more and more confused, feeling that many of her thoughts had been changed by Zhu Xiaobao. Chapter 79 Rootless Ping A. Eh? After working for more than 10 days, Zhu Xiaobao finally completed the work in hand. In addition to the 1,500 pieces of soap, for the seventh princess. He also processed 2,000 pieces of simple soap. The simplicity was that the spices were reduced. Add more petals. And the volume has doubled. It is like a small brick in the hand. At this time, considering the large amount of use of these female soldiers, they are not very concerned about the fragrance concentration. There is also soap for laundry. And process tens of thousands of pieces. As for toilet paper, Zhu Xiaobao hurriedly processed 300,000 pieces. It sounded like a lot, but it wasn't much when put together. But these things really made Zhu Xiaobao feel very tired. After all, the number of people suddenly increased 20 times. In fact, a lot of the work was done with the help of female soldiers. This made Zhu Xiaobao start to think about a problem. To form mass production, he would need to use more people instead of just doing it by himself. But at the same time, if confidentiality is required, the steps must be separated to form several specific processing points. Each processing point only knows one of the steps. In this way, the most effective confidentiality can be achieved. Each female soldier received one large soap, two bars of soap, and a knife of toilet paper. Of course, the treatment of the female guards remains the same. Just like that, those female soldiers were already cheering for joy. They didn't expect that the 19th princess would have such benefits. Especially this kind of simple soap is very practical. Has a light fragrance, but is big. So use it sparingly, and it should be fine for a month. As for toilet paper, I already tried the wonders of it during the march. Of course, the treatment for male soldiers is much simpler. A piece of laundry soap and toilet paper are not considered for now. After finishing his official duties, Zhu Xiaobao was excited to process some special paper, which was more delicate and softer than toilet paper and looked more high-end. But after dinner, I wiped my mouth with it and threw it away. Xiaobao! Why are you so wasteful and throwing it away like this? What a pity! Ying Xiu Xiu picked it up quickly and said with a bit of reluctance, This kind of paper is better than toilet paper. But you threw it away like this. TSK! This is what it was originally used for. I really don't enjoy it. It's called facial tissue. Also called napkin. The biggest advantage is that you don't need to wash it. Just throw it away after use. Zhu Xiaobao curled his lips and said, He is enjoying it now. Lu Tong and Lu Fang were giving him a massage, while Ying Xiuxia was helping him feed him fruits. Look, Zhu Xiaobao has already begun to live the life of Master Zhu. Do you want to report this facial tissue to the princess? Ying Xiuxia asked hesitantly. No, I'm warning you. You are my people now. Don't always think about reporting to the princess. What doesn't she want? And she won't pay for it. Zhu Xiaobao snorted very dissatisfied. In fact, it is true that the 19th princess did not pay. But Zhu Xiaobao's residence and all the expenses were paid by the 19th princess. Moreover, Zhu Xiaobao said that he bought Ying Xiu Xiu and three other people. But he didn't pay a penny. Pay. But I won't mention these little treasures. But but Ying Xiu Xiu was still a little worried. Whether this would make the princess unhappy. But what? Fetch water. I want to take a bath. Really? I built a bathroom for you. 
and I have to use a bathtub to take a bath myself. What's the matter? Zhu Xiaobao shouted impatiently. Don't say anything yet. Now he is really good at being a master. And these things in life are taken care of quite comfortably. But there is also something unpleasant. That is, the three of them have become very reserved and no longer want to mess around as they did before. It turns out that they have all received threats from Lu Yu. And whoever dares to become a minister will be transferred. When you return to the escort, you still have the obligation to perform military service. Even if you have changed your master. So now I don't dare to indulge you, Xiaobao. Hey! 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 Why don't you come and warm the bed after washing? Do you know how to wait on others? Zhu Xiaobao lay alone on the bed and called for a long time. But no one came in. Oomph! How about I take care of you? But Wu Yu's voice suddenly came to mind outside the door. And it was still so aggressive. Aw? Uh? Don't come in. I'm not wearing pants. Besides, I'm going to bed. I'll talk about anything tomorrow. Zhu Xiaobao quickly blew out the candles and shouted in the dark. Stop talking nonsense and get out of here. Wu Yu didn't accept this and slammed the door heavily and shouted. Have you rebelled against you? Do you know that I am also a human being now? Just like you. Believe it or not. I asked my people to tie you up and kill you first and then rape you. Or rape first and then kill you. It's your choice. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly became furious. Opened the door and shouted arrogantly. How could he forget that he was no longer a slave and was always threatened by Wu Yu? Is it true that if you have been a slave for a long time, you will develop a conditioned reflex? Humph. Are you still angry? What did you say just now? Say it again? Wu Yu didn't hear clearly. But at this time, she came to her senses. And her anger level began to rise sharply. I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. It's great that you're here. But you miss me so much. Zhu Xiaobao quickly put on a smile. Hugged Wu Yu and said ruthlessly. Go away. Tell the truth. What else are you hiding from me? Wu Yu asked reluctantly. Holding down Zhu Xiaobao's head that was arching forward with one hand. Standing there motionless. And Zhu Xiaobao pushed forward with all his strength. Squeeze forward. But it's hard to move forward. What can I do? You come to me eight times a day. Haven't you seen everything I do? Zhu Xiaobao finally gave up in vain. Unable to get close to Wu Yu's chest. So he replied very unhappily. What is this? Why don't you tell me? Wu Yu took out a napkin and raised his hand and asked. This is a napkin. Which is actually an enhanced version of toilet paper. The only difference is that one wipes the top and the other wipes the bottom. Only then did Zhu Xiaobao understand a little bit. And he dared to discover his new gadget. Go away. Stop talking so harshly. What are you talking about above and below? Can't you talk properly? Wu Yu suddenly scolded in embarrassment. Whatever Zhu Xiaobao said became very vulgar. Which was really too much to bear. Zhu Xiaobao simply stopped talking. Why didn't you say anything? Are you trying to make me angry? Wu Yu felt even more uncomfortable when she saw that she didn't speak when she checked into the school and asked impatiently. What did you say? I have already said it implicitly. You understand it anyway. Do you still want me to explain? Zhu Xiaobao spread his hands and asked. Which made Wu Yu speechless for a moment. Yes. After explaining clearly some. That would be even more embarrassing. Then why don't you report to the princess? Wu Yu seemed to have found a very strong reason and asked confidently. Why? I have something new and I have to report it to the princess. If she has anything. Will she report it to me? Zhu Xiaobao asked dissatisfiedly. Why are these people all following the same pattern? I want to report to the princess. You are so bold. How can you say such rebellious words? If others hear it, will you die? Besides, you are the princess. Will you shuddered after hearing this? But she didn't expect that Zhu Xiaobao has just escaped from slavery. And he is already so arrogant. She quickly warned in a low voice that she was actually protecting Zhu Xiaobao. Wrong. I'm fled now. Even if I want to leave. It's only natural. Am I right? Zhu Xiaobao asked, raising his head. Ying Xiaoxiao and the other three people outside the door were already pale with fright. And they were all trembling a little. But after all, it was the princess who saved you and helped you escape from slavery. How could you? Wu Yu said with some hesitation. Zhu Xiaobao's words were logically correct. But she felt that it was inappropriate. And she couldn't understand why Zhu Xiaobao didn't want to stay by the princess's side peacefully. Wasn't the princess good enough to him? You want to say that I am ungrateful? In fact, the value I created is enough to buy 10,000 slaves. 
So I don't feel like I owe the princess anything? Do you think the princess will kill me if I really leave her? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly asked calmly. At this time, he didn't look like the usual playful and rogue Zhu Xiaobao at all, but looked like a very mature person. Probably not. The princess is very kind. Wu Yu said in a very small voice. In fact, she didn't feel so sure. If it were anyone else, if someone like Zhu Xiaobao wanted to leave, he would try his best to keep him. If not, then the only option is to kill. You can't watch him being used by others. Even when you can think of this truth. Ha ha. Forget it. Let's forget it. Anyway, I don't plan to leave the princess now. Tell me, why did you come to me? I really want to go to bed. And you won't let me get close. It's boring. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly smiled and returned to his original rogue appearance. Because Zhu Xiaobao feels that he still needs the protection of the princess now. And I really don't have any foundation. No matter where I go, I will be full of dangers. It's safe to stay here for now. Besides, despite Wuyu's fussing, Wuyu really cares about herself. Disgusting. I don't know why. You look so scary just now. But this disgusting look makes me feel more at ease. Wuyu felt a little relieved now. Zhu Xiaobao just now really made her a little scared. He. So you still like me to be more naughty? Zhu Xiaobao was good at seizing the opportunity and leaned against Wu Yu's chest. Everything for the seventh princess has been loaded onto the truck and will be sent to General Zhao Ming's camp tomorrow. I'm here to ask you. Do you want to go with me? Wu Yu actually didn't push him away, but let him go. Lean on him. He asked with a slightly red face. It was actually quite painful every time he was next to Zhu Xiaobao. He blushed in his heartbeat. But there was still an indescribable feeling. Go! Of course. Boss Zhao and the others haven't left yet. I'm going to see them. Prepare a horse for me tomorrow. No. A carriage. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly became excited. The three brothers of the Zhao family went out with him. It was still very enjoyable. And Zhu Xiaobao also wanted to go out and walk around. He had not really gone out to play after being here for so long. Humph. I have the nerve to say that I will give you a horse. You have to learn how to ride a horse. If anything happens, you will have the ability to escape. Well, you couldn't help laughing. This guy is still so lazy that he can't even ride a horse. Willing to learn. Chapter 80 Ruthless Ping B. After Wu Yu left, Zhu Xiaobao looked at Ying Xiuxiu, Lu Tong and Lu Fang. The three people were still pale and looked at him a little at a loss. What they just said had already made them at a loss. Like Wu Yu. They instinctively believed that Zhu Xiaobao's words were treason. Why should they disobey the princess? Zhu Xiaobao sighed. Why don't these people have any ideas of their own? Zhu Xiaobao didn't mess around anymore, but closed the door and lay on the bed, thinking about it all night. Wu Yu did bring a horse the next day, but this horse was probably used for pulling carts. It was not very willing to run, but it walked very steadily, so it was not difficult for Zhu Xiaobao to ride on it. When he went out for the first time, Zhu Xiaobao brought Ying Xiuxiu and the others with him. It was a bit arrogant. I now have my own female guard, a female guard that truly belongs to me. Although they are still the three girls, the ownership has completely become their own. Riding a horse through the men's and women's barracks was a bit shocking. Thousands of people were training at the same time. The scene was quite spectacular, and the movements were neat and in unison, making it look a bit like an army. First, we came to the study room of the 19th princess. Today, the 19th princess did not go to the city lord's meeting hall. She usually has to go to the meeting hall every day to arrange her daily work. Being a city lord also has a lot of things to deal with. Especially the 19th princess is still new here and has no clue about many things. Now the 19th princess has no time for romance. She has to deal with a lot of things every day and she doesn't want to be a chic as she imagined. In fact, these are very difficult questions. The food problem in Shiyuan City alone has given the 19th princess a headache. Shiyuan City is seriously short of food. It originally had a lot of arable land but it has been unrest over the years. Bandits are rampant, and some people have moved away. The land of those wealthy families was good, but in order to raise fodder, Xia Zixiu now used the fodder to offset the tax instead of turning in grain to offset the tax, which caused a serious shortage of food. The military pay allocated by the court was pitifully small, and it was simply not enough to meet the needs of the army. What's more, most of them were private armies and were not within the scope of the court's subsidies. So now if you want to eat food, you have to buy it with money. So the 19th princess once again feels that she is short of money. 
she doesn't have much money anymore. And she probably won't be able to survive for three months. Meet princess. Wu Yu bowed politely as soon as she entered. Ah, I've met the princess. Zhu Xiaobao was very casual and bowed as a salute. Today, Zhu Xiaobao is wearing a set of clothes and a hat. He looks quite a bit like a boss, even though he still had a smile on his face. He didn't look mature at all. Princess 19, who was a little bored at first, couldn't help but laugh. Then she nodded and asked, Xiao Bao, it's rare for you to dress so solemnly today. Are you still used to it now? It's okay. I was just a little busy some time ago, so I just wanted to go out and relax today. Zhu Xiao Bao was somewhat happy in his heart. At least the princess cared about him and asked about his living situation as soon as they met. Oh, that's good. I'm afraid I'll wrong you. I have to say that Princess 19 is still very good at talking. Wu Yu next to her was very moved by a few words and gave Zhu Xiaobao a fierce look. Look, the princess is so kind to you. And she still thinks about being independent all day long. Well, thank you for your care. Princess. Zhu Xiaobao was a little puzzled. It seemed that the princess cared about him a little too much. And he always felt a little bit upset. Sure enough, the princess then changed the subject and said, Xiaobao. You are here too. I have something to discuss with you. Princess, please speak. Zhu Xiaobao trembled. Why are you so polite? There are indeed follow-up tricks. Well, the tea and soap for the seventh princess today have been loaded into the truck. In addition, I also prepared toilet paper worth $1,500 and sent it with the truck. Alas, the money in the government is very tight now. So I thought what do you think about including toilet paper as an item of income? It turns out that Princess 19 deducted five knives from the six knives for each of the female guards, and then added the excess in stock. When Zhu Xiaobao heard this, he almost became angry. You've already loaded the car, and you're still asking me what I think? Isn't this just a formality? But Zhu Xiaobao thought for a moment, then nodded and said, Okay, I wonder how the princess set the price. It turns out that Zhu Xiaobao had thought of this problem a long time ago. Now that there are so many female soldiers and toilet paper has become a monthly standard. Can they still hide it? Even Zhao Shenbao and the others are now using Zhu Xiubao's invention. I'm afraid it won't take long for the seventh princess to find out. It's better to bring it up yourself and win the favor of the seventh princess. Hmm. One tail of silver and one knife. Do you think it's suitable? Princess 19 was also beating her heart, fearing that her price was too high. After all, she also knows that this thing is made of firewood. Trees are worthless these days, and they don't need to be processed. Just throw them into the pool and soak them, and that's it. Ha ha! One tail of silver and one knife. That is, one tail of silver and one hundred sheets. After conversion, it is ten coppers per piece. It is not expensive at all. It is comfortable and convenient for only ten coppers at a time. It is definitely worth the money. Xu Xiaobao was surprised. Princess 19 was robbing money, but with the precedent of soap, he was also sure that this thing would definitely sell for a good price. He was sure that the seventh princess would double the price. Hey, you're not serious. Princess 19 couldn't help but blush slightly after hearing this, and she scolded in a low voice. What this guy says always makes people feel uncomfortable. Hee <laughs> hee, what I tell is the truth. Sometimes it takes a little courage to listen to the truth. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and said, but immediately thought of the next question. Princess, if you come here, my place our processing and production capacity will definitely not be able to keep up. It needs to be expanded hundreds of times. Well, I know. I've also considered this. Look, can you add more people and find a new place? Of course, those key links must still be in your hands. Princess 19 is also the most worried. Confidentiality issues. Once others learn from it, there is nothing to earn. Nowadays, many people have far more financial resources than themselves. And even some small and medium-sized aristocratic families have rich wealth. It is easy to set up a processing workshop and recruit hundreds of workers. Okay, let me think about it. We must find a safe and reliable place. It is best that ordinary people can't find it or can't enter it. You tell the seventh princess first that it is just a trial sale for the time being. And the production volume cannot be too high yet. Zhu Xiaobao thought. Isn't this a good opportunity to find a completely independent place? Then no one can know what you want to do. Of course, I have my own sense of discretion. I will always be more conservative in the beginning. 
Princess 19 nodded and said, Then let's go to Xiao Ming's camp first. Zhu Xiaobao bent down and prepared to go out. Xiaobao! Princess 19 suddenly called from behind. Ah? Princess, is there anything else? Zhu Xiaobao turned around and asked a little surprised. Thank you. Princess 19 was silent for a while and then said softly, He! The princess is serious! Zhu Xiaobao still said with a smile, but he was shocked in his heart. He had to admit that people's intuition is sometimes very sensitive. Zhu Xiaobao was sure that the 19th princess felt it when she was shocked. What? Just like how I feel. After leaving the princess's study, Wu Yu asked with some confusion, What's wrong with the princess? She seems to have something on her mind? She also talks strangely? Well, you have to hurry up. Zhu Xiaobao answered the question and said something incoherently that Wu Yu couldn't even understand. He felt that the princess was just like him and had no foundation. So Zhu Xiaobao was not optimistic about the 19th princess. What do you mean? Making it mysterious? Wu Yu was immediately dissatisfied and said a little angrily, I mean hurry up and make money. The princess is short of money. Zhu Xiaobao explained with a smile. He still preferred the simple and straightforward Wu Yu. What's the matter? Just help her make more money, Wu Yu said confidently. But judging from her tone, as long as she has Zhu Xiaobao, it will be easy to make money. Zhu Xiaobao left the princess's house and ran to the last carriage to take a look. Sure enough, there were 1,500 pieces of toilet paper packed very beautifully. $100 per box. A total of 15 large boxes. You personal guards have all been slapped with five swords? Do you have enough? Zhu Xiaobao looked at Wu Yu and then asked, What's the point? It doesn't matter if you give up some toilet paper for the princess. No, I don't have enough. You still have some. Right. Well, I want that kind of napkin. Wu Yu was just halfway through expressing her determination when she suddenly came to her senses. Yes, he said quickly. And it still wants the best. But this time Wu Yu did not tell the princess. And she was somewhat conflicted about the napkins. Okay. That kind of napkin is more practical and backward compatible. Zhu Xiaobao said very obscenely. What is backward compatibility? Wu Yu asked a little confused. Well, it's nothing. Let me try this horse first to see if it can run. Zhu Xiaobao quickly whipped the horse as hard as he could. And the rogue horse started to run even after being hurt. Zhu Xiaobao, stop here and explain clearly what backward compatibility is. Wu Yu chased after him very annoyed. As soon as he spurred his horse on, he caught up with him. When they arrived at Xiao Ming's camp, Zhu Xiaobao immediately took a breath of cold air. Zhao Ming's soldiers were much more fierce than those of the 19th princess. They were full of murderous energy just standing there. It is said that they were fighting all year round. Talent will show. It seems that the soldiers of the 19th princess are still not good enough. Brother, are you here? I miss you so much. Unexpectedly, Zhao Xiaobao jumped out at this time. I didn't even know where he came from. Humph. And me. Will you snorted coldly? Ah. Yes. Yes. There are younger siblings. Seeing you so loving. I am so envious as a brother. Zhao Shabao also knew Wu Yu's temper and was joking with Wu Yu consciously. Disgusting. Who are your younger siblings? Unexpectedly, Wu Yu was not particularly repulsive today and she muttered in a low voice with a slight blush. Third brother. How are you doing? Eldest and second brother? I miss you too. Zhu Xiaobao felt very grateful when he thought that these three people were doing their best to protect him along the way. And he felt very happy when they met. So kind. Chapter 81 Rootless Ping C. Following Zhao Xiaobao to the Chinese army's treasure tent in the camp. Zhao Shenhu also came out to welcome them. Wu was on official business this time. So General Zhao Ming specially received them in the tent. The generals under his command also stood on both sides. In fact, Duan Mu Xilong and others were not under Zhao Ming. But they had a very close relationship with Zhao Ming because Zhao Ming was promoted by Duan Muqi. Therefore, Zhao Shenlong and others entered and exited Zhao Ming's camp very casually. And Zhao Ming was also very happy. The arrival of these people made him very happy. And staying in the Xiyuan city was very boring. We went inside and saluted. And then handed the list of several trucks of goods to General Zhao Ming. These were routine formulas. Of course, he did not dare to neglect the inspection of goods. General Zhao Ming was very polite to Wu Yu and also called Zhu Xiaobao in by name. Zhu Xiaobao was wearing the clothes of a steward of the 19th princess's mansion. He was not required to go in for such an occasion. But he didn't expect that the other team's coach wanted to see him by name. 
which somewhat surprised Zhu Xiaobao. But since Zhao Shabao is with him, Zhu Xiaobao also knows that it won't be a bad thing. Sure enough, General Zhao Ming was very enthusiastic when he saw Zhu Xiaobao. At the same time, he held a drawing in his hand and asked with great interest, Did you design this? Unexpectedly. At such a young age. You can actually, can you have such knowledge? Not bad. Not bad. Only then did Zhu Xiaobao realize that the improved crossbow he had designed on the road was actually given to Zhao Ming by Zhao Shenlong. No wonder Zhao Ming asked to see him. Well, General, I designed this. But brother Zhao Shenlong said that this design still has many flaws and is not practical. Zhu Xiaobao bent down and then said, This is not modesty, but a fact. However, Zhu Xiaobao has a good impression of General Zhao Ming. Because although he looks rude and has the same name as him, he is very forthright and has no airs about Zhu Xiaobao. You must know his identity and how he can treat a person. The family at Princess Mansion are so polite. That's rare. Yes, there are many things that are unreasonable. But I have changed them again. Do you want to take a look? Zhao Ming actually had no intention of keeping it secret. Originally, this thing was designed by Zhu Xiaobao. So why should it be kept secret? Besides, he wanted to let Zhu Xiaobao take a look. What other suggestions could he have? Okay. I was just wanting to see this kind of powerful crossbow. To be honest, I haven't seen it before. Zhu Xiaobao was overjoyed and shouted excitedly. General Zhao, I'm afraid this is inappropriate. Right. Wu Yu was a little hesitant. After all, many military equipment are kept secret and they are not willing to be seen by outsiders. Although the relationship between the 7th princess and the 19th princess is very good now. It doesn't matter. They are all commonly used equipment. Not that serious, but you can also refer to it. After all, if you want to establish a foothold in Shiyuan City, many of your equipment are not enough. I can't help you guard Shiyuan City all the time. Yuan Cheng! Xiao Ming waved his hand and said, feeling quite satisfied with Wu Yu in his heart and knowing what to do. Thank you, General! Wu Yu was also very excited. Zhao Ming's troops have experienced countless major battles and are considered to be famous generals. Being able to visit his military camp is a very good learning opportunity. Wu Yu and Zhu Xiaobao followed Zhao Ming for a field visit. And Zhao Ming also specially ordered 20 improved crossbows and fired three rounds. Wu Yu was asked to step forward in person on one of them. Go and come. Zhu Xiaobao looked at it and found that Zhao Ming had not improved much. The biggest change was that the original four wheels were changed into Zhu Xiaobao's two wheels. The two wheels were correspondingly enlarged a lot, which made the mobile speed is a lot of fun. Because when fighting, there is rarely a flat ground, and four wheels are not as convenient as two wheels. And because the weight is reduced, of course it runs faster. Although it is just such a small improvement, time is what matters on the battlefield. So Zhao Ming is very happy about this improvement. Zhu Xiaobao carefully looked at the power of this powerful crossbow. It could shoot to a distance of more than 250 steps. The lethality within its range is very terrifying. However, the accuracy is indeed poor, and it is only suitable for shooting in clusters of large enemy troops. As for those cold weapons, Zhu Xiaobao had no interest in them, and the most famous catapult was not seen here because it was too bulky. Zhao Ming was guarding here, and it was not a siege. So he did not build it. This kind of bulky equipment is generally not transported over long distances, but is processed and manufactured nearby. And there are various craftsmen in the army. After Wu Yu finished the visit, she felt shocked from the bottom of her heart. This was the real army that could attack the city and seize the stronghold. It was much stronger than the army of the 19th princess. There were several weapons piled up in the armory alone. There are millions of arrows in the tent. There were actually a thousand of those powerful crossbows which meant that Zhao Ming had 2,000 men specifically responsible for long-range attacks. His total number of men and horses was only 10,000. But Zhao Ming's equipment is definitely not something that the 19th princess can equip in a short period of time. In comparison, Princess 19 is too weak. After Wu Yu finished the visit, she was secretly anxious. Her troops urgently needed to add various equipment and long-range attack equipment. But this all requires money, and it is a very huge investment. After the visit, Zhao Ming no longer accompanied them, but asked Zhao Shenhu and others to accompany Zhu Xiaobao. Zhao Ming was already very enthusiastic just now. Originally, Zhao Xiaobao wanted to invite Wu Yu and the others to dinner, but Wu Yu politely refused, and she had to go back to do business. However, 
Zhao Shabao wanted to keep Zhu Xiaobao in the camp for one more day. And Zhu Xiaobao was very happy and agreed. Wu Yu hesitated for a while before reluctantly agreeing. Before leaving, he asked in a low voice. If you stay here, should I report to the princess? Report? Whatever. It's not a shameful thing. I'm just playing for two days. Zhu Xiaobao was a little surprised. Do you have to report this? Do you still have some freedom? Oh, then I won't say anything. Come back soon. Wu Yu hesitated before saying in a low voice. She always felt that she should report to the princess in time. But she also knew what Zhu Xiaobao hated the most. Everything is reported. So Wu Yu took the people away hesitantly. Only Zhu Xiaobao, Ying Xiaoxiao and others were left. After Wu Yu left, Zhu Xiaobao asked, Three of you, where is the eldest brother? Why didn't you see him? Well, boss, something is wrong. It's inconvenient. You should be back in the evening. Zhao Shabao said a little vaguely. Okay, let's drink and have barbecue together tonight. It seems like I prepared it before. 20 kilograms is enough for us. Zhu Xiaobao didn't care. Maybe he had some special tasks that he couldn't tell you. But Zhu Xiaobao was well prepared. And Ying Xiaoxiao and others immediately packed several large bags full of prepared ingredients. We returned to the 19th princess. After finishing the explanation, she talked about her visit to Zhao Ming's camp. She couldn't help but said anxiously, Princess, compared with General Zhao Ming, we are really far behind. You haven't seen that he has a thousand of these two-person crossbows in his arsenal. We must hurry up and equip them with these weapons. Oh, yes, but I have no money now. Besides, I can't care about it now. I just took over Xiyuan City and many things are very chaotic. I'm almost worried to death. I didn't expect to manage a Xiyuan City. So annoying. Princess 19 said a little tiredly. These days, Princess 19 is no longer in the mood to talk about love. And her heart is filled with all these messy things. In fact, this was the result of Xia Zixiu sharing the burden. Otherwise she would be even more tired. The 19th princess truly felt that her strength was really weak. And she had no foundation here. It would be almost impossible to gain a firm foothold within three years. The most important thing now is not to increase the army's equipment and equipment but to solve the food problem. Due to the shortage of food, many merchants have begun to increase prices or are reluctant to sell. In two or three months, the food in stock will be completely gone. When the time comes, you will have to spend money to buy food for your troops, which is another huge burden. What the 19th princess can hope for most now is to open her business as soon as possible with her 30% quota of soaps, tea, etc., hoping to make some money right away to help with the emergency. The 19th princess even wanted to borrow the money from Zhu Xiaobao and Ji Jixing first. He just hasn't spoken yet. Princess 19 would not say this unless absolutely necessary. In Zhao Ming's camp, Zhu Xiaobao didn't know what the 19th princess was thinking. He was drinking happily when Boss Zhao appeared out of nowhere. The few of them found a very secluded place and went there again. There were barbecues, cold dishes, and the 7th princess's fine wine, which made Zhao Shenlong and others stunned. Although they knew that Zhu Xiaobao could tinker with these things, they didn't expect that he would actually prepare such a rich meal. What was even more surprising was that the three female guards turned out to be his followers. You still have your own guards? Have you done all three? Zhao Xiaobao asked in surprise. Unexpectedly, last time I was clamoring to go to a brothel. But now I have already done it myself? In his opinion, since he bought it, he must have slept with it. Uh, stop talking nonsense. I am very innocent. And Wu Yu is too tight-minded. There is no chance. Zhu Xiaobao said a little embarrassed. Oh? Uh? Ha ha. Ha ha. I didn't expect that Wu Yu really had the time to make you docile. Zhao Laosan suddenly laughed happily. Zhu Xiaobao was carried by Wu Yu's neck from the brothel. The incident of being arrested at the door was still fresh in his memory. What a joy. Zhao Laosan. I've given you gifts. And you're still trying to kill me here? Boss. Drive him away. I don't want to see him anymore. Zhu Xiaobao shouted angrily. After he came, he gave each of Duanmu Shishalong two pieces of soap and two pieces of toilet paper. Anyway, this thing is not valuable and is very popular. So he always uses it as a favor. But in the eyes of others, these things are rare and good things. Worth several tails of gold. And it's still priceless. Ba Xiao also thought it was funny. He wanted to comfort Zhu Xiaobao but he suddenly saw a person walking from a distance. Boss Zhao's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 82 Tong Wushine 
Zhu Xiaobao also saw something was wrong with Boss Xiao. He turned around and saw that the person walking over was a woman. She was wearing a black outfit. She was very cool. She had a good face and was not old. She should be in her early 20s. But why the three brothers of the Zhao family felt a little unnatural when they saw her? Wu Xin! You? 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 Why are you here? Me? Me? Boss Zhao's usual calmness was gone. He actually stuttered a little and didn't know what to say. Humph. You don't have to hide from me. I'm not here to find you today. The woman looked at Mr. Zhao resentfully and then said coldly, Oh, that's good. Boss Zhao relaxed a little but his heart was still in a mess. Old Eleven, why are you here? Zhao Shibao was also a little at a loss and asked a very idiotic question. Oomph, didn't you invite Duan Mu Shi along? Am I not a member of Duan Mu Shi along? The woman in black had already walked to the barbecue stone slab and sat down directly. The people next to her should quickly make room for her. Did you bring this thing? The woman in black looked at Zhu Xiaobao and asked directly. She was referring to the soap and toilet paper placed near everyone. Didn't Zhu Xiaobao give each of them a copy? Now they are kept by their side. He he! What's your surname for this sister? My name is Zhu Xiaobao. I brought this thing. To be precise, I made it. Zhu Xiaobao is very experienced in dealing with women and has no stage fright at all. Well, my name is Tong Wuxin, and I want a share of this thing. What are your conditions? Tong Wuxin didn't seem to be negotiating at all, but was waiting for Zhu Xiaobao to make an offer. No problem. You are Duan Mu Xilong's man. Of course you have a share. Here. Zhu Xiaobao had known about Duan Mu Shishilong for a long time. But this time only 10 people came. So he gave away 10 copies. Who would have thought that this old 11 would actually show up? Fortunately, he brought a lot of spare copies in his bag. So he took out one right away. It turned out that Tong Wuxin came with a 7th princess's warship this time. He originally wanted to use a carriage to pull him back. But now that Xi Yuan City is in his hands. The seventh princess said two warships. Shi Yuan City and the seventh princess fiefdom are actually in the south. The nineteenth princess is in the southwest. And the seventh princess is in the southeast. They are separated by a huge mountain range. The southern section of the mountain range is a towering cliff. And the mountains gradually rise to the north. The situation gradually slowed down and gradually turned into a plain in the central part of Daxia Kingdom. Ending in Zhongnan County of Daxia Kingdom. Shi Yuan City is actually a county and it is a very wide county. A small area in the west of its periphery is connected to the sea, and further to the west. It is blocked by mountains, forming a natural haven. The seventh princess's boat can just come over, but it can't reach the shore because the beach bordering Shiyuan City is too shallow, so it can usually only park outside the port. If you want to land, you have to change to a small boat. This time Tong Wuxing came with a warship. Of course, when they landed, they put down several small boats from the warship. The reason why the seventh princess likes this place in Shiyuan City is because her fleet can get here and occupy it when the time is right. Speaking of which, Tong Wuxin's identity is very special. She is the daughter of the largest pirate, Tongju. But in the end, Tongju died in her hands because Tong Wuxin's mother was robbed by the pirate leader Tongju, and they were taken back to the island together, and was raped, and became a woman who became a copper dragon on the island and gave birth to a copper dragon. So Tong Wuxin has been living with pirates when he was young. He has excellent water skills and outstanding martial arts. Of course, he was also influenced by pirates. He was very ruthless and ruthless in his actions. Later, when the seventh princess pacified Tong Jiao, the largest group of pirates, she used 400 warships to besiege Tong Jiao on the island. Seeing that there was no hope of escape, Tong Jiao killed her women, including Tong Wuxin mother. So Tong Wuxin was very sad about this. He jumped into the water and escaped to the seventh princess in the middle of the night. Then he led the seventh princess's people into the island from a trail, thus annihilating Tongju's group. Later, the seventh princess did not hold Tong accountable for her past crimes because she had no intention of doing so. But he didn't dare to let her go. The appeal of Tongjiao's daughter must be quite great. If she was put back, she would be like another pirate leader. So it was handed over to Duan Muqi. Tong Wuxin was only 16 years old at that time. After following Duan Mu Qi for 8 years, he was finally trained. Not only did he learn to read and write, he also improved greatly in martial arts, and finally became one of Duan Mu's 11 heroes. But even though the bad habits were changed, the troubles came next. 
Tong Wuxin was already 22 years old at this time. After following Zhao Shenlong for a long time, she actually developed feelings. She was very straightforward and courageous in doing things. And she directly asked her Zhao Shenlong confessed. But Zhao Shenlong practiced boy's skills and was unwilling to break his boy's skills. So he refused. And the matter became very entangled. The two of them have been hiding and chasing each other for two years. Why didn't I see Zhao Shenlong at the beginning of today? He was hiding. But now that Tong Wuxin appears here, Zhao Shenlong can't hide. But I didn't expect Tong Wuxin to come to Zhu Xiaobao. After Tong Wuxin came to Xiyuan City with the boat, Zhao Shenlong asked Zhao Xiaobao to give Tong Wuxin the soap and toilet paper that Zhu Xiaobao had given him when he just arrived in Xiyuan City. Zhao Shenlong had been hiding from Tong Wuxin. In fact, I still care about Tong Wuxin. Tong Wuxin also didn't expect that this thing was so easy to use. She sat in the bathtub and wiped the soap and couldn't put it down. However, with this usage, there was not much left of the soap. Only the soap head was left. And there was not much toilet paper left. The toilet paper was stolen by Zhao Shenbao. So there were only a few pieces. Only then did Tong Wuxin lose control and found it himself. I don't want you to give it to me for free. Tell me your conditions. Tong Wuxin glanced at the soap and toilet paper on the table. Although she was very pleasantly surprised. Her face was still cold. She didn't want to ask for Zhu Xiubao's in vain. Thing. Conditions? If I don't have any conditions, wouldn't you want this soap and toilet paper? Zhu Xiaobao said a little surprised. Feeling that he didn't have any conditions, he wanted to take advantage. But how could he dare to say it out loud? One look at the other person shows that he is a decisive and murderous person. Sitting there makes people feel murderous. No! You must have a condition. Any condition will do. Or who do you want to kill? Or I can be your bodyguard for a day. Anyway, you tell me a condition. Tong Wuxin shook his head and said persistently, Kill someone. No, no, no. I don't have any enemies. And I don't like killing people. Well, but the bodyguard only needs to change a piece of soap every day. Isn't that too expensive? Is my soap so worthless? Zhu Xiaobao was shocked by the reality. This girl is going to kill someone as soon as she opens her mouth. Then he started to find it interesting again. So he said it exaggeratedly. So I asked you to make conditions. Why are you so long-winded? Just be clear. Tong Wuxin said a little annoyed. But she couldn't help but pick up the soap on the table. This time, the soap sent by Zhu Xiaobao was, and the same quality, as the one sent to the seventh princess. Of course they want the best for Boss Zhao. Okay then. Brother, the princess's shop will open the day after tomorrow. And I want to invite you to go and take care of the place. How about it? The price is 10 pieces of soap and 10 dollars of toilet paper. Zhu Xiaobao suddenly thought of a question. He really has to ask Boss Zhao if they come forward. I'm afraid the 19th princess may not be able to control them. Oh, does the princess's shop still need us to go to the market? Boss Zhao asked a little doubtfully. He, didn't you already see how crazy the soap was when it was taken out when you were in the Imperial City? If the 7th princess hadn't been in charge personally, the scene would have been quite chaotic. This is what Zhu Xiaobao thought of. As soon as the princess's shop opens, if people from Prince Ming also rush to buy, who dares to stop them? Besides, there is also Prince Wen. At the time, Prince Wen's concubine also had green eyes. Although it is impossible for the two princes to come here for these hours. But can their servants not come? Who dares to care about them? Only the seventh princess has such awe-inspiring power. Okay, it's settled. I'll go. Tong Wuxin made the decision before Boss Zhao could agree. At this time, the soap in her hand felt natural. Okay then, Boss Zhao said a little helplessly. Tong Wuxin had already made up his mind. What else could he say? Besides, it was rare that there was anything Tong Wuxin could see. So he had to satisfy her request no matter what. Okay. Hey, sister, here is the deposit. Five pieces of soap and five dollars of toilet paper. In addition, I feel that I am destined to sister. And I also added a special napkin. Specially for women. Zhu Xiaobao was very happy and paid it immediately. Half the deposit. He also gave Tong Wuxin a knife and a napkin. Napkin? What is it used for? Why is this kind of paper much smaller than that toilet paper? Tong Wuxin asked a little puzzled. But when he touched it with his hand, he knew that this kind of napkin seemed to be softer and more comfortable. Well, Xiu Xiu, go and tell this sister. Zhu Xiaobao turned his head 
and asked Ying Xiuxiu to explain to Tong Wuxin, so as not to be too embarrassed to speak. Everyone watched Yu Xiaobao pull out so many things like a magic trick. And now they all believe that these things were indeed made by Zhu Xiaobao. And Zhu Xiaobao was very generous. Today, the things that always go out here are probably worth dozens of tails of gold. I feel like this guy is a rich man. Recalling the crazy scene of soap buying in the Imperial City. Zhao Laosan nodded. I'm afraid we really need to step forward. I don't think even the 19th princess can suppress it. Okay. We won't take any of the reward this time. And give it all to Lao Yi. How about it? Boss Zhao also slapped the table happily and said, Okay. Everyone shouted in unison. Humph. You are hypocritical. Tong Wuxin, who was having a very happy show off with Ying Xiu, turned around at this time, snorted disdainfully, and then gave the boss a fierce look. Xiao Shenlong, a majestic great martial artist, shrank his neck and did not dare to speak any more. This made Zhu Xiaobao very admired and a little worried. Will we be so fierce in the future? Chapter 83 Tong Wuxin B. Although Tong Wuxin got five pieces of soap at once, she did not leave. On the contrary, she chatted very speculatively with Ying Xiuxiu and the other three. The four of them whispered quietly. And from time to time, they laughed like girls when they were together. But they acted more reserved and lowered their voices as much as possible. Although Lu Tong also participated in it. She was very careful. Once the meat slices on the stone plate were not enough, she would immediately put fresh ones on the table, which always made everyone enjoy themselves. But she couldn't keep up with the speed of more than a dozen people by herself. And younger sisters Lu Fang and Ying Xiuxiu were so involved in Tong Wuxin that they forgot to do things by themselves. Because Tong Wuxin was telling them some of their experiences in the world. And Ying Xiuxiu was telling what Zhu Xiaobao did after coming to the 19th princess's mansion. In fact, one with eleven Lang, and the other ten people next to him also listening to Zhu Xiaobao's legend. Hey! 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 After working, you know the nonsense! The three female guards said that they were like gods. Zhu Xiaobao felt a little embarrassed, and cleared his throat and shouted. No! 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 I'll come! That's it! It's rare for Wuxing to be so happy! Unexpectedly, Boss Zhao said quickly, and then really started to help. The other nine people present were all stunned. When did they see this? The boss has done this. Humph! Tong Wuxin rolled his eyes at Xiao Shenlong, then turned back and continued whispering to Ying Xiuxiu and others. It has to be said that stinky tofu and chicken feet with pickled pepper are more popular among girls. Tong Wuxin is so addicted to eating them that she can't stop eating them. Especially the chicken feet with pickled pepper is simply the best delicacy. She never eats it. I never thought that a common chicken foot could be so delicious. Tong Wuxing couldn't stop eating at all. And in the end, he felt a little embarrassed. But the fly in the ointment is that today's wine is very average. After all, Zhu Xiaobao can't possibly bring the wine sent by the seventh princess. And he doesn't have much on hand. What I drink now is just ordinary wine. Alas! It's a pity that this wine is far worse than the seventh princess's wine. Boss, didn't you keep some good wine secretly? Zhao Shenbao. The third child. Said a little unhappy. The third child is now helping to fry the stinky tofu. He I am very addicted to this thing. Eat a piece of stinky tofu that is hot in your mouth and hot in your heart. And take a sip of wine. It will be a magical day. Oh. Look at my memory. If you didn't tell me, I would have forgotten it. Tong Wuxin slapped his forehead and suddenly remembered that he still had a bottle of good wine with him. After saying that, he stood up and flew out in a few flashes. Zhu Xiaobao looked a little stupid. This speed seemed to be faster than Zhao Shenbao. She is amphibious. So she is faster than me. But the others are not as good as me. Zhao Shenbao said a little dissatisfied when he saw the way Zhu Xiaobao looked at him. Ha 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 ha. You are stronger than her with only three hands. Zhao Shenhu, the second child, laughed. TSK, you still want the things I stole back. Zhao Shenbao shouted angrily. Just as he was talking. Tong Wuxin came back quickly, holding a wine bag in his hand. This kind of wine bag is usually used for long-distance travel. It is easy to carry, and can be hung on the side of the saddle. It also has a relatively large amount of water. Big. Try this. Let me be clear. Several people have died from this thing. Some people say it is poisonous. Tong Wuxin said hesitantly. Oh? Then you brought it back? Zhao Shabao was startled and asked in surprise. Well, I drank it too and nothing happened. 
But this thing is very powerful. After drinking this thing, the wine you are drinking now will have no taste. Tong Wuxin said with some aftertaste. Oh, then I want to try it. Are there 10% dead people? Zhao Shen who was immediately eager to try, but still a little worried. How can it be that high? I can't say for sure. Tong Wuxin was a little unclear. Come on, pour down. If you don't mean to say it's okay, then it must be okay. Boss Zhao said boldly. Yes. Who is afraid of whom? Other people also shouted. When everyone poured a bowl, Xu Xiaobao was stunned. He took a sip and frowned. This is white wine. The alcohol content is quite high. It should be almost 40 degrees. But this wine seems to be made very roughly. The time is too short. And it is a bit astringent. But it is certain that it has been distilled. Otherwise it would not reach such a high degree. Good wine. It's really strong. Mr. Zhao took a big sip and exclaimed in surprise. This is the real strong wine. Especially the spicy and dry feeling. Which makes people feel very happy. Hey! It's really good wine! Wu Xian! Where did you get it? Go get some more. After the others took a sip, they immediately fell in love with the spicy. Strong and strong wine. No more! These are the only few jars left. I can only put this in one bag. Wu Xian shook his head with regret. Well, this is liquor. Which is distilled liquor. So it has a very high concentration. The poisoning you are talking about should be alcohol poisoning. Which is caused by drinking too much at once. It is not that the wine is poisonous. Zhu Xiaobao had just felt normal. But he already knew why people died. I'm afraid it was because he rarely drank such a strong drink and was greedy for a while. Do you know this kind of wine? Wu Xian asked in surprise. She didn't expect this little fat man to know this. But she still didn't believe it because this kind of wine has been lost and the person who brewed it has been killed. Got it. Tell me. Where did you get this? How much does it cost per jar? Xu Xiaobao nodded and then asked. Let's talk about it. There are no outsiders here. These three girls are now Xiaobao's people. They won't leak the secrets. Boss Xiao seemed to say intentionally or unintentionally. He knew that Wu Xin was going out to perform a mission. And usually he didn't I would say these things in front of outsiders. But Xu Xiaobao can be regarded as an outsider. And Mr. Duanmu is very fond of him. So Boss Xiao also consciously wants to have a close relationship with Zhu Xiaobao. Yes. It was found in the fiefdom of His Highness the Sixth Prince. Tong Wuxin looked at Zhu Xiaobao. Then at Ying Xiaoxiao and others. And then said slowly. It turns out that Tong Wuxin accepted Du Muki's mission and sneaked into the fiefdom of the Sixth Highness Xia Zixing to spy on the military situation. The Sixth Highness was named King Sheng. His fiefdom was in the extremely cold land in the northernmost part of the country. Although the fiefdom area was very large. But there is snow all year round, and the population is very small. But His Highness the Sixth Prince turned his fiefdom into a base for his private army. No one knows exactly how many troops he has. But it is said to be 200,000. But those princes who had the power to seize the throne, including the Seventh Princess, didn't believe it. So I send people to investigate from time to time. But I still don't know how many people he has. Because Beatty County is so big. It is larger than the fiefdoms of King Wen and King Ming combined. Therefore, His Highness the Sixth Prince divided the garrison into several places. And no one could figure out how many troops he had. Tong Wuxin has been there several times and only discovered 17 garrison bases. But this time, she discovered this kind of wine in the northernmost town. The brewers were put to death. The reason is that the wine he brewed killed dozens of people. Moreover, this kind of wine is very expensive and ordinary people cannot afford it. However, he adopted the method of exchanging grain for wine and started business with a local garrison. 100 caddies of grain are exchanged for one caddy of this wine. Soon this man made a fortune. He was originally a poor drunk. In half a year, he not only bought a mansion, married a wife and six concubines, but also bought hundreds of slaves. He also goes out to have a good time and drink every day. But this time, he stumbled and drank dozens of people to death in one go including local garrison troops and three generals. Of course, there was no excuse for this. Even His Highness the Sixth Prince was alarmed. Moreover, the matter of exchanging military rations for wine was also revealed. His Highness the Sixth Prince was very angry at the time. Most of the food he transported to Beatty County every year was sent from the mainland. For this, he spends a huge amount every year. But he never expected the rewards from Beatty County. Every year there is not enough food to eat and he asks for more every year. It turns out that it was all embezzled. How could this not be outrageous? 
so His Highness the Sixth Prince personally rushed to Beatty County, killed this man's whole family, and confiscated all his property. Of course, His Highness the Sixth Prince also asked this person to tell him how to brew this kind of wine. Unexpectedly, this man was very smart and pretended to agree. After the brewing process was demonstrated, His Highness the Sixth Prince immediately killed him. Of course, you have to take this kind of thing into your own hands. This is a huge business opportunity. But what makes His Highness Sixth Prince depressed is that, after killing this man and brewing this kind of wine according to his method, it has never been brewed again. Only then did he realize that this man still did not hand over the real brewing method. So when Tong Wuxin heard about this, he was very curious. He took the risk and actually sneaked into the military camp and stole a bag of the last jars of wine that had been sealed because the others were confiscated by His Highness the Sixth Prince. Only these jars of wine were left in the military camp and no one dared to drink them. It was said to be poisonous wine. So that's it? But this wine doesn't look like poisonous wine. Besides, the exchange of food for wine has been going on for half a year. How come dozens of people died all at once? Zhao Shabao asked in confusion after hearing this. I guess he was too flamboyant. Which is why he got killed. A poor drunkard suddenly made such a big windfall. Do you think people will be jealous? Boss Zhao nodded and said. Alas, it's a pity that such a good wine has been lost like this. Zhao Shen who said regretfully. Among these people, he is the best drinker and has a very large drinking capacity. Now this kind of wine is too much for her appetite. Why don't you drink? Is my wine bad? Tong Wuxin asked a little dissatisfied when he saw Zhu Xiaobao took a sip and didn't move again. Sister, my drinking capacity is limited. If you drink like you, you will really drink yourself to death. Zhu Xiaobao looked at Tong Wuxin and smiled. Then suddenly an idea flashed and he asked quickly. What did you just say? This wine how much grain is equivalent to a pound? 100 pounds of grain for one pound. Holy crap, I'm rich. Chapter 84 Tong Wuxin C. After hearing Zhu Xiaobao's meaningless words, Tong Wuxin was stunned. What did you say? Oh, I mean, the man who brewed this wine has made a fortune. Zhu Xiaobao finally came back to his senses. Fortunately, he reacted quickly and dealt with it quickly. Oomph, what's the use of that? You're not killed. If you have the ability to make money, you also have to spend your life. Tong Wuxin snorted with a bit of disdain, seeing that Zhu Xiaobao wasn't very interested in his good wine. Tong Wuxin didn't pay much attention. After all, not everyone has such a good drinking capacity. And what she is most interested in now is the delicacies and novel things introduced to her by Ying Xiaoxiao and the others. Now Ying Xiaoxiao has finished introducing the ceiling fan and flush toilet in detail, and is proudly introducing the large bathroom that can accommodate 40 people to bathe at the same time. Tong Wuxin was a little dumbfounded after hearing this, and really wanted to try it himself. Can I also go there to wash myself? I don't know about this. Anyway, the queue is full every day. You have to find Sister Wu Yu. Ying Xiaoxia was stunned after hearing this. It seems that she doesn't have this right yet. And she doesn't know if she can take outsiders to take a bath? No problem. I'll just ask Wu Yu to take you there tomorrow. Zhu Xiaobao said with certainty at this time. He still has this privilege. Thinking about it, he has accomplished several major things when he arrived in Xiyuan City. I am still very proud of myself. However, Zhu Xiaobao was also deeply touched by Tong Wuxin's words. A very serious fact was before him. If he really wanted to engage in mass production, it seemed that he had to have a safe place and a relatively hidden place. It's best to be somewhere that others can't easily find or enter. In the following time, Zhu Xiaobao was always a little distracted, thinking about some very important issues. Among them, only Zhao Shenlong noticed Zhu Xiaobao's condition. The others were too excited after drinking, and two of them had already begun to show signs of drunkenness. After all, they were highly alcoholic, and Tong Wuxin's bag weighed at least 5 kilograms. In addition, I had already drunk a lot of wine before, and now I am only drunk for two, which is already very good. The next day, Zhu Xiaobao came back with Duan Mu Xilong and others. Zhu Xiaobao kept his word and immediately went to the bathroom with Tong Wuxin. It was training time in the morning and the bathroom was closed. But Zhu Xiaobao arranged for someone to help Tong Wuxin make a fire and boil water, and then asked Ying Xiaoxiao and others to accompany her to experience this new way of bathing. Zhao Shenlong and the others found an inn near the shop and stayed. Unexpectedly, Tong Wuxin followed Ying Xiaoxiao and the others back to Zhu Xiaobao's residence. 
This made Zhu Xiaobao a little unexpected. But seeing Tong Wuxian looked excited. But Zhu Xiaobao entertained her warmly and let her live with Ying Xiuxiu and the others. On the morning of the third day, Zhu Xiaobao rode his horse slowly to Qianmen Street in Xiyuan City. This is the most prosperous place in Xiyuan City. However, in Zhu Xiuber's eyes, it is still too simple. There are quite a lot of people there. Because the 19th Princess shop opened today, and the news has already spread. And that kind of soap is also on sale. Which makes many people come early and want to take a look. What does two gold pieces of soap look like? Xia Zixiu is also here today. Princess 19th store has newly opened. Can he not come to support it? Besides, he also wants to show his intimidation. Maintain good order. And he also knew the crazy looting scene when he was in the Imperial City. So today he also brought 400 of the most elite guards to come here in person to support the 19th princess. The 19th princess is wearing a long gown today and is not wearing any weapons. She looks very dignified and elegant. Sitting there, with a faint smile on his face. He was very excited in his heart. He was about to start earning his first pot of gold in Xiyuan City. The opening time was set at 10 o'clock in the morning. Unexpectedly, half an hour later, the shops were already crowded with people. This surprised Xia Zixiu and Princess 19 who were present. When did Qianmen Street become so lively? This is several times more people than before. At this time, the 19th princess felt a little worried and suddenly thought about whether there would be any accidents. Back in the Imperial City, almost all the royal gentry sent people to rob them like crazy. Wouldn't they be so crazy today? Fortunately, the 19th princess had already prepared. The notice in front of the shop clearly stated that each person was limited to purchasing 10 pieces of soap. There is no purchase limit on tea. And you can also buy one and get one free. Ji Zhishan sat behind the princess and waited for the time to come forward to give the opening speech. He was still the protagonist today. So he was also wearing a brocade suit and his hair was neatly combed. He looked a bit polite. He was so excited that he was asked to host such a big scene. And the tea was handled by him. This time Ji Zhishi was very confident because his skills had improved a bit. And the jasmine tea this time had a better taste and fragrance. Thicker, looking at the messy scene at the entrance of the shop. Ji Jisheng was a little dissatisfied. He waved his hands and shouted, Don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. Everyone should line up and be in order. Hurry up and open the door. I've been waiting for a long time. But those people didn't give Ji Jisheng face. And they still made a lot of noise. A few more were very domineering and got in front. You? And you, go to the back and line up. Ji Shishi shouted very dissatisfied, pointing at those who forcibly cut in line. Are you in charge? How dare a small manager dare to point fingers? The big man in front didn't buy it and said arrogantly, I told you, there must be order and rules and everything. This is the shop of the 19th princess. Ji Ji Sheng was still trying to reason. Get out. Open the door quickly. I'm impatient to wait who knew that the man interrupted Ji Jisheng rudely before he could finish speaking. You're such a naughty person. If you have to force me to say bad words, go to the back, guards, and find this guy out. How dare you act so arrogantly in Princess 19th shop? Ji Jisheng was immediately furious and shouted loudly with his hands on his hips. Road. Today, the two city lords are here, but there are still people who dare to be so presumptuous. Isn't this a provocation? Who dares? Do you know who I am? I belong to Prince Ming's mansion. Who dares to touch me? Unexpectedly, the man became even more arrogant. Standing there with an arrogant expression, looking at Ji Zhishan. Prince Ming's mansion? People in Prince Ming's mansion also have to follow rules. Right. Is it also the rule of Prince Ming's mansion that you step in at the front? Ji Zhishan was stunned for a moment. He didn't expect that the other party's background was so powerful. But he couldn't show weakness now. So he also, he said forcefully, Who said I jumped in line? I'm standing here, and whoever is in front of me can come. Are you there? Are you there? See, no one is in front of me. The big man became even more arrogant, looked around, and shouted loudly. Really no one dared to stand in front of him. The 19th princess and Xia Zixiu looked at each other, both feeling that this matter was a bit tricky. Unexpectedly, the thing they were most worried about happened. But if he was really put at the front, wouldn't it mean that both city lords would be disappointed? It was embarrassing that the two city lords were frightened by a servant of Prince Ming's mansion. The 19th princess looked at Xia Zixiu, hoping that he would show up. But Xia Zixiu gently shook his head, 
meaning that he would be the first in line. But the 19th princess still didn't want to deal with it this way. It was too frustrating. So she slowly said, Is this how my second brother taught you to go out and do things? Hey, princess, you have also seen it. I have asked these people, and indeed no one is in front of me. If there is, let him stand up. I will never fight with him. It can be seen that the big man is in front of me. He didn't take the 19th princess lightly. Yet he spoke so confidently. I saw you came in front. Princess 19 said with a bit of warmth and anger. Ha ha. I didn't jump in front. Those people in front of me are my people. Including these people. They are also from our Prince Ming's mansion. Isn't there a total of 450 pieces of soap? Each of us is 20 yuan. Start now. TSK TSK. There are just a few hundred pieces of soap. And there is no sales restriction. Send it directly to Prince Ming's mansion. Take the money and leave. Isn't it over? It's such a troublesome thing. I didn't expect this big man to be more troublesome. So arrogant. I actually want to wrap up all the soap. What? You want to wrap things up? Don't go too far. Ji Jisheng suddenly shouted in shock and anger. If you really do this, what kind of business will the 19th princess do? Just hand it over to Prince Ming directly. That's fine. What am I? I'm in line. Right? Are these 20 people also in line with me? There's no one else in front of me. Right? Huh? Who are you? How dare you stand in front of me? The big man was arrogantly saying at that moment. I suddenly found that there was someone else in front of me. And she was a woman. I also want to see. Who dares to stand in front of me? You? The woman responded according to the big man's words. No need to ask. This woman is Tong Wuxin. You're hacking looking for death. Are you tired of living? The big man suddenly became furious. It had been many years since anyone had spoken like this in front of him. But today, there was someone who was not afraid of death. After saying that, the big man slapped her in the face without mercy. He wanted to teach this woman a lesson in front of everyone and shake off his prestige. Snapped. A loud slap was very clear. And the sound traveled so far that Zhao Shenlong and others, who were sitting far away and drinking tea, could hear it clearly. Zhu Xiaobao even stood on the bench waving his fat fists and cheering Tong Wuxin on. At this time, everyone realized that the voice did not come from the woman's face, but from the face of the big man. And there was a clear and distinct palm print on the big man's face. You dare to hit me? How dare you hit me? You are dead today. The big man was stunned for a while. Then he yelled a little frantically, reached out and pulled out the knife from his waist. And in the blink of an eye, there were three knives in succession. Crack. 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 The three seemingly powerful swords were replaced by three loud slaps. The big man didn't even touch the corner of Tong Wuxin's clothes. His right cheek was already red and swollen. Dared to slap him all three times. On the right side of his face. There was blood flowing out from under his nose. Humph! I'm giving you an advantage. Tong Wuxin reached out and pulled out a napkin. Wiped his hands. And then threw it on the ground. Chapter 85. Walking around. A. There were more and more people watching but it was not as chaotic as it was at the beginning. Everyone looked at Tong Wuxin in awe. I have never seen anyone who dared to hit His Highness Prince Ming's slave. Over the years, Prince Ming's behavior has never been seen. Those domestic slaves look even more impressive when they go out than the young ladies of the rich and powerful officials. He walked sideways wherever he went, for fear that others would not know that he was a slave of Prince Ming's mansion. But today, he was beaten like a pig's head. This man's name was Wu Fu. He was just a small steward in Prince Ming's mansion. But because he was good at flattering, he was favored by the princess. And he wanted to be promoted to the position of steward. The reason why he was favored by the princess was because he had a unique skill, which was to act as a stepping stone for the princess. He had a strong body, a wide back, and was comfortable to step on. The most exaggerated thing is that he always gets ahead of others, rushes over quickly, and lies down next to the carriage steadily. The distance and height are adjusted very well. It has to be said that flattering requires excellent skills. He didn't have anything to do for a few days. But when he heard the princess talking about soap with other concubines, he seemed a little unwilling to do so. So he volunteered to queue up to buy soap for the princess. And even made his own decision to buy soap for the princess. What a surprise. All the soaps are wrapped. But now the soap can't round the face. But half of the face is rounded. From a distance, they look round. Red and swollen. Boys, give it to me. 
Wu Fu had lost his mind a little at this time. He waved his hand to the servants behind him, who came to wrap the soap balls with him. He was also holding a knife, squinting his eyes and looking for it in a daze. Copper has no heart. After receiving three slaps, I still haven't found the exact location of the other party. Bang! Wu Fu felt like he had hit a wall. He took a few steps back before standing still and shouted angrily, Who? If you dare to block me, get out of the way. Don't block me from killing people. You want to kill my junior sister? Then I have to take care of it. Zhao Shen who crossed his arms and said with a smile, Wu Fu was at most a third level warrior. And this level of martial arts was not enough in Zhao Shen Hu's eyes. Okay. There are helpers. Don't run. Don't move. See if I don't kill you. Wu Fu rushed forward again like crazy. Pa! Another slap in the face. And Zhao Shen Hu's shot was much harder. Wu Fu spun around in circles several times before he stopped. And three of his teeth on the right flew out. Ouch! Why are you still hitting the right side? You can't switch to the left side? Wu Fu covered his face and thought angrily. Half of his face has already been hit. If you don't know how to balance, why don't you hit the left side? Wu Fu covered his face and finally woke up. He was no match for them at all. Looking at the people he brought with him, they had all been disarmed and were lying on the ground crying and howling. There were more people in the middle of the field. Ten people. All of them were dressed in black and looked indifferent. Who are you? Do you dare to sign up? Wu Fu covered his face and was still shouting. He was still a little unconvinced, and was ready to go back and call for revenge. Huh? Well, my name is Zhao Shenlong. If you want to take revenge, feel free to do so. Now! Get out of here! Zhao Shenlong narrowed his eyes, and shouted in a deep voice. Hey! Hey! I'm going to get out of here! You guys wait! You guys wait! I'll keep it until you can't eat it, and carry it away! Wu Fu was so frightened by Zhao Shenlong's low roar that he trembled and quickly ran away in embarrassment. The 19th princess, who was sitting in the shop, was relieved. Wu Eleven Lang couldn't have made a move. After all, they were the 7th princess's people, so they avoided a direct conflict with Prince Ming. But I'm afraid, I still have to say H, low to Prince Ming afterwards. Humph! Listen up. Queue up to buy. The limit is 20 yuan per person. If anyone is being naughty and wants to queue up a few more times or queue up together, don't blame me for being rude. Zhao Shilong simply did his best and helped. Ji Ji Sheng repeated the rules, and his words were much more effective. Not only did everyone line up in an orderly manner, but several people who were waiting in line and wanted to buy more also slipped away honestly. And there were also some who had the courage to take chances. Psychologically, I couldn't tell that they were in the same group anyway. So I pretended not to know each other and still lined up there. But not long after, I found that all the banknotes and gold I had brought with me were gone. When the time came, the shop opened smoothly and the gongs and drums were playing very lively. But the most eye-catching thing was the 450 pieces of soap. The people behind are stretching their necks and counting. Can they buy it for themselves? What surprised the 19th princess was that the purchasing power of Xiyuan City was not bad. The 450 pieces of soap were sold out in a blink of an eye. Those who had not bought them were waiting there and refused to leave. They insisted on 19th princess. The princess registers them for next month. Later, the 19th princess also smiled and promised that there would be an appropriate increase next month. And this was considered as sending these people away. Happily, after the soaps were sold out, the sales of tea also started to boom. This product is by one. Get one free. And it tastes very good. The price is not expensive. And the biggest advantage is that it is convenient to brew. Even Xia Zixiu himself made a cup of jasmine tea and savored it carefully. The Hodicene had passed. And the 19th princess was about to leave. Before leaving, she came to the tea house where Xiao Shenlong and others were. And nodded. Thank you so much, Brother Xiao. And this heroine this time. Xiao Shenlong and the others did not he is a subordinate of the 7th princess but directly takes orders from Duan Muqi. Although he also handles affairs for the seventh princess, he is also acting on Duan Muqi's orders. Princess 19 had already heard will you say this. It's okay. The princess said something serious. We were all invited by Xiaobao to join in the fun. Xiao Shalong bowed and saluted, and then said calmly, it could be seen that he didn't really care about the princess's thanks. We whispered in the ears of Princess 19 that Tong Wuxin went to the bathroom to take a bath yesterday. 
she didn't think of reporting this little thing. But today, she did it for the opening of Princess 19th shop. If you take action, you have to report to the princess. Ha ha. Okay. If Wu Xian likes it, you can come to my female barracks to take a bath at any time. In fact, I also like that bathroom very much. Princess 19 said very enthusiastically, and the communication with the woman was still about talking about mutual feelings. Topics of interest are the easiest to communicate with. Well, thank you. I will come again if necessary. Unexpectedly, Tong Wuxi was not as cold as before, but agreed quickly, because she really likes the facilities in the women's barracks. And she is also very interested in the facilities at Ju Shiba's place. Generally speaking, Ju Shiba's place is more attractive to her because there are many delicious food, which she has not yet had time to eat. Taste them one by one. So she plans to have a good few days here in Xiyuan City. Thank you, princess. Unexpectedly, Zhao Shenlong bowed very respectfully at this time. He was very indifferent just now. But when he heard that Tong Wuxing was going to stay here for a few days, he immediately became respectful and polite. Anyway, I feel very friendly when I see Wu Xian. Princess 19 was very happy. It was a great help to deepen the relationship with Duan Mu Lang. After a few more polite words, the 19th princess left with the others. Before leaving, she glanced at the napkin that was unintentionally thrown on the ground. And then at Xu Xiaobao. Xu Xiaobao just smiled and bent over in response. Originally, he wanted to invite Zhao Shenlong and others to have a meal. But Zhao Shenlong waved his hand and refused. All 11 people came out, which attracted too much attention. So only the youngest Zhao Shenbao and Tong Wuxing were left. Mainly because they wanted Tong Wuxing to have fun. It was rare for this girl to be so happy. By the time Zhao Shenlong and others left, there was no need for Zhu Xiaobao to speak. Ying Xiaoxiao and the other three girls had already begun to make arrangements. It was already noon and Tong Wuxi was clamoring for stinky tofu and pickled pepper chicken feet. Now she not only loves to eat these things, but also eats them with great interest. Watching the gray-white stinky tofu turn into golden delicacies in the oil pan is also a kind of enjoyment. She can't understand how such a smelly thing can be fried. Is it so tempting to come out? Of course, in addition to these snacks, Zhu Xiaobao also worked very hard to make some hot stir-fries by himself and opened a jar of the seventh princess's good wine. Tong Wuxing was once again amazed. It turns out that there is such a delicious food in the world. Meals? Moreover, this little fat man seemed to have an extraordinary status. He even had several jars of the seventh princess's fine wine. Third brother, come with me for a walk after dinner. How about that? Zhu Xiaobao asked after he had eaten and drank enough. No problem. Xiaobao, where do you want to go? Zhao Shenbao, the third child, became interested as soon as he heard this. He is the most restless and wishes he had something to do every day. If you want to go to the inner city of Xiyuan, go to the far west and have a look. Zhu Xiaobao thought for a while and said, he wants to find a suitable place to carry out his plan. Okay, west. The farthest west is the seaside. And there are few people. What are you doing there? Zhao Xiaobao asked a little confused. What's the point of being in a place with many people? Only in places with few people will you find something. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. That's right. A crowded place is just a hotel brothel. And we won't let you go. Zhao Xiaobao suddenly figured it out and said with a mean smile. Oh, why can't you think of me more nobly? Zhu Xiaobao sighed very depressedly. It seemed that he would never want to visit a brothel again in this life. Will you kept a close eye on this aspect. I'll go too, Tong Wuxin said vaguely, holding a chicken foot in his hand at this time. Even though he had finished eating. He still had no intention of stopping with these things. Let's go too. We've been here for so long and we've never left the inner city. Ying Xiaoxiao and others also shouted excitedly. Okay. Everyone go. Everyone go. Bring my horse. Zhu Xiaobao said with a generous wave of his hand. The rogue horse was led over again. I'll give you a good horse. This horse is too bad. It basically can't run. Zhao Xiaobao couldn't stand looking at this rogue horse. Just this horse. Their speed has to be slowed down too. No. Riding a horse is the safest. We would rather go slower than take risks. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head. This guy still cherishes his own safety very much. Tong Wuxing couldn't help laughing. And whipped the horse with a whip. The horse felt the pain and started running hard. Horse. Run slower. Run slower. Chapter 86. Walking around B. 
after leaving the west gate of the inner city of Shiyuan. The six people rode all the way, except for the first section of the run. The rest were basically very slow, because Zhu Xiubao's horse was not good at running. The current speed in other words. It is a little faster than the walking speed of the entire adult population. After walking for almost an hour, Zhu Xiaobao felt that this place was indeed very desolate. It is sparsely populated. The largest fishing village nearby is home to hundreds of families. However, their fishing boats are very small and cannot go to the distant sea. They can only fish nearby, which is not very profitable. Further to the northwest is a beach, and behind the beach for several miles is a dense forest. Some hunters will go into the forest to hunt from time to time, but don't dare to go too deep. There will be too many wild beasts if you go further in, and it's easy to get lost. Walking along the beach, you are out of the jurisdiction of Shiyuan City and beyond the borders of Dashia Kingdom. There is Lingyu Mountain there, where the Lingyu people live. There is also Lingyu Island in the sea not far away. It is said that it belongs to the same Lingyu tribe as Lingyu Mountain. The soil quality here is not good and not suitable for farming. So there are not many people. Most of the places are unclaimed land. But there is a coal mountain. People often pick up some coal and bring it back to Shiyuan City to exchange for money. But the profit is not very high. In this era, firewood burning was still the main method. Zhu Xiaobao knew that it would take a long time until coal stoves appeared to gradually replace firewood. The main use of coal now is still for smelting. That is to say, blacksmiths use it more. Zhu Xiaobao also discovered some useful things along the way, such as quartz stone, which can be used to process glass. But he has no plans to do so now. There is also an extinct volcano with a lot of volcanic ash around it. This thing will be used in the future. It is used as a raw material for making cement. Everywhere they went, Zhu Xiaobao picked up some rocks, gravel and other things. Soon, Ying Xiaoxiao and the others had several bags of rags on their horses. Although they didn't understand it, they I didn't dare to ask any more questions. But Zhu Xiaobao seemed to be unfinished and continued to move forward. Tong Wuxin, Ying Xiaoxiao, and the others followed behind. The four girls were able to find topics on their own and chatted happily. Brother, are you looking for something? Tell me. I'm the best at finding things. Zhao Xiaobao couldn't help but ask in the end. It was really boring to wander aimlessly like this. Third brother. Zhu Xiaobao looked back at the four girls. They were a little far away. So he asked in a low voice. Do you still remember the man who brewed liquor? Of course I remember. It's a pity that I was killed by His Highness the Sixth Prince. It seems I can never drink that kind of wine again. Zhao Shabao said with great regret. That's right. What I said unintentionally reminded me that if you want to earn life, you must also have life flowers. Zhu Shabao nodded and said. Ah, brother, do you want to leave Princess 19? Zhao Shabao suddenly asked in surprise and couldn't help but raise his voice a lot. Shu, keep your voice down. Who said I have to leave the 19th princess? I just want to find a place of my own. And I still can't live without the princess in the current situation. Besides, the princess is also very good to me. So I need to help hold on to her. Zhu Xiaobao quickly made a silent gesture before explaining. What on earth do you want to do? Zhao Xiaobao was a little confused. Since he didn't want to leave the 19th princess, why did he have to find a place by himself? I think you've guessed it. I made all the toilet paper. Soap. And tea. Small scale production is fine. But now there are so many female soldiers, and the amount needed by the seventh princess. Do you think I can't? Is it safe to find a hidden place? Sooner or later, people will know that I did all these things. Zhu Xiaobao said worriedly. This is not just pretending. He is really worried. He has no martial arts skills. Once he is caught, if someone is targeted, it may be difficult to escape with your life. Oh, I understand. If I were Prince Ming, and knew that you made the soap. I would definitely send someone to arrest you. There is no need to buy the 19th princess. Zhao Shabao immediately understood what was going on. Interests. It is indeed very dangerous to put yourself in Zhu Xiaobao's shoes. That's not the worst thing. If King Ming can't catch me, he will destroy me in order to interrupt the 7th princess's financial path. If I can't get it, no one else can get it. This is the most normal idea. Right. When Zhu Xiaobao said the last word, Cold sweat broke out on his back. But, even if I find such a place for you, once you are discovered, you still can't run away, and you are stuck in the nest, let alone running. Zhao Shabao thought for a while, shook his head again and said, 
Zhao Shabao thinks this method is stupid. Zhu Xiaobao will definitely show off his skills now that he has this place. When the time comes, those who purchase and ship goods will definitely be easily discovered. Rather than doing this, it would be safer to stay in the female barracks. After all, there are so many female soldiers guarding the surroundings. He! You don't need to worry about it now. As long as you give me this place, I will take some defensive measures to ensure that no one can come in, including you, a thief. Zhu Xiaobao smiled and shook his head. If he wants to do some defensive fortifications, he still has some tricks up his sleeve. Then I won't help you find it. Hey, even I can't get in. Then why should I help you find such a place? Zhao Shabao hummed with dissatisfaction. In fact, he was looking forward to it and wanted to see it. Let's see what other amazing abilities Zhu Xiaobao has. You can't sneak in. But I can light you in openly. Why do you have to sneak in? I'm telling you. As long as you can help me find a place like this. I can get the strong drink from last time. When the time comes, you can get whatever you want without taking any money. Zhu Xiaobao also spent a lot of money in order to win over Zhao Shenbao. Seriously? That's an agreement. Don't go back on your word. No. There is another condition. You have to help me make a good knife. Zhao Shenbao's eyes suddenly lit up. The feeling of that wine is really good. This guy can it be done? Zhao Shenbao was extremely excited. But it was not in vain that he had given himself an extra condition. Okay. If you like it, I will give you this knife. Zhu Xiaobao agreed without thinking. He took off his own knife and wanted to give it to Zhao Shenbao. He doesn't like these killing tools very much. No. What I want is a shorter knife than we use. You know I often have to follow, spy, and assassinate. Many times it is a close-up emergency situation. And I need a short and sharp weapon. This point, Zhao Shabao has learned a profound lesson. Just because his weapon was a little longer, he suffered a big loss and almost died before he could pull it out. Therefore, Zhao Shabao is very concerned about his weapons and has always wanted to find a very suitable one. Weapons. It happened that we use knife made him very fond of it, but he still felt it was a bit too long. Okay. When I have the conditions, I will build one for you. You can decide the length and weight yourself. Zhu Xiaobao nodded, knowing that these people's requirements for weapons have reached a very demanding level, and they almost failed. Your own martial arts will be greatly reduced. Xiaobao, what are you talking about? It's a little late. Should we go forward? At this time, Tong Wuxin urged his horse to catch up and asked, Ah? Uh, are you going back now? I also want to visit the beach. Zhu Xiaobao looked at the sky and saw that it should be 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It would be almost dark if he rushed back now. Who told you to start such a stupid horse? Tong Wuxin said a little helplessly. In fact, if they were going at their speed, they would have already gone to the beach and back. Okay, let's go back first. After picking up so many things, it can be considered a small gain. Zhu Xiaobao also sighed. It seems that he really has to learn to ride a horse. Otherwise it is really too slow. When going back, Tong Wuxin felt that the rogue horse was too slow. So he asked Zhu Xiaobao and Ying Xiaoxiao to ride on the same horse. While the rogue horse was tied behind and ran back with Kong. After running back to Xiyun City, something unexpected happened. The horse was so exhausted that it lay on the ground and foamed at the ground. Watching it lose its life. Ah? Uh? He's dead now? It's worth ten tails of silver anyway. Zhu Xiaobao said very depressed. See? This is the result of not exercising or learning martial arts for a long time. Tong Wuxing couldn't help laughing. Implying that Zhu Xiaobao's martial arts were too poor. Wrong! It was because it was over-exercised. This led to the tragedy. I have decided not to practice martial arts again. Zhu Xiaobao said confidently. In the study room of the 19th princess. Wu Yuzhan was accompanying her. The 19th princess was not in a very good mood. So she breathed a sigh of relief. She earned more than a thousand tails of gold yesterday morning. Which gave her a chance to breathe. But think about it. The 19th princess herself is not as intimidating as Zhao Shenlong. It's very depressing. This time it was Zhao Shenlong who helped out. But what about next time? Do you have to invite them here every time? Not to mention that they only take action after being entrusted by Zhu Xiaobao. It has been a month now. And in two months, Prince Ming will definitely embarrass himself about the fodder. How should he deal with it then? The 19th princess was really confused. She didn't expect that it would not be that simple to establish a foothold in Xiyuan City. You must make good friends with Tong Wuxin. After all, 
He is from the Seventh Sister and can still intimidate Prince Ming. Princess 19 told Wii U. Yes. I think it's no problem. She has been completely attracted by Xiubao's delicious food. She has been staying at Xiubao's place for the past few days. Wii U said somewhat proudly. But suddenly, she was a little worried. This Tom Wuxin's appearance is not bad. And his martial arts skills are even higher than mine. Really? If you are pretty, why do you practice martial arts so well? Xiao Bao! Oh! These little treasures that people can't see through. Well, by the way, the thing I saw Tom Wuxin throwing on the ground yesterday didn't seem to be toilet paper. And I also saw her wiping her mouth with that kind of paper. Smaller than toilet paper. And much whiter. Do you know what it is? Why don't you tell me? Princess 19 suddenly thought of the napkin that was thrown on the ground. And couldn't help but ask. Well you must know it. I know. It's just that I think the name is indecent. So I didn't dare to tell you. Will you said hesitantly. A little embarrassed. Oh. What's the name of that kind of paper? Princess 19 became even more curious. Calling for backward compatibility. Chapter 87. Walking around C. Princess 19 opened her eyes wide. This name is so strange. Wii U had no choice but to whisper in her ear with a blushing face and underestimated her for a while. After hearing this, the 19th princess also blushed and couldn't help but snorted angrily. This little fat guy is becoming more and more outrageous. All day long. What are you thinking about? So I don't have the nerve to talk about this. But this thing is very useful. And what he said is right. It really comes in handy in an emergency. Wii U lowered her head and whispered. Bring it here. Let me take a look. Princess 19 couldn't help being curious and stretched out her hand and said, Hey, this is it. I just think it's too wasteful. I used it once and then threw it away. Will you said a little distressed? Find Shabao for me when you have time. I have something to ask him. Also, you must take good care of Tong Wuxin. He seems to be very straightforward and has high martial arts skills. I just lack such a person around me. Tin the ninth princess sighed a little and said that although General Wu has trained a group of young generals, they still have little actual combat experience. And there are very few who are highly skilled in martial arts. This kind of martial arts is still very different from going into battle to kill the enemy. He goes to other places, and can often complete some tasks that ordinary people cannot complete. For example, spying, investigation, assassination, etc. I know. I'll go find her right now. Will you stuck out her tongue and hurried away? It would be better for the two of them to digest this embarrassment separately. However, when Wu came to Zhu Xiaobao, she came to nothing. Zhu Xiaobao went out early in the morning. So there was no one in his residence. Going out? Where have you been? Wu quickly found the female soldiers guarding Zhu Xiaobao's residence and asked. Now Wu has strengthened the prevention work around Zhu Xiaobao's residence. His things are too important. But the more this happens, the more worried I become. After all, the more people let go, the easier it is to attract people's attention. We left the inner city of Xiyuan towards the west gate. We went out yesterday and killed a horse. We also went out together with Zhao Shibao and Tong Wuxin. The female soldier reported to Wu Yu very clearly. Oh? Damn it. Xiao Bao. You didn't even say a word to me when you went out. It made my trip in vain. What was he doing out of the west gate? There was a wasteland and rocks all around. Wu Yu felt a little disappointed. Unable to see Zhu Xiaobao, Bao actually made her a little sad and worried. And also a little bit sour. It's like I've been left out. Zhu Xiaobao changed a horse today. It was specially selected by Ying Xiodo female barracks. It was a war horse with the most docile temperament. Even so, Zhu Xiaobao was still embarrassed and bared his teeth. However, this guy is a bit with his natural talent. It didn't take long for me to basically master the essentials of riding a horse. Although it was still not very comfortable. I could still run. Xiao Bao, are you looking for a very secluded place? Tong Wuxin asked after seeing that he was already far away from the west gate. So he urged his horse to catch up. Yes, but not many people know about this. You have to keep it a secret for me. Zhu Xiao Bao was not too surprised. Since he had already told Zhao Lao San, it is not surprising that Tong Wuxin knew about it. I know a very hidden place. Do you want to know? Tong Wuxin said with some certainty. He he. Sister. If you want anything, just say it. Isn't it up to you to choose what I have here? Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile as he stopped. He still has a good impression of Tong Wuxin. Because her personality is a bit like Wu Yu. Relatively straightforward. Well, 
If the place I found for you works, I would like to live there in the future. Do you think that's okay? Tong Wuxin asked tentatively. Ah, you are not one of the eleven men of Duanmu. Why don't you quit? Zhu Xiaobao did not expect that Tong Wuxin would actually make such a request. I mean, except when I'm on a mission. I'll live here with you. Okay? Tong Wuxin actually looked at Zhu Xiaobao with some expectancy. She has been alone in these years. Even though she is with Zhao Shenlong was very affectionate. But there was no result. After staying with Ying Xiuxiu and the others these past few days, he had enjoyed a very warm and joyful life. And now, he was actually a little reluctant to leave. Can I trust you in this? Zhu Xiaobao looked at Tong Wuxin. His mind spinning rapidly. Should he agree to her? Would she have any purpose? Don't worry. I won't reveal a word about you to outsiders. Including what's going on between you and them. I can't see it. Tong Wuxin said sincerely. And at the same time looked at Ying Xiuxiu of them. She was also talking about Zhu Xiubao's usual preference for small discounts on the site. Brother. If you believe me. You should believe her. Wuxin is really a trustworthy person. And he never causes trouble. Not to mention you have a master beside you. Although Zhao Shenbao was a little surprised at this time. Tong Wuxin was not I told him this decision. But he still agreed with Tong Wuxin's choice. Because Tong Wuxin has not been happy in these years. He has always been lonely and has no close friends. Although he, Zhao Shenhu and others can be considered her friends. They rarely chat together. Just kidding. Originally, they only got together when they had missions. Every time they got together, it meant taking another risk. Who is still in the mood to joke? Okay, if we bullies me, you must help me. Zhu Xiaobao decided to trust Tong Wuxin because he believed in Zhao Shenlong's character. And Zhao Shabao also got along very well with him. That's not okay. I've heard it all. Every time we bullies you, it's because you did something bad. I won't help you internally. I will only help you externally. Unexpectedly, Tong Wuxin shook his head and said, Ying Xiuxiu had already told her all those things about Zhu Xiaobao, which made Tong Wuxin almost laugh out loud. So she had already been on Wu Yu's side. Oh, why am I so miserable? It's so easy to find a thug. But I'm not open to the outside world. And you guys, you actually leaked all my privacy. I will punish you not to eat meat for three days. Zhu Xiaobao sighed. He took a breath. And then shouted fiercely to Xiu Xiu and the other three people. Yes. I got it. Ying Xiu Xiu and others were a little worried at first. But they didn't expect Zhu Xiaobao's punishment to be so generous. They couldn't help laughing. And they were very satisfied in their hearts. Find yourself a good master. Let's go. I'll take you there now. Tong Wuxin urged his horse and ran toward a rocky slope in the southwest. It was difficult to walk uphill for a while. But fortunately, the slope was not too steep. The horse could barely climb up. After walking for a while, Tong Wuxin pushed aside a bunch of bushes in a bush and then moved a huge rock away. A cave actually appeared. Is this what you are talking about? Zhu Xiaobao was a little unexpected. He wanted to find a hidden place. But he never thought of finding a cave. What can be done there? Don't worry. You'll know when you get inside. Tong Wuxin said very confidently and walked in first. As soon as she entered, Ying Xiuxiu was so frightened that she screamed. Snake. Snake. Such a big snake. Don't be afraid. It won't hurt you. Shall we? I'm back. Do you miss me? Tong Wuxin ran forward happily and touched the top of the snake's head with his hand. This was a giant python. Zhu Xiaobao felt a little numb when he saw it. And he didn't expect Tong Wuxin to be so intimate with this giant python. This girl is really courageous. Okay. Come in. Xiao Hui has agreed to let you in. Tong Wuxin didn't know how he communicated with the giant python. But the giant python actually swam away slowly. This cave is actually very big inside. And it takes a long way to reach a pond. And the space above it suddenly becomes much larger. There is no road ahead. Zhu Xiaobao looked a little dumbfounded. This is what you said is a good place. It's hidden enough. But I don't plan to live in a cave. Can you swim? Tong Wuxin asked. Of course. Even though I am not good at martial arts. I am very good at swimming. I am known as the little white dragon in the waves. Zhu Xiaobao did not brag this time. He was a very good swimmer in the past. There is simply a different person. Plop! Before Zhu Xiaobao could finish speaking, Tong Wuxin had already jumped down and disappeared. After a long time, a rock was moved on the opposite rock wall, revealing another hole. 
I didn't expect Tong Wuxing to dive in from the bottom of the water first and then open the hole. Zhu Xiaobao was a little dazed. Tong Wuxing stayed in the water for almost a quarter of an hour from entering the water to emerging. Isn't the water quality very good? Zhu Xiaobao, who was a little complacent at first, now doesn't dare to show off at all. People can stay in the water for at least 10 minutes. He! Wu Xian can stay in the water for at most half an hour. Zhao Xiaobao next to him added, which shocked Zhu Xiaobao even more. Half an hour means almost an hour. Is that human being? Come here! Tong Wuxing waved and shouted from the opposite side. The distance between the two is almost 50 meters. Now when you swim over, you don't have to get under the water. You can go directly to the shore. Because the entrance of the cave has been opened. Xu Xiaobao didn't hesitate at this time. He already had a premonition that this was an ideal hiding place. So she jumped down immediately. Zhao Shenbao. Lu Tong and Lu Fang also swam over. The rest of the group, Ying Xiu Xiu, was at a loss. She couldn't swim. And she was a little worried when she saw everyone swimming towards the opposite side. She was worried that she wouldn't be able to swim in the opposite direction. If you can swim, how can you get in and out in the future? A few people climbed ashore wetly and entered the cave. They followed Tong Wuxin and walked a long way inside. Gradually, their eyes became brighter and brighter, and they became more and more open until finally a large amount of sunlight came in. We finally arrived at the exit. The side in front of us was a bit unbelievable to Zhu Xiaobao. It was actually a large area of flowers, plants and trees. The area inside was very large and open, although there were no very tall trees. It was lush and full of vitality. Didn't you expect that there is a whole other world inside this place? This is Huagua Mountain. Water Curtain Cave. Right. Zhu Xiaobao murmured. Chapter 88 Cave Heaven and Paradise. After listening to Zhu Xiaobao's murmur, Tong Wuxing couldn't help but feel something in his heart. What an appropriate name. She couldn't help but ask. Is this the name you gave this place? No. It's just that this place reminds me of a mythical story. There is a place occupied by the Monkey King, which is called the Water Curtain Cave of Wagwishan. I will tell you this story when I have time. Zhu Xiaobao said, then he came back to his senses, smiled and said, Oh. But I think this name is very suitable for this place. Tong Wuxin also smiled. And suddenly felt that this place was beautiful. But when he stayed here alone, he didn't feel this way at all. Only endless lonely. Only Xiao Hui, the python, is always with him. How big is it here? Vu Xiaobao asked. It's about four to five thousand steps from east to west. And three thousand steps from north to south. It's almost that big. Tong Wuxin has lived here for a month and is very familiar with this place. Xu Xiaobao calculated in his mind. According to what Tong Wuxin said, it should be almost six square kilometers. It seemed too big. I just want to find a place of one or two thousand square meters, which is enough. But then I thought about it. It was great to find such a place. How could it be so suitable? It's too big. As a result, my plan will also change. Zhu Xiaobao was a little embarrassed. It would be impossible to live in such a big place with only a few people. It would require quite a lot of effort. There are more manpower. But there are also advantages. And there is more room for you to play. Following Tong Wuxin around this open area. What is surprising is that there is a hot spring closest to the west. The water temperature inside is very suitable. This is simply a natural resort. Zhu Xiaobao likes this place more and more. And secretly makes up his mind to turn this paradise into his own. Completely private territory. Zhao Xiaobao looked a little dumbfounded. He didn't expect that Old Eleven would have such a hiding place. So he couldn't help but ask, Wuxing, how did you find this place? Well, I came here to do business the year before last and accidentally encountered the giant bandit Ao Yang. After fighting with him, I was no match for him. So I was chased by him all the way. I finally escaped here. Fortunately, Ao Yang didn't know the nature of water. I jumped into the water and hid. But Ao Yang kept guarding the top. So I could only keep diving below. I couldn't hold it in any longer. Fortunately, I met Xiao Wei, who took me to the hole under the water. Came here. I also escaped Ao Yang's pursuit. Tong Wuxin is still a little frightened now. The situation was too critical at that time. Ao Yang is a cruel man. If he falls into his hands, the consequences will be very terrible. Of, as if he heard what he was talking about. The giant python actually slowly swam over coiled its body in a circle, and surrounded Tong Wuxin. The huge python was still rubbing affectionately on Tong Wuxin's shoulder. 
It turned out that the giant python was also injured at that time. And its abdomen was opened by a sharp rock under the water. It was a huge wound. When Tom Wuxin was brought here, Wuxin also tore his clothes into strips and helped him. After bandaging the wound, it was unexpected that after more than 10 days, the wound actually healed. So Xiao Hui always regarded Tom Wuxin as his savior. After two years of not seeing each other, this giant python has grown to six meters long and is as thick as an ordinary person's thigh. Following Tong Wuxin and walking along this open area, Zhu Xiaobao probably got an idea. This area is fan-shaped. Except for the back of the cliff. The rest of the area faces the sea. In fact, this place is a huge cliff. Halfway up the mountain, the edge of the sea is still 60 or 70 meters away from the sea. And this place does not exceed the shelter of Xiuyuan City. So the sea breeze does not have a great impact here. Standing on the cliff near the sea, you can vaguely see an island dozens of miles away. It is said that it is the legendary Lingyu Island. This place is very safe. Zhu Xiaobao was very satisfied with this place and nodded. Although Lu Tong and Lu Fang were also very happy. They were also a little confused. How should such a large place be developed and constructed? But they were full of confidence in Zhu Xiaobao's abilities. How do you plan to use this place? This place is not small. You can't build it by yourself. Tong Wuxin also asked a little worriedly. If you can't build an environment suitable for people to live, then it will be useless no matter how good it is. Very useful. Well, I'll think about it carefully when I go back and make a detailed plan. It will definitely require a lot of manpower. And the princess's help is still needed for this. Zhu Xiaobao said with a frown. So far, this is still copper. It was the first time Wu Xian saw Zhu Xiaobao looking so solemn. Originally, Zhu Xiaobao wanted to stay a little longer. But they didn't bring anything to eat. It was already past noon, and they were already hungry. Sister Wuxin? Isn't there any game here? We all ate outside. And we seem to be very hungry now. Zhu Xiaobao looked at Tong Wuxin. And he was filled with gratitude to Wuxin for his exquisiteness. This place is simply a treasure. But Wuxin actually gave it to him like this. This is a great favor. Although Wu Xian didn't feel any loss. Zhu Xiaobao was already very close to Wu Xian. It's strange. There used to be a lot of them. Including hares, voles, etc. And a lot of small animals. How else could Xiao Hui survive here? But why do they seem to be gone now? Tong Wuxin said a little strangely. In fact, she had wanted to fight a few for a long time. There was a hare. But no trace was found. At this time, Xiao Huihao seemed to understand and raised his head in the air. Only then did everyone realize that there were many golden eagles hovering in the sky. It turns out that all the animals here have been eaten by them. No wonder there is not a single hare to be found. Oh, forget it. I originally wanted to show you my skills in roasting game. But now I think I have to forget it. Let's go back first. Ying Xiu Xiu is still waiting outside. Zhu Xiaobao sighed, said in a tone. Everyone was in favor of going back first. But they were also worried that if Ying Xiuxiu encountered gangsters outside, it would be terrible. Ying Xiuxiu's martial arts is not very high. Returning the same way, he passed the cave again and swam back. His whole body was wet again, which made Zhu Xiaobao feel very uncomfortable. It seems necessary to get a waiting tool first. But what surprised Zhu Xiaobao was that Tong Wuxin and Zhao Xinbao's clothes were dry in just a short time, while Zhu Xiaobao's clothes were still damp, and Lu Tong and Lu Fang were not much better. It turns out that both Tong Wuxin and Zhao Shibao used their inner strength to forcefully steam their clothes dry. It seems that being good at martial arts has this benefit. Zhu Xiaobao is a little speechless. He doesn't have the ability. So he can only wait for it to dry naturally. After leaving the cave, Tong Wuxin sealed the entrance with large rocks. And then everyone urged their horses to go back. Just as they were about to reach the west city gate, two horses suddenly rushed from the front. And two people were sitting on them. The little horses recognized one of them. And it turned out to be Gao Tihua. Although one arm is missing. He is still very nimble when riding on the horse. But his eyes are fierce. And he stares at Zhu Xiaobao. Umph! It's really you. I didn't expect that you are really not dead. You seem to be living a happy life? High speed iron flower? Zhu Xiaobao was frightened. The high speed iron flower had a bigger shadow in his heart. So he trembled subconsciously. Stop talking nonsense and follow me back obediently. Gao Taiwa hummed condescendingly, as if she were in the fourth princess's mansion. It was already very annoying to ask her to catch a slave in person. Yeah, you are wrong. I am no longer a member of the fourteenth princess's mansion. 
and thanks to you, I have eliminated the slave status with Kinglin. Now I don't belong to anyone. This is Xiyuan City, not Imperial City. You have no right to act wild here. At this time, Xu Xiaobao had regained his composure, and he felt a little annoyed. Why should he be afraid of this high-speed rail flower? There are so many people around him. Huh? Did I hear you right? A slave actually dares to talk to me like this now. Let me tell you. Even if you eliminate the slave mark, the people the 14th princess wants to capture will still not be able to escape from my grasp. Heartbroken. Gao Taiwa was amused by Zhu Shibao's words. This little fat man actually dared to talk back. And he even dared to contradict himself. This was simply unimaginable before. Xiao Bao. Come back. Xiao Lao San looked very solemn at this time. He was not looking at Gao Taiwa, but at the people around Gao Taiwa. There was a pair of fine steel flywheels inserted on the horse's back, and his breath was calm. He is definitely a master. He should be on the same level as Boss Zhao, and it feels vaguely familiar. Humph! Leave this little fat guy here. I won't embarrass you. This man was Hu Tieluan who assassinated the 19th princess last time, but he was wearing a mask at that time. So Zhao Shabao was sure of it when he spoke. This person was the leader who intercepted them last time. Hu Tieluan, I didn't expect you to assassinate the 19th princess and still dare to show up here? Zhao Shabao and Tong Wuxin looked at each other and nodded. They were already ready. It's a joke. Who said I assassinated the 19th princess? Now I'm just ordered to bring back this slave. Hu Tieluan, of course, would not admit the assassination, and said with a sneer, but I felt very strange. It seemed that these two people had never met before. How could they recognize themselves? It turned out that Wu Xian had not come yet. But Zhao Shabao was hiding in the dark and killing several killers who had hidden underground in advance. Didn't show up at all. Didn't you listen to what he said? He's already level now. You have no right to take him away at will. Zhao Shabao showed no fear on his face. He had encountered many masters like this. Although he was a little scared, he would not panic. I don't care about that. I'm just following orders. Get out of the way. I don't want to kill yet. Hu Chielwen snorted with an arrogant look. Hey, what if I don't get out of the way? Zhao Shabao said with a smile. Even when facing a master like Hu Chielwen, Zhao Shabao still smiled playfully. You are looking for death. Hu Chielwen was really angry this time. And he took a pair of fine steel flywheels in his hands. Before Hu Chielwen could take action, Zhao Shabao and Tong Wuxin had already jumped up from their horses and attacked him. Hu Tielwen sneered, and a flywheel flew over. It turned out that his pair of flywheels were connected by a fine steel chain. The flywheel could be held in his hand for close combat, or it could fly out to kill the opponent. Zhao Shabao and Tong Wuxin both turned backwards, avoiding the flywheel and dismounting. At the same time, the strategy was changed. One attacked the top and the other attacked the bottom. As soon as Hu Tielwen met, he could clearly feel that the two men's martial arts were quite strong and they were agile and changeable. He quickly jumped off the horse. He was too passive on the horse. Zhao Shabao specifically hit his horse's legs, which was very difficult. Entangled. Once off the horse, Hu Tielwen seemed to be at ease. The two flywheels forced Zhao Shabao and Tong Wuxin to dodge continuously, and they were at a disadvantage in the blink of an eye. Usually when encountering this kind of situation, the two of them would run away after a few tossing and turning. But now they have to protect Zhu Shaobao so they can't run away. Lu Tong and Lu Fang also saw that something was wrong. So they took a few steps back, loaded their bows with arrows, and shot them with bows and arrows from a distance. Their skills could only help Zhao Shabao and Tong Wuxin. Ying Xiaoxia whispered to Zhu Xiaobao, I'll hold Gao Taiwa, and you run towards the west gate, as long as the guards inside see you. They will come out to save you. Before Ying Xiaoxia could finish speaking, Zhu Xiaobao had already galloped away. Ying Xiaoxia quickly picked up her spear and wanted to kill Gao Taiwa. Chapter 89 The Whole Story A. Eh? How did Gedi Hua come to Xiyuan City? This matter must start with Hu Tielwen's failure to assassinate the 19th princess. After Hu Tielwen returned to the Imperial City, he immediately went to the 6th prince Xia Zixing to plead guilty. He had brought so many people with him and the assassination failed, which made him very frightened. Sure enough, his Highness Sixth Prince listened to Hu Tielwen's report with a sullen face and angrily shouted, Trash! There are so many people! But you can't kill a 19th princess? Why are you coming back? The 14th princess sitting next to her wanted to plead for Hu Tielwen. But now she didn't dare to speak. His Highness the Sixth Prince is very angry right now. Report to your Highness. 
I have tried my best. And I was sure of it. But who would have thought that Duan Mu Xilong would be among them? I didn't dare to use my weapons. So I was slapped by Zhao Shenlong. And those under my command also he is not Duan Mu Xilong's opponent. So that's why. Hu Chieloing quickly knelt down and explained. What? Duan Mu Xilong. I didn't expect them to take action. The seventh sister really takes care of this nineteenth sister. His Highness Sixth Prince sat down in surprise. He didn't expect that the seventh princess would pay such a high price to protect the nineteenth princess. It can be seen how important the business with the nineteenth princess is. So it is even more important to destroy the cooperation between them. And we cannot watch the seventh princess make a fortune unscrupulously. There is another strange thing. Is it worth talking about? Should I tell you? Hu Tielwin said hesitantly while kneeling there. Speak. His Highness the Sixth Prince said calmly. During the assassination process, my subordinates felt that Duan Mu Xilong was not protecting the 19th princess. But the little fat man, it seemed that he was the slave who was given to the 19th princess by the 14th princess. Hu Chielwen said hesitantly. When the 19th princess was knocked into the lotus pond, he saw it from a distance. And of course, he didn't pay much attention. So he was a little unsure whether it was the little fat man. Which little fat guy? Why does this matter have anything to do with me again? The 14th princess was stunned when she heard this. She had forgotten about this matter every year. The slaves who were beaten to death and maimed in her house every year too many. How could she remember these things? It's the slave who knocked the 19th princess into the lotus pond and was scolded by the high guard. He was fat. Utielowin tried to remind the 14th princess. Oh, I remembered. It was that slave. No, wasn't he beaten to death by Gao Tai Hua? He was out of breath at that time. So I handed him over to 19th sister? Someone. Give Gao Tai Hua call me Hua. The 14th princess finally remembered. And then thought it was impossible. So she simply called Gao Ai Hua to ask. As soon as Gao Tai Hua came in and heard about this. She was shocked and said. Impossible. My stick will break the heart of even a person who has practiced martial arts. And there is no way he can survive. You know. If it was her mistake. Wouldn't she be severely punished? The look on His Highness's face now is scary. High-speed iron flower is of course very certain. Not necessarily. Your Highness, some people's hard banes are on the right side. So they may survive the catastrophe. I also have a picture here, which was drawn by Wang Chang Jin based on his impression. His brother Wang Chang Sheng was affected by this. The little fat man was cut in half with a knife. So after he came back, he drew this picture, hoping to take revenge on the old man in the future. At this time, Hu Tielowin took out a piece of brocade silk from his arms. And it turned out to be I drew a portrait. It's just Zhu Xiaobao. It's so lifelike. This Wang Changjian also has a deep love for Zhu Xiaobao. So he painted it exactly. It's really him. How is this possible? Gao Taiwa stretched her head and looked. Said a little incredulously. Hmm. It's really that damn slave. I didn't expect that he is still alive? The 14th princess also recognized it. After all, Zhu Xiubao's appearance was easy to remember. Well, you mean Duan Mu Xilong was protecting him? Not the 19th princess? His Highness the 6th prince did not blame Gao Taiwa, but instead became thoughtful. Yes, yes, I'm sure. And that Wu Yu was very anxious when he saw this little fat man in danger. The same was true for several other Duan Mu Xilong people. They seemed to care about this little fat man very much. Fatty! Hu Chiyuan said emphatically again. Well, it's a bit strange. Little sister, think about it. Ever since this little fat guy arrived at the 19th princess's mansion, strange things have happened one after another. First, Wii U suddenly had a sword that was at least the 8th level peak. And then the 19th sister suddenly took it. They sell a lot of new things. And they even cooperate with Chimei to run the business. What's even weirder is that Chimei came to her house for dinner. And even had two meals in a row. Then I heard that the old ghost Duimuki also went to 19th Princess again. I've been to the house several times. Don't you think it's strange? His Highness the Sixth Prince asked a little doubtfully. Is it possible that this little fat guy is responsible for all the things that 19th Sister did? It's impossible. He has been with me for two years. And he can't do anything except eating? Otherwise, I wouldn't let him hit me. 19th Sister? To put it bluntly, we are asking him to die. Princess 14 said in disbelief. It's not difficult to find out. Come here. Find the blacksmith Huang. After clicking, he suddenly turned around and gave an order. It didn't take long for the Huang blacksmith to come. 
It was the Huang blacksmith who had been recruited into the mansion by the 19th princess some time ago. Because the 19th princess was going to Xiyuan City, he was unwilling to follow her to such a remote place. So he after leaving the 19th princess mansion, the 19th princess even gave him an extra month's salary before leaving. But I didn't expect that blacksmith Huang would defect to his highness the 6th prince. Firstly, his highness the 6th prince's house also needs a blacksmith of his level. Secondly, he also wanted to ask about the situation in the 19th princess's house. But blacksmith Huang did not provide any useful information after he arrived. Now being summoned by his highness 6th prince again, blacksmith Huang felt a little uneasy. He heard that his highness 6th prince was planning to send him to the army in Beatty County, where blacksmiths were in great need. Therefore, blacksmith Huang felt a little annoyed. He might as well follow the 19th princess to Xiyuan City. Beatty County was even more desolate than Xiyuan City. Blacksmith Huang, regarding the 19th princess, did you not tell the truth about something? His Highness the Sixth Prince asked calmly. But it sounded a little scary. No, Sixth Prince, I told you everything I knew. I even reported the truth about the girls around the princess. Upon hearing this, Blacksmith Huang immediately knelt down and shouted in panic. Is there anyone special, such as a certain slave, or that slave has done something particularly amazing? His Highness the Sixth Prince asked very calmly. As for the other slaves, there is nothing special. Oh, by the way, there is one strange thing. There is a slave who is good at couplets. For this reason, he even made a couplet with the princess, which shocked the whole audience. For this reason, he was spared a family trick. Huang Taijiang suddenly thought of Zhu Xiaobao and what he had done to his wife. He was in a very embarrassed state at that time. So even now, he was unwilling to mention it. Thing. Oh, tell me carefully. Remember, if you dare to hide even a little bit, I will make you never have to forge again in your life. Dead people can't forge? His Highness Sixth Prince suddenly became interested. But for one the blacksmith didn't report in time. And he was still very angry. Yes. Yes. I know it. And I will never hide it at all. This time, Blacksmith Huang no longer considered his own face. And told the whole story clearly. His. After hearing this, His Highness the Sixth Prince couldn't help but take a breath of air. He felt that he could match one of these couplets. If he had enough time, he might also be able to match two. But the first couplet written by Ji Zhishan, he is absolutely unmatchable, and can be said to be eternally absolute. See chapter 9 of this book for details. Ah? Uh? Is this the slave's right? How is it possible? You made this up. Right. The 14th princess was also shocked. Even though she is a fool, she has learned the basics of music. Chess calligraphy and painting since she was a child. Okay, the bad ones can still be sorted out. No, 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 princess, but everyone is present, and many people have seen it with their own eyes. And even if I want to make it up, I have to have this ability, Wong Blacksmith said with a sad face. Okay, you go down first, and then think about what else you haven't said. Come and get 50 tails of gold to reward Blacksmith Wong. As for Beatty County, you don't have to go. His Highness Sixth Prince is still very good at it. The person who went over people actually rewarded Blacksmith Huang, which immediately moved Blacksmith Huang to tears. Your Highness, there is one more thing. I don't know much, so I don't know if I should tell you. Huang Taijiang was trying hard to please His Highness the Sixth. So he said with fear, Speak quickly. No matter what it is, I will reward you. His Highness the Sixth Prince immediately shouted eagerly. After what happened with the couplet, that Zhu Xiaobao never ate in the servants' dining hall again. And the north side of the nursery where the princess was dressed was strictly prohibited from entry by idlers. And female guards were assigned to be on duty day and night. In the mansion, Li Taijiang was also recruited, and I don't know what he did. Anyway, after he came back, he looked incredulous and very excited. What's even more strange is that when the seventh princess came to the mansion for a banquet, the banquet was not held in the main hall, but went to the nursery. Duan Muki came here several times later. Every time he came, he went to the nursery and wondered what was there. At this moment, Blacksmith Huang revealed everything he knew and didn't know. Is that Blacksmith Lee still in the Imperial City? Find him quickly! His Highness, the Sixth Prince, was really quick in thinking and shouted immediately. No! He is an old man who followed the 19th Princess to Xiyuan City. The people who are left in the Imperial City now are all unimportant people. They should know about the same as me. 
Wong Blacksmith shook his head. He shook his head and said, Okay. Okay. Come here. Get another hundred tails of gold for Blacksmith Wong. Also, reward Xiao Lan for him. His Highness the Sixth Prince waved his hand and rewarded Blacksmith Wong heavily. Thank you. Sixth Prince. Blacksmith Wong was so happy that he couldn't even find the North. After Blacksmith Wong left happily, His Highness the Sixth Prince's face turned gloomy. He looked at the Fourteenth Princess and asked sinisterly, Tell me, what's going on? Chapter 90 The Whole Story B. The Fourteenth Princess almost sat on the ground, feeling extremely aggrieved. Thinking about it, it seemed that this was really the case. Ever since she made things difficult for the Nineteenth Princess once, and then threw the little fat man to her. She seemed to have been. Bad luck struck her. First she offended the seventh princess, then Gao Taiwa was defeated by Wu Yu, causing her to lose a large sum of money, and then she offended a big family for two pieces of soap. The most distressing thing was that recently her brotherly her spending money has also been controlled. Now that she thinks about it, it seems that it was all after she sent away that little fat man. I really don't know what's so special about this servant. Why don't I call the housekeeper and ask him carefully to find out his details? The 14th princess said a little helplessly. There were hundreds of servants in her house. I simply can't remember these trivial things. But now that His Highness the 6th prince was staring closely at him, he had no choice but to say aggrievedly. Although the 14th princess could not remember, the housekeeper knew all the treasures of the family. Otherwise, he would not have been able to do it for so long. When the 14th princess called him and met His Highness the 6th prince, the housekeeper immediately told the story of Zhu Shiba's origins. But there is nothing special about it. He also bought 30 slaves at one time from the slave market. It is ridiculous to say that the little treasures were given as gifts. Because no one wanted them after they were left on the market for three months, and they were returned every day. He had to eat and drink. So when the housekeeper was bargaining with the seller, he was given a free gift. In this way, Zhu Xiaobao arrived at the 14th princess mansion. When he arrived at the house, he was really useless. So he always did odd jobs. Moreover, even the servants in the house didn't like Zhu Xiaobao because he couldn't read eyes and was in a daze all day long. Well, I see. You did a good job. His Highness the Sixth Prince was not surprised. It was almost as he thought. He couldn't ask for any useful information. He waved his hand and dismissed the butler and then sat there in deep thought. Brother, how about I go to Nineteenth Sister and get this slave back? Princess Fourteenth asked cautiously. Want to come back? His Highness the Sixth Prince frowned at first. And then his eyes suddenly lit up. Yes, this is a way. Let's see how Nineteenth Sister reacts. If she refuses, it means there is something wrong. His Highness the Sixth Prince couldn't help but look at his sister. Not to mention, she could sometimes come up with some ideas. This made the Fourteenth Princess very excited. It was rare to get approval from her brother. And she could get more money for next month's expenses. Then what if Sister 19 really returned Zhu Xiaobao to us? Will she really bring him back? Princess 14 asked again. Bring it back? If it is true that 19's sister returned it without hesitation, then it means that our judgment was wrong. Just find a place where no one is around and kill her. Why bring her back? His Highness 6 Prince, he shook his head a little disdainfully. Princess, let me go. I want to see why I didn't kill him last time. Galtaiwa volunteered. Now that she is missing her right arm, she is always worried about falling out of favor. So she practices her left hand sword desperately and worked harder than before, trying her best to please the 14th princess. She did not want to lose her current status. Okay, Hu Tieloen, you are also going to go together and check out Duan Mu Xilong's actions. The seventh sister still refuses to let go of this place in Xiyuan City. His Highness Sixth Prince closed his eyes and said slowly, In fact, what he was most worried about was still the seventh princess. In this way, Hu Tielwen and Gao Aihua rushed to Shiyuan City without stopping. Then they found the mansion of the 19th princess. It happened to be a coincidence that when they came to see the 19th princess, it happened that Wu Yu had just gone out to look for Zhu Xiaobao. So they didn't meet her. Otherwise, Gao Taiwa wouldn't be sure. Can bear to take revenge. What? The 14th sister wants to get Zhu Xiaobao back? Why? The 19th princess couldn't help being shocked when she heard Gao Taiwa and Utilwin's intentions. But she still asked calmly. It's like this. The 14th princess has a new group of servants in her house some time ago. One of them is actually Zhu Xiubao's sister. She is very popular with the princess. 
she begged the princess to let them get together. My princess, he is also kind-hearted. So he asked me to take Chu Xiaobao back. The princess said that money is not an issue. And princess 19 can ask for the price. Gao Taiwa said the line she had compiled along the way very skillfully. Oh, sister 14 is so kind-hearted. She actually traveled thousands of miles just for a servant. Princess 19 was still judging the credibility of this statement. But now she immediately decided that it was a lie. Because the 14th princess has never been kind-hearted. Dozens of servants in her house are executed every year by the so-called family law. Yes, yes. Surely the 19th princess won't make it difficult for Zhu Xiaobao and his siblings to reunite. Right. Gao Taiwa actually used words to try to squeeze the 19th princess. If she doesn't give it, then she has no kindness and won't let her sister. Brother is reunited. Ha ha. But your trip is really in vain. Zhu Xiaobao is no longer a slave. I have eliminated his slave status with King Wen. Now he is more willing to be a commoner here. I feel very good about it. If the fourth sister is so kind-hearted, she might as well send Zhu Xiaobao's sister over so that they can be reunited. Likewise, the price is whatever she wants. Princess 19 said with a faint smile, and instead asked Princess 14 to send her away. Come here. Ah? It's impossible. Zhu Xiaobao didn't go into battle to kill the enemy. With 50 heads gathered, how could it be possible to eliminate the slave status? Gao Taiwa couldn't help but exclaimed. Is there anything impossible? Do you still need to interfere with King Wen's work? Princess 19 said with a serious face. Don't dare. It's just against the rules. Gao Taiwa quickly lowered his head. After all, the status of the 19th princess was much more noble than hers. Being able to see her also gave the 14th princess face. Humph. Rules? As far as I know. You, Gao Taiwa, were slaves before. And I haven't seen you in 50 heads. Didn't you eliminate the slave status with His Highness the 6th Prince? Now you actually dare to accuse others? Then the ninth princess snorted coldly. It turned out that Gao Taiwa was also born as a slave. So she tried her best to please the 14th princess and practice martial arts. It finally took 10 years to get the appreciation of the 14th princess and take her to the fiefdom of His Highness the 6th Prince to eliminate Got the Slave Mark. Why else would Gao Taiwa be so devoted to the 14th princess? She was just a slave. In that case, I'll take my leave. Hu Tielwen saluted quickly and said. Now that the situation had changed, he immediately made a decision not to offend the 19th princess first. Say goodbye first and think of a solution later. Since Yu Xiaobao has eliminated his slave status, it will be difficult to handle. After coming out of the 19th princess, Hu Tielwen and Gao Taiwa both understood that this Yu Xiaobao was definitely a key figure. Otherwise, the 19th princess would not have eliminated his slave status through King Wen. How much face would it be? But how can we know the whereabouts of Zhu Xiaobao now? As a last resort, Hu Tielowen had no choice but to use the spy arranged by His Highness the Sixth Prince for the 19th princess. Speaking of which, His Highness the Sixth Prince took precautions and arranged for people to be at the 19th princess's house early. And the status is not low. It was Xiu Tsui who brought a group of domestic slaves to bully Zhu Xiaobao when he and Zhu Xiaobao first came here. Otherwise, His Highness the Sixth Prince would have already known about it when Blacksmith Huang arrived at the 19th Princess's house. It's just that Xiao Tsui lost Wu Yu's favor after being punished by Manager Wu, and later followed her to Xiyuan City. Wu Yu didn't need anyone to serve her, because every female guard was equipped with soap, so Wu Yu even washed her own clothes. Due to manpower shortage, Xiao Tsui was assigned to the laundry club to help the male soldiers wash their clothes. Each barracks has such a group of logistics personnel. So Xiao Tsui was unable to provide any useful information later. But she was always able to receive the salary from His Highness the Sixth Prince. Now Hu Tielowen could only use this spy. And Xiao Chui was originally very resentful and jealous of Wu Yu. Wu Yu later felt that Xiao Chui was too coquettish and deliberately asked her to go to the laundry club to hammer chains. Changing her temperament. Xiao Tsui was very jealous of Wu Yu. Thinking that she could achieve great success early and then become a maid in the residence of His Highness Sixth Prince. This was also the condition agreed upon at the beginning. Hu Tielwen and Gao Tianhua seemed to be at ease, but they were actually observing the barracks of the 19th Princess. Although they couldn't get close, they could still see some on the periphery. Then, they found signs that only he could recognize along the way. Soon I saw Xiao Tsui by the river. Xiao Tsui secretly took advantage of the opportunity and came to Hu Tielwen. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chui actually knew a lot about Zhu Xiaobao. Not because of gathering intelligence, 
but because she was very envious of those female soldiers. And at the same time, she knew a lot about Zhu Xiaobao from what she had heard and seen. Zhu Xiaobao used to live in the 19th princess's mansion. But no one knew about it. Now that he lives in the female barracks, his whereabouts can no longer be concealed. Coincidentally, when they went out to wash clothes today, they happened to see Zhu Xiaobao and others heading towards the west gate. At that time, Xiao Chui was still upset. She didn't expect that the slave, who was once the least favored, would now lead people on horseback and ride out of the city at will. This made Xiao Chui feel very envious and jealous. It seems that his current situation is like this because of Zhu Xiaobao. Out of the West City Gate? That's great. God is helping me. Gao Taiwa couldn't help but get excited. In Shiyuan City, she didn't dare to act recklessly. But once she left the city, there was nothing to be afraid of. In this way, Hu Tianwen and Gao Tianhua chased them out of the West Gate. However, after they came out, they were a little confused and didn't know which direction to pursue. So they could only run out of the observation range of the city gate guards and wait for Zhu Xiaobao to come back. Wu Yu, on the other hand, went to the female barracks with a tight chest. After training the new recruits for a while, she was a little absent-minded. She was scolded by the military manager. We returned to the princess listlessly and reported to the princess. No copper was found. Wu Xin, she and Zhu Xiaobao left the west city gate. The princess asked her to have a good relationship with Tong Wu Xin. This task was not completed. So Wu Yu came to report anyway. In fact, she was uneasy and wanted to talk to the 19th princess. What? Zhu Xiaobao left the west city gate? This damn little fat guy doesn't let me worry at all. Wu Yu, hurry up. Hurry up. Chase them. Gao Taiwa and the others just came here and want to get Zhu Xiaobao back. I'm afraid that the little treasures will be in danger. Princess 19 was immediately frightened when she heard this and hurriedly said to Wu Yu, What? I'm going right now. Chapter 91, Nirvana. Aang Xiuxiu held guns in both hands and launched an attack on Gao Taiwa first. She knew that her martial arts skills were not as good as Gao Taiwa, but she wanted to try her best to delay time so that Zhu Xiaobao could take the opportunity to escape. The spear in Aang Xiuxiu's hand trembled, and the three spear points immediately attacked the upper three paths of Gao Taiwa. This was already Aang Xiuxiu's most powerful move. Oomph. You don't overestimate your own capabilities. Gao Taiwa deflected Ying Xiuxiu's spear with a casual slash. At the same time, he jumped up high and slashed at Ying Xiuxiu in midair. Ying Xiuxiu was afraid of her sword and did not dare to resist. She swung her spear smoothly and used the spear as a club to sweep over her. She must attack him and save him. If Gao Taihu ignores him, he can certainly kill Ying Xiuxiu, but he will still have to be hit by Ying Xiuxiu in his turn. Of course, Gao Taiwa would not let Ying Xiuxiu be hit. She dodged in the air, withdrew the sword, and then kicked her right leg horizontally, knocking Ying Xiuxiu off the horse with one kick. The whole process took less than 10 seconds. Seconds. Gao Taiwa didn't care about Ying Xiuxiu at all, but got back on the horse, turned the horse's head, and chased after Zhu Xiaobao. It turns out that she had seen through Ying Xiuxiu's plan a long time ago, and Zhu Xiaobao was her target. Now that Zhu Xiaobao has run out more than 20 meters, Gao Taiwa is a little anxious. If he runs further, he may be seen by the officers and soldiers guarding the city. Wu Xiaobao, do you dare to run? Stop for me! Gao Taiwa shouted loudly while urging the horse desperately. Gao Taiwa, don't chase me. Believe it or not, I'll shoot you to death with one arrow. Zhu Xiaobao shouted in panic. He had just started riding and felt that he couldn't run fast no matter what and he was knocked forward and backward. Humph! You can't even ride a horse! And you still want to run? Gao Taiwa immediately felt relieved. One look at Zhu Xiubao's riding skills revealed that he was not very skilled yet, and was staggering around. Damn it! You should run faster! Zhu Xiaobao was sweating profusely, and patted the horses but desperately. Seeing that the high-speed iron flower has caught up, it is only 10 meters away. In a panic, Zhu Xiaobao took out the sleeve crossbow given to him by Zhao Xianbao. He turned his head and couldn't aim. So he shot an arrow in the general direction. Gao Taiwa was already very confident. But suddenly Zhu Xiaobao turned around and shot a crossbow arrow. Although it was not very accurate. It was past her ear. Gao Taiwa was shocked. She didn't expect that Zhu Xiaobao actually had this thing on him. The high-speed rail horse also has a bow and arrow on its back. But she wants to catch someone alive and doesn't dare to shoot. Now she is a little afraid of Zhu Xiaobao. Being so close. 
Who knows if he will catch an arrow. Seeing this crossbow arrow actually made Gao Tai Hua pause. And Zhu Xiaobao desperately urged the horse under his crotch. And he still had to run. Seeing that Gao Tai Hua was chasing closer again. Zhu Xiaobao turned around and fired another crossbow arrow. This made Gao Tai Hua very depressed. But then she felt relieved. This kind of sleeve crossbow can only have two arrows at most. Now Zhu Xiaobao all of them were shot out. And Gao Tai Hua started to pursue at full speed. At the critical moment, Zhu Xiaobao saw a war horse galloping from the West City Gate. The person on the horse looked so familiar and friendly. All the little treasures were almost moved to tears. Sister, save me! Gao Tai Hua wants to kill me! Zhu Xiaobao hugged the horse's neck and shouted desperately. Will you? Gao Tai Hua thought Zhu Xiaobao was bluffing. But when she looked forward, a war horse actually appeared. The man on the horse was Wu Yu, whom she hated the most. Xiao Bao, come here. You scared me to death. Wu Yu was very excited when she heard Zhu Xiaobao's voice. She had never thought that she cared so much about Zhu Xiaobao's safety. When she was on the horse just now, Wu Yu was so anxious that she almost cried. I didn't expect to fall short. Wu Yu, you really deserve to die. Gao Tai Hua slowed down. It was impossible to catch up with Zhu Xiaobao now. She wanted to kill Wu Yu first. Zhu Xiaobao finally found his relatives. He ran behind Wu Yu and reined in his horse. He pointed at Gao Tai Bao angrily and shouted, She is the one who wants to kill me! Yeah, yeah! Go kill her! I almost didn't kill her. I'm scared to death! Wu Yu couldn't help laughing. Zhu Xiaobao looked like a child who had found support. His movements were exaggerated and ridiculous. But Wu Yu felt warm in her heart. Originally, she regarded Zhu Xiaobao as someone who needed protection. Ha ha! Zhu Xiaobao! Do you think you have found a backer? Today I will show you how I killed her! Gao Taiwa said with a cold smile. Although she was speaking to Zhu Xiaobao, her eyes were fierce, staring at Wu Yu. Oof! I really regret that I didn't kill you in one thought. In fact, Xiaobao asked me to kill you in the first place. Wu Yu also looked at Gao Taiwa coldly. Her current aura is stable. And she is completely different from when she competed. I just want to rely on your sword. Let me tell you. I cared too much about this sword at the beginning. Today, I will never make the same mistake again. Gao Taiwa jumped off the horse. Pulled out the sword. Murderous aura burst out from all over her body. She wants to avenge her broken arm. Will you also jumped off the horse. Her eyes were full of excitement. How much her martial arts had improved. She really wanted to find an opponent to try. Now Gao Taiwa actually came to her door on her own initiative. This made Wu Yu very excited. Excited? Okay. I won't win you with a sword. This way you can be convinced that you lose. But the price of losing is that you have to keep your life. Wu Yu also drew out the sword. Ha! Huh. Just what I wanted. Wu Yu. You may not know it. But I am already a second level warrior. Although I am not as good as those masters. I am still more than enough to kill you. What Gao Taiwa is most afraid of is Wu Yu's Bao Dao. When Wu Yu said this, he was immediately full of confidence, and even calculated how many moves he should be able to kill Wu Yu. At this time, Wu Yu felt the skirt of her clothes behind her being pulled, and then heard Zhu Xiaobao whispering, You must be careful. I don't want my wife to lose a hair. Do you want me to talk to you? Join forces? Go away. Who is your wife? Wu Yu's face turned red. She scoffed a little angrily, and she threw Zhu Xiaobao away. Suffer death. Gao Taiwa unexpectedly launched the attack first. But what she didn't expect was that Gao Taiwa suddenly discovered that Wu Yu's very strange footwork actually appeared on her right side. Originally, Gao Taiwa wanted to take the opportunity to take Zhu Xiaobao with her and give her a knife. But she didn't expect that this Zhu Xiaobao would be killed. Xiaobao dodged strangely. Although his movements were ugly, he managed to dodge far away in a swaying manner. But at this time, Gao Taiwa could no longer think too much. Wu Yu's knife had already been slashed horizontally. Immediately afterwards, Gao Taiwa realized that she had no upper hand and was very passive because she was not adaptable at all. He couldn't stand Wu Yu's weird footwork. Impossible. What kind of sword skill is this? How could you possibly know this kind of movement skill? Gao Taiwa was already in disarray and he was simply defending passively. On the left, Gao Taiwa, the left side is going to be stabbed. On the right side? This time it's the right side. Oh, why don't you believe me? Zhu Xiaobao was still making trouble for Gao Taihua on the side. And Gao Taihua was so angry that she really wanted to vomit blood. If you don't believe him, 
It was really a slash from the right side. Just believe him. How could you Xiao Bao help him? Damn slave. Shut up. Gao Taiwa shouted angrily. Gao Taiwa. Do you understand? It's time to end now. Will you stopped at this time and asked calmly. Okay. Let's see who dies. Gao Taiwa gritted her teeth and shouted. Knowing that she could only fight quickly. Use the strongest move to kill Wu Yu quickly. Otherwise she wouldn't be able to adapt to Wu Yu's footwork. Seven consecutive slashes. Gao Taiwa yelled wildly. And then her sword slashed seven times in succession like a storm. This was also her most relied upon trick. Dang. 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 With three crisp collision sounds. Wu Yu calmly swung away the three swords. With the next four swords. Gao Taiwa simply lost his target. Nirvana. Just when Gao Taiwa had a gut feeling that something was wrong, Wu Yu suddenly appeared behind and to the left of him. And with a slight shout, Lung Yu's sword was not far from his head and neck. Gao Taiwa raised her left arm and raised her sword to resist. But Wu Yu's sword was so powerful that Gao Taiwa felt a little strange. But at this time, Gao Taiwa discovered in horror that Wu Yu actually had an extra dagger in his left hand. And Wu Yu did not take action immediately. After a slight pause, she saw that the dagger suddenly changed direction and deviated a few times. Inch. Cut upward from the armpit of her left arm. Ah! Gao Taiwa screamed. Her left arm was also cut off by Wu Yu. And this time it became a human stick. Wu Yu jumped away lightly without a drop of blood being splashed on her body. And then just looked at the Geti Hua quietly. Wu Yu? You destroyed two of my arms. You have to die. Gao Taiwa was rolling on the ground in pain and howling in despair. Well, I forgot to tell you that my martial arts has reached the level of a first level warrior. It's much easier to deal with a second level warrior like you with few arms than I thought. Will you seem to remember it at this time? Said lightly. At this time, General Wu also arrived from the west gate with 500 soldiers. And Hu Tianwen also got rid of the entanglement of Zhao Shibao and Tong Wuxin and rushed over quickly. Seeing Gao Taiwan kneeling on the ground, covered in blood, Hu Tianwen felt a chill in his heart. It was over. This time the mission had failed again. He didn't expect Gao Taiwa to be killed so easily by Wu Yu. I thought that Gao Taiwa would still have the upper hand even if he couldn't kill Wu Yu. But now it seems that it was simply an instant kill. Hu Tianwen, you just met the 19th princess and you came here to kill people. It seems a bit unreasonable. You should give us an explanation. Right. Manager Wu snorted coldly. Humph. You too. I'm disrespectful. I didn't expect Wan Mu Xilong's people to be bodyguards for a slave. Wan Mu Qi is really a good trick. Hu Tianwen said this to Zhao Shibao and Tong Wuxin. Slave? Have you ever seen such an awesome slave? What's more? Xiao Bao is no longer a slave. He is my brother. Zhao Shibao replied with a smile. But his words made Zhu Xiaobo's heart warm. And even Tong Wuxin nodded and looked at Zhu Xiaobao with concern. Okay. If you want an explanation, I'll give you an explanation. Hu Tianwen picked up Gao Tiawa's knife and then looked at Gao Taiwa with some pity. At this time, Gao Tiawa's face was pale and she could no longer hold on any longer. She had lost too much blood and was about to die, but his eyes were still full of the desire to survive. He looked at Hu Tianwen pleadingly. Forget it. Your life has no meaning anymore. I'll give you a good time. After Hu Tianwen said, he stabbed Gao Tianwen with his backhand. Gao Tianwen's head immediately flew up high still widening in fear in midair. Eyes. Chapter 92 Full Support Seeing Gao Tiawa's head rolled down to the feet of Chief Wu, Hu Chilin wiped the blood on the knife on Gao Tiawa's headless body, and then asked coldly, Is this explanation enough? Just wait. This matter is not over yet. After Hu Tiawin finished speaking, he got on his horse and walked away with Gao Tiawin's sword. General Manager Wu didn't stop him. Even such a master couldn't stop him. Besides, this matter has already been explained. Wu Yu felt a little regretful at this time. Just killing Gao Taiwa with one knife was okay. She felt soft-hearted for a moment. But instead made Gao Taiwa suffer a second blow. Which was even more painful. Unknowingly, Zhu Xiubao's hand had held Wu Yu's hand. Everyone, go back. Xiao Bao, you come with me to see the princess. Manager Wu asked people to bury Gao Taiwa's body and head. And find a place to bury her. After all, the person is dead. And all the grievances have been resolved. It just disappeared. Wu Yu kept holding Zhu Xiaobo's hand, fearing that he would be irritated again. But to Wu Yu's surprise, Zhu Xiaobao behaved very calmly and quite calmly. On the contrary, 
Wu Yu was a little scared. If he came by himself if you are a little late, the consequences will be disastrous. Indeed, Zhu Xiaobao is very calm now. The facts before him prove that he can no longer hide his things. And his carefree life is over. There will only be more to come. But Zhu Xiaobao is no longer afraid. Because fear is useless. And Zhu Xiaobao has now adapted to the life of this era and has his own friends. He is even more convinced that he will be able to make a difference in this era with his talents. What we need to do now is to cooperate deeply with Princess 19. He needs the help of the 19th Princess. And the 19th Princess also needs his help. Xiao Bao, I'm sorry. I was negligent this time. I thought it would be safe for you to live in the female barracks. But I underestimated them. And I didn't expect you to leave the city. Princess 19 was very sincere. When he arrived at the small BMW, he took the initiative to say age, low and express his apology. It's not your fault. I should have thought of it earlier. In fact, I was already doing this. I just wanted to find a safe place when I left the city. Fortunately, Wu Xian found a perfect place for me. Zhu Xiaobao smiled, he smiled and said. In fact, he didn't like the serious look of the princess. But he still liked her when she paid on credit. A little cunning, but still innocent. Oh, you want to leave? You want to leave me? Princess 19 suddenly felt very uncomfortable as if she had been gradually alienated recently. And even Chief Wu came less frequently. Of course, she always comforted herself by thinking that the military commander was busy reorganizing and training the army. In fact, she knew that it was her relationship with Xia Zixiu that made her gradually neglect the people around her. I don't want to leave you, but to cooperate more deeply with the princess. I need your manpower and craftsmen, as well as the supply of materials. And I can help you solve the problem of money and food. So we complement each other and are mutually beneficial. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and said, after he found the cave heaven paradise, he had already started planning how to cooperate with the 19th princess. After what happened with Gao Taihua, he decided to build Dong Tian paradise into his own territory and develop his own strength at the same time. Money and food? Princess 19 suddenly became energetic, but she also asked doubtfully, Only soap and tea? No. Although soap is very profitable, it can only be achieved by controlling the supply. It is not a long-term solution. In other words, even if there is no soap, others will still have no loss. Just like toilet paper. If there is no more, there will be no loss. It's just inconvenient at most. What I want to do is a business that can sustainably make profits. And it can also solve many problems in Xiyuan City. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and said, What is that? How do you need me to cooperate? Princess 19 was a little moved. The most troublesome thing now is the supply of food. The food for her troops needs to be buried at her own expense. The cost in this area is really too great. I haven't thought about what to do specifically, but I need to solve the safety problem first. So I need the princess to provide me with enough manpower and craftsmen. Also at this stage, I'll observe some people, and I hope the princess can a sold it to me. I need someone of my own who can protect my paradise. This is also necessary to keep the secret. Zhu Xiaobao came up with this plan after careful consideration. Huh? How many servants do you need to buy? Princess 19 asked alertly upon hearing this. It was no problem to provide labor and craftsmen. But Zhu Xiaobao still wanted his own people. Which made her a little worried. He, he! Don't worry. As long as you can help me with some things and help me protect the cave heaven paradise. That'll be fine. There are almost 200 people. You know I don't know martial arts. Zhu Xiaobao took a look and found that it was true. It aroused the alertness of the 19th princess. So she said with a smile, Can't I assign a bodyguard for you? Princess 19 did not want Zhu Xiaobao to escape her control. So she was still unwilling to let him develop his own people. Princess, think about it. If you stay with me for a long time, you are no different from my own people. If you rotate frequently, then why keep it secret? Don't you think so? Zhu Xiaobao still asked with a smile. Okay, let's talk about this later. First, build your cave paradise quickly and help me solve the trouble in front of me as soon as possible. Princess 19 waved her hand and said, still did not agree to Zhu Xiaobao's request to develop his own manpower. Okay, then I'll go back and plan carefully first. Then we'll start construction. Zhu Xiaobao didn't say much. Anyway, he could develop his own manpower through other ways. He was not in a hurry. What he cared about was the loyalty of the person he found. In the next three days, 
Zhu Xiaobao barely slept. He wrote and drew on paper all day long. The houses and processing workshops he wanted to build were too big. And there were not just one or two, but several. They are in several places in Dong Tian Paradise. The connections must also be considered very carefully. Dong Tian Paradise has not been idle these days. Two huge brackets have been erected with several pulleys fixed on them. Because all the building materials are hoisted from the cliff near the sea. This once again demonstrated Zhu Xiubao's extraordinary wisdom. With a few pulleys, he was able to hoist heavy cargo boxes easily. And there were not many people needed. Everyone present was very surprised and couldn't figure out why they could lift such a heavy container. Of course, no one else would know about the hidden hole. And all the craftsmen were hoisted up while sitting in boxes. Of course, in order to show his sincerity, Zhu Xiaobao still told Princess 19th, Wu Yu, and Chief Wu about the entrance of the cave, and even built a very small boat to take them into the entrance of the cave, and then went up to the halfway point. He went to see the blessed land on the mountainside. He divided his place into two parts. The one in the cave was called Dong Tian, and the open area halfway up the mountain was called Blessed Land. Well, this place is very safe, but loading and unloading goods is very troublesome. Princess 19 was also surprised that Zhu Xiaobao could find such a good place and couldn't help but sigh. Well, it's not safe enough. The hole still needs someone to hold a hand. And some mechanisms must be built so that I can rest assured. Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. This had already been within the scope of his plan. Returning to her own mansion, the 19th princess summoned General Manager Wu and Wu Yu to discuss with them whether Zhu Xiaobao should be allowed to develop his own manpower. The 19th princess was still very reluctant. I think we should let him develop on his own. His ability far exceeds our imagination. Our relationship with him can only be cooperation. Not controlling him. Director Wu was silent for a while, and then said slowly. Then how about choosing some people from our Wu family for him? Princess 19 was still worried, and wanted to send her own people. This will only make him resentful. And what he needs is a slave. After all, a slave is easier to manage and more loyal. Manager Wu shook his head and said, Okay, okay, let him choose when the time comes. Princess 19 shouted angrily. Ha ha, princess, since you are by your side, what are you worried about? Zhu Xiaobao and you are still very close. Manager Wu said with a smile at this time. Whoever wants to get close to him will be annoyed when he sees him. Wu Yu curled her lips and shouted. Well, that's fine. Let Wu Yu help him choose some slaves. Let's choose from the female military camp. Princess 19 finally figured it out. Yes, Wu Yu and she are like sisters. In the same way, Zhu Xiaobao is still his own person. Huh? Are they all selected from the female military camp? Isn't that a country of girls? Wu Yu asked in surprise. Then what should we do? Are we going to choose half of the male soldiers? Isn't that a good match? If they are not all male soldiers, I think there is no problem. Princess 19 said angrily. Psychologically speaking, she still likes female soldiers. If male soldiers are left unsupervised, the living environment will be very messy. And male soldiers are not as patient as female soldiers. Female soldiers are more suitable for long-term garrison in Dong Tian Paradise. Okay, I will keep an eye on it. Wu Yu thought about it. If the blessed land was full of male soldiers, it would be inconvenient to go there by herself. When His Highness the Sixth Prince saw Hu Tielwen again, he couldn't bear it anymore and slapped him twice. Idiot! What an idiot! Why don't you come back and report such a big thing to me first? Nineteenth sister actually for the sake of a slave, begging the second brother to remove his slave mark. Don't you think about what this means? This shows that these little treasures are very important. I am sure that the things that the nineteenth sister made are all these little treasures. You made the decision without permission and went to arrest people? Idiot! Idiot! Yes! I was just greedy for success. So I thought of catching him directly, but I didn't expect that there were always two people of Duan Mushi along beside her. And I didn't expect that you could kill him easily. High speed iron flower. Hu Tielwen didn't dare to raise his head as he lay on the ground. Now that he thought about it, what he did was too reckless. Siajner, this bitch, actually dares to kill my people? She is getting more and more courageous. The 14th princess shouted angrily at this time. Unexpectedly, Gedi who had died like this. Humph. Why would you keep a loser like this? His Highness the Sixth Prince snorted coldly, and then said to Utiloan, Go and spread the word to me. Just say that all the things of the 19th sister are like this. It was Zhu Xiaobao who did it. 
Moreover, Zhu Xiaobao was still my fourteenth sister's slave, and the nineteenth princess forcibly took her away. His Highness Sixth Prince thought for a while, and then said to Utielwen in a sinister tone, Your Highness is wise. If this happens, Zhu Xiaobao will probably be in big trouble. Even the nineteenth princess will not be able to live in peace. Hu Tielwen expressed his admiration for his highness six. Huh? Now that you have caught my attention, don't even think about having a peaceful life. His highness the sixth prince also sneered proudly. Chapter 93 First Sight of Scale A In the blink of an eye, more than ten days have passed. Except for the increased precautions in the female barracks. Nothing else happened. Degree but Zhu Xiaobao is very busy. And he is indispensable everywhere. From time to time, I would go to Don Tian Paradise to see how the construction progress of the craftsman was going. However, according to Zhu Xiubao's requirements, the construction of these craftsmen went very smoothly, and they were also able to add some necessary decorations based on their own experience, such as carved beams and painted roofs, and various carvings on the roof, which were very beautiful. In Zhu Xiubao's processing room, he bought 3,000 kilograms of red sorghum at once, all with his own money. He knew that the 19th princess had little money now. So he was waiting for the 7th princess to sell the tea. The profits are being sent to her. The sorghum is spread out on a simple wine pot until it is no longer raw inside and slightly blooming on the outside. This ensures that the sorghum is completely ripe. Then it was time to replenish the sorghum with enough water. Zhu Xiaobao directly handed it over with boiled water. Then comes the cooling down. When the cooked sorghum has cooled to 35 degrees, which is about the same as human body temperature. Add the koji in proportion and mix thoroughly. Finally, it was put into a dozen large wooden barrels and sealed. These tasks can be completed directly at the current location. Are you making that kind of wine? Tong Wuxin saw Zhu Xiubao's processing and immediately knew that he was going to make wine. Huh? I didn't expect you to understand this. Sister, do you want to try that strong wine from last time? Zhu Xiaobao asked a little surprised. Really? Okay. Can you really make that kind of strong liquor? Tong Wuxin shouted very excitedly. It should be about the same. Alas, there is a shortage of manpower now. There are not many people I can trust. So sometimes, I have to trouble Sister Wuxin to help me personally. Zhu Xiaobao sighed and said, How about I introduce you to some people? Don't worry. As long as you can trust me, you can trust them. And many of them are good at making wine. There are also a dozen little girls who also know some martial arts. Tong Wuxin was a little tentative asked. Who are they? Did you pick them up somewhere? Zhu Xiaobao asked a little worried. Hack you. You really deserve a beating just like Wu Yu said. Tong Wuxin scolded a little annoyed. But she was quite happy in her heart. She was really the one who could talk and laugh with her. Too little. And the relationship between Tong Wuxin and Wu Yu is very good now. The two of them practiced martial arts together when they were still fine. Which made Wu Yu's Kung Fu a step further. How many people are there? And what did they do before? I don't raise idle people. Except for Sister Wuxin. Of course. Zhu Xiaobao still looked embarrassed. Humph. I want to help you. But I don't want to bring others here. They are all my mother's people. Although their slave contracts are gone. They are now in Mr. Duanmu's name. But in fact they are my people. I was captured by the Copper Dragon and brought to the island with my mother. Later, the Seventh Princess destroyed this group of pirates and these people followed Mr. Duanmu with me. In fact, Mr. Duanmu also had some business in the seventh princess's fiefdom. The main purpose is to give these people a place to live and eat. Tong Wuxin said a little dully. The last thing Tong Wuxin wanted to mention was to mention her parents. Her father was the pirate leader Tong Jiao, and her mother was a young lady from a wealthy family who was captured on the island, and eventually became Tong Jiao's wife. In the end, he was killed by Tong Jiu himself. Therefore, Tong Wuxin is most reluctant to mention his life experience. Uh-huh. I didn't expect you to be a rich woman. There are so many servants around you. You also have a lot of money. Zhu Xiaobao teased heartlessly. Go away. I should really fix you like Wu Yu did. Tong Wuxin couldn't help but imitate Wu Yu and use swear words. He couldn't remain reserved with this little fat man. Okay. Okay. Then bring them all. I need someone right now. When will you go back? Zhu Xiaobao said quickly. Tong Wuxin's martial arts was even higher than Wu Yu's, so he didn't dare to be too presumptuous. Go back? No need. I'll send a letter to Mr. Duanmu. That's it. Tong Wuxin was stunned for a moment, and then confidently said, 
She informed Mr. Duanmu through a flying pigeon. That's it. Zhu Xiaobao didn't expect this. During this time, Wu Yu was also helping Zhu Xiaobao find suitable candidates. In fact, Zhu Xiaobao's requirements for martial arts are not high. But his requirements for character are very high. Wu Yu now knows his thoughts very well. So she observes in secret very carefully. But Wu Yu also added some of his own ideas. The candidates he was looking for were all average looking and could not be too beautiful. The three of them, such as Ying Xiaoxiao, Lu Tong, and Lu Fang, were the choices that Wu Yu was very upset about. They should not have been chosen in the first place. Let them take care of Zhu Xiaobao. Now the three girls are getting more and more beautiful. Which really makes Wu Yu very worried. Especially Ying Xiaoxiao. Why did her breasts grow bigger? It's okay. Why are you trying so hard to gain so much meat? In fact, Ying Xiaoxiao's performance is quite hard. These days, together with Lu Tong and Lu Fang, she has helped Zhu Xiaobao process and make another 500,000 pieces of toilet paper. Shouldn't she also withdraw this from the market? So in return, Zhu Xiaobao first gives Princess 19 something that can make quick profits. After all, these craftsmen and the female guards who help with the work are all sent by the 19th princess. But what Zhu Xiaobao didn't expect was, these female guards actually fought hard to get their talents to help. It turned out that they all wanted to help Zhu Xiaobao with some work. Everyone knows that working here at Zhu Xiaobao not only means good food, but also has many benefits. This made manager Wu very embarrassed. In the end, he chose some female guards who were familiar with Zhu Xiaobao. Director Wu didn't even dare to tell the princess about this. In the seventh princess's fiefdom, the seventh princess is listening happily to the reports of her servants. This month's income is quite good. She has built a new warship, and it is the largest one. It is equipped with crossbows and catapults. That's one third more than the original flagship. I heard that Gao Taihua was killed by Wu Yu. I really underestimated this Wu Yu. What's even more unexpected is that this time the incident is actually related to that little fat man. Alas, I should have thought of those ingenious mechanisms a long time ago. It's this little fat man's work. Otherwise, 19th sister wouldn't have asked the second brother to eliminate his slave status. The seventh princess said with a little regret, The news released by his highness, the second highness has reached the ears of the seventh princess. Actually, there is nothing to be upset about. Even if you knew it at the beginning, would you still forcefully beg this little fat man? And no one would have thought that such a genius is actually a slave. Duan Muchi also didn't know how to digest this matter. It was really unexpected. Although he had always thought highly of Zhu Xiaobao, it still exceeded his expectations because he was carrying a letter in his arms. Not to mention other things, Duan Muchi was stunned to see the piece of paper on which the letter was sent. What kind of thing is this? It is so easy to use, and it folds better than brocade silk. Even more compact. Can I not be upset? Nineteenth sister is taking out the things now. I can't put them down after using them. Isn't this challenging my curiosity? Just take that jade square leaf. And it's another it's a hot commodity. Who would use royal square leaves to relieve themselves now? The seventh princess exclaimed a little annoyed. Why did she miss such a talent? Ahem. After all, this is something external to the body. This is him. Duan Muchi blushed. The seventh princess even talked about such an obscure topic. One can imagine how satisfied she is with this jade square leaf. Moreover, Duan Muki himself found it much more convenient. Moreover, the price of the 19th princess is only one tail of silver and one knife, which is only 10 copper coins per piece. But now the price of the seventh princess has directly increased five times, which is 50 tails of silver per knife. 50 copper plates are a bit expensive for one convenience. Duan Muchi, you should think of a solution quickly. How can I get these little treasures over to me? The seventh princess shouted a little annoyed. Princess. In fact, the nineteenth princess has been very dedicated to you. She has sent you everything, which is already very good. Do you have to bring Zhu Xiaobao over? I'm afraid it will be counterproductive. The nineteenth princess helped him get rid of his slavery. If you want to use such a great favor for yourself, I'm afraid he will be hostile. Duan Muchi said cautiously. Oh, forget it. I don't understand this truth. But I'm just a little jealous. The seventh princess finally regained her senses and said, Then waved her hand. You go out first. By the way, take the nineteenth sister's send the prophets as soon as possible. And ask if the next batch of jade square leaves can be sent quickly. And how many can be sent? Yes. I take my leave. Duan Muchi respectfully withdrew. And then wiped the sweat from his forehead. 
I frowned in my heart. Zhu Xiaobao. Zhu Xiaobao. Why don't you keep a low profile and insist on producing so many things? Don't you know that a big tree attracts the wind? I'm afraid it's already a crisis. Duan Muki summoned all Tong Wuxian servants together and explained the situation. They were very happy to hear that they could return to the young lady, especially the dozen or so maids, who were all Tong Wuxian's mothers. Those rescued on the island not only saved their lives, but also kept their innocence. At that time, those pirates could not escape bad luck regardless of their age, as long as they were women. It was Tong Wuxian's mother who told Tong Jiao that she needed some servant girls around her. She had already given birth to Tong Wuxin at that time. So Tong Ju happily agreed. These maids have been serving Tong Wuxin since childhood. Later, they also learned some martial arts. But their qualifications were average. So Tong Wuxin didn't take them with him. Duan Muqi also took a risk this time. Instead of reporting the matter to the seventh princess, he asked these people to go with a ship to Xiyuan City to find their destination. At the same time, Duan Muki wrote another letter to Zhao Shenlong and asked these people to take it. When Zhu Xiaobao boarded the Cave Heaven Paradise again, his eyes lit up. It had only been less than a month, and the Cave Heaven Paradise had already begun to take shape. Chapter 94 First Side of Scale B Zhu Xiaobao's house was built in the center of the Blessed Land. It has two floors, but there is also a viewing floor more than 4 meters high on the second floor, which is almost 60 or 70 square meters. Standing on the viewing floor up above, you have a panoramic view of the entire blessed land, and you can see the endless sea to the east. This cave heaven paradise is still within the safe haven of Xiyuan City, so the impact of the sea breeze is correspondingly much smaller. The sea area below is also a shallow water layer lined with reefs, and larger ships cannot enter. It should be said that it is quite safe, but Zhu Xiaobao is still a little worried, and he plans to build some defensive facilities. Several rows of houses were built around Zhu Xiaobao's mansion, which were used by his servants. Of course, his servants also work part-time as guards. In fact, she is a female guard. Zhu Xiaobao was still a little dissatisfied with the decision of the 19th princess. There was only one man on the entire island. How boring that is! But now Zhu Xiaobao has no time to think about this. Even the female guard in the plan has not been chosen. Moreover, Zhu Xiaobao is really very busy now and has to arrange everything himself because others don't understand his ideas at all. As for the construction of a large pond, which is the most urgent thing now, the craftsman's idea is to just dig a pond. But Zhu Xiaobao doesn't want it. He wants to see a cleaner and tidier one that can also store and release water. Large pool. This requires another building material. Cement. Zhu Xiaobao had no choice but to ride to a nearby mountain with Zhao Shenbao, Tong Wuxin and some other guards. He had already consulted some local elders. It was an active volcano and it erupted a long time ago. But it seemed to erupt once every hundred years. Otherwise, how could there be hot springs in Zhu Xiaobao's blessed land? Of course, he didn't need to go to the volcano. He just found the volcanic ash to achieve his goal. Then he sent people and horses to collect the volcanic ash. Bags of volcanic ash were continuously sent to the cave paradise. In fact, this kind of cement is the simplest. Lime potzel and cement. Lime has long been popular and is not expensive. You can just send someone to buy it. In addition, a group of people were sent to collect river sand. Many of his facilities needed to be built with concrete. This time the 19th princess really showed her sincerity. And all the people were serving Zhu Xiubao's paradise. At least three groups of people have been sent out now. There is another group of people in the cave of Dong Tian Paradise, with Wu Lijiao leading the team. Their work is even simpler. These female guards are all chosen to be powerful. They are using hammers to smash and level the protruding rocks in the cave. The area in this cave is very large. Xiaobao intends to use it to process and store fine wine. And aging fine wine requires such a good storage environment. When Zhu Xiaobao mixed the volcanic ash, lime, and sand to form the most primitive concrete, the craftsmen still didn't believe that this thing could build a large pool. Two days later, when the baffle was removed and the square cement pool was revealed, these craftsmen were all shocked. After this thing is cured, it is much harder than bricks and stones. And it is very beautiful. Well, here, here, and here, we must build a beacon tower to facilitate observation and timely communication. When there is time, we can connect these beacon towers to form a solid city wall. Zhu Xiaobao is doing it. He pointed to the plan on the drawing and said to Tong Wuxin, You are such a genius. 
I don't know how you came up with these things. In this case, even if the people you want are highly skilled in martial arts, they will be of little use. Tong Wuxin said with a sigh. This one looks very immature. The little fat man was able to build his paradise so perfectly that it could be said to be impeccable. Yeah. So, I don't want their martial arts to be very high. But their shooting skills must be good. The most effective defense is long-range shooting. Well, I have to tell you about this. Zhu Xiaobao also suddenly after thinking about this question. He patted his head and said, It doesn't matter. Archery can be practiced. But strength requires talent. Tong Wuxin said with a smile. At this moment, Wu Li Jia's shouts and curses came from the cave. Ji Mei, you are really weak. I asked you to be gentle, but you are still using such force. Xiao Bao said not only to smash these rocks, but also to also pay attention to the leveling. Who asked you to use so much force? As he said this, Wu Li Jia stretched out his hand and slapped her. Even though Wu Li Jia was only 1.8 meters tall, facing this female soldier named Ji Mei, she had to raise her arm to hit her in the face. I didn't use too much force. Ju Mei seemed to be used to being beaten by Wu Li Jia. And she didn't feel any pain. So she muttered in a low voice. Ju Xiaobao was a little dumbfounded when he saw this beauty. She was over 1.9 meters tall. She was tall and strong. Standing with other female soldiers. She was more than a head taller. Ju Xiaobao had to look up at her. The two of them stood together. The scene was very funny. Um, Sister Li Jia, who is this? Why is it so tall? Zhu Xiaobao had no choice but to turn his head and asked, feeling a little tired from keeping his head raised. Her name is Jumei. She is so stupid. I am almost pissed off by her. She can't do anything well. She just has stupid strength. Wu Li Jia said a little annoyed. In fact, among the newly recruited female soldiers, Wu Li Jia was the most take care of Jumei. She is straightforward and not good at interacting with others. So she is always bullied. The other female soldiers reject her. Only Wu Li Jia usually takes good care of her. But Wu Li Jia has a hot temper and will beat and scold her if she doesn't like her. But Ju Mei still obeys Wu Li Jia. If others dare to hit her, they won't do it. Huh? This is something you can't teach. Sister Li Jia, just keep her here with me. I just need a strong person. Ju Xiaobao suddenly felt something in his heart and then said to Wu Li Jia, You want her? That's Ju Mei's blessing. And it saves me from worrying about her every day. But, Xiao Bao, she's not very smart. Forget it. If she doesn't get used to it, just send her back. Wu Li Jia wanted to remind Ju Xiao Bao. But then he waved his hand and said, It's a good thing to be able to let Ju Mei live here. She actually likes Ju Mei quite a bit. She is careless and works very hard. In this way, the first female guard of Dong Tian Paradise was selected. The other female soldiers looked at Ju Mei with a little surprise and envy. They didn't expect that this silly big guy was selected first. I don't want to follow him. He's only that big. He'll be trampled to death with one kick. I still want to follow you. I belong to the 19th princess. Unexpectedly, Ju Mei said to Wu Li Jia unwillingly. And she knew it too, he belongs to the 19th princess. As soon as these words came out, everyone around burst into laughter, which made Ju Xiaobao very embarrassed. He put his hands on his waist and shouted angrily, Uh? The 19th princess sold you to me. And you are following me. If you eat meat, if you do that again, I'm warning you. Don't say I'm young or dare to be presumptuous again. Be careful with me. Zhu Xiaobao shook his fist and looked at the tall and beautiful figure. He couldn't reach it even if he wanted to hit her. Then the last words can't be said. You put two feet on her but, And she just feels like it's tickling you. Really? Are you true to your word? I like eating meat the most. Unexpectedly. Ju Mei immediately became energetic and asked with her head lowered. Yeah, keep what you say. Zhu Xiaobao groaned, feeling a little worried in his heart. Is it a wrong choice to keep a foodie? At this moment, a rocket shot into the air. Tong Wuxin saw it and immediately said, My people are here. Let's go pick them up. Zhu Xiaobao was fascinated by the rocket in midair. This thing had actually appeared? No, it should be something that burns violently like sulfur. Not gunpowder. But this also made Zhu Xiaobao suddenly excited. It seems that it is no longer a problem to make the defense of Dong Tian Paradise perfect. When Tong Wuxin brought all his 30 odd people to the Cave Heaven Paradise, Zhu Xiaobao discovered that there were actually four old men around 50 years old, and another dozen or so, 
both male and female, in their 30s and 40s. They were 12 girls about the same age as myself. These girls were very affectionate with Tong Wuxin, and they kept chattering with questions as soon as they arrived at the Cave Heaven Paradise. Tong Wuxin, who was usually unsmiling, was also rare and kind, and simply answered a few of their questions. It can be seen that the older ones have great respect for Tong Wuxin, and they kneel down and salute as soon as they meet. Two of them are husband and wife. Unexpectedly, sister, you are still a rich woman, and you have so many servants under you? Zhu Xiaobao asked in a low voice. A little surprised. Humph, you can't imagine it. Take it. You have no money. Tong Wuxin snorted with disdain, then casually took out a wad of silver notes. Be good. There are five thousand tails. Is this your money? But how can I ask for your money? Zhu Xiaobao asked hesitantly. Who said I gave it to you? I lent it to you, and you have to pay it back when the time comes. Tong Wuxin was still as domineering as ever. Too lazy to talk nonsense with him. It turns out that after the Tongju was annihilated, although all the gold, silver, treasures, swords, guns, and equipment on the island were wiped out by the seventh princess, the silver notes and other notes stored in the bank account by the Tongju were not discovered. The servants of Tong Wuxin's mother, they were not punished. They were also victims. And Tong Wuxin had made great contributions at that time. So these people followed Tong Wuxin. He just returned to the seventh princess's fief and went through the slave registration transfer procedures again. Now he is considered a Tong Wuxin. So Tong Wuxin is really a little rich woman with a lot of assets. The four old men were named Du Ping, Du An, Du Xing, and Du Wang. They used to be the four most trusted servants of Tong Wuxin's mother. But now they are all 50 years old in the blink of an eye. Only then did Zhu Xiaobao learn that Tong Wuxin's mother's surname was due it turned out to be a young lady from a wealthy family. But no matter how much I don't know, Tong Wuxin doesn't want to say anything. The 19th princess is now starting to worry again. There is only half a month left before the three-month period set by King Ming. Now she has not collected 100,000 dawn of fodder at all. For this reason, the 19th princess and Xia Zixiu also had a political dispute. Xia Zixiu wanted to raise taxes by raising taxes. But the 19th princess did not agree. The taxes in Xiyuan city were already very high. If the tax burden was increased, then it can only arouse public resentment or cause a large number of civilians to flee Xiyuan city. But how should we deal with King Ming now? Chapter 95 Taking Shape C. The 19th princess was very depressed and came to Zhu Xubao's cave paradise to relax. Not to mention sitting on the observation deck and looking around. The feeling was really comfortable and it could really release the boredom in her heart. Xiao Bao, how long will you continue to be busy? The fodder required by King Ming is about to expire. You said you had a way to deal with it. Princess 19 asked a little anxiously. There was no one else on the observation deck now. Just the 19th princess and Zhu Xiao Bao. And of course will you. Yeah, don't worry. I will definitely fulfill what I said. Not only will this errand of fodder be eliminated, but the food problem will also be solved for you. Zhu Xiao Bao said confidently. Well, if that's true, that would be great. We can't increase the tax burden now. Princess 19 said a little depressed. This was the first time she and Xia Zixiu had quarreled. In Princess 19's heart, very unhappy. Xia Zixiu doesn't seem to be as capable as he thought. I really hope that he can turn the tide. But he always relies on the 19th princess to get by. And it seems to be like this again this time. Princess, don't worry. City Lord Xia has nothing to do. Why doesn't he have a think tank like Xiaobao by his side? Will you comforted her? Sounding a little proud no matter how she sounded. Yeah, yeah. You finally said something very objective and fair. Can you consider marrying me next? Zhu Xiaobao raised his thumb and said with great satisfaction. Go away. Who wants to marry you? I still have the same requirement. You can lead troops to fight. And mount horses to kill enemies. Can you do that? Will you snorted disdainfully. But looked at Zhu Xiaobao again. For fear of him not happy. I can kill the enemy without mounting a horse. Do you believe it? Do you want to compete? Zhu Xiaobao raised his head and said. Hey! Is it just your shooting skills? I really don't believe it. Shouldn't someone tie you to a tree and let you shoot? Don't bring out these opportunistic things. Stay behind me. I will protect you. Although Wu was a little disdainful. She became more and more serious in the end. Zhu Xiaobao didn't know any martial arts at all. She was really worried. The last time she faced Gao Taiwa. This already made Wu Yu very upset. 
If something happened to Zhu Xiaobao, she really didn't know what to do. Okay, let's talk about something happy. The 150,000 pieces of toilet paper I gave to the seventh sister have been sold out. The seventh sister has sent 1,500 tails of silver this time. The seventh sister also attached a letter. Let's raise the price to three tails of silver per dollar. She sells it for five tails of silver per dollar. Princess 19 said with some joy. Aw? Oh? This seventh princess is a ruthless person. She has doubled her income five times in a sudden? Then doesn't she earn much more than you? Zhu Xiaobao was stunned immediately. There was nothing he couldn't do. Only he couldn't think of it. The seventh princess really dares to raise a price. Well, her fiefdom is very prosperous, and there are many rich people. Of course, she doesn't have to worry about sales. Xiaobao, you really need to increase your production next. Princess 19 said with some fascination. When can she like the seventh sister? She has her own fiefdom. And it is also a very prosperous fiefdom. Hey! This is the purpose of the princess coming to me. Right? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly understood that the 19th princess was not here to relax. But to add tasks to herself. You're the only one who's smart. Okay. I should leave. Anyway. You can solve my problem as soon as possible. Princess 19's face turned slightly red. And she said angrily. Yes. Then please ask the princess to help me resolve my matter as soon as possible. Zhu Xiaobao bent down and said with a smile as before. What's going on? Princess 19 asked a little surprised. Who do I want? I don't have anyone here yet. Zhu Xiaobao's expression became even more exaggerated. Humph. Didn't I ask Wu Yu to help you choose? Well, didn't you just compete with Wu Yu in archery? Well, you can win Wu Yu. You can choose the person you want. If you can't win, Wu Yu. Ha ha. Then I will arrange the guards. So you can use them with confidence. How about it? Is it fair? The city bureau princess said with a sly smile. In fact, she really didn't want Zhu Xiaobao to have his own people, but wanted her to arrange the escorts and replace them with a new batch after a while. In this case, it would be equivalent to still being her own people. Huh? Is it more about range or accuracy? I seem to be at a disadvantage in comparison with everything. Upon hearing this, Zhu Xiaobao rolled his eyes and then asked, It's up to you to choose. Of course, I won't let you suffer. When the time comes, I'll give you some points in any competition. I'll give you 50 steps of shooting range. If you're precise, I'll give you 3 arrows out of 10. The princess seemed to be very fair. Said, Okay, it's a deal. Yeah, yeah. You have to let me go when the time comes? After all, we are probably a family. Zhu Xiaobao looked at Wu Yu and said, Humph, don't think about cheating. I know we use archery skills better than you. And I can also take action myself. Princess 19 calmly turned around and left. She was not worried about competing in archery. She was an absolute master of archery. Master, watching Princess 19, and will you gradually go away? Zhu Xiaobao murmured to himself with an evil smile. It is necessary to be able to shoot long and accurately. I am a real man, although I am short. That's right. At this time, the red sorghum that was sealed in the barrel some time ago has fermented. Tong Wuxi was leading people to hoist the barrels up one by one. It was sent to the large processing workshop south of Fudi, where Zhu Xiaobao had already processed some necessary equipment, mainly equipment for distillation. In fact, the reason why liquor has a high alcohol content is because it has been distilled to increase the concentration of alcohol. After cooling, what you get is white wine. Tong Wuxin sent the four old men to help Zhu Xiaobao, as well as Tong Wuxin and Zhu Mei. The others, Zhu Xiaobao were of no use for the time being. There are large pots on each of the several oversized earth stoves. The water at the bottom of the pot is water from the cave. The texture of this water is very good. It is not water from hot springs, but seeps out from the top of the mountain along the cracks in the rocks. Pure and sweet, it can be said to be the perfect water quality for wine making. Spread a layer of steamed coarse bran on the compartment and sprinkle part of the steamed coarse bran into the fermented grains to loosen the fermented grains. Facilitate steam circulation during distillation and improve distillation efficiency. Spread the fermented fermented grains evenly on the compartment, making it light, loose, even, thin, accurate, and tight. After filling, cover the lid of the wine steamer. Fill the water sealed tank with water and start distillation. Distilled wine takes advantage of the different boiling points of alcohol in water. Alcohol has a low boiling point. 
as long as the temperature is controlled well. After the vaporized alcohol is cooled by cooling water, it will be reduced to wine. This is distilled wine with a high degree of alcohol. Control the flow of cooling water to ensure that the temperature of the wine is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of the wine is too high, the wine will volatilize and the output will decrease. If the temperature of the wine is too low, low boiling point substances cannot volatilize and the quality will be poor. During the whole process, Zhu Xubao's face was full of nervousness. He only had theoretical knowledge. And this was his first time doing it in practice. But Zhu Xiaobao had an advantage. He had seen the process of making homemade liquor at a relative's house when he was studying. And he didn't expect that it would play a very crucial role here. Tong Wuxin and several family members next to him were also a little nervous. They didn't understand Zhu Xiaobao's purpose of doing this. And they had never seen this kind of distillation equipment. But gradually a scent of wine that they had never smelled before began to fill the air. Into the processing workshop, water began to drip from the wine outlet of the distillation equipment. But the water that just came out was a bit mixed and had some impurities. Xu Xiaobao knows that this is the first wine and contains harmful substances such as formaldehyde. So he usually throws it away. But I didn't expect that Jume next to me took it and drank it. While drinking, she kept shouting, This is delicious! Just stay here! Who told you to drink? Zhu Xiaobao suddenly became anxious and quickly grabbed the wine can, shouting loudly, Can't you drink it? It smells good to me! Tong Wuxin also wanted to try it, but she was not as reckless as Jume. This is the first wine! It has an evil smell and is harmful! So you can't drink it? Zhu Xiaobao explained. After a while, the water that came out became crystal clear and the aroma of wine overflowed. This was the white wine he needed. Ah! It's much better than what I brought back last time. Tong Wuxin couldn't help but take a bite and exclaimed in surprise. Hey, your wine tastes bad. I guess it's because the temperature was not controlled correctly during distillation. The temperature was too low. So the wine came out with many impurities and poor taste. There must also be something wrong with the distillation equipment and processing process. Zhu Xiaobao also took a sip himself. But he felt it was normal. Just that the degree was relatively high probably over 50 degrees. The entrance is dry and strong, like fire. But it has the characteristics of burning a knife. But it is definitely not up to the standard of good wine. But Zhu Xiaobao is already satisfied with being able to reach this level for the first time. Hurry up and seal the altar with Du Ping and others. 3,000 kilograms of sorghum, excluding the first wine and tail wine, yields a total of more than 1,300 kilograms of liquor. The wine jars he used were all two pounds each. So 680 small wine jars were used. When Zhu Xiaobao and the others finished their work, they discovered that Jume had passed out drunk, with saliva still in her mouth and a small wine jar in her hand. Just kidding. Of course, I can't handle two pounds of liquor with over 50 degrees Celsius. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head helplessly, feeling that he had made a big mistake by leaving Jume behind. Come here. Go and invite the princess here and tell her that I, Zhu Xiaobao, are inviting her to drink. I have already solved her problem for her. Zhu Xiaobao shouted with a very charming wave of his hand. However, no one responded. Ying Xiu Xiu and the three of them were busy processing toilet paper. There was now Jume, a servant beside him, who was drunk. This made Zhu Xiaobao very depressed. He kicked Jume angrily and ran out of the processing workshop. Xiaobao, what's going on? What kind of wine is this? It smells so good? Wu Li Jia who followed the aroma of the wine and found it, appeared in front of him. She is a good drinker. So when she smelled the tempting aroma of wine, she couldn't help but look for it. This seemed to be the smell she had been looking for. Come! Sister, burn the knife and try it. Be careful of getting drunk, Zhu Xiaobao said, handing over a small wine jar. Wu Li Jia almost laughed out loud. It was really rare to see such a small wine jar. And Zhu Xiaobao also reminded herself not to get drunk. So this made her very funny. But when she pulled out the cork, a strong drink immediately aroused her. She took a big sip and felt it was burning from top to bottom. But she felt it was so strong that she couldn't help but want to drink it again. Second mouth. Good wine. What a powerful wine. Where did this wine come from? Buy me a hundred jars. Chapter 96. Burning Knives A. Zhu Xiaobao was shocked when he heard what Wu Lijia said. A hundred altars? I only have more than 600 jars in total, which are still small jars weighing 2 kilograms each. Sister, do you know how much this altar costs? Zhu Xiaobao 
and Wu Lijia are very familiar with each other. This woman is very generous and takes good care of Zhu Xiaobao. And among all the female guards, she is the head of a well-off family with some assets. How much? It's not necessarily more expensive than the seventh princess's wine. Right. Wu Lijia felt a little guilty. This wine was better than the seventh princess's wine. The key was that it was strong enough. She had a hunch that this wine would definitely be more popular than the soap. Well, this kind of wine has appeared in Beatty County. Of course it is far worse than this. But its price is 100 caddies of grain for one caddy. I have a jar of two caddies here. And you just give me two carelessly. 100 caddies of sorghum. I estimate it will be doubled if I sell it. Zhu Xiaobao said proudly, dangling an unopened jar of wine in his hand. He did not dare to drink more. He is not a good drinker either. But this feeling of pretentiousness is very satisfying. Wouldn't that cost five or six tails of silver per jar? Wu Lijia made a rough calculation and was a bit shocked. The food in Shiyuan County is more expensive than that in the mainland. Now it is almost 30 copper coins per caddy. And 100 caddies is 3,000. A copper plate is equivalent to three tails of silver. And 200 caddies is equivalent to six tails of silver. When she opened a hundred jars, it was equivalent to 600 tails of silver, which converted into 60 tails of gold. Wu Lijia is not that rich. He! Sister Lijia! It's free today! You send someone to invite the 19th princess! I'm going to have a celebration banquet! Everyone here can drink for free today! But let me make it clear! Do what you can! No! One of me is already lying down! Zhu Xiaobao whispered into Wu Lijia's ear, and at the same time pointed at Jumei sleeping near the entrance of the cave. A living example! Really? You have a conscience! Wu Lijia looked around and saw that no one was around. Quietly handed his wine gourd to Zhu Xiaobao and said, I don't care. I will fill up my wine gourd later. I'll send someone to invite the princess for you. He he. Don't worry. When you come to my place in the future, just bring the wine gourd. I guarantee that it will be full for you. And it will definitely be the good wine I left. Zhu Xiaobao patted his chest and said, This matter it was a piece of cake for him. There are not many guards left in Don Tian Paradise. In addition to Wu Lijia, there are more than a dozen female guards. The other people and craftsmen have been sent away. After many infrastructures are completed, there will be no need to keep too many people. And from a confidentiality perspective, unfamiliar people cannot be left here, including Tong Wuxin's servants. There were a total of 50 people in Dong Tian Paradise. Zhao Shabao is not here either. He has gone back to Zhao Ming's camp. Instead of doing Muki's new order, he has gone to find the boss. Zhao Shenlong. The 19th princess arrived faster than expected, even before it got dark. But there weren't many people with him. Only Mr. Wu and Wu Yu. Even Xia Zixiu couldn't know about this place. Today, Zhu Xiaobao, Ying Xiaoxiu, and Lu Tong and Lu Fang worked hard for more than two hours. They prepared a large table of dishes, which were divided into two tables for the convenience of talking. Tong Wuxin and Wu were very understanding and brought those dishes the servant and the female guard sat down at a very large table. The two of them seemed to be best friends, who talked about everything. There were only the 19th princess and Chief Wu at the table in the inner room. While Zhu Xiaobao looked calmly waiting for the 19th princess to speak. Is this the liquor you're talking about? Princess 19 took a sip and suddenly felt very hot and strong. Which she couldn't get used to. Not everyone likes this strong drink. But after taking a sip, Mr. Wu slapped the table very excitedly. Good wine. The best wine I have never tasted before. This is the real strong wine. No wonder you have to drink it in such a small cup. Princess, what do you think of this wine? Is it just that it can solve your urgent need? Zhu Xiaobao asked with a smile. Why? How much of this kind of wine can you produce in a month? And what Xiyuan City is most lacking now is food. Don't you know? Princess 19 said a little disappointed. She thought Zhu Xiaobao could produce something better than soap. The new thing that was going to sell well was unexpectedly this kind of strong liquor. He! Just listen to me! Old God Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile. He took a sip of the wine first, then twirled the cup and said, Some time ago, a wine similar to this appeared in Beatty County. Do you know how much it sells for? 100 caddies of grain for one caddy of wine. In order to show it off because of its power. I named it Burning Knife. Oh my God! Are you saying that you want to exchange this wine for food? Princess 19's reaction was quite quick, and she immediately grasped the key point. Well, I now have 600 jars. Each jar weighs 2 kilograms. 
That is 120,000 kilograms of grain. But the cost is only 3,000 kilograms of red sorghum. Does the princess think this business can still be done? Zhu Xiaobao smiled. Asked. After hearing what Zhu Xiaobao said, Princess 19 and Manager Wu looked at each other. Both of them were extremely shocked. If 10,000 jars of wine could be produced in a month, that would be 2 million kilograms of grain. Although it cannot solve all the problems. The food supply for your own troops has been completely solved. And the taxes of the people of Xiyuan City can be reduced. Stabilizing the people's hearts and minds is the foundation for success. Is it too expensive? What if no one is willing to buy it? Princess 19 asked worriedly. There are people who buy toilet paper worth five tails of silver. My jar of wine is not worth a knife of tissue to wipe my butt. Zhu Xiaobao snorted with dissatisfaction. He now understood it. The bold ones will be starved to death. And the timid ones will be starved to death. Yes, the seventh princess did a very good job in this regard. Disgusting. Saying bad words again. Princess 19 scolded angrily in a low voice. Princess, I'm afraid you don't understand the temptation of this kind of straw wine for the likes of us. Even if the dishes are simple, the wine must be enjoyable. Enjoyable and vigorous. I believe what Xiaobao said yes. This kind of wine can completely solve our top priority. And the name is also very domineering. Manager Wu nodded aside and said with certainty. Did you invent this again? Princess 19 asked with a bit of joy. If it is true as Yu Xiaobao said, her most difficult problem will be solved. No. It was Tong Wuxin who brought the recipe. This wine was also made by Tong Wuxin's four servants. Otherwise, why would I let them stay here? Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and actually gave Tong Wuxin unintentionally pushed it out. He had already thought that the move of Tong Wuxin's 30 servants would inevitably arouse the alarm of the 19th princess. But now that he said this, it became a matter of course. Since he could contribute such an expensive brewing house, showing his sincerity. At the same time, the 19th princess was left speechless. What he lost was just a false reputation. And the real winemaking technology was still in his own hands. Oh, how could you let them stay? But can they really be trusted? Princess 19 nodded slightly. But she still felt uneasy. Hey, princess, if Tong Wuxin brews this kind of wine by himself, he can definitely make a fortune. And she was the first to discover this place and gave it to me for free. Zhu Xiaobao said to Tong at the end. Wu Xian is filled with gratitude. Oh, then what is she planning? Princess 19 asked, still a little confused. Friends, home, and trust. I have what she needs here. Likewise, the princess can trust me so much. Xiaobao will only help you, not harm you. Zhu Xiaobao seemed very sincere at this time. And he was from the bottom of his heart. In fact, the incident between the 19th princess and Xia Zixiu made him a little disappointed. But he was still very grateful to the 19th princess for her kindness. I still want to help her. I know. I also yearn for this kind of carefree life. Only when I arrived in Xiyuan City did I realize that it is really difficult and hard to have a place of my own. Princess 19 was also a little bit said with emotion. You have done a good job. But with all due respect, Xia Zixiu has limited abilities and is not your best choice. Zhu Xiaobao couldn't help but said when he looked at the 19th princess's slightly tired but still stunning and beautiful face. Forget it. Let's not talk about these things today. Let's have a good meal first. Not to mention, I haven't eaten your food for a long time. And I'm really greedy. Princess 19 waved her hand, knowingly changed the topic. And it was obvious that she didn't want to talk about this topic. Xiaobao, this wine is really strong. I'm afraid most people will get drunk after just one bottle. Right. Manager Wu drank several more glasses. His face turned red. But his eyes were still bright. Indicating that he had no problem drinking. Half. Most people can drink half a jar of wine. If you can still drink a jar without getting drunk. Then you have a pretty good drinking capacity. Zhu Xiaobao nodded and said. Then he immediately thought of a question. Slapped his forehead and shouted. It's broken. When Zhu Xiaobao hurriedly rushed to a table outside, it turned out that Wu Yu had already drank a lot. He looked at the wine jars on the table and saw that almost six were empty. This table was occupied by Tong Wuxin and the female guards. Of course those servants will not eat here, but no one got drunk. And they stopped drinking. Only Tong Wuxin was still drinking sip after sip. What? Do you want to come and see if I'm drunk? Do you want to see me make a fool of myself? Or do you want to take advantage of me? Wu Yu asked with a half smile while squinting her eyes. How much did you drink? 
Zhu Xiaobao asked a little stutteringly. Well, it's almost just one jar. Wu Yu glanced at the wine jar on the table and said with some unfinished thoughts. One jar? That's two kilograms? Are you okay? Zhu Xiaobao was shocked. Drinking too much of this stuff will cause alcohol poisoning. Don't worry. We Wu clan members are all naturally good at drinking. And we rarely get drunk. Wu Lijia said with a smile. People from the Wu clan? We, the Du family, don't know what's going on now. Tong Wuxin next to him suddenly murmured. Ever since her mother was kidnapped by pirates, she has never had contact with her people. Returning to Princess 19 again, I couldn't help but ask, Princess, what are you going to do next? Well, let's start with King Wen first. He has the most food there. Princess 19 thought for a moment, and then said softly, But the biggest problem now is where King Ming is? Zhu Xiaobao asked a little surprised. That's right. Just let him come to the door on his own. Hi, princess. I'll give you a toast. Chapter 97, Burning Knives, B. At this time, Zhu Xiaobao sincerely admired the 19th princess. And he came up with a strategy in the blink of an eye. There is no doubt that this is a very good method. Now open the sails to King Wen. And then wait for King Ming to come to your door. In this case, the initiative is in your own hands. Although Zhu Xiaobao has many fantastic ideas, he is not interested in the battles between the major forces. He felt that such a life was very tiring, and he was calculating every day. It is no exaggeration to describe the current situation of the 19th princess as being stretched and full of difficulties. But Zhu Xiaobao still admired the 19th princess for her quick thinking. General Manager Wu also nodded very pleased. Now that the 19th princess has a countermeasure, there is no need for Zhu Xiaobao to do anything else. He can't think of any better way. In the end, the 19th princess took away the 600 jars of burning knives, leaving Zhu Xiaobao with only 60 dozen jars left. Wu Yu also followed the 19th princess. What surprised Zhu Xiaobao was that Wu Yu's drinking capacity far exceeded his expectation. She actually drank two jars of Xiaodaozi, and nothing happened. Even more powerful than the warlord. Oh my god! Is this a female drunkard? Who can afford to support her? Twelve tails of silver for a meal is gone. Zhu Xiaobao sighed and shook his head. He looked at the huge beauty lying on the ground again. She woke up at this time. And she was very down to earth. As soon as she woke up, she clamored for food. As a result, she wiped out all the leftovers. Of course, she would not be given any more wine. Starting from tomorrow, let me train every day. Or else I won't have any meat to eat. Zhu Xiaobao yelled in displeasure while piercing his waist. Did I have meat to eat after training? Do I have to worry about eating enough? Jumei is not afraid of hardship, but is afraid of not being full. Well, as long as you train well, you'll have enough to eat. If you can make great progress, you can even drink. Ju Xiaobao thought for a while and remembered the bet. Jumei's power should be able to draw the sand and bow. This is already a very powerful bow. The bows that ordinary soldiers are equipped with are bows that can be used in two fights. Zhao Shenlong only used the Erden Bao. Ha ha! You don't know martial arts. So let me help you train Jume. I think if she is really well trained, she will be a fierce general. Tong Wuxin said with a smile from the side. In fact, she was also quite interested. How can this giant beauty be trained to become? It made her curious. In the mansion of the 19th princess, General Manager Wu is discussing with the 19th princess. If you want to be an instant success, you must have a good sales method and create a sensation. Princess, I have another question. Will the seventh princess be unhappy? I'm afraid the seventh princess will be dissatisfied if I don't sell in her fief immediately. After all, Chief Wu is very mature and considers things very thoughtfully. I have also thought about this issue. I won't sell it to seventh sister for now. According to what Zhu Xiaobao said, there are some problems with this wine and it will kill people. Besides, I only promised her 70% of the soap. There are no other promises. So we can't give her all the benefits. Right. Princess 19 said lightly. Although she was a little worried. Princess 19 also knew that Princess 7 would not fall out over this matter. Besides, she also thought of a countermeasure. That's good. I just want to go to Kingwin to run the business. Who would be more suitable to send? Manager Wu asked again. Ha ha. Of course it's Ji Ji Sheng. This guy has a good drinking capacity. And he's also a little smart and thick-skinned. So it's most appropriate to send him there. Princess 19 said with a slight smile. 
Ji Jisheng doesn't have much to do now. Although the sales of jasmine tea are okay. After all, it is very cheap and affordable. The profit is still relatively low. Moreover, the weather is getting colder and there is no reserve of raw materials. So the stock may be out of stock for a period of time. This will allow Ji Jishi to sell Shabu knives. On the contrary, there was no advanced promotion in Shiyuan City. Shiyuan City was relatively poor. The 19th princess was afraid of promoting this kind of wine on her own land. Her purchasing power could not keep up. And it was not easy to cause a sensation. Besides, the 19th princess is also afraid that something like what happened in Beidi County will happen. After all, this kind of wine is the most popular among the army. If there is a situation where food is exchanged for wine, it will not be worth the gain. But what the 19th princess didn't expect was that, after Xia Zixio tasted Xiao knife and heard from the 19th princess that she wanted to sell it to King Wen, Xia Zixio actually volunteered to go to King Wen to sell it in person. Didn't he have a very good relationship with King Wen? So this time, he wanted to make a contribution. After coming to Xiyuan City, his achievements were limited. Many things were done by the 19th princess, which made Xia Zixio very eager to show off. Ji Jisheng was very excited when he received the princess's order. He just likes to do these things and loves to be in the limelight. He just feels a little uncomfortable going to King Wen's fief with Xia Zixio. But Princess 19 seemed to have expected this and asked Wu Yu to accompany her. At the same time, he also sent the promise 50 pieces of soap. This time, he also gave four top quality exquisite carved scented soaps to the princess and his wife. This was also the thoughtful consideration of the 19th princess. She knew that King Wen's concubine was very influential and that so many talented women were brought into the palace by King Wen. But the concubine was able to cope with it easily and was the most favored by King Wen. She was a talented woman to begin with. King Wen was very happy to see Xia Zixio. After all, they had the same interests and hobbies. So they got along very easily. Ji Zixi didn't care about that much. Since King Wen had given him a large shop, Ji Zixi started to prepare it. He was very attentive and wrote a poem at the door of the upper bunk, which can be regarded as a slogan. The entrance is as sharp as a knife. It's like burning in my heart. Men are bold by nature, wandering around in the rivers and lakes. Just joy and sorrow. A roar to the sky. Burn the knife. Not to mention, Ji Zixi really has some skills. Not only did he type out the slogan, but he also used a piece of oversized black cloth to make it. The yellow fonts on it are very eye-catching. The last three words, Xiao Knife, are written in red letters with gold edges. Very impressive. It makes people feel the hot atmosphere right away. But five tails of silver per jar still stopped everyone from moving forward. It was too expensive. And I don't know what kind of wine it is. No wine needs to be so expensive. But Ji Jisheng was very resourceful. He opened the jar, and the aroma of wine overflowed. This was already the best advertisement. As soon as many people smell the aroma of this wine, they know that this is the wine they have dreamed of. But Ji Jishin has something even more amazing. Everyone, anyone who can drink one jar without getting drunk will not only have the wine money refunded, but also get two jars as gifts. After passing this level, if you can compete with Wu Yu and win, you will also get 100 tails of gold. Immediately, the news began to spread wildly and King wins feet them. The door of the shop was also crowded with people. Some people actually came to challenge him. They were all very confident in their own drinking ability. Although they had to spend five tails of silver to buy a jar of wine first. But as long as you can avoid getting drunk, you can get your money back. Receive two altars for free. And more likely, you can have a drinking contest with Wu Yu and win a hundred tails of gold. This is so attractive. In front of the shop, a large platform was set up with a row of tables and more than 20 stools. There was a row of large plates on the table, filled with soy sauce beef. For those who came to challenge to drink, use just the aroma of this soy sauce beef has made many people unable to hold back. I didn't expect that 19th sister has such a person under her. She really has some skills. This method can easily cause a sensation. King Wen and Xia Zixiu were sitting on the top floor of the shop near the window. The table was filled with delicacies and there was a table. The altar of roasted knives has just been opened. TSK. He's just an opportunistic villain. Xia Zixio snorted a little relentlessly. He didn't like Ji Zixi at all. This guy was always sarcastic and sarcastic about himself. And he didn't mention it by name. Which made Xia Zixio very angry. Of irritation. So he always hated Xia Zixio. King Wen smiled and did not ask further questions. 
a well-educated person like him would not inquire about such common things. King would open a jar of wine and immediately became energetic. He took a sip and his eyes immediately shone. This wine was really strong. If you want to write a heroic poem, it is an indispensable foil. Makes people proud. The two talented women sitting next to King when were also women. After drinking a small cup, they were also very happy. They could also feel the burning and heart-burning power. Even Xiaozishio had to admit that this wine was indeed very strong. I really don't understand how the 16th princess came about. It seems that the 19th princess has many very novel and popular things. And now she has been staying in Shiyuan City safely for more than two months. At this time, many people were sitting at the table and began to drink heavily and eat large pieces of meat. Everyone had the same expression. They were immediately shocked by the strong and hot roasted knife in the mouth. But they were also ecstatic. Wow! This is the feeling. This is the real strong drink. But most people are still confident that they can get drunk with just such a jar of wine? That's too bad. Hero, how does it taste? Is it worth five tails of silver? People in the audience were also swallowing their saliva and kept shouting. Now the first batch of 20 people has been filled up. And those who want to go up have to wait until the next batch. It's worth it. It's so worth it. Not to mention five tails of silver. Even 10 tails of silver is worth spending. This is real wine. Besides, do you think I look like a person who can get drunk? A man on the stage, the big man's face turned red, and he said excitedly, Ji Ji Sheng looked on with a smile and said in his heart, Let you blow. Wait and see how you fall. He had already drank a jar yesterday, but with his drinking capacity, he could only drink a jar and a half, and he couldn't bear it anymore. Even though they can't go on stage, the number of people below has not decreased at all, and the door of the shop is still surrounded by water. Some people are still shouting, Is this wine good? Why haven't you knocked down one of them? As soon as he said this, a stocky man sitting there fell down. The soldiers next to him quickly came over and carried him away and put him on a mat under the stage. You can do it. Ji Ji Shen counted his thumbs to the man in the audience and then shouted domineeringly. Next. Who is coming? I. I come. Don't beat me to being here first. Oldly. Lend me three tails of silver. Then I'll give you a jar of burning knives. Look, another one is lying down. 98 palm burning knife C. Of the 20 people who went up in the first batch, 14 were already lying down, and 4 were still vomiting. Fortunately, Ji Ji Sheng was prepared, and servants came over immediately to scrub away the filth on the floor. There were two left sitting there in a daze. Ji Ji Sheng didn't rush them, because this thing would become increasingly unsustainable as time went on. But the people below were still making noises hoping that someone would win. Ji Ji Sheng smiled and nodded his hands and said, Come on! Give your money back and get two jars of knives to burn. Congratulations to both of you. Anyway, it was not his own wine. So Ji Ji Sheng didn't feel bad at all. He hoped that someone could win. In which case the people in the audience would be even more enthusiastic. But before Ji Ji Sheng finished speaking, the two men stood up sluggishly and fell to the ground before they could even take a step forward. Ji Ji Sheng was also a little surprised and quickly waved his hand. Here, take him away. Next one. At this time, everyone in the audience began to believe that this kind of wine was really powerful. And the two altar rewards were not so easy to win. Some people even pooled their money to buy a jar and tasted it themselves. The taste was amazing and they immediately felt refreshed. Although the concentration was high, they felt like they had found their favorite. Suddenly he became so heroic that if he wanted to burn a knife, his wife could throw it away. The atmosphere on and off stage became even more lively. GZ was also crazy about it. He took a big sip of it very excitedly and then shouted viciously. That's enough. I can shoot heavy artillery when I go back. Give me one too. I want one. And I. Unexpectedly, it has already started to sell well. Gigi Sheng lost no time in shouting. It doesn't matter if you don't have money. 200 kilograms of grain can be exchanged for a jar. Today's new opening can be exchanged for 150 kilograms. This opportunity must not be missed. The time will never come again. This time the audience became even more enthusiastic. Wenwang itself is a grain producing area. Many families have quite a lot of inventory. Now I heard that they can also exchange grain for it. Isn't this a great convenience? Suddenly many people hurried towards their homes to get food in exchange for these burning knives. There was a hurried scene on the whole street. 
Why don't you hurry? It will be gone soon. I heard there are only a few hundred jars. The next batch will have to wait 20 days. Come here. Tell Mr. G to leave a hundred jars for me. King Wen ordered with a slight frown. He didn't expect that this kind of burning knife was so popular. And Ji Ji Xing's methods were so clever. He didn't need to step forward to do it. Already done. 100 pounds of grain for one pound. This thing seems to be no less profitable than soap. King Wen thought in his mind that he must seize the opportunity this time. On the second day, carriages began to come back one after another from Princess 19, bringing 60,000 kilograms of grain to the barracks. The 19th princess looked a little dazed. This is too easy. Even though it was Ji Ji Sheng who had given a discount. Seeing the grains from two warehouses neatly stacked in front of him still felt a bit like a dream. Not counting this. There is still part of it that is settled in silver. So this time the 19th princess gets both money and food. But then the 19th princess began to feel annoyed. This Yu Xiaobao didn't know how to brew more. This time she had to wait for a long time. At the same time, Xu Xiaobao was in Zhao Ming's camp. Drinking happily with Zhao Shenlong and others. Although Zhu Xiubao's cooking skills are very good, they are not as big as the surprise that this roasting knife brings to Xiao Shenlong and others. Xiao Bao! Except for Mr. Duan Mu. I, Xiao Shenlong, admire you the most in my life. You still have no intention of being discerning. I just gave you the cave heaven and the paradise. You even settled all your own people there. Xiao Shenlong took a sip of wine and then said with a sigh, Humph! Who wants you to flatter me? Tong Wuxian snorted disdainfully. But she was very happy in her heart. It was rare to see Zhao Shenlong so excited. And recently, it seemed that Zhao Shenlong was no longer hiding from her. Which made Tong Wuxian a little bit looking forward to it. Ha ha! Although Zhao Shenlong was pushed back by Tong Wuxian, he didn't care. Instead, he laughed along with him. And then said to Zhu Xiaobao. Xiaobao! Can you buy us one of these burning knives every month? Bai Tan is here? Don't worry. We all have the money. Ha ha ha. Brother, don't you know? With your little salary, I'm afraid you can only buy 10 altars. 100 altars? Our combined salary and silver are not enough. The third child, Zhao Shenbao, laughed. Road. Huh? I didn't expect this wine to be so expensive. Zhao Shenlong was a little confused. His salary, 50 tails of silver per month, was already quite high. He usually didn't use money much. Except to buy some good wine. Unexpectedly. This wine actually costs five tails of silver per jar. Where can I afford to drink this? No problem. Starting from this month. I will send a hundred jars every month. And it's free. But you can only drink it together as brothers. And don't let me expose it. If people know this. It's I brewed it. So I will be in big trouble. Zhu Xiaobao said boldly. Patting his chest. He already has great trust in Duan Mu Xilong and is willing to treat them as his friends. In fact, Zhao Shenlong and the others also knew that Tong Wuxin had moved all his people to the paradise of cave heaven, and that Tong Wuxin also lent his own money to Zhu Xiaobao. So it is not surprising that Zhu Xiaobao said this now. It just increased the level of trust between both parties. Don't worry. We are not subordinates of the seventh princess, and we will never tell anyone else anything about you. Speaking of this matter, I just want to talk to you. Zhao Shenlong suddenly said with a solemn expression. Just like you as I said. You have attracted the attention of all parties now. This may be very detrimental to you. Alas. Mr. Duanmu also complained about you in the letter. You are doing things too high profile. I also think you are a bit too hasty. Hey. I thought about it too. If I don't take out these things. It will be difficult for the 19th princess to gain a foothold here. When the time comes. I will be able to make obediently go to the 7th princess. Do you think I should follow or not? Zhu Xiaobao saw through it now and said with a smile. This is true. But now you are indeed in danger. Do you have any martial arts skills? Zhao Shilong thought for a while. And Zhu Xiaobao was right. The 7th princess had no intention of letting the 19th princess really develop here. Get up. Just with puppets. It's okay. I have a foothold now. It's not that easy to kill me. Besides. I still have Wu Xian to protect me. Zhu Xiaobao is very confident and rogue. And has already regarded Wu Xian as a my own bodyguard. Oh. That's all I can do. Let's do this. I'll leave the third child to you again. I can rest assured that Wu Xian and the third child are by your side. Although they are not the strongest in martial arts. They are good at tracking and lurking. Investigation. 
if any situation can be discovered in time. This will allow you to detect it in time. Zhao Shenlong was still thinking about how to word it. Run for your life. Right? There's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm just afraid of death. It's a bit dangerous. I'll definitely run away first so that I don't stay and cause you trouble. Zhu Xiaobao told Zhao Shenbao and Tong very straightforwardly. Wu Xian said. Okay. Well said. Zhao Shenbao raised his thumb and shouted. I like how straightforward you are and how shameless you are. Then when can my sword be made for me? TSK. You are even more shameless. Zhu Xiaobao also raised his little thumb disdainfully and hummed. Are you leaving? Tong Wuxin was not in the mood to joke. What she said just now surprised her. Zhao Shenlong and the others are going back. Although she was always angry with Zhao Shenlong, she was still reluctant to let him go. How wonderful this kind of life is now. There are no risks. And I am very happy every day. The old man has received a letter. The emperor has fallen into a coma again. According to this situation, he should not last more than half a year. The biggest problem now is that no one can see the emperor. It is all the eunuchs who are delivering the order. Mr. Duanmu asked us to rush back as soon as possible. But you and the third child were kept here under the special care of Mr. Duanmu. Zhao Shalong said to Tong Wuxin apologetically. Yeah, I understand. You should be careful too, Tong Wuxin said a little worriedly. Every breakup like this made her very uneasy. For fear that one day she would hear some bad news. The atmosphere at the scene was a bit heavy. And everyone was reluctant to leave. But this is the characteristic of Duanmu Shilong. They often do some unconventional things. And every time they are extremely risky. But it has also made them famous. And it has become a habit. If they have nothing to do for a long time. They will feel very uncomfortable. Brother. I still have about 50 jars of burning knives over there. I'll bring them with you when you leave. Zhu Xiaobao was also a little surprised. They were just talking and laughing. But they are going to break up in a few days. What's the point? I really can't bear it. Okay. We won't refuse this. Xiao Bao, do you have anything else? Do you need our help? Zhao Shenlong happily patted his thigh. These 50 jars of burning knives are better than any other gift. Well done. So he also asked to see if he could help Zhu Xiao Bao solve some problems before leaving. Well, there's a small thing. I want a strong bow. The strongest. Stronger than yours. Zhu Xiao Bao suddenly felt something in his heart and thought of helping Zhu Mei get a strong bow. Huh? Is it stronger than my bow? Then there seems to be no such thing? Zhao Shenlong was stunned after hearing this. It is stronger than his own bow. How powerful is it? Are there still such people? Xiao Bao is right. There is a strong woman in Cave Heaven Paradise. Who is more powerful than you? Xiao Bao wants her to practice archery. Tong Wuxi nodded and said. Oops. The most powerful bow seems to be gone. Unless, Zhao Shenlong said a little embarrassed. Unless what? Tell me quickly. Wu Xian asked anxiously. General Zhao Ming has a hard bow. Perhaps you have all heard of it. It's called a gold and stone bow. It takes at least three days of force to pull it open. And General Zhao Ming can pull it five times. He is now over forty. And his shoulders my back was injured and I can't draw it anymore. Zhao Shilong said with admiration. He also tried that bow and couldn't draw it at all. When Zhao Ming was about thirty years old. He was already amazing when he was able to pull away five times. Can I borrow it? I will borrow it and use it. And he will leave it alone. Zhu Xiaobao said quickly, thinking that after borrowing it, he might be able to imitate such a super hard bow. I'm afraid this will be difficult. Zhao Shenlong said a little embarrassed. Although Zhao Ming could no longer draw this golden stone bow, he still regarded it as a treasure and placed it on his weapon rack. He! Boss! Not necessarily. Go with two jars of burning knives and see if he is willing to lend them to you. Zhao Shabao was still flexible and said immediately with a smile. Hey! That's a good idea. Wait! I'll go to General Zhao Ming right now. Zhao Shenlong also nodded and said. Chapter 99 Golden Stone Bao A. Tong Wuxin suddenly said to Zhao Shenlong. Let's go together. Xiao Bao will go too. Zhao Shenlong pondered for a moment. Nodded and said. Okay. Maybe Xiu Bao's reputation is greater than that of ours. Zhao Shenlong was also a little surprised. It was rare for Tong Wuxin to take the initiative to help others in these years. It can be seen that Zhu Xiaobao is indeed outstanding. In General Zhao Ming's tent, Zhao Ming was also a little worried. Now it seemed that the seventh princess had no intention of letting him go back. At first, it was just a temporary stay. 
but I didn't expect that I wouldn't be able to leave once I got here. Xiao Ming was still a man with a family. So he was quite torn in his mind. Should he bring his family over? Unexpectedly, Zhao Shenlong brought Zhu Xiaobao and Tong Wuxing to see him at this time. Regarding Duan Wu Xilong, Zhao Ming is very casual. And their relationship is quite tacit. Because they are both Duan Wuxi's people. And he also knew a little bit about Zhao Shenlong and Tong Wuxing. At this time, seeing the three of them coming together, Zhao Meng was a little surprised. Zhao Zhao! Wu Xian! Why are you here? And Xiao Bao? Hello! General Zhao! I came here specially to see you! Zhu Xiaobao said with a smile upon seeing him, holding two jars of burning knives in his hands. He! Little slicker! I knew something was up when I saw your smiling face! Zhao Ming was amused by Zhu Xiaobao's appearance. He held two jars of wine and bent down as a salute. Yeah! That's really funny. I'm only telling the truth. Look! Two jars of roasted knives. How do you like it? This was just brewed. And Baba's brought it to you. Zhu Xiaobao put the two jars of roasted knives on the table. And conveniently he patted the seal open. Huh? What kind of wine is this? It's very special. Like Xiao Shenlong. Zhao Ming's biggest hobby in life is drinking. And he drinks a lot. Come! Don't worry about the wine for now. Have a bowl first, and see if you can handle it? Zhu Xiaobao used the provoking method as soon as he came up. Ha ha ha! What kind of wine? You're talking so mysteriously. You're afraid I won't be able to hold it. Come on! Bring me a bowl! Zhao Ming suddenly shouted with a laugh. At this time, Zhao Ming was completely attracted by the rich aroma of the wine. He picked up the bowl and took a big mouthful. Then General Zhao Ming's expression was very rich. He frowned first and then let out a long breath. Later, he shouted, Good wine! Enough! Absolutely good wine! Tong Wuxi was not surprised at all by General Zhao Ming's performance, but smiled and put out the soy sauce beef he had brought. Zhao Ming drank up a bowl of jiu and then ate a piece of beef with soy sauce. Only then did he feel satisfied. This wine paired with the beef with soy sauce was a perfect match. Ha ha ha! Sit down! You're welcome here! I invited you to drink in detail. But now it seems I can't get the wine out of my hands. General Zhao Ming casually stretched out his hand, motioning for them all to sit down. Down. Hee <laughs> hee. General Zhao, how do you like this wine? Zhu Xiaobao only took a small sip and then asked. That's awesome. Did you really do it? I didn't expect that Mr. Duan was right at all. You are really a genius. General Zhao Ming looked at Zhu Xiaobao and was very surprised. This little fat guy seemed to be really good. Capable. No wonder Mr. Duanmu thinks so highly of him. He! Then I, a genius like me, have a merciless request. And I hope General Zhao will grant it. Zhu Xiaobao knew that this kind of person was very generous. And if he went around in circles, he would be disgusted. So he went straight to theme. Oh, sure enough. Let me tell you. You, a little fat man, will not come to please me for no reason. Tell me, what is it? If you need people or food, I have everything here except women. Zhao Ming said with a very domineering wave of his hand. I want to borrow your gold and stone bow. Can I borrow it for a month? Zhu Xiaobao filled a bowl of wine for General Zhao Ming and then said. Huh? Gold and stone bow? Zhao Ming was stunned at the deadlock. Although this treasured bow was a peerless magic weapon, there were very few people who could pull it. So it was left here with him. It's like a treasure that hasn't been taken out for a long time. General Zhao Ming has never been able to draw this bow since he suffered a shoulder injury five years ago. Oh, it's like this. Xiao Bao has a guard beside her. She is born with supernatural power. But she doesn't have a hard bow. Even my bow is not enough for her. That's why I thought of this gold and stone bow. General, please don't take it. Blame it. Zhao Shenlong quickly explained. It's not that I underestimate you. No one can draw that bow. General Zhao Ming shook his head and said. It seems that he did not agree to Zhu Xiaobao's request. General Zhao, I am only borrowing it for a month. And I will return the original when the time comes. Zhu Xiaobao guessed that Zhao Ming couldn't bear to part with this treasured bow. Ha ha! Do you think I am reluctant to part with it? I want to find a real owner for this bow. Otherwise, I will bury this peerless divine bow. Zhao Ming said in a low voice. Since he can no longer use this bow. He has always wanted to find a real owner for this bow. He thinks that he is not even the right owner of this bow. Because I can only pull away five times in a row at most. It's really not practical on the battlefield. 
Oh, if that's the case, let's forget it. Xu Xiaobao was a little disappointed. But he also knew that in this era, a peerless magic weapon was regarded as life to these warriors. And it was extremely embarrassing not to be willing to take it out. Normal things. Ha ha. Xiao Bao. Don't say I won't give you a chance. As long as the person you mentioned can fire the bow five times in a row, I will give him the treasure bow. This bow will not be buried in my hand. General Zhao Ming said with a smile. Picked up another bowl of wine and took a very happy sip. Is this true? When Zhu Xiao Bao heard this, he was immediately excited and asked quickly. Of course. I always mean what I say. Come here. Please give me my golden stone bow. Xiao Ming waved his hand and said. Then he asked his trusted guards to fetch the gold and stone bow. Even though he couldn't draw this bow, Xiao Ming always had it with him. A guard brought a long box over and opened it. Inside was a dark gold bow with engraved patterns on it, which looked more like a work of art with exquisite workmanship. But as soon as this bow appeared, it gave off a trace of murderous aura, making people feel like they didn't dare to approach it. Zhu Xiaobao looked a little dazed. This bow was taller than him when it was erected. It was estimated to be 1.7 meters long. Even if Zhu Xiaobao has the power to draw a full bow, he doesn't have the wingspan. So it seems like he can't use it at all. Xiao Xiao! Try it! General Zhao Ming nodded to Zhao Shenlong and said, Zhao Shenlong has the strongest arm strength among them. He usually uses the Erden Chido bow. Zhao Shenlong had done it a few years ago. But now that he has just turned 30, he feels that his strength has increased a lot. So he really wants to try it again. I saw Zhao Shenlong. I was lucky. Then I spread my feet slightly, turned sideways, pushed the handle of the bow with my left hand, and pulled the bow string with my right hand. Zhao Shenlong opened the gold and stone bow by 90%. But the last 10%, the strength could not say anything. I couldn't get on. So I had to give up with regret. Yeah. Yes. Xiao Zhao's martial arts and strength have improved a lot in the past few years. Xiao Ming nodded. Zhao Shenlong's performance was already very good. Zhao Ming turned to Zhu Xiaobao and said, You do you still think that person of yours can draw this divine bow? Hey! Then call me over and try it. If you can't pull it open, I'll give you two more jars of burning knives. If you pull it open, I'll have to borrow it for a month. Zhu Xiaobao rolled his eyes and said, Tong Wuxian exchanged glances before speaking. Ha ha! Okay, you send someone to call them now. Let's drink here first. But you have to keep your word. It seems that I have to take in two more jars of good wine. Zhao Ming suddenly laughed. Said, Okay, I'll go find you, Mei. Tong Wuxian was also very straightforward. He immediately went out, mounted his horse, and galloped away. Although Zhu Xiaobao, Zhao Shenlong and General Zhao Ming were left behind. They were chatting happily. It was also a rare opportunity for Zhu Xiaobao to increase his knowledge. Zhao Ming and Zhao Shenlong not only talked about their martial arts experiences, but also recounted some experiences on the battlefield, which opened Zhu Xiaobao's eyes and made him deeply feel the cruelty on the battlefield. Zhu Xiaobao was very surprised when he saw the two jars of Xiao Daozi drank up so quickly. The amount of alcohol consumed by these people far exceeded his expectation. It seemed that he would have to bring out a higher level of alcohol to scare them. In almost an hour, Tong Wuxin actually rushed back. This speed was too fast. The distance from here to Cave Heaven Paradise is not close. Looking at the huge beauty following behind, I was panting. Guess she came here half on horseback and half on the run. Because she was too heavy and the war horse couldn't carry her very far. So Jumei had to dismount and run for a while. Then get on the horse and ride for a while. That's her? I didn't expect it to be a woman? General Zhao Ming asked a little surprised. He was really shocked. Zhu Mei was actually a fist higher than him. General Zhao Ming is almost 1.9 meters tall. He was quite tall and powerful. But Zhu Mei was no less impressive standing next to him. Yeah. It's her. She's so strong. Zhu Xiaobao nodded. And then said to Zhu Mei. You need to rest for a while to warm up. And I'll let you try that bound later. I'm not tired. I'm hungry. I want to eat meat. And wine. Zhu Mei shook her head and whispered. Now she knows that Zhu Xiaobao is only her food and clothing parent. So she has become obedient now. You can eat as much meat as you like. Drink one bowl of wine at most. Don't embarrass me by getting drunk again. Zhu Xiaobao shook his head and said helplessly. Why were he clamoring for food as soon as he came in? Ha 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 ha. Don't rush. Don't rush. We'll fire the bow again after you've rested. 
General Zhao Meng couldn't help laughing when he saw Jumei gobbling up the food. Such a person is quite to his liking. No. I'll give it a try first. After that, I can drink with peace of mind. Jumei was a little impatient. Zhu Xiaobao said that he would not let her drink until he finished shooting. So Jumei couldn't help it. You should try drawing the bow to full capacity first. Uh, can you do it? This is almost a fourth level bow. And most people can't draw it even once. It's better to rest for a while and wait for the strength to calm down before returning to the posture. This was the first time Zhao Shilong saw Jumei. So he was kind-hearted. Reminded. No need to rest. I'm not tired. If he rests for a while and he arranges for me to do something else, I won't be able to drink anymore. Zhu Mei shook her head and pointed at Zhu Xiaobao. I, Zhu Xiaobao was stunned. This stupid girl still knows how to complain? Zhu Xiaobao explained with a bit of embarrassment. Okay, go and try. Remember, you have to defecate five times. If you can defecate five times, I will let you drink to your heart's content. Okay, you said it. Keep your word. Zhu Mei immediately became energetic and walked over to pick up the golden stone bow. She didn't have any precise preparations. She just pushed with the front hand and pulled with the back hand. Jumei opened this peerless divine bow. Chapter 100 Golden Stone Bow B. While everyone was holding their breath and staring at Jumei, Jumei returned the bow that was 80% full, then looked at Ju Xiaobao and muttered, Why is it so heavy? Do you really agree? Let me have a good drink. I dare not worry about this silly girl but Ju Xiaobao. Everyone present felt like they wanted to go crazy. They all held their breath for fear of affecting Jumei. Unexpectedly, she put it back again. Isn't this irritating? Well, but General Zhao Ming was shocked in his heart. This beauty was so casual. He didn't prepare much just now. And he just pulled it to 80% full. This silly girl's strength is definitely not weak. And maybe it's even better. It can really hold up to five. Or even more. You're talking nonsense. In the female barracks, you thought those bows were too light and broke as soon as you pulled them. Now you think they're too heavy. Do you want me to beat you? Zhu Xiaobao was furious, and then angrily found five cups. After reaching five glasses of wine, he said, Look, here are five glasses of wine. How many times you can draw the bow to full? I'll add a few more glasses to you. If you can't draw the bow to full, go back and wait to starve. I'm just asking. Zhu Mei is really a little afraid of Zhu Xiaobao even though Zhu Xiaobao is only as tall as her waist. He really controls her most important wine and meat. This time, Zhu Mei didn't dare to be nagging anymore. Instead, she looked at the five glasses of wine on the table. And she was a little stupid. I'll give you as many glasses as you want. So I'll fill it up a few more times. Zhu Mei adjusted her breathing. Just now, she noticed that the bow was quite heavy. Then she took the gold stone bow in her hand again, spread her feet slightly, turned sideways, raised her left hand flat, and pulled the bowstring with her right hand. Aw? Oh, I really drew the bow to the full range. Zhao Shibao on the side couldn't help but exclaimed. This was much easier than Zhao Shilong's draw of 90% just now. And Zhu Mei didn't have to put in much effort. Hey! How strong is this silly girl? General Zhao Ming also secretly marveled in his heart. This posture was not strenuous at all. Making people wonder if she was pulling a gold and stone bow. It doesn't seem like it's very strenuous? Zhu Xiaobao was also a little surprised. Zhu Mei looked so relaxed. Then why was Zhao Shilong so strenuous just now? However, he did not dwell on this issue, but urged, Hurry up! One cup is ready! As he said this, Zhu Xiaobao took a glass of wine from the table and put it on the other side. It was so beautiful. He! That's good! You can exchange it for a lot of wine! Unexpectedly, Zhu Mei could still giggle easily. This time Jumei became more energetic and drew four full bows in succession. She only stopped when she saw Zhu Xiaobao put all the five glasses of wine on the table to her side. That means that all the wine on the table belongs to her. And she doesn't plan to drink anymore because there is no more wine. You foodie! Watch it! Zhu Xiaobao was even more stunning than Jumei. He took out five empty wine glasses from nowhere and started filling them with wine. This time Jumei was even more energetic and even drew 27 full bows. Zhu Xiaobao was dumbfounded because the cup in his hand had been used up. At this time, Zhu Mei was also a little tired, and her nose was slightly sweaty. Okay, okay, if you pull like this again, you will get injured. I am deeply impressed by this, General Zhao Ming said quickly. This beauty is really terrifying. 
She can fire 20 shots in a row so easily. Seven full bows. Thinking about it. During his peak period, he only fired five full bows in a row. The gap is not that big. But he was very excited in his heart. It seemed that Jumei was the most suitable owner of the Golden Stone Gong. These are all mine? Jumei didn't care that she had shocked the whole audience. But she was excited when she looked at the wine on the table. She didn't know how to count. And she couldn't tell the difference after more than 10 glasses of wine. Anyway, just know a lot. In fact, Zhu Xubao's mind turned quickly, and he found a cup for Jumei. Not a bowl. So the jar of wine was divided into so many glasses, and still had not been poured out. But Jumei didn't expect the trick in this. She had started to grab a glass of wine and drink. Of course, I won't be polite to the sauce beef on the side either. Ha ha ha! Jumei! Right! Come on! Let me have a drink with you! Your magical power really makes me feel inferior! General Zhao Ming was very happy, and poured a glass of wine, and said to Jumei, Huh? Why do you admire me? Just that piece of shit? Jumei didn't understand why everyone was looking at her like this. Could it be that she ate too much? So he frowned and said, If I'm full, I can still do one, two, three, four, five, many times anyway. Jumei counted on her fingers for a long time and couldn't tell how many times she could draw the bout to full capacity. So she could only speak in general terms. Ah, uh, what a fool. General Zhao Ming couldn't help but laugh. To be honest, he liked this giant beauty very much. Such a person was not only a fierce general, but also an excellent strong archer. Zhao Shilong had already picked up the gold and stone bow again and tried it again. Because Jumei's performance just now was so easy. He even wondered if the bow had become loosened by Jumei after not using it for a long time. But as soon as he got started, he knew that this bow was still the original peerless magic skill. It was just that Jumei could control it easily. Ah! Uh, General! Jumei has never seen much of the world. So I have to teach her many things from scratch. General! Please forgive me! Zhu Xiaobao now knows that Jumei is definitely a rare genius. So at this time, he quickly apologized to General Zhao Ming. It doesn't matter. To be honest, I like this girl very much. If you hadn't taken her for yourself, I would have really wanted to keep her in my camp. General Zhao Ming waved his hands and said with a smile. His eyes were full of love and affection. Can you lend me this golden stone bow? Zhu Xiaobao asked cautiously. This is a bow that Zhao Ming regards as a treasure. I wonder if he is willing to part with it. Ha ha ha. I'm so happy that I can find a real owner for the golden stone bow. No matter whether I borrow it or not. This bow will be used by Jumei from now on. You must train it well and don't waste such a genius. General Zhao Ming was very generous and actually gave the gold and stone bow to Jumei. This made everyone present very surprised. And they immediately understood that General Zhao Ming also wanted the golden stone bow to exert its maximum power and truly make this peerless divine bow famous all over the world. Thank you. General, don't worry from now on. I will send you 20 jars of burning knives every month. And I will ask Jumei to come here every month to check her shooting skills. I will never let her be humiliated. Got this magical bow. Xu Xiaobao was overjoyed. Deeply admired General Zhao Ming. And quickly promised again 20 jars of burning knives. Okay. Okay. Then it's a deal. Come on. I'm happy today. I finally found a home for Jin Shergong. Let's have a go at it. General Zhao Ming also said loudly and very happily. General. Please. Everyone was very impressed and raised their wine bowls at the same time. Only then did Jumei realize something was wrong. Her wine glass seemed to be much smaller than their wine bowls. At the end of the song, people dispersed. Xu Xiao Bao, Xiao Lao San, Tong Wuxin, and Jumei came out to say goodbye. Jumei was carrying a gold and stone bow. This bow did not feel like a super big bow when it was carried on her body. But it was very harmonious. But there are five arrows. This kind of arrow is specially customized. It is much heavier than the ordinary ones. And it is also much longer. It is processed very delicately. The feathers on the arrow tail are also neatly trimmed. Jumei was not drunk this time. Zhu Xiaobao poured the rest into the wine jar. And then gave the wine jar to Jumei. Jumei was elated because there was not much left in the wine jar. Isn't it a good deal to have a small amount of wine and add it to what you have earned? The silly girl was feeling complacent along the way. She made a profit today. Returning to the paradise of cave heaven, Zhu Xiaobao said to Tong Wuxin, Sister, I will leave this huge beauty to you. I have to get some matching things. You must train her hard. 
Ha ha. Don't worry. I will teach her well. Tong Wuxing smiled and nodded. Unexpectedly, Jumei was so outstanding. Tong Wuxing was also looking forward to seeing what kind of person she could grow into. Strong General. Zhu Xiaobao came to another processing workshop, which was specialized in processing ironware. To put it bluntly, it was a blacksmith's workshop. For the sake of Jumei, Zhu Xiaobao had to start making weapons in advance. In Prince Ming's house, Prince Ming Xia Ziming was furious. Provocation! Naked provocation! I didn't expect Sister 19 to go to Prince when to sell these kind of burning knives. Why didn't you come to me? And you didn't even send a message. Are you treating me like I don't exist? Shiantai, calm down. This matter needs to be considered in the long run. Don't be reckless. Lu Shiryan, dressed as a scholar, quickly advised him. He was now the famous man next to King Ming, and he was always by his side. What's the long-term plan? I can't wait any longer. I magnanimously delayed their fodder supply for three months. But I didn't expect them to repay me like this. Tomorrow. No. Immediately. You will send someone immediately and let them get my feed before the end of the month. Bring the fodder. Otherwise don't blame me for being rude. King Ming roared angrily. My dear King Ming. Chateau's. I'm afraid they are doing this just for fodder. King Wen has made it clear that there is no need for Shi Yuan City to provide fodder in the future. Now it's like the 19th princess is looking at what we mean. Lu Shuryan quickly advised from the side. Road. What? You want me to exempt them from their fodder supply? In your dreams. You can make that boy Xia Zixiu live so easily? Are you not awake yet? King Ming shouted angrily. Shitos, this may seem like a small matter, but in fact it has a huge impact. Once we ask for fodder, we will be in a very passive situation. Lu Shuryan didn't even dare to wipe his face from the spitting stars splashed by King Ming, and accompanied him said carefully, What do you mean? Is it wrong for me to ask for my fodder? King Ming looked at Lu Shuryan and asked angrily, Do you know how much grain Xia Zixiu and the others brought back from King Wen this time? A full 60,000 kilograms. In other words, if they use grain to pay for fodder, they can pay back the fodder they owe us at any time. And this time, they just sold it, I bought 600 jars of wine. Lu Shuryan made a gesture to King Ming's ear and whispered, Huh? You mean, it's not difficult for them to ask for fodder at all? When King Ming heard this, he was immediately surprised. Yes, their sales this time are very hot, and they also allow food to be exchanged for this kind of wine. This is equivalent to solving many problems in one fell swoop. It's really the best of all three. Lu Shuryan is a counselor after all, and he sees deeply. Then what should we do? King Ming was a little confused. 